All right, it's time to beat your ass, Roman, and win that title. Bitch, in your dreams. Guys, you two dumbasses just started playing. Stop acting like kids. Wait, what? Where are the kids? Holy fucking shit, there's no way. Joe, you got caught slacking there, bud. There are no kids around here. Bitch, why'd you get my hopes up? We weren't trying to, Joe. Anyways, my prediction is that Roman is going to win. Fat-ass Donald doesn't stand a chance. I'm going to have to disagree, Barack. Trump can clearly win. Roman isn't fit for the job. He hasn't even wrestled before Ol' Mao. Joe, do you realize that I'm the champion right now and have been for three years? What champion? Just ignore that decomposing piece of shit. Kamala probably forgot to give him his dementia pills this morning. I hate you, Donald. Ol' Mao get knocked out, fat ass. I bet you're having a dream about ordering the whole McDonald's menu now, ha ha! That didn't do anything to the Big D Trump. I bet Melania doesn't call you the Big D Trump. Your mom did last night when I was in her bed. Holy shit, Roman, you're gonna let Donald do you dirty like that? Donald can have his 2.7 seconds of fame. I'm about to win this match and show how he lost the 2020 election. You got him there, ha 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 ha. We all know it was a fraudulent election, so shut your ass up, bitch. Keep crying while I'm in bed with Ivanka. How were you able to lift his Big Mac ass? If his fat ass were on a forklift, the thing would literally break. Jesus fucking Christ, will you shut up about my weight? He does have a point, though, Donald. Oh, shit, what's gonna happen? Goodbye, small D, Trump. Holy to the power of shit. Ah, uh, Trump is dead. I'm not dead, you dumbass. The Big D never dies. But elders do, just like you, Joe. Bitch, I got 20 years left in me. Lamau, there's no way you just said that. Joe, I already have your funeral all set up. It's just a matter of time when you'll give up. I think that day will arrive soon, though. And I won't be attending it, ha ha. That's because your Oompa Loompa looking ass can barely walk. Fuck you, bitch. Trump, it's over for you, bud. Wow. Joe, what in the frickety fuck was that? I was doing the thing you do. Holy hell, there's no way you did that, Trump. The Big D always has tricks in his pants. What? Trump cold stunner, pussy. Holy shit, is this it for Roman? Don't even close my slime. This shit is only getting started. I've got to get my 16th daily ice cream scoop in a few minutes, so let's finish this crap up. Your 16th, Lamau? Don't question it, motherfucker. Where is Trump? Hello, small d Trump, you there? Now I can attack his dumb ass. You were saying, ha ha ha. You fell for it, Roman Lamau. So much for the greatest champion of all time, right? Bitch, fuck you both. All right, now I got to do an examination on Roman's naughty no-no areas. The fuck, man? That was kind of sus, man. That was the most intelligent thing you've said all day, Joe. Keep it up. Go fuck yourself with an ice cream cone, you dumbass. Of course you say ice cream cone. Ice cream is what makes up your personality, lol Mao. Trump is about to fall asleep. We're about to call him Sleepy Donald Ha Ha Ha. And don't worry, Joe, we'll still call you Sleepy Joe. Bitch. The Big D Trump has gotten hard and has fought out of your submission, Roman. I'm making you have a fucking boner right now? Holy shit, man. No, it's not like that, homie. Yeah, sure. Holy shit, Trump just did the people's elbow that John Cena does. Lumal. There's no way that fossil just said that, ha ha ha. First of all, John Cena doesn't do the people's elbow, The Rock does. Second of all, that move wasn't even the people's elbow, like how delusional do you have to be to not know that? Does delusional mean smart? Uh, Barack, you good? Shut the frickety fuckety up for the love of God. Trump cold stunner pussy. Your title is mine now, Roman. Wait, what the fuck is this shit? Oh my God, Manchel is coming to help Roman. Shut up, bitch. Come at me, motherfucker. I'll send you to a Yemen elementary school for Obama to drone strike. Holy fucking shit. Ha ha, they're too scared to come out. The big D Trump wins again. Wait, what? You fell for it. Ha ha. My title isn't going wow. anywhere anytime soon, you fat ass. I'm going to send you to prison now with this one last spear. Holy fucking shit, no way. The big D Trump stays alive. Roman is going down. Can you repeat that, Donald? What the fuck? How did your ass beat me? What in the fucks of the fucks? I'm leaving this shit sucks. Fuck, fuck. Ha, I made his fat ass rage quit. Well, I gotta go train for my next WWE match in real life, so I'm gonna have to go. Maybe I can fight one of you two in the future. 
That would be cool, Roman, and I gotta go get my 16th ice cream cone. Jill is calling me from down the hall. I have to take Manchel, I mean Michelle, to McDonald's to buy her a salad. See you guys later. A salad, Lamau, and you really are a dog, Barack. What do you mean, bro? Because Manchel has you on a fucking leash, ha ha ha. Fuck you both, I'm leaving. You both can go fuck yourselves with an ice cream cone. Two intelligent minds think alike. Keep dreaming, Joe. Wait, I'm asleep? I'm done. Welcome back, guys. Today I'm going to avenge fat-ass Donald and beat Roman Reigns for the championship. It won't happen, Joey. I'm going to win yet again, Lamau. Roman is going to smash you so hard, Joe. Ha ha, Lamau. What do you mean by smashing? That's kind of gay, not going to lie. All right, here comes Uncle Bidenator, the next champion. Roman, you better kiss that title goodbye. Yeah, okay, sure, you bitch. Just you wait and we'll all be laughing at your old ass. Will you both shut the fuck up? My head is already hurting from you three talking holy shit. Don't be such a dick, Barack. Yeah, you know what happens when you're a dick. Just look at Yemen. Fuck you both. Blow on me wrestling Joe is literally elder abuse. Should I really be doing this? So now you're saying that you're scared of me? Ha ha ha. We'll see about that, dumbass. Oh shit, it looks like we're starting this match early. Wait, what match? Am I dreaming right now? Hello? Lamau, you dementia-riddled fuck. You're not dreaming, you're awake. At least for now. Uh, what the fuck, Roman? The bell hasn't even rang yet, you dumb bitch. It's what you call tribal chief skill, Joe. That's something only I have. Wait, who's that bald guy that looks like Joe but isn't Joe? Is this the Biden family reunion? No, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think you remember him from your WWE days, unless, of course, Sleepy Joe's dementia rubbed off on you. You bitch. It was just hard to recognize him because of the camera angle. Plus, Joe's dementia will never rub on me. I'll make sure of that. Who has dementia? Barack does? What? Holy fucking shit, I muted him. I can't deal with his ass anymore, holy shit. Goodbye, Sleepy Joe. Ah, uh, no. Am I dead? Hello, God, devil. Joe, you are so, 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 so stupid. I know Roman is stupid. Thanks for unmuting me, Barack, by the way. His ass got muted again, old mouth. Should I unmute him now? Hell to the fucking ass, no, Barack. You really want to hear his dementia ass stutter? Let's give it one more shot, Barack. All right, OG. <laughs> there is no fucking way he is snoring right now. I think I can feel the tectonic plates moving right now, holy shit. How is Joe playing then if he's asleep? Did he die in his sleep and his ghost is playing now? Hey guys, it's Kamala. Holy to the frickety fuckery, why is this bitch here? I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Fuck me sideways, Kamala fucking Harris is here. I guess I'm gonna have to come out to help Kamala just so Joe can be happy. Come at me, small D, Roman. You fat ass, go back to McDonald's. I already planned a bitch. Catch this daddy Roman Reigns right up the hole. Fuck my life. You were close, Mommy Kamala. I wasn't going to give you the win that easy, especially with Big Mac looking ass Trump trying to help you. Yes, Daddy Roman. Now let me get that huge ding dong of yours and we Nah, can bro, I don't want off. your ass. You're flatter than Jill Biden like holy shit. Plus, I have a wife and I actually have a life and I don't do everything Joe can't. I bet you bathe Joe too because he can't do it himself, well, Mao. Roman was dropping some fat bars, holy shit. Oh shit, Roman, that was sick. It's time for your ass to go to sleep just like Joe Biden, ha ha. Uh, Kamala, you there, mommy? Mommy isn't here, but Uncle Bidenator is you bitches. The king who rules over sleep has woken up from his hibernation. Who would have thought? I'm also the king at winning non-fraudulent elections. Bitch ass, you better put that fossil back into his hibernation, Roman. I got you, my G. Oh, fuck you, Roman. Bitch, Biden is hacking the game, I swear. I can't believe that I'm saying this, but sleepy old demented fuck Joe has a chance of winning, holy shittery shit. Give up, Roman, while you still can. Uncle Bidenator is about to win. I take back what I said, Lamau. Sorry, sleepy Joe, you should have just kept sleeping. Holy shit, I won. I actually won. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Uncle Bidenator defeats Roman. Let's fucking go, baby. I'm gonna go smash my head on a brick wall. See you guys later. 
Joe, you are so, 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 so. All right, so today Obama is going up against Roman for each of their championships. Basically, this is a championship unification match. My bets are on Roman, honestly. Barack doesn't have what it takes. Shut up, Joe, you prehistoric dumbass. What in the frickety fuck is this? Why does my Titan Tron video say Big D 2024? Barack, I needed some more campaigning since I've been inside playing WWE 2K23 all week with you bozos. You should honestly see it as a favor from me to you. How in the fuck is this a favor? I'm giving you attention from the fake news media that you've been lacking from lately. The only reason you've been on the media lately is because of your scandals with E. Jean Carroll. You bitch, those are fake allegations. I'll still win the 2024 election anyway, as long as Ron DeSantis doesn't get in my way. I'd like to see you try fat ass. Guys, will you shut the fuck up? Right now we are looking at Roman's ass. Stop being weird, Joe. Go back to sleep. All right, bye, guys. Did his dumbass really just fall asleep? Night, night, Joe. Oh my God, his mic is on. We're going to hear him snore. And I can't mute him because I'm about to kick Roman's ass. <sighs> For God's sake. All right, Roman, good luck. I don't need good luck, Barack. That's for losers like Manchel. Maybe you could have wished Yemen good luck before you drone strike their ass. You bitch. Haha, ha, Roman, you're starting to learn what the big D Trump does. Learn how to lose elections? No thanks. All right, Barack, you better win now. Bitch, I'm not dedicating my win to your orange asshole, Mao. Oh my god, holy shit, Barack is about to win. What, we start the match with a finisher, what the fuck? Shit! Nice try, Barack. It's going to take a lot more effort to win other than setting the match off to start with one finisher. I almost had your ass. Rephrase that. Uh, I almost had you pinned. Holy shit, Obama, you saved yourself there. If you didn't save yourself there, the fake news media would have came out on you. All right, it's been fun playing with you guys. I guess I'm still your undisputed universal champion and your new million dollar champion. GG's Barack. You were saying, Roman? Holy shit, there's no way you did that, Barack. You actually have a chance now. The Big D Barack always has tricks in his pants. That's my line, you bitch. Guys, watch out for the kids in the audience so you don't hurt them. Huh, where are the kids? Uh, how old are they? Are their parents around? Hopefully not. Joe, I'm currently making you an appointment to see a therapist. The only thing that can make that man wake up is someone talking about kids. The kids are back. Holy shit, Barack, just kick him from the call. All right, his bitch ass is gone. Now I can finally smash Roman in peace. Trump, I know your dirty ass mind is kicking in. You said you were gonna fuck Roman Reigns. Holy shit, you know what I meant, dumbass. Now shut up before I kick you just like I did to Joe. Super kick, motherfucker. Suplex, motherfucker. Holy shit, that combo was sick. Not as good as the Trump cold stunner, though. It also should have been called the Yemen super kick and the Manchel suplex. Bitch, get your husband, I mean my wife's name, out of your mouth, you orange clown. Go back to the circus. Trump, I didn't know you worked as a clown at a circus ever since you lost to Joe. I just thought your new job was to advertise your social media platform that no one uses. You dumbass. At least it's not like stupid Twitter. What did your ass say, Donald? Bro, is that Elon Musk? Who is inviting all of these people? Yeah, Elon, how did you get access to the Discord call? I don't even have you added. Long story short, Barack, I bought Discord just so I can get my way into this call. And come to fucking find out, Oompa Loompa looking ass was talking smack about Twitter. Elon, I'm sorry, I just got caught into the moment, even though the things I said were true. Yeah, Twitter does kind of suck, Elon. WWE makes my tweets for me. I can't even tweet my own stuff, it's so annoying. That kind of sounds like a you and a WWE problem. Roman, you should have read your contract before signing it. Bitch, mind your own business. Roman, it's over for you now, bud. Just give up. What move could your drone striking ass possibly do to me? He'd probably drone strike your house, Mao. Oh shit, what the hell are you doing, Barack?
the Yemen destroyer. Holy fuck. Ah, uh, shit, you're scaring all the Where kids. Where are the kids, Donald? Is Roman dead? I'm alive, dumbass. Holy shit, Joe is back. I thought we kicked him out. Joe, you forgot your baby rattle. What in the frickety, freakety, fuckety, freakery fuck is going on right now? I don't know, Barack. All I know is that I kicked out of your Yemen destroyer, haha. Yeah, I have no idea either. Everyone was talking at once. All that I know is Joe and Kamala are now here. How did you even get back in Joe? Elon Musk let me back in. Thanks, Elon, by the way. Joe, you fossil. Oh, was I not supposed to tell them? Of course not, you demented fuck. So was this just all an elaborate plan to get Joe back in the call? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yep, at least it worked, right, Elon? Well, I guess that's $20 billion down the drain. Fuck my life. Is everything okay, guys? Kamala, get your ass out of here and take Joe with you. Yeah, I gotta go get my 46th ice cream cone for the day. See you guys later. Did the ancient creature just say 42nd ice cream cone of the day? Are you serious? Yep, it doesn't surprise me, though. Also, I think Elon left the call. I don't care in the slightest, Barack. He shouldn't have betrayed us. How the fuck did you counter that? I was about to win, you dumbass. Yeah, and now I'm about to win with what I like to call the drone striker. Oh shit, Barack is about to win. Holy fuck to the power of 69. How did you kick out of that? I just have my ways, Barack. That's why they call me the big dog. But I'm surprised people don't call you the big dog because Manchel always has you on a leash, El Mau. You bitch. It's time for another drone striker to win the match. Not so fast, bitch. Ah, oh, shit. That was the receipt from Barack countering Roman Spear. And Bingo was his name, oh. You're about to be stunned, Barack. You gotta do some shit if you wanna win. I got you my slime. The Barack Obama. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Holy shit, you did it, Barack. You beat Roman fucking Reigns. Oh my god, I did it. Good match, Roman. Hey, Jiggy's Barack. Maybe I can get a rematch if I win in a handicap match against Joe and Donald. And this time inside hell in a cell. That's a good idea. Get ready, Trump, and make sure to let Joe know once he gets back from eating his ice cream. Dude, if Biden wrestles again, no one will show up, not even the kids. Huh? Where are the kids? Fuck me. Welcome back, guys. Today, me and Sleepy Joe will battle Roman in a handicap match. If Roman wins, he gets to have a rematch with Barack. And that rematch will happen because I'm going to beat your asses. Yeah, okay, Roman. Me and Sleepy Joe will wipe the mat clean with your blood, sweat, and tears. Huh? Roman is crying? No, you dumbass, I'm not crying. You know what, Joe? Just shut the fuck up. Nah, bro, I'm about to rap right now and roast you so hard that you're gonna have a boner. Joe is about to rap right now? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, your wife's pussy in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, come and get it, but no. You're gonna be hit with these hands, motherfucker. Yo, you should be a trucker. Your mother looks like a lawnmower with her big forehead. Yeah, big smelly feet. They stink up the room and cause a breeze. Joe, what the fuck was that? That might have been the worst rapping I've ever heard. I'm going to need an ear transplant after that one holy shit. There is no such thing as an ear transplant, you dumb fuck. But yeah, I do agree with Small D, Donnie. I can rap way better than you. Bring it, motherfucker. This shit is kind of funny, just like your face. Fun watching you try to understand everything that's being said about you. The real heroes in this world are the ones who have to live with you. It's true, bitch. I was today years old when I realized I didn't like you. I had a dollar every time you shut up, I would give it back as a thank you. I don't understand. Wait, what in the frickety fuck is this? I thought this was a two-on-one match, not a three-on-one. What the fuck, man? The top G is here, Roman. Get ready to be destroyed, my tribal chief. Yep. I paid Andrew one million dollars to come play with us today just for him to destroy you, Roman. This isn't fair. Barack, get Andrew out of here for God's sake and humanity. Sorry, Roman, but I can't. Donnie already paid Andrew the money. Plus, Roman, I think you'll be able to take all of them on. Especially Joe. Yeah, demented fucktard Joe doesn't stand a chance against me, Lamau. Don't do Joe dirty like that, El Mau. Hey guys, what's up? Bitch, no one wants you here, Elon. Get out. Donald, I still own Discord. I'm staying here for as long as I want. Seriously? I have to deal with Roman and now Elon? Dumbass, I'm not in the match. If I was though, I think me and Roman would have already won. Andrew, watch out. Ah, uh, holy shit, fuck this game, man. It's alright, Andrew, just shake it off. 
Shake it off, like that Taylor Swift song. Shake it off, shake it off, oh, oh, oh. I muted that bitch. Well, Mao, Joe is about to go night-night. Guys, I see light. Holy shit, is Joe dying right before our No, eyes? you dumbass, of course not. No, Barack, I actually see light. Where's it coming from, Joe? My window. Holy shit, I'm out of this call. Fuck all of you. Joe, I knew you were a delusional piece of shit, but oh my god, you impressed me. Isn't that a good thing, Andrew? God, please help us. Joe, I don't know how you're unmuted again, but just for the sake of my Romans, Donalds, and Andrew's survival and well-being, I'm gonna mute you. No, please, Barack, I'll let you slobber over my... Uh. It's over for you, Andrew. Ha ha. Shit, someone help. I don't know how to kick out of a pin yet. I guess Joe is coming to help you. I bet he is simping over you right now as his mic is muted, El Mao. He has a huge crush on you. Please tell me you're joking, Donald. Fortunately for you, I am. I hope I'm right on that. But you know, Joe, he likes kids under the age of 11, so you wouldn't fit in that age group. El Mao. Ah, shit. Fuck you, Joe. Thankfully, you can't respond. Ha ha, you muted fossil. Uh, guys? He typed something in the chat. It says that me, Oompa Loompa looking ass in the top L tape will beat your ass so hard that Solo Sokoa will leave your side next. Why does that dumbass have to bring up Night of Champions? I was beginning to forget about it. Fuck you, Joe. Keep crying that you can't talk. Holy fuck no. Someone help me. I got you, OG. We gotta do this for Barack. I don't want him to drone strike my house or go for a round two of Yemen in anger of us loosing. You bitch ass. Donald, tag me in. You want some of the smoke, huh, Andrew? No, because I'll be smoking on you, my slime. The Tate combo. You bald clown. You really thought that would do anything to the real Top G? This should do the trick, the Top G punch. If you sign up for my classes, you can learn how to do that. Oh my god, you guys won. I won't have to fight Roman again. Even though Andrew Tate being here was kind of unfair, it was still a good match. Good game, guys. Barack, you better repay us. We literally did you a favor here. Fine. In the next video, I'll fight Donald, Andrew, and Joe in a fatal four-way match for my two championships. And Roman, if you want, you can be the special guest referee. Sounds sick, Barack. Now should we unmute Joe to see what he thinks? Sure. Joe, what do you think about the fatal four-way match? Uh, Joe, you there, bud? Don't tell me that motherfucker is asleep. <sighs> Of course he fucking is. I'm out of this bitch. All right, guys, welcome back. Today, since the team of Andrew Tate, Donald Trump, and Joe Biden beat Roman Reigns in the handicap match in the last episode, they all get to face me for my two titles. Yes, Barack, and I'll be walking out with them both. In the first episode, you basically rigged the match just like Sleepy Joe rigged the election, and you stole the win. This time, it's the big D Trump's time to shine. You dumbass, I'm going to be the one winning. I'm going to be celebrating with all of the kids that are in my basement. Holy fucking shit, Joe. We didn't need to know about all of the kids in your basement. That's kind of messed up, Joe, not going to lie. I may have to ban you from Discord. Please, Elon, I'll do literally anything. I'd even sniff you. All right, meet me at the Tesla warehouse tomorrow at noon for our sniffing time. Wink, wink. Why am I friends with you two? God help us. Guys, stop overreacting. Let Elon and Joe share their love moments before Joe passes away from old age. We all know it's inevitable. Guys, will you all shut the fuck up? I'm the referee in this match, so I can just call this match off. You won't, bitch. You don't got the balls to do it, unlike the Big D Trump. You can't even call the match off in the game, you dumbasses. You could have called off the drone strikes towards Yemen. Fuck you, Trump. Have fun in jail with your orange jumpsuit. It matches your skin and camouflages you, so maybe it'll help you escape jail. I'm actually a good citizen, unlike you, Barack. I'd stay my full sentence if I were to go to jail, but after all, I don't have DNA. I have USA, which makes me the perfect citizen. Perfect citizens like me don't go to jail. Is that a way to secretly say, fuck you, Andrew Tate? I mean, I wasn't referring to you, Andrew, but now that I think about it, I guess you have a point, El Mao. Here comes Uncle Bidenator. All the kids love me. Joe is so old that he brought a dinosaur bone back from the prehistoric time period. You dickhead, I just stole this from the museum, I mean... You just admitted that you stole the bone from a museum. I can't believe you committed two felonies in one day. First kidnapping and now stealing. What's going to be the third one, Joe? There won't be a third one, as I'm going to be going to bed after we're done playing this match. Joe, have you lost track of time with your dementia? It's literally 10 in the fucking morning. 
I stayed up all night playing with the kids I kidnapped, so I need my beauty sleep, Barack. I muted him. I was beginning to lose all of my brain cells. Have you guys called the police on that guy? No, because it wouldn't even matter. He's the president. You didn't need to remind us that a demented fossil from the prehistoric time period is the president. The election was rigged anyway, so... Keep on crying, Donald. You lost fair and square like I won fair and square against Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. Why'd you got to bring that shit up, Roman? I was rooting for Cody. And then the horse Solo Sokoa came out of nowhere and attacked Cody. You can't win without your goons, Roman. Keep crying that I beat your favorite, Barack. I'm the head of the table for a reason. Oh, I forgot that Donald put Big D 2024 on my Titantron. Like I said, I needed that extra campaigning, and Big D 2024 was sure to do the trick. Well, if I win this match, I'm changing your Titantron to Small D 2024. You can't change something to something that's not true. Your Titantron should be I Love Manchel. You bitch, my husband. I mean, my wife's name isn't Manchel. It's Michelle, the prettiest name out there. More like the pettiest name out there, Omao. Can you all shut up? This match is about to start. Well, I wish you all good luck, but I promise you this. I'm going to win. Yeah, okay, Barack, in your dreams. Speaking of dreams, what do you think Joe is doing? Sleeping? I'll unmute him. Joe, wake the fuck up. No, that never works, Andrew. The only thing that wakes him up is someone talking about kids. Huh, where are the kids? Are there some in your basement, Donald? Are there parents around? Where is the nearest police station? What? And there you fucking go. Oh, we're starting the match. Get ready to lose Roman. You dumbass. I'm not in the match. I'm just the special guest referee. Please take your Trump dementia pills already. Pussy. Also, everyone starts off with three finishers and low health. So this should be fun. Trump cold stunner pussy. Ah, oh, shit. Not the people's elbow. Joe, that isn't the people's elbow. We literally told you that a few days ago. Get knocked out, fat ass. If you want to learn how to knock out fat people like Donald, join my not that expensive but kind of expensive classes. Doesn't your most expensive class cost like $3,000 a month or something? It's worth it, Roman. A WWE part-timer like you wouldn't understand. Dog, I'm not a part-timer. At least I don't get arrested for you know what. Bitch, at least I'm not about to have a life sentence like Donald is about to have. Donald, since you act like a kid, they're probably going to send you to juvie. While you're there, can you send me some pictures of the kids? Joe, you freak. No, I will not. I won't be able to because, like I said before, my DNA is all USA and... We don't want to hear your bullshit, Donald. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Oh, fuck you, Barack. I could have won the match if it wasn't for you. You really thought it was going to be that easy? It's not as easy as ordering the whole McDonald's menu like you do for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. At least I'm eating healthy. How the hell are you eating healthy at McDonald's of all places? Well, uh, their apple slices do be bussing, and uh, I like their sausage burrito. That shit ain't going to be helping you balance everything out. You still probably gain like 10 pounds every day. The Yemen driver. Holy shit, guys. I may actually lose here and let all of the kids down. I don't think they would care. Haha, ha, Barack. You don't stand a chance against Uncle Bidenator. That was a close one, Joe. You're lucky one of the Secret Service officers was there to help you kick out. Mr. President, how does Roman know that I'm here? Don't worry about him, just help me win. Sleepy Joe is cheating now? Joe is so bad that he has to use his own Secret Service to help him win a video game match. How pathetic! Sorry guys, he left the bathroom, I mean. What the fuck, Joe? Are you really in your bathroom right now? Wait, does that mean the guy saw your dick? You idiots, he didn't see my flippy flopper. I'm just sitting on the toilet lid with my pants up. You guys are really delusional. I mean, even if your pants and underwear were down when the security guy was in the bathroom, he wouldn't have been able to see a thing because Joe's dick is so small. It's literally the size of a newborn's fingernail. Haha, <laughs> that's something the Big D Trump can't relate to. Of course you say that, Donald. You always call yourself the Big D Donald. But my question is, has Melania ever told you that? You dumbass, Melania always calls me the Big D. Every time she sees it, she's in awe. Knockout punch. Oh shit, Donald, help me. Oh, look at you, crying for the Big D Donald to help you. Bitch, now you made me use my resiliency because of your huge ego. Guys, will you stop arguing? Barack's two titles are still up for grabs. Roman, will you shut up? We all know you're still crying because of Jimmy and Jay turning on you. Oh, fuck you, Andrew. Jimmy and Jay will come running back to me like alcoholics run back to the bar after getting out of rehab. That sums up Hunter Biden pretty well.
Are you talking to me? Uh, who's Hunter? Does Barack have a son now? Holy shit, there's no way. Did Jill or Kamala give you your meds this morning? I took extra doses of it. Oh, so now you're overdosing on fucking dementia pills? There's no way you got 81 million votes, Joe. Keep crying, fat the ass. Destroyer. Uh, guys, I need a little help here. Oh shit, Joe, stop Barack from pinning Andrew. All right, Donald. Get your fossil ass out of here, Joe. This is where the big men wrestle. Oh wait, there's a place where little kids wrestle. Where can I sign up? God help us. Joe, will you shut up about kids? Joe, we all know you have an obsession with children, but if you can keep those feelings to yourself, that would be great. Sorry guys, I didn't know you all hate children. You dumb fuck, we don't hate children. I literally have five kids. Can I see them or even talk to them or maybe even potentially sniff them? Hell no. Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh shit, I have no resiliency. This might be the end. Don't worry, Barack, I got you. Andrew, you piece of shit, I almost won. You think I want you to win over Barack? Hell no. Yeah, we don't want your fat ass to win. The title wouldn't even fit around your waist. God damn. Joe, did you really just say that? Fuck you, Joe, you demented piece of shit. Tell me, what did the dinosaurs look like those many years ago? You should know because you were alive back then. Spinebuster. Oh, fuck you, Barack. Joe, you better break the pin. I could count to ten if I wanted to, Lamau. Oh, Donald, you are stupid. Oh my god, what in the frickety fuck? I wasn't paying attention. This is all rigged because of Sleepy Joe. Go fuck yourself with an ice cream cone, you bitch. At least I'm not fat. You know what? Hear this. You're so fat that if you were to wear a yellow raincoat, people would yell, taxi, taxi, over here. Oh shit, Donald, Joey got you there. I mean, in all honesty, I would do the same thing. But you know me, I have my private jet. I don't need to take a taxi. Oh my God, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. What a sore loser. He isn't a good example to the kids, unlike Uncle Bidenator. If I would have won, I would have held a celebration in the White House's basement with all of the- Joe, stop talking about that shit. All right, guys, I called the police on Joe. I don't give a living fuck that he's the president. The police can wait until I wake up from my nap. Good night, guys. I can't deal with this shit anymore. I'm out. Yeah, same here. I'm gonna wait until the police show up. Wait, holy shit, they're at my house. What the fuck, Elon? Ah, help. So, Donald, tell me how you and Melania are preparing for your mixed gender tag team match. In all honesty, Roman, it's not any of your fucking business. But since the big D Trump is a nice guy, I'll tell you. Me and Melania are winning because of all of the tricks I have in my pants. The Big D Trump always comes prepared for matches like these. Now if you would excuse me. Holy shit, Donald, watch out. Get down on the ground, you fat ass. Joe, what in the frickety fuck are you doing? We're not in the ring, we're backstage. Oh, I'm aware of that, Donald. But now you know where you're gonna be. You're gonna be sleeping because I'm about to knock you out. What do you mean, you fossil? Wait, Joe, what are you doing? Ah, help me shit, ah. Don't worry, Donald. I'm calling the security to get over here right now. Oh my god, Roman. Are you awake? Oh shit. Fuck you, Joe. All right, Joey. I got Melania. Where should I put her? Put her in the trunk with the rest of the kids. What the fuck, Joe? You're kidnapping my wife? Ah, uh, my leg. I can't get up. Bye, Donald. Have fun with your broken leg and have fun without Melania. You won't get away with this, Joe. This isn't the 2020 election. All right, guys, I guess since Donald and Melania haven't showed up yet, we'll just do me and Manchelle, I mean Michelle, against Joe and Jill. If me and Michelle win, no one challenges for my titles. If Joe and Jill win, Joe will have a match with me for the title in the next episode. Well, Barack, you're going to have to kiss those titles goodbye because after me and Jill win tonight, I'm going to beat your ass in the next episode and send you all the way to a place where you fear the most. And where is that? It's a place called Yemen. Bitch! Guys, let's all stop fighting and get focused on the match that we're about to start. Jill, you literally sound like a dying horse, like, holy shit, stop talking. Don't talk to Jill like that, you bitch. Did you just call my husband a bitch? Husband? No, I didn't. What do you mean? You did call him, I mean her, a bitch, you demented fuck. I guess Jill forgot to give you your meds today. Holy shit, guys, can you four just shut the fuck up? Joe, just say sorry to Michelle for calling her a bitch and everything will be fine. Fine, I'm sorry, Michelle. I accept your apology, Joey. I forgot to change my Titantron back. I hate Big D 2024 being up there. Speaking of Big D 2024, why is Donald not here? He is usually here way before me and Joe get on Discord. Uh, May, maybe, uh, he is at McDonald's order, order, uh, ordering 15 Big Macs and two orders of 50 Chicken McNuggets. Well, now Joe is stuttering. I'm not that surprised, though, as Joe's body is literally decomposing day by day. Well, Yemen continues to suffer day by day. How many times are you going to bring up Yemen? For as long as I want. Damn, Jill, you look better in the game than you do in real life. 
In real life, my eyes burn when I look at you, but in this game, you catch my full attention. Joe, you better get ready for those divorce papers that Jill is about to send you. Fuck you, Joe, you demented corpse. You all promised me that you all would stop arguing, and look where we are now. Yeah, Elon is right. We should stop arguing and get focused on what is at our hands, and that's this match. Good luck, Joe and Jill. You're going to need it. Barack has been teaching me all of the tricks in the books. Not even Joe's teleprompter matches up with my skills. Don't talk about my teleprompter like that. I paid over $2,000 for that thing. The hell, Joe? And you didn't tell me? There are much cheaper teleprompters on the internet, Joe. I think there are some that run for under $200. In all honesty, Barack, it doesn't even matter because I used Ukraine money to pay for the teleprompter anyway. I also used some of their money to buy me a semi-truck full of ice cream yesterday. It was great. The best part about it is that they haven't even found out yet, Lamau. You know what, Joe? Just do you. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, I didn't know we all started out with one finisher in medium health. I guess it puts a little twist on things. I almost had you pinned there, Michelle. You were lucky. Hey Donald, are you good, bro? Yeah, just Joe did fuck up my leg. It hurts to stand on it. I bet the dumbass did this just so it would be easier for him to win the match. So he could have the title match with Barack without you in the way of him. You're probably right. Him and Jill also kidnapped Melania, so I'm gonna have to save her. I think she's inside the trunk of their car with other kids Joe had kidnapped. All right, so here's the plan. I'll go take down Joe's security guards he has hired to make sure we wouldn't interrupt the match. After that, you run in there, attack Joe, and then reach your hand into his ass to get his car keys. What the fuck? Reach into Joe's ringly jiggly ass. I know it's Pride Month, but holy shit, Roman. Okay, Donald, don't ask me how I know this, but Joe keeps his car keys inside of his anus. Just maybe bring a pair of gloves with you because Joe wears diapers and... I don't need to know the rest, Roman. Let's just get this over with so we can save Melania. I'll see you soon. Ah, oh, shit. This is what happens when you make fun of my voice, Michelle. Jill, tag me in. I need to weaken Barack's health down so we can win. I'd like to see you try Joe. You're over here talking shit, but now I'm about to put you in your place. It's about to be over for you, Joe. I'm going to hit my finisher on you, and then the referee will count. One, two, three. Joe, the teleprompter says to press the Y button when it pops up so you can reverse Barack's finisher. You really thought you could hit me with your finisher, Barack? You dumbass. If you and Jill didn't have that teleprompter, this match would have already been over. Uh, guys, I'm getting a phone call from Melania. Should I answer it? No, don't answer it, Michelle. Yeah, don't answer it. Why not? Melania and Donald might be in trouble, and that's why they're not here. I don't think you should answer it. The last time you answered a phone call, they got access to your phone and leaked all of our sex tapes on the internet. Yeah, you're right. I'll hang up. I guess this is why I haven't answered a phone call in two years. I wonder how my parents are doing. Oh, they're dead. Spear, bitch. Oh, shit. There's a lot more. Wait, what? Is that Dwayne? The Rock has showed up, Roman. Now let's beat the hell out of the rest of Joe's security. Jill, does the teleprompter say that I can reverse this? It says you already missed your chance to reverse it. Oh, fuck. The Yemen destroyer. Oh, shit, Jill, this isn't good. Ah, oh, shit, I'm bleeding. Barack, tag me in so I can finish Jill off. Doing more damage to Joe would be elder abuse. Lamau, you didn't have to do Joe dirty like that. Wait, what the hell is this? The Big D Trump has arrived, bitches. You're gonna get these hands, motherfucker. Well, you're gonna get my hand up your ass so I can get your car keys. You'll never be able to save Melania, nor the kids. We'll see about that. Trump cold stunner pussy. What the fuck is going on down there? The Yemen face destroyer. Oh shit, no. We won Barack, let's go. That's good, Michelle, but what is happening with Donald and Joe? Is Donald reaching his hand into his pants? What the fuck is this shit? Oh shit, Joe low blowed Donald. Don't mind them, Barack. They're probably just playing like the immature dickheads that they are. Yeah, you're probably right. Give me that key, you dipshit. The key wasn't even in my ass. It was inside of my dick. Oh, so that's why when I stuck my hand down there, all that I found was dust. Fuck you, Joe. You wish. Bye-bye, Donald. No shit, stop the car. Melania, no. Donald, everything will be okay. We'll save Melania and the kids somehow. Oh, and I know just the way. It's going to be excellent. I'm putting out an open challenge for both of my championships. I'm looking for the best of the best back there in the locker room. I'll wait here all night if I have to. So what's the plan to save Melania and the kids? I know just what to do, Donnie. Are you thinking the same thing that I'm thinking? 
I think I am. We pew, we pew, pew, Joe. pew sleepy Joe. You dumbasses, we don't need to unalive Joe to save Melania and the kids. Maybe we can uh, break into the White House? Roman, do you know how stupid that idea is? Oh, I'm Roman Reigns and I'm gonna break into the White House. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? I think he has a point, Donald. Think about it this way. Would you rather go down in history for killing a president or breaking into a president's house? I guess you have a point, Rocky. Plus, I still have a key that can unlock anything in the White House. I was supposed to keep it there, but since the election was rigged, I decided to keep it. What the fuck, Donald? They're probably gonna put you in the electric chair if they find out you still have the key. It doesn't matter anymore. They're gonna find out once we break in. Dwayne is right, Roman. Now are you in or are you out? But does that mean if all of us get caught, they'll put us in the electric chair? No shit, Roman. What do you expect to happen? Them giving us a cookie for breaking into the fucking White House, my God. Don't you want to get revenge on Joe for knocking you out with that steel chair? Well, uh, I... I'm sorry, guys, but I'm out. I have other matters to attend to. All right, Roman, suit yourself. Let's go, Donald. It's been 10 minutes since I put out my open challenge, and yet no one has showed up. And like I said... The tribal chief is here and will win the titles back that I should have never lost. Oh, so you want a rematch? All right, let's get a referee in here. It's time to show you who should really be champion. Yo, Rock, you want to turn on some music? Sure, this station is the best. Just you wait. The songs on here are golden. Yeah, hit the beat, Jill. Yeah, yeah, suck this cock, bitch. You be looking like a dick. Melania be sucking mine nonstop today without a break. Hey, baby, you know that she's mine. She says, help me, Donald, come save me. But the fat ass is nowhere to be seen. Oh shit. What the fuck? Joe is forcing Melania to suck his wrinkly old dick. He's probably making her sniff his swamp down there. Holy shit. That's the only area where he has hair left. Donald, calm down. He's probably just making all of the shit up just so he can be on the trending charts. Speaking of which, his song is already number one trending on Twitter, and he already has one of the top songs on Spotify. I'm not going to lie, Roman. It has impressed me that you keep trying and trying to get a rematch with me. You must really be obsessed with me, huh? You dumbass. Why would I be obsessed with someone who drone strikes villages? You bitch! Everyone always has to mention Yemen to me. I hate it. Yemen is just what makes up your personality, Barack. My personality, however, it's all being the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Champion of the World, Roman Reigns. Didn't ask. All right, we're here. Oh, we're here? Yeah, what the fuck? Look, Donald, I was being sarcastic, but we actually do need to be here. By shutting down the power grid, the White House security cameras won't see us pull up, so they won't be able to see the license plate of the van. You dumbass. The security guards will still be able to see our van and get our license plate, and then they'll track us down. Oh, I have a solution for that. I have two shovels for us in the back of the van. We're gonna dig under the White House and up through the walls. I even have a jackhammer so we can get our way through the foundation. Dwayne, do you think the people there are fucking deaf? They definitely hear us drilling through the floor, not to mention the possibility of the whole building fucking falling down. Some of my buddies are setting up a fireworks show in front of the White House, so that should probably keep the employees there distracted, including Joe and Jill. Since when did you even tell them to do this? I've literally haven't seen you text or call anyone. I have my ways, Donald. Now cover me so no one sees me shutting off the power grid. And by the way, this grid connects to the whole country, so everyone living in the United States won't have any power. Anything to save Melania. Oh, and the kids. Barack, you don't have to do this. Oh, but I will Roman. Spinebuster, hell yeah, wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, Barack, I'm scared of the dark, holy shit, I bet a spider is gonna crawl on me, or maybe the alien invasion is starting. No, no, no. I bet an asteroid is coming towards Earth, and it already knocked out Earth's power. We're all gonna die. Holy to the power of shit, Roman, shut up. All right, Donald, the power grid has been dismantled. We have to get out of here before anyone catches us here. Well, then get your fat ass back into the van. Go look in a mirror, Donald, and then we'll see who is the real fat ass. I don't have any fat. It's all of my muscle and my strong bones. Yeah, whatever. Let's just head to the White House before they fix the power. Wait, doesn't the White House have some backup generator anyway? So everything that we just did was useless? Oh, shit, you're right. Holy fucking shit, Dwayne. You are a real idiot. There's no going back now. Let's just go to the White House. Uh, Barack, are you there? Have the aliens arrived yet? Of course I'm here, you dumbass. And oh, look at that. The lights are back on. I guess the power is fixed. Oh my god, yay, let's go. Now I can hit you with this Superman punch. Ah, oh, shit, no. 
Not so fast, Roman. Don't become too rowdy like Donald after he lost to Joe. Well, Mal, that was pretty funny. He was really begging for that win, wasn't he? Yeah, just how you're going to be begging to win after I hit you with this Yemen pile driver. Yeah, sure. Oh, shit. What in the f- Barack, are you having a fucking stroke right now? f Now, Barack, you need me to call 911? Is Michael, I mean Michelle, there to call them? Tamada ni luo matongzini biaozi. Oh, are you seriously speaking another language? Are you speaking fucking Chinese? Nah, bro, there isn't any hope for you anymore. I'll have Michael plan your funeral. Rest in peace, Barack. I'm out of here. No, Roman, don't go. I'm back better than ever. I've turned from Barack Obama to a demon. Oh my god, please don't hurt me, my G. Me and you are best buds. Yes, I'm the dark side of Barack Obama. I'm kind of like Dark Brandon, but worse. I guess the lights going out really did do shit. The Yemen Destroyer. I can already tell that this match will be over. I'm going to hand it back over to Barack Obama. Ah! Uh, I won. Let's go. Good match, Roman. You gave it everything that you had, but it wasn't enough to defeat me. I guess you can say that I'm the tribal chief around here. How the hell did you change personality so quickly? Damn, the lore is insane. Well, I gotta go take Michelle on a date. See you later, Roman. I guess I'll go backstage and go into my locker room and wait for the news to break of Trump and Dwayne being arrested. I just know it's gonna happen. Hey, Donald, I'm looking on social media right now and it seems like Roman fought Barack. Oh, that rotten bitch probably got out of doing this mission with us just so he could answer Barack's open challenge. What an asshole. We don't have to worry about him anymore, though. We're about to arrive at the White House anyway. Let's just stay focused on the mission, and everything will be fine. All right, it looks like we're here, Donald. I'm going to park on the left side of the building, and then we'll hop over the fence when the security isn't looking. Uh, Dwayne, are you sure we won't get caught? Just follow my lead, Donald, and we'll be fine. Phew, we made it over the fence. I even brought our shovels and the jackhammer. Are you ready to save Melania? Oh, and the kids? Yes, I am, Donald, but no, 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 we don't need the shovels or the jackhammer. I have a motherfucking bulldozer. Holy shit, since when did you have a bulldozer? Did the motherfucker just spawn in? What the hell? Since right now, now move out of the way so I can bulldoze this wall. Ah, holy shit, what the hell, Donald? The Big D, Trump, and The Rock have arrived sleepy, Joe. Get the hell out of my house, you bitch. You lost the 2020 election, so you shouldn't even be here. Take this Democratic kick. Ah, uh, shit, Dwayne, I need some help over here. I got you, Big D Trump. Oh my god, Rocky, please, no. Rock bottom, bitch. I don't know where Melania is, but I have the kids. Let's get out of here. Damn, that was a close one, Donald, but did you see Melania in there? Nope. I guess another day without seeing her ass. Jill also wasn't there either, so maybe Jill has her somewhere? Yeah, I bet Jill has her somewhere. Somewhere that's probably not in the White House. Well, at least we saved the kids. Just what do we do with them? I know just what we should do with them, Dwayne. The art of the deal, I like to call it. And what is that? So Donald and Dwayne, you really think you can just bulldoze into the White House and attack me? Your president? It's really hilarious that you think it's okay to do that. Jill, bring out Melania. Since I'm a nice guy, Donald, I'll give you two choices. One, you come out here and fight me for custody of Melania, or you don't come out and I keep Melania all to myself. If you do decide to come out and you somehow win, I'll even drop all of your criminal charges, including the Rock's charges. So what is it gonna be? I'll give you five minutes. Uh, Donald, Joe Biden just called you out. He says he wants you to fight him in a match for custody of Melania. And he said, if you don't show up, you'll never see Melania ever again. What the hell, like right now he wants the match? Yeah, and he said he's only giving you five minutes to show up. Oh, fuck. Let me control the steering wheel. No, Donald, stop. Thank you, Dwayne, for the ride. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, Dwayne, Rock, you in there? Oh, fuck you, Donald. You know what? I'll even raise the stakes. How about me and Donald fight inside hell in a cell? But Donald would probably be too scared to go inside the cell, wouldn't he? Lamau. Joe, can you shut the fuck up? The Big D Trump is here to save Melania and beat your prehistoric ass up. Oh, your fat ass actually showed up. Let's get a referee in here so I can beat your ass senseless. i like to see you try, Joe. Your bones would probably break once they touch my muscles made out of steel. After all, like I said a few days ago, I don't have DNA, I have USA. 
People don't have the genetics that the big D Trump has. However, Joe, I must say that your genetics are pretty good. After all, they've kept you alive from the prehistoric time period when dinosaurs were still alive until now. I'm still wondering how you survived the asteroid, though. You want to hear a secret, you delusional piece yeah, of shit? I didn't survive nor survive the asteroid because I wasn't fucking alive back then, you clown. Stop the cap. What? Did I stutter? I said, stop the cap, you cappering capper. And speaking of stuttering, you sure do have a lot of experience with that. Well, you have a lot of experience with insulin, you diabetic fuck. You bitch, at least I didn't overdose on dementia pills the other day. I was just trying to remember things. One of those being me in your mother's bed last night. My mother died 22 years ago, you dumb fuck. Oh shit, I didn't know. Yeah, sure. Well, now, nice people's elbow, Donnie. Now take this Superman punch. You dumbass, for the third time, that wasn't the people's elbow. And the move you just did wasn't a Superman punch, you idiot. I don't care what the moves are called, Donald. Well, if Donald. you don't know what the moves are called, then don't say anything. Is that too much to understand for your Bitch, fuck you. Rates? I bet you're already developing dementia. The big D Trump cannot develop dementia, as he has the perfect genes. Are you really talking in third person? I can talk in any perspective I want, you dumbass. Because I actually have the mental capability, unlike you, Sleepy Joe. You really think because I'm 60 years old, I mean 80 years old, that I no longer have the mental capability to do normal, everyday things? Yep. And you just proved it to me, Joe. You can't even remember your own age. It's normal for people to forget their age. It's normal for people to forget their own age? Well, Mao, you really are a dumbass, Joe. You become dumber and dumber day by day. How do you like my comeback move, Donald? It's the worst comeback move I've ever seen. I can't even click the reverse buttons in time. Like, what the hell did you hack the game or something? That's a skill issue. You want to know a real issue? You being the president. You can't say how bad my presidency was until my eight-year term ends in 2029. You probably won't be alive to see the year 2029. You'll probably pass away just before or just after you lose the 2024 election to the big D Trump. You bitch. Take this, Joe, my knee made out of titanium. First you say your muscles are made out of steel and now you say your knee is made out of titanium? It's only a thing that the big D Trump has. I basically have an upgrade that no other creature in the universe has. If I wanted to, I could take on an alien. Then you should be able to take Elon Musk on then, right? Well, Mal, you didn't have to do Elon dirty there. What did your ass say, Sleepy Joe? I'm sorry, Elon, please forgive me. You're lucky that I'm forgiving you, Joe. Elon, why are you always listening to our conversations, you creep? What did you call me? Oh, no, I called you a, uh, a sheep. Yeah, a sheep. Ah, shit, Donald, why would you call him a creep and a sheep? You know what, Donald? I love sheeps. Sheeps are one of my favorite animals. Bah, bah, I'm a motherfucking sheep. Uh, okay, can you leave the call now? Yeah, I have to go to the Tesla warehouse anyway. See you guys later. Finally, he left. Holy shit. Oh, my God, why won't this reverse button work? I hacked the game. Holy shit, Dark Brandon is here. Please don't hurt the big D, Trump. Ah, yes, Dark Brandon is here to finally put an end to this match. After this, I'm going to take Melania to my bedroom and... Oh, wait, shit, ah... Uh... Joe is back at it, cheating just like he cheated the 2020 election. You really brought out Dark Brandon to try and bring down my health, but in the end, it didn't do shit to my health. But Donald, you don't understand. After all, I have the best health out of anyone, as I have the best genes with them all being made of USA, not DNA. Will you shut up, man? How dare you tell the big D Trump to shut up? You should be arrested for that. I might take you to court. Speaking of being arrested, once you get out of office, I'll make sure you get arrested for your kidnappings, if you're still alive, of course. Whatever, Donald, I guess until the day you die, you're gonna think that you're better than anyone else. Yep, and I'll be living until I'm at least 200 years old. That's what happens when you have genes made out of gold. I swear you're becoming more and more like a robot. First you have muscles made out of steel, then your knees and probably your bones for that matter are made out of titanium and now your genes are made out of gold. It's just billionaire stuff, Joe, stuff you wouldn't understand. Hey Joe, do you wanna hear a little secret? What's the secret? Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh you bitch, was that really the secret? Haha, uh -huh, yes, I get to have my bitch back. Let's go. Fuck you, Donald. Oh my god, Melania, I missed your breast. I mean, I missed you. Oh my god, Donald, I missed you.
missed your dick. I mean, I missed your face. Hey, Joe, get out of here and go back to your old ass wife, Lil Mao. This isn't over, Donald. Just you wait. Attention, everyone. In a few days, I'll be holding a Royal Rumble match. Whoever wins the Royal Rumble match will be the next person to challenge for my title in episode 10. Also, I would like to touch on the current. Holy shit. Spear, bitch. Roman, what the hell are you doing? You deserve this, Barack, and you know it. Roman, let me out of this guillotine. I can't breathe. You should have gave me that win, but you didn't, you selfish piece of shit. Speak to me, Barack. Speak to me. This whole place is about to be under my rule. Welcome back, guys. Today, different presidents and WWE wrestlers will be competing in a Royal Rumble match. Whoever wins faces me for my titles in the next episode. First, we have Roman Reigns. After I left the Shield and won championship after championship, people hated me. You want to know why, Barack? Because they were jealous of me. And now that I'm the head of the table, the head of the WWE, people like me again? Just like in the Shield? No, 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 not like that, not like that. Whatever, Roman. Do you think you're going to win? Are you being serious, Barack? I know I'm going to win. There is no debate here. Roman, I think you noodled your caboodle and I- The fuck did you just say you noodled your caboodle? What in the frickety fuck does that even mean? Well, it doesn't matter, Roman. Fuck you, and let's bring out the next entrant. Is that what you said to Yemen before you drone strike their ass? You bitch! Ha ha ha! Seth freaking Rollins is in the building, baby. I wanted to pay a little tribute to the shield. Ha ha ha! Holy shit, Seth. Your laughs sound like you're dying or something. Chill out. Sorry, Barack. I can get carried away sometimes. Oh, shit! You bitch, you wore that shield outfit to get into my head, and now you're going to pay for it. Oh, really, Roman? You're going to pay for holding the championships hostage for three years. Oh, fuck you, Seth. You're just some joker that goes around dancing and laughing and just acting like a fucking clown. You always go around holding up your index finger saying, we the ones, we the ones, and acknowledge me shit. One thing I'll acknowledge you for, however, is your joke of a title reign. Your goofy ass is calling my title reign a joke? You want to know a joke, Seth? Your entire career. What have you done ever since the shield ended that was notable? Your marriage? Oh, you sack oh, of shit, don't bring my wife into this. Can you all shut the fuck up? Holy shit. You are a sniffling little suck-up sellout full of suffering succotash, son. Yeah, 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 I know that was not easy to say. The hell was that? Are you having a seizure? Roman, please stop talking. Okay. All right, the next entrant is coming out. For all I care, I hope he eliminates the both of you because you two are annoying as fuck. The Big D Trump has arrived, fuckers. What? You're already calling us fuckers. I'm calling you all fuckers because I hate each and every one of you. Especially you Roman, you dumbass. What the hell did I do, Donald? Was it because I didn't drive you to McDonald's? Why do I day? hate you so much, you're asking? Is this really a question? I hate you because of what you did to me in The Rock. You abandoned us in our mission to save Melania and the kids from sleeping. Kids Boss where? Joe. But you decided to be selfish and answer Barack's open challenge for his titles, you bitch. And to add insult to injury, you fucking lost to Barack. Haha, <laughs> you buffoon. Oh, Mal, that was kind of funny, Trumpy Wumpy. Did this cunt really just call me Trumpy Wumpy? What the fuck? Michael, I mean, Michelle calls you that, so I thought I could do Trump the same. It's a cute nickname, pussy. right? It's not a cute name, you dumb son of a bitch. You take that back or Michelle won't ever make his, I mean, her homemade cinnamon rolls ever again. Okay, okay, I take it back, Barack. Anything for those cinnamon rolls. That's what I thought. Whoever comes out next will have no chance against me. The freakiest of the freakiest, Seth freaking Rollins. The one and only Andrew Tate has arrived. Get ready to be destroyed by my top G presence. Get out of here, Andrew. You only wish you had the presence of the big D Trump. Shut up with your 37 charges. Andrew, I just realized that your head is literally built like a weather radar. Is your head the weather radar in Romania? Oh, so you want to go that route? All right, then what's the difference between Donald Trump and a flying pig? The letter F. Wait. Oh my god, you're calling me a lying pig, you bald ass bitch. Can you two shut the fuck up? Holy shit, all of you in the rumble right now are so annoying. Let's all be honest here. I'm the least annoying one here. <laughs> you dumbass. You say you're the least annoying when your laugh literally sounds like nails on a blackboard. Thanks for the compliment, Donald. I really appreciate it. It wasn't a compliment, you idiot. Trump, you're too sweet, haha. -ha. Fuck you. All right, guys, shut up because the next entrant is coming out.
his name is John C. Holy shit. God damn, that woke me up. Joe, you dumbass, it's not your turn to come out. Go back to sleep. All right, Donnie, good night. Don't call me that, you demented fuck. John, it's honestly impressive that you woke Joe up. Usually the only way to wake him up was someone talking about Wait, kids. Wait, what? Where are the kids? Is there some in the White House? Did Jill invite them over? Does the security service know about this? Hopefully not. Will the media be there? That just proves my hey, point. Hey, John Cena, Joe had recently told me about a little plan he heard you and Donald talked about. You getting under the ring, you attacking the last entrant. So if you go under the ring, you're disqualified. Ah, fuck him eliminated. This isn't the end between us, John. Just you wait, Mr. Peacemaker. What? Johnny, weren't you speaking Chinese when we fought in episode seven? Just try and translate it to English or some shit. Oh yeah, he said that Trump has a tiny dick and that Melania would rather play with his. What the fuck, John? I thought we were friends. Bitch, you're gonna pay for this. I'm such a good liar. Everyone welcome the richest person on this fucking planet to the Royal Rumble match. Elon Musk. Calm down, everyone. I don't have time to sign autographs as I'm going to win this Rumble and beat Barack's ass at WrestleMania. You dumbass. The richest person in the world is Bernard Arnault. Aren't you only worth $140 billion right now? And weren't you valued $321 billion in 2021? A big decrease, not gonna lie. Bitch, you can't be saying only $140 billion when you're only worth $2.5 billion. That makes me 56,000 times richer than you. Oh, shut up, Elon. At least I have a hot-ass wife and have kids that are not named XAEA12. Oh, so now we're bringing my kids into this? Oh my this? god, can you two stop arguing? Every time a new entrant comes out, Donald always comes up with a way to argue with them. What can I say, Barack? It's a thing only Donald the Great can do. Trump just has to find a way to stay relevant. Everyone almost forgot about you, Andrew, before you posted everywhere about some stupid emergency meeting, which ended up being dog shit. Holy shit, everyone just shut the fuck up. Does that include me, Barack? Roman, you can shut up because the great one, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, told you so. You can't tell your tribal chief what to do, Dwayne. Go back to making your crappy movies. After I win this rumble and beat Mr. Yemen Destroyer for Trump the titles at Stunner WrestleMania, was... I'm gonna hold the championships hostage while earning millions making movies. Similar to what you already do, Roman. You think you're this big movie star and rich guy when I'm the richest person in this rumble? I'm richer than you too, ha ha ha! I couldn't give a less of a fuck about both of your net worths. Oh, but you're lying! I'm not lying, you dumbass. I'd rather make movies than go to court for 37 charges. Stop lying, you cappering capperino capper cap capper. What did you say? Joe, can you grab the gun? It's in the safe. The passcode is 69420. Now come on, Barack, don't think no, that I'm way. Eliminated. I know everyone in the Rumble are annoying douchebags. But my real question is, why is the passcode 69420? Don't ask. But here comes the next entrant. The wise man himself, Paul Heyman, is here to kick some ass. What's up, Paul? I didn't know you would be coming out here. Together, we'll eliminate everyone in this Rumble until we're the last one standing. Then I'll just have you eliminate me, and then you'll be on your way to WrestleMania. You talk so slow, you fucking sloth. I love you, Paul. No homo, though. It would have been weird if you had a crush on your fucking manager. Employees at SpaceX have huge crushes on me, Barack. I do not care. Goodbye, my tribal chief. Holy shit. What the fuck, Paul? I'm your boss, your tribal chief. You dare your fat ass do this to me? I did what had to be done. And now that you're gone, I finally have the chance to win some championship gold. You know what? You're fired. Oh, I don't give a damn that I'm fired, Roman. I'm already a lot happier on my own without you telling me what to do. You have me tearing up, Paul. How, how could you do this to me? Go cry somewhere else. Are you guys just not going to acknowledge the fact that I was eliminated? The top G, the greatest of this generation, the alpha male, eliminated? Like what in the fuck? Let me talk to you. Hey, Mr. Tate, I can guarantee you that no one gives a flying fuckaroo fuck about you being eliminated, and that is not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah! I wish The Rock was still in this match so I could go right up into his fat ass face and give him a little lesson on who is the real megastar. And do you know who that is? With everybody saying... Yeah! Well, I have people every day chanting Trump 2024. 
and you don't get those chants, do you, Mr. Knight? Oh, I forgot, because you're not running for president, you clown. If the rock and stone cold Steve Austin had a baby, Shit, I'm eliminated. you'd be the fucking baby. You're just a cheap sellout wannabe of the rock. Where's the baby? Shut up, Joe. At least I don't have 37 fucking charges and could face over 100 years in jail. And you think because of all of those charges, you still have a chance to beat Joe in 2024? Yeah, you're the clown here, buddy. Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't care that I was eliminated, Donald, because I know Joe Biden will finish you off. You have it right, Megastar Knight. Donald is going down, and that includes John Cena and Paul Heyman. You really think sleepy child predator Joe you say? will eliminate me from this Royal Rumble match? Hell no. Well, Mao, he threw you under the bus there, Joe. I hate you guys. You delusions always do me dirty, but today I finally get my revenge. Oh, so you want to speak Chinese? All right, bet. I don't understand Chinese, so please speak English for God's sake. Oh my God, now we have the Chinese president Xi Jinping in here. Holy to all of the sheep that go baba, it's my boy Xi Jinjin, oh Jin Jin Jinping. Long time no see, my friend. Did someone say a little something about my favorite animal? Sheeps? Baba, I'm a motherfucking sheep and I'm going to fuck John Cena's mother. I can't do this anymore. Oh shit, I'm eliminated. Betraying Roman Reigns was for nothing, I guess. Don't think this is over between us, Paul. I'll never forgive you for what you did. As I'll never forget Barack for his Yemen drone strikes. Roman, get your Aquaman looking ass out of here and stop disrespecting elders like Paul. I can't tell if that was a compliment or not. It wasn't one. No, I'm eliminated. Please let me back in. No. Get out of here, Joe. You're eliminated. Want me to spell it out for you? Fine, Barack, you dickhead. Your presidency sucked anyway. You say that when you were literally the vice president. He does have a point, though. I just can't win with you two. All right, it's just me and John Cena left. I thought we were friends, John. But when you harassed by Dick earlier, our friendship fell flat. Flatter than the earth. Did you wait, Juni Jagabendan? What did he say, Barack? He says that he agrees with you. I don't agree with you. Anyone with a fucking brain knows that the earth is round. Oh, so now you speak English now that we're talking about the earth being flat, which is still true. You confuse me, John. You really do. You dumbass. Barack, you can't be calling me a dumbass when you literally drone striked villages. Do you remember eliminating John Cena or is Joe's dementia rubbing on you? Oh shit, I really won. Let's go. Get out of here, John. Oh my God, in the next episode, releasing sometime within your lifetime, I'll defend the undisputed universal title and the million dollar title against Donald Trump in whatever match y'all want us to fight in. Just vote on the channel's community tab or leave a comment on what match we should be in. All right, sounds good, Barack. But it doesn't matter what match we fight in because I'll still beat your ass, you know. Holy shit, Donald, I'm out of this bitch. Don't call me that ever again, you Oompa Loompa. What did your grape juice drinking, Yemen drone striking, Manchel dick sucking ass call me? Speak fucking English. But I don't want to speak English. You just spoke English. Oh. This is why Nikki Bella left you. He needs some milk. Hello, kids. Welcome back to another WWE 2K23 video. Joe, do you really think little girls are watching this video? Are you going to try and sniff them through their screen? That's not a bad idea. Joe, are you really this stupid? Oh, my God. But here comes the next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Today in our main event, Barack Obama will defend his titles against his husband, Michael, in an extreme rules match. Joe, you dumbass, that's not the match tonight, and that'll never be a match. As I don't have a husband, I have a wife, and her name is Michelle. No shit, Barack. We all know her name is Michelle. Then why did you just say that she's a man? Wait, what? When did I say that? Jesus Christ, your dementia is so bad. But here comes the big D Trump. Look at all of his beefy, juicy, tender, crispy muscles. His physique is something everyone dreams about besides Joe, because all he dreams about is daycares. That was supposed to be kept a secret. Donald, you're going to get this video taken down. You literally came out here showing your gluteus maximus. That thing is literally hanging out. I'm surprised your trunks haven't ripped yet. If they do rip, we're going to be in big trouble. But come no on, shit. Barack. All of the women love me. This is going to boost the ratings, and you know it. All you care about is ratings and money. Who wouldn't care? It's a smart business strategy, Barack. Smarter than drone striking the Middle East just because of your obsession with oil.
Fuck you, Donald. When this match starts, I'm going to squeeze you. The hell are you saying, Barack? That's what I do to children. I'm going to squeeze you into orange juice because you're literally a fat, ugly orange. No, nah, that's too far, man. You can't talk to Trumpy like Bitch, that. Bitch, don't call me Trumpy. You say I went too far when you guys literally make jokes about my drone strikes and my wife being a man. Oh, those weren't jokes. We were just speaking common sense. Shut up before I run you over with my motorcycle, bitch. Is that a threat? Oh shit, I gotta protect the children. I wasn't actually being serious. If anything, I'd run myself over to get away from you two. Don't think like that, Barack. You have your husband to take care of and your adopted children. Fuck you, Donald. You were spitting some facts there. Joe, you're supposed to be on my side. Did you forget to take your dementia pills this morning? Oh yeah, I did. I just took two times the amount that I'm supposed to take. So you're overdosing on dementia pills now? Holy I shit. I remember saying that you had at most four years left in you, but now you probably have less than four months. Bitch, I'm going to live until I'm 76. You dumbass, you're literally 80. How can you turn 76 if you're 80 years old? Doesn't 76 come after 80? Oh my God, someone get this guy into a nursing home. Hell, just put him to sleep already, if you know what I mean. Donald, you're not going to live until 76, unlike Uncle Bidenator. Take the L, you pig. I'm 77 years old, Joe. You're literally senile. As if we couldn't tell already. You wish you were senile just like me. When would anyone want to be a senile fuck like you, Joe? Who goes around and says, oh, I want to be just like Joe. I want to be a senile pedophile. Ain't no way you said that. Shut up, Donald. In this scenario, you're the Joker while I'm Batman. I'm a superhero bitch and you're going down. Joe, me and Donald are literally in a match right now and you're just a commentator. You're no superhero. You're more like a super whore. The fuck did you just call oh me? Oh my God, everyone calm the hell down. Let's just focus on the match, the match that I'm going to win. You're not going to win this match. I have the best finisher in all of wrestling, the Trump cold stunner. You have it all wrong. The best finisher is the one and only Yemen destroyer. How is it better than the Trump cold stunner? To be fair, the move is based on the Yemen drone strikes, so, you know, you kind of have to take it seriously. After all, yours is just a knockoff version of the stone cold stunner. He got you there, Donald. Joe, what even is your finisher? Oh, uh, I don't think I have one. How do you not have a finisher? God, please help this man. I'm sorry, Barack, but I can't help Joe. It's too late for him now. Andrew, when I said God, please help this man, I wasn't referring to you as God. Wait, what? You don't think I'm the God of this world, the God of the universe? I'm the greatest of the greatest, the alpha male, and most importantly, the top G. Honestly, Andrew, I don't give a fuck about you, so get out of here. How does he even get into the Discord call all of the time? I bet that Elon Musk invites him. Doesn't he still own Discord? Yep, and I bet he's listening to our conversation right now like he always does. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name-o. B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name-o. What? I was singing the Bingo song because you were right. I'm always listening to your conversations and then sending everything you're saying to the FBI. Now, come on, Elon, you know Donald is dealing with some stuff with the FBI right now. You know, with the documents, the tax fraud and whatnot. I really couldn't care less, Joe. I'm going to send this recording to the FBI right now. Barack, drone strike his ass. This is what you get, Elon. Wait, stop. Oh, shit, where did my dick go? Did the drones not kill him, but instead rip his dick right off his body? His wife is going to leave him soon. That's true, Joe. That's very true. I know if I didn't have a dick, my husband, I mean my wife, would leave and take the kids with her. If I didn't have a dick, Melania would still stay with me because she is the most loyal wife in the world. There is no one else like her. She is literally an angel sent straight from heaven. She wouldn't leave you because you probably pay her to stay with you. Let's be real. No women would ever want you if it weren't for your money. And you know it's true, Trump. Do any of you smell that? Hey, Barack, can your colored nose hairs sense that smell? It smells like jealousy. Do you really think I'm jealous of you? What are you on right now? I'm on the white powder stuff, Joe. I want some of Trump, that. can you please keep that shit to yourself? All right, now that we're all quiet, we can finally start focusing on this last man standing match without Andrew or Elon or us talking about each other's dicks. Wait, why were we talking about dicks again? I forgot accidentally. Don't worry about it, Joe. How can you forget something accidentally? It's normal to forget things accidentally. Joe, you concern me. You really do. What's up, guys? Ah, demon. What in the frickity fuck is this? Who the fuck are you, bitch? Wait, are you Roman Reigns? Yeah, it's your tribal chief here. I just bought a new microphone today. Does it sound good? I mean, it does sound at least a little better than your last two microphones. It does sound like you're some predator, though. 
some Joe Biden doppelganger or some shit. Bitch. Oh, that's good to know. Well, I'm just going to stay here and watch this match. Barack is getting beat up right now. I've literally been beating the hell out of Donald this whole match. I've even hit a spine buster on him. Trump, you haven't even hit a signature on me. That's because I'm saving everything up for the greatest move of all time, the Trump cold stunner. Nah, fam, you got it all wrong. The greatest move of all time is the spear. It's the greatest because it originates from the greatest of all time, Roman Reigns. Ain't no way you're talking in third person. That's literally what you do, Donald. Liar. Why are you calling me a liar? You talk in third person in almost every episode. Liar, liar, pants on fire. My pants are not on fire, you dumbass. Yeah, Donald, Joe's pants are not on fire. If they were, we'd probably hear the White House fire alarm in the background. You guys are so stupid, I swear. Calm down, everyone, as I'm beating the hell out of Mr. Big Mac. Was calling me Mr. Big Mac supposed to offend me? It's actually a compliment, Barack. I spend most of my day in my local McDonald's than I do at Mar-a-Lago. Do you really think we're going to congratulate you for that? Spending more time at some fucking fast food restaurant than you do with your wife? And don't you have a kid? Oh, don't worry about my little boy, Baron. We've shipped him away to Mexico. What the He's hell? He's gonna eat all of the tacos. Take this Yemen driver, fat ass. And Joe, did you really just say that he's going to eat all of the tacos? Donald literally deported his child to a foreign country and you think about tacos? My God, Joe, no wonder Hunter Biden is the way he is. To be fair, at least Hunter isn't married to a man like you. Bitch, you were my vice president for eight years and you're still convinced that she's a man? Oh no, Barack, she's a woman. When did I say that? Oh my God, not even overdosing on dementia pills can't get you to remember things. Well, Barack, one thing I just remembered is the hack client I installed this morning. Trump cold stunner pussy. You didn't even have a finisher. Holy fucking shit, who is this? Is this one of your chocolate friends, Barack? Come at me, bitch. Did your fat ass really just say chocolate friends? Oh, uh, what the fuck? He put your ass down, Donald. That was funny. Oh, shut up, Roman. You're the reason God created the middle finger. Bitch. Well, I'm going to be the reason why you end up in a Yemen hospital. I won't be in a Yemen hospital because you blew all of those motherfuckers up. If you're the light at the end of the tunnel when I die, I'll just turn back around. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. You're not a part of this. Damn. Imagine having to hack the game and cheat. Couldn't be me. Well, now that I think about it, that's actually what I do in every single one of my matches. Yemen Destroyer. Oh, fuck this shit. I'm not playing this game ever again. Oh, shit. You woke me up. Joe, you were literally awake less than 10 seconds ago. How were you asleep? No clue, Barack. Though I was beginning to have a dream about going to a daycare. Oh, my God. I arrived at the daycare and everyone greeted me, shook my hand, and then all of the kids ran up to me and hugged me. We first played tag and ran around the daycare. We then took a break and ate some lunch. After that, we played a game of hide and seek. I was the seeker and caught everyone in under 10 minutes. When I caught a kid, I brought them outside to my van and then locked them up in the back of the van. After I caught everyone, I drove off with the kids in the van and then drove off of a cliff. All of the kids died. But you know Uncle Bidenator is still alive, baby. Well, at least it was just a dream. Oh, what I just told you actually happened. You're the president, Holy right? Holy shit, Barack, stop trying to change the fucking subject. You hired some hitman to cost me the match. I was about to beat you and send you all the way back to slavery. Oh my God. It's not that deep, Donald. Not as deep as I was in your wife last night. Oh shit, I don't want you to fuck my wife, so I'm gonna get out of here. Good choice, Roman. Why are you speaking Chinese? Did the mental hospital test too many drugs on you today? Yep, and they'll be doing you even know what? more tomorrow. I don't even give a crap about you, Sleepy Joe. Go back to sleep. All right, good night, Don. All I want to know is who is the chocolate man under the mask? Bitch, stop calling him a chocolate man. It's just the truth. All righty then, reveal yourself to the world. What's up, gang? It's me, KSI. Oh my fucking God, it was your chocolate ass the whole time? Yep, it was me all along, Donald. Mr. Barack Hussein Obama II hired me to beat up your fat ass. Oh, you won't get away with this. And I know just the way to stop you. Hello, can you hear me? I'm here, Donald. What do you need? All right, Jake Paul, I need your help. Meet me at Mar-a-Lago tomorrow. We have some business to discuss. I'll be teaming up with the one and only Jake Paul to take on the chocolate buddies of Barack Obama and KSI in a tornado tag team match. 
If you didn't watch the last episode, KSI screwed me over in my match against Barack. Imagine having to cheat. It's kind of reminding me of the 2020 election. Stop being a sore loser, Trump. Our match was a last man standing match, meaning there was no rules. KSI coming out was completely legal. You should have had someone on your side if you wanted to avoid my homie KSI coming out. Oh, shut your manchel dick sucking ass up and go drone strike some more Yemen elementary schools for your mental health because that's the only thing that helps you in your midlife crisis. Bitch, I'm not going through a midlife crisis. At least I don't have my hotels being demolished. Settle down, Barack. We'll teach them a lesson once we win this match. KSI, you dumbass. You and Mr. Yemen Destroyer won't win this match. With my boxing background and Donald Trump's Trump cold stunner, you two will be put to sleep. Speaking of boxing, didn't you lose to Tommy Fury, ruining your undefeated streak? That's something I can't relate to Jake because I actually win my fights. How about you prove it then in this wrestling match, and then we'll see who really is the best. I don't need to prove shit as I'm already the best. Just look at what I am wearing. I have the best fit out of anyone here. The red jacket, the face covering, it's unmatched. You're such a dumbass KSI. I'm just going to skip your and Barack's stupid entrance so you can see who really has the best fit in the WWE, and his name is Donald J. Trump. Holy fucking shit, what in the hell is this? Trump, if you want to keep showing your ass, then just make an OnlyFans. I must be one step ahead of you because I actually already made an OnlyFans. Only $10,000 a month for a subscription. $10,000 a month? What in the frickety fuck? When you have the body of the Big D Trump, you have to raise the prices. It's the art of the deal, KSI. Donald, your OnlyFans is making me have a boner right now, and I'm loving it. I'm glad to hear it, Jake. Really puts a smile on my face, knowing that you're enjoying my pictures and videos on there. I'll soon have a video with Melania where Donald, we... I'm going to stop you right there, because no one here wants to know about your OnlyFans. No one is interested besides Mr. Pervert over there. And how about we start this little African-American ass kicking early? I'm liking the way you're thinking, Jake. Did you really just say, how about we start this little African-American ass kicking early? And I'm not even bloody American. Not the last time I checked. I'm going to turn you American after I beat your ass. Yeah, sure, little Jake. He keeps singing, it's everyday bro, you dipshit. Wait, you're British? I've always thought you were Australian. How the hell could you not decipher the difference between someone who's British and someone who's Australian? You are almost as senile as Joe Biden, for goodness sake. I've always hated those Britons. They may very well be the worst people on this planet. Even worse than prehistorical artifact Joe and crooked Hillary. And why is that? I hate British people because me and Melania once got robbed there. And do you want to know who robbed us? The fucking Queen of England? Like, what the fuck? I hope that bitch is rotting in hell now, stealing my lucky penny. Like, what the hell, man? That one penny must have had a special place in your dark heart. Of course it holds a special place in my heart, Barack. I stole it from some homeless man off of the streets. Oh my god, you're literally a billionaire? And you steal a penny from a homeless man? That was probably the only currency he had, Donald. He had it coming for him anyway. He was literally in the United fucking Kingdom, holding up a Biden 2020 sign. I bet Joe hired him to do that. Oh, that sleepy piece of shit. You are one sick man, Donald. Wait, 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 what? You're calling me a sick man? You have it all twisted, Barack, because the only sick man here is you. Just look at Yemen. Holy to the hell of all of the shits. When will you ever shut up about Yemen, you gas bag? Oh, you idiot. After me and Jake Paul win this match with you wimps, we're going to start a fundraiser to help support the country you turned into anarchy. It's quite sickening, honestly. We basically have a murderer in this call that killed thousands, even thousands of young, innocent children. Did you just say, children? Oh, no, oh, no, he's going to come now. Shit, shit, fuck me. I need them. I need them. I want them. I want them now. I need the children. Oh, my fucking God, Joe, get out of here and take your stupid obsession with kids with you. I need children. I need children. I need children right now. I need them in my life. Children. Somebody get this bitch ass out of here. The pervert here is not me, it's Joe fucking Biden. All right, I banned him. We should be good now. Yeah, roll out of the ring, KSI. We all know you fear the big D, Trump. I'm not afraid of your fat ass. How about you take this combo I'm giving you right now and shove it up your ass? Oh, fuck you, KSI, you bitch. Jake Paul, I need some backup. Uh, Jake Paul, I'm down here, you dumbass. The fuck is this man doing? Take this spine buster from Yemen, you simp. Oh, I'm sorry, my president. I was busy looking at your OnlyFans page again. I can't resist the urge to look. Everything on there is so damn sexy. 
Oh my fucking god. Jake, you dumb son of a bitch. Stop looking at my OnlyFans and start beating Barack's ass. I'm so sorry, Daddy Trump. You're screwed, Jake. This Yemen destroyer is about to finish you off. Yeah, I think it's over for us, Jake. KSI has me stuck by the barricade. And nah, this is hilarious. Trump and Paul in defeat. I love it. Yemen destroyer. Oh no! Oh my fucking god, what? let's Ow. go! We're gonna win this thing for America. Barack, how did you let Jake kick out? That was our best shot at winning this whole match. KSI, there's nothing to worry about, because it'll only take one last spinebuster to put this guy away. Oh, you wish it was going to be that easy, Barack. I could easily knock you and KSI out with my eyes closed. I'd like to see you try. Since we're on the topic, one thing I'd like to see you try, Barack, is to not blame 9-11 for you invading the Middle East. Shut the frickety fuckity up for the love of God. What's up, guys? Oh my fucking God, get out of here, Roman. No one invited you here. I actually invited him here because he is my favorite WWE superstar, so deal with it. I will deal with it, you bitch. If it wasn't for me, none of you right now would even be wrestling here in the WWE, so you're welcome. You idiot, I was in the WWE long before your dumb ass was. What sound does an owl make? Who? Asked. Asshole. We're all finally back in the ring. I can sense the end of the match being near. Both Jake and Donald's health are low. Yeah, no fucking shit. But even with our low health, we're still gonna win. Barack, after me and the big D Trump win, we're gonna send you back to Kenya where you belong. Bitch, I was born in Hawaii, not Kenya. Kenya suck my dick, Barack. That was so unfunny, holy shit. God help us. Trump, I thought that joke was very funny. Your humor is immeasurable. Rock bottom sucker. Hey, that's my move. Get out of here, Rocky. Jay, kick out, kick out. No, what in the flying fuck, holy shit, you fucking bitch. Let's go KSI, we won. I'm gonna launch a drone strike at a Yemen elementary school in celebration. Of course you would do that. That was so easy. Donald Trump's 2024 presidential campaign is officially in the trash. Now that we're past this feud, I wonder who will challenge for my title next. Maybe in the next episode, I'll set up an open challenge or something. You're on quite a big undefeated streak, Barack. I bet it will continue too. Well, you won't be having that open challenge now, you dumbasses. What in the dry pussy is going on? What the hell, Jake and Donald? You really thought you could just rig the match and get away with it? Fucking idiot. You sore losers, oh my god. Get out of the ring, Mr. Yemen Destroyer. Donald, your fat ass is going to regret this. The Big D Trump is unstoppable, KSI. Oh wait, shit. And just what I said happened. Jake, what in the hell are you doing? Oh, just making room for when I put you through this table. KSI, you're next. What? Ah, shit, no! KSI, avenge me and beat Jake's ass. You got it, boss. Oh, KSI, you need a little ass spanking right now. The only one here who needs an ass spanking is you, Jake. Now square up, bitch. You're gonna wish that you didn't rig this Everyone, match. everyone, calm down. We can work this out, can't we? Work this out as adults? Logan, I can tell you for certain that I'm the adult here. Your brother over there, well, he is just a sack of shit. Are you kidding me right now, KSI? You clown of the clowns. KSI and Jake, enough. Well, now that you're here, and now that me and Jake are here, you can finally make your choice. Are you with me, the person that helped you make millions and millions of dollars? Or your own blood, the choice is yours, my brother. Logan, what are you doing? Wait, what? I'm sorry, KSI, but this has to be done. I'll always be better than you. You stupid Paul brothers. Trump cold stunner pussy. You never mess with my homies, the Paul brothers. You have that right, Trump. We're soon going to be the greatest faction of all time, bigger than the bloodline, evolution, and even the NWO. Hey, you orange freak, we want another match with you three. All right, fine, Barack. You can have another match with us. You two just have to find another partner. Until then, me and the boys are going to go party. But not here in this crappy country of the United Kingdom. We're going to fly to China. Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> Actually, let's just go to Russia. Welcome back, guys. In this video, we will be holding qualifying matches. 
Whoever wins these matches will be in the Money in the Bank ladder match next episode. Our first match starts right now with Donald Trump taking on the person he fears most, KSI. You're one dumb son of a bitch because the big D Trump doesn't fear KSI. It's actually the other way around. His boxing record says it for itself. Dumbass, I have five wins and no losses. You call that a bad boxing record? Your record might be the worst. What do you mean? I haven't even fought in a boxing match before. Bro has been living under a rock over here. Oh no, I'm not talking about your boxing record. I'm talking about your election winning record. You really have to work on that, Donald. You motherfucker. And why in the hell was my entrance cut off short? This is some of the biggest bullshit I've seen since the 2020 election. Donald, don't you realize that we have five other matches after this to go through? We can't really waste any time with entrances. Five other matches? Does it really look like I give a fuckaroo fuck about those other matches? I don't. That's your answer, Barack. Everyone only came to see the Big D Trumps match. Whatever. It also looks like most people think you're going to win, which is surprising, honestly. How is this surprising, Barack? It's obvious that I'm going to win, and not some clown from the pathetic country of the UK. You're actually winning in polls for once. I never thought I would see the day. Bitch! Let's just start this match so I can beat your fat ass and send you all the way to Mexico. Actually, you won't kick my ass all the way into Mexico because I built my sexy ass wall there. You're so fat that you'd probably knock the whole damn wall down if someone were to push you into it. Oh my it. fucking god, can you two shut the hell up? Jesus Christ, let's just start this match already. Good idea, Barack. The sooner I kick Donald's ass, the better. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Oh, okay, shit, already. Oh, you stupid fucking ropes. Fuck rope breaks, fuck. Is someone a little mad about the rope break? Ha 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 ha. Shut your dumb ass up, KSI, and get out of my ring. Chill out, Trumpy. KSI is a nice guy. You don't have to do him like this. Besides, if you actually do win this match and then win the money in the bank match, your fat ass wouldn't even be able to run out to the ring to cash in on me, you fucking McDonald's freak shit. Just because I eat a McDonald's Big Mac with honey mustard with two large fries and a quarter pounder deluxe with a Mac chicken topped with a McCrispy with some ketchup and finally five filet -O fishes every day doesn't mean I can't do physical activities. That was a lot of junk food you listed off there. Yeah, no fucking shit. I need all of this food to stay healthy. You are the definition of stupidity. When you look up stupidity on the internet, your face literally pops up. I just looked up on Google the definition of stupidity, and the only thing that showed up was a fossil. I guess that makes sense. Fossils can't do anything. They just sit there in the ground waiting for archaeologists to find it, only to be put into a museum with hundreds of people looking at you. It must suck, honestly. I think this fossil belongs in a nursing home rather than a museum. Why would a dinosaur fossil be put inside you of a nursing home? You thought that rock bottom would put the big D Trump away? Think again, KSI. And to answer your question, the museum would literally go out of business if they were to put this fossil inside of there. They'd have everyone run out of the building once they'd see it, especially the kids. God, you'd be getting amber alerts on your phone every hour if he were in that museum. Like, holy shittery shit roo shit. Wait, what, what did this fossil ever do? Am I missing something here? He's just making fun of my homie Joe Biden. How can you not make fun of that fool? Joe Biden was probably the inspiration for The Walking Dead and you can't convince me otherwise. You make fun of him while your fat ass is sitting on your $1 million couch playing WWE 2K23. Do you even touch grass? Do you play any sports? I mean, I do play golf once in a while with Melania. Good cardio, I must say. Very good cardio, actually. Gets my heart pumping, you know? Golf? Did you seriously say golf? Holy shit, golf shouldn't even be a sport. It might be the worst sport out there. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Bitch, you cut me off. I don't care, Barack, as I'm about to win. Wait, what the fuck? How did you kick out, you British bitch? You dumbass, I had resiliency, so obviously I would use it to help me kick out. Why did you use your resiliency? What do you mean by why did I use it? Are you a retard? Oh wait, we already know you are, you orange piece of shit. You could have gave me the win. Why would I give you the win? To put it simply, I lost the 2020 election, as you know, due to votes spawning in multiple states such as Georgia, Arizona, you name it. So I kind of need some more wins on my board. I live in England. I don't give a fuck that you lost the 2020 election. I'm about to win this match and then win money in the bank. Melania might even ditch you for me. Go get my wife's name out of your Hershey chocolate mouth before I make Barack drone strike your house. I wouldn't drone strike KSI's house. He my dog, we homies, yo. Boom, bang, bop, bing, doggy, woof, woof, boom. 
ding dong fuck was that? Barack, we homies and all, but that was cringe as hell. Jesus Christ, someone help this man. I thought that's what the cool kids say nowadays. At least that's what Michael, I mean Michelle, told me. My cousins that reside in the hood might say boom bang bop or whatever, but not kids from outside the danger zone of the hood. Barack must know a lot about the hood. After all, he was born in Kenya. How many times do I have to tell you that I wasn't born in Kenya? At least you weren't born in Yemen, right? Fuck you. And KSI, I saw what you did earlier with that rock bottom. Luckily, the big D Trump managed to kick out due to his pro skills at this game. My skills are unmatched. You know the only reason I didn't win the match there because you had resiliency. And don't try to act dumb because me and Barack both saw you use your resiliency. Nah, you're just mad that I kicked out you bitch boy. Bro out here trying to act tough to the big D Trump. Whatever Trump, think what you want to think because I don't give a shit, fucking piece of senile trash. Trump cold stunner pussy. Wait, what the hell? How did your dumbass reverse the prime that knockout. You to the mother of God this game is rigged? Did Joe Biden make this game? You won't be president again after this one, Donald. See you down the road. Uh, what in the fuck? How did you beat me with a move called the prime knockout? Nah, fam, this is rigged. You Democrats always do the big D Trump dirty. And don't you worry, KSI, our beef isn't over just yet. Yeah, sure, Donnie. Keep crying that I'm about to be Mr. Money in the Bank. Well, now it looks like KSI is the first competitor in our Money in the Bank match next episode. Up next, however, is quite an even match with Jake Paul taking on the top G and alpha male Andrew Tate. Andrew paid me to say those things, by the way. Now let's head over to that match to see who wins. My boxing record is way better than your record, Andrew. I'm literally unmatched. The best in the league, perhaps. Fist boxing and kickboxing are two different things, Jake. Is that too much for your little brain to understand? Fist boxing and kickboxing are the same thing. Are you stupid or something? You're just so stupid. There are literally no words in the English language to describe how stupid you are. Did you really not know that kickboxing and fist boxing are two different things? One starts with kick, and the other starts with fist. Two different limbs, Jake. Two different fucking limbs. Uh, is everything good in here? Jake is just being a dumbass. I'm not really surprised, though. It's either Trump rubbing off some of his stupidity on Jake, or it's Jake just being stupid, because he is pretty stupid. Are you really calling me stupid when you had to have KSI help you win against Donald in episode 10? That shows how weak you are, Barack. Speaking of that dumbass, where is he? I bet he lost to the Lord and Savior, Donald J. Trump. First of all, stop talking so fast like you're on drugs. How did you know? And second of all, KSI beat Trump's ass. And he is the first competitor in the money in the bank match. Fake news, bitch. Get your goofy ass out of here, Donald. Ain't no one want you here, you sore fucking loser. You and KSI will live to regret this. Bro out here acting like Darman with that, you will live to regret it, shit. And did you guys see that top G punch? Are you I just seriously still calling it the top G punch? That may very well be the worst name for a wrestling move to ever exist. Yep, I really am calling it that, so get used to it, Barry. Did you really just call me Barry? Oh, you don't like it when I call you by your real name, do you? Did you change your name from Barry to Barack just because the name Barry sounded too American? Oh, fuck you, Andrew. Don't be crying to me when you're locked up in that Romania prison. And speaking about what I said earlier about Darman, him and Trump have one thing in common. They don't pay for things. With Darman, he doesn't pay his actors like they're fucking slaves or something. But with Trump, he doesn't pay his taxes. Andrew, you piece of shit. How about you mind your own damn business for once in your life? I'm afraid that I can't do that, Trump. However, something that I can do is put this sick son of a bitch Jake Paul to sleep with this one last top G punch. Sweet dreams, Jake. Come on, Jake, kick out. Count faster, you cunt. And just like that, yours truly, Andrew Tate, is off to money in the bank to win the top G briefcase. See you soon, Obama. This is so rigged. Rigged, 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 motherfucking rigged. How did Jake lose to Andrew? Andrew is literally built like a twig. But whatever. Hopefully Logan Paul can beat Sleepy Joe and get added into the match. Speaking of the Logan Paul versus Joe Biden match, it's actually up next. So let's head over to it right now to see who wins. Let's fucking go, Uncle Bidenator wins. Logan was no match for me. I did it for all of the children in the audience. What the hell? The match is already over? I just got into the Discord call like what in the Yemen? Logan, what in the hell happened, you dead body filmer? You had such an easy shot at winning like, oh my god, oh god, you ruined literally everything, you crypto scamming scumbag. I'm so sorry, Big D Trump. Biden is just too strong, man. His love for children really helps him, I think. 
I guess now our competitors in the match are KSI, Andrew Tate, and Joe Biden. But now let's find out who the next competitor will be with the next match being John Cena versus fan favorite L.A. Knight. I hate that L.A. Knight, a ripoff of the rocket stone cold Steve Austin, if you ask me. Shut up, Joe Biden, and go eat your 69th ice cream cone of the day. Oh, shit. Thanks for reminding me, Donald. I almost forgot. That doesn't surprise me. How do you like that running crossbody L.A. Knight? It's something that you could never do, to be quite honest. I'll have to admit, John, that running crossbody was good, but not as good as this BFT. You really think you can put someone like me, a 16-time world champion, away? Not like that L.A. Knight. It'll take more than one BFT to put me away. You got this, John Cena. I believe in you. If you win, I'll give you a free tour of the White House on July 32nd. Joe, you dumbass. July 32nd isn't a day. Maybe it was 2,000 years ago when you were in your midlife crisis, but not anymore. Did you really not know that July 32nd was a day? Damn, and you make fun of me because of my Dementa, you ignorant piece of shit. Jesus Christ, Joe, the day you die will be the happiest day of my life. You on this planet is probably delaying human evolution. Donald, do you seriously have to diss Biden every time he is in the call? Speaking of which, why are you even still in the Discord call? The only people who should be here are me, the people wrestling, and our actual winners, not our sore losers like you, Trump. Speaking of winners, where is KSI? I don't know where that monkey is and why would I even give a fuck anyway? He is just as bad as Sleepy Joe. Bitch, I'm literally right here. Just me casually flexing over John Cena, something only the megastar LA Knight can do. Also, Joe Biden, I heard what you said about me earlier, and just because of that, I'm gonna end John Cena's entire career. No, John Cena, no, well, please don't let La Knight end your career. No, well, God, please, no, oh. Don't worry, Joe. That Stone Cold Steve Austin doppelganger ain't gonna end my career. I might end his instead. Oh, no, John, you have it all wrong. I am actually gonna end your career. Oh, shit, fuck me. You wish. Your wife gives you no pussy anyway, so why not have some meat in your mouth? It's good to experiment, you know? I had my uncle that came over and we- Holy fucking shit, I muted his dumb ass. Thank God we didn't hear what happened with him and his uncle. He probably just had gay intercourse with his uncle. It shouldn't be unfamiliar with you since you spend most of your day with your husband anyway. Bitch! How are you pussies doing? Fine day, isn't it? As my day couldn't get any fucking worse. Elon, what do you want? Your match hasn't even started yet. I'm here because I noticed that you dumbasses muted my homie L.A. Knight, so I'm here to unmute him. Damn, you're literally ruining every social media website, El Mao. Shut up, bitch. And after that, we cleaned up the mess we made, and he was on his way back to his house. Ever since then, I felt like a new person. But that's really it, I'm afraid. Does anyone have any questions on that fun night I had with my uncle? Anyone? Well, anyway, what are the strategies you two have to try and win the match? All I have to do is hit that punk with an attitude adjustment, and then I'll be off to money in the bank. It's as simple as that, Barack. Ain't no attitude adjustment will defeat me. You have to be crazy to think that. All I have to do is slap you across the face, and then I'll win you overrated fuck. Yeah! I guess let's see who wins then. Did you see that epic clothesline, Obama? That was the tits. I did see that, and yeah, that was, uh, the tits. That's what I like to hear, Barack, and now I'm about to win. Well, it looks like this is the end for me. I have no resiliency, and I don't have enough time to kick out. Good match, L.A. Knight. I hope to see big things from you in the future, with you possibly winning money in the bank and dethroning Obama for the titles. Fuck you, bitch. You'll never win money in the bank, and you proved that on July 2nd in London a few weeks ago. Fuck you, Biden and John. I've really built up a lot of respect for you in this match. I'm sorry for the mean things I said earlier, too, and I hope you forgive me. Why was that kind of wholesome, though? We never see wholesomeness in these videos, so that was a first. Same here, Mr. Knight. Hope to see you around soon. But for now, I'm off to Hollywood, motherfuckers. John Cena, do you have dementia like Sleepy Joe? Don't you remember the lawsuit you're in right now? You can't make any movies, you clown. Of course you had to ruin the wholesome moment, Donald. It's literally what you do best, I swear. Well, do you want to know what I have to say about that? Not really, but go ahead, I guess. Shit, that was one hell of a jump scare, oh my fucking god. A Chinese jump scare via the future Chinese president himself, John Wait, Cena. guys, shut up, because what in the shit to the power of 69 is this? Who the fuck knocked out KSI? This is on the security cameras backstage. Can't you just go back to the moment that KSI was attacked to find out who it was? What do you think I've been trying to do all this time, Joe? 
The farthest I can go back is when KSI is laying there unconscious. Well, the medical team is on their way right now, so that's good. But once I find out who did this, they'll have my nutsack in their mouth. That's something you probably would enjoy, Barack. You have a lot of experience with putting your nutsack in Michael's mouth. Shut up, bitch. But now it's time for our second to final match, with Elon Musk taking on the robot himself, Mark Zuckerberg. The new richest person in the world is here. You're not the richest person, you dumbass. You really didn't see the new chart put out? It puts me miles ahead of anyone else. Buying Twitter, or now known as X, was a real investment, let me tell you. Yeah, a big investment for you while everyone else is suffering using your app. That's why they're all coming to join my app. Truth Social, AKA the best social media app of them all. Well, I think we can both agree that Facebook or Meta or whatever in the fuck it is called is way worse than both of our websites combined. That also brings me to say that whoever loses this match has to delete their social media app forever. Damn, that really raises the stakes. Well, I guess I should say it would have raised the stakes because Mark Zuckerberg is not here today, so he won't fight you. Then who in the hell will fight me since Robot Mark's battery is low? That was a good one, Elon. Thanks, Trump. Well, I made a post online where whoever has the highest bid gets to fight you for a spot in the Money in the Bank match. What was the highest bid? $100 million. Holy to the mother of the god of ice cream that's more money than I received from China. Biden just exposing himself randomly. Oh shit, you're right. Hopefully I didn't blow our cover, Obama. You just did. Well, whoever had the highest bid better get ready for the great billionaire beatdown of the century. Yo, 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 it's Mr. Sexy Shapiro here ready to destroy Elon in a matter of seconds and then win money in the bank. Jesus fucking Christ, what on God's green earth is this creature? Elon, weren't you just talking about a billionaire ass kicking of the century? Because if so, can I join so I can kick this piece of embarrassment's ass? Nah, Trump, we're all friendly here, right? I know everyone here hates Elon, so I'll put an end to him right here and right now. How does that sound? Oh, you can shut your dumb ass up, Ben Shapiro. Your calculus ass shouldn't even be here. This is where the big men wrestle. This isn't some school wrestling club or some shit. I'll have you know that I actually prefer physics over calculus. I also enjoy rocket science. Pretty fun class, honestly. Not that hard either. Elon, please kick his ass. I got you, my G. If Ben Shapiro wins this match, I'm never playing WWE 2K23 again, and I'm not joking. I actually find the stuff Ben is saying interesting. I haven't learned this stuff before, so that's probably why. Well, Joe, back in the prehistoric time period, physics, calculus, and rocket science didn't exist. So that's probably why you never learned about it. Fuck you, Trump. Donald, don't you think it's rude to talk about Biden's age like that? I may not like Biden very much, but you could at least give him a little break, you know? After all, you two are only like four or five years apart, so you both are old pieces of shit, really. You can shut the fuck up, Ben, because I literally care more about one strand of my genital hair more than I care about your emasculated ass. Why are you calling me emasculated? I may have a small dick, but it's not like it's John Cena. Get it? Because you can't see John Cena. That was the worst joke I've ever heard, like holy shit. It doesn't get any worse than that. John Cena, you can't see me jokes died off like five years ago. Get with the times, Ben. Well, you sound like you would be emasculated judging by your voice. Donald, you are special. Oh, I already know that I'm special. No need to remind the big D Trump as I don't have dementia unlike Sleepy Joe. You're so obsessed with me, Donald. You just can't stop talking about me, can't you? I am obsessed with you, Joe. Obsessed at your stupidity. I hate you, Donald. I love you too, Joe. Wait, that's not what I said, you dumbass. I said I hate you, not that I love you. You don't have to keep it a secret. It's fine, Joe. No one will laugh at you. I'm done. Did he seriously just leave the Discord call? Fortunately, he did, Barack. Best day of my life. Well, Ben Shapiro over here is about to have the worst day of his life after I hit him with what I like to call the billionaire power bomb. I have a hypothesis that Elon Musk is using a cheat client to beat me in WWE 2K23. I believe this because when I try to kick out and spam my X button down, it doesn't do anything. Ben, you dumbass. The way you're kicking out, you have to spam the A button, not the X button, you dumb son of a bitch. You may very well be the next Joe Biden once that fossil dies. You bully, I'm gonna tell my mommy on you. Where? Yeah, and you go do that, you punk ass bitch. If she tries to sue me, tell her that I have the best lawyers in the world, so she won't stand a fucking chance against the big D Trump. And if she flies out to Mar-a-Lago, she'll be greeted with a Trump cold stunner, you pussy. Our competitors for the money in the bank match are now KSI, Andrew Tate, Joe Biden, LA Knight, and now Elon Musk. 
and our last competitor will be revealed in our next match, which is the main event, with Roman Reigns taking on his former Shield brother, Seth Freakin' Rollins. Jesus Christ, do you really have to scream into your microphone? My bad, Elon. Oh, wait, how is KSI doing? Will he be able to compete in the Money in the Bank match? Will someone need to replace him, such as yours truly, Donald J. Trump? I'm not sure just yet, Donald, but we'll probably know everything after the Roman and Seth match takes place. But I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to Joe, so you're going to have to take over the Roman and Seth match. Is that good with you? I guess it's all right, Barack. I would have preferred Joe not being here, but whatever. How about I end this match a little early? What do you mean by that Roman? Nah, how in the hell did you already hit me with a spear? I'm just too good at this game, I swear. Better than you could ever be. You dumbass, you seriously thought that the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins couldn't kick out of one Superman punch and one spear? Damn, I'm glad I betrayed you in the shield. Why are you cheating, bro? This is supposed to be a fair match and you're out here using cheats. Pretty lame, Seth. That's pretty ironic coming from you, Roman, since you literally cheat in every single one of your matches. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna fuck you up right here and right now. Go for it, Roman. Fuck me up. Becky isn't here, so this is your chance. Ha 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 ha! I can't tell if that was a laugh or a scream. You are really strange, Seth, I gotta tell you. I honestly don't know. The inner dog in me got unleashed. All right, Seth and Roman, your nine-year-old Fortnite trash-talking time is over, and now the big D Trump is here to watch over this match. Seems like Roman currently has the upper hand, unfortunately. Did you really say, unfortunately, you dumb son of a bitch? Do you not acknowledge me, your tribal chief, your head of the table, Roman Reigns? Oh, shit. Uh, Roman, I actually do acknowledge you. I was just playing a little uh, April Fool's joke on you, you know? Funny joke, am I right? It's July, you fucking dumbass. Shit. Think about it this way, Roman. An early April Fool's joke. Or maybe a July Fool's joke. Seth, that might have been the worst roll-up I've ever seen. A one count? That's the best you can do. Bitch. And Trump, I guess I'll believe you. I'm sorry for doubting you, and thank you for acknowledging your tribal chief. Thank you, Roman. All right, me and Joe are back. I finally managed to calm him down. Yo, what's up, Roman? I love you so much, I just want to jump through my computer screen and kiss you and then kidnap your kids and take them back to the White House so I can sleep with them and play with them. Hey, kids, get into the basement. Creepy Sleepy Joe is coming to sniff you. You don't have to scare them, Roman. Like, come on, man. I'm pretty sure you already did. What did you do to calm him down? Did you show him pictures of children? Did you guys go on a trip to a daycare? I'm sorry, Donald. That was the only thing I could think of that would have calmed him down. Jesus Christ, Obama. I was just joking about that, but you actually did take him to a daycare. God save the kids. Hey, Biden, would you like to kidnap my kid? She's been getting on my and Becky's nerves recently. I don't want your daughter, Seth. She's ugly as fuck. If I kidnap a child, especially a nice young lady, I need them to be sexy to give me that pleasure that I've been craving. After all, being president is a hard job, so you need something that can make you happy. And that's why children exist. Well, fuck you, Joe. I was just wondering what you would say to something like that. And I think that's worse than saying that you would kidnap my daughter. You're one sick man, Joe. One sick fucking man. I do have the flu right now, so that explains why I'm sick. Dumbass. Now, come on, Roman, we can talk about this. We're S.H.I.E.L.D. brothers, right? <laughs> I don't want to hear that bullshit, Seth. Now you can eat this one last spear just like your wife Becky will eat my dick tonight. Does she like salt and pepper with that? She only likes it with pepper to go along with the already existing salt flavor. Good to know. Well, I'm going to go and train for my match at SummerSlam next weekend. See you losers later. Well, now that Roman has pinned Seth, here are all of our competitors for the match. However, I will have to remove one of these competitors, and that competitor is unfortunately KSI. It's been revealed that KSI has suffered a concussion and will not be able to compete in the Money in the Bank match. If KSI is no longer medically cleared for the match, then who will replace his spot? I guess you're going to have to replace his spot, Donald. Even though you don't deserve it whatsoever, I really don't have any other choice here. Oh my God, let's fucking go. Thank you, Obama. Much love to you and much love to Yemen. And now I'm going to win money in the bank, baby. Let's go. Yeah, okay. And I guess that concludes today's episode. If y'all want to see more, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Our like goal for today is 3,797 because that's how many people I killed with the Yemen drone strike. Also comment which match was your favorite if you want to share it. My match was the best. Let's be for real. It was the best because I won. Nah, fam. My match was the best. Don't lie to yourself, Roman. You dumbass.
wasn't even shown in the video because it was so short. Ah, uh, shit, you're right. My dementia is really getting to me these days. Yeah, no fucking shit. Well, I'm going to end this Discord call now. See you guys for the money in the bank match. Bye-bye, chocolate man. All right, so today me and five other idiots will compete in a money in the bank match. Welcome back, guys, to Five Nights at Freddy's, and today we'll complete the whole game. I'm so excited. No cap. Joe, are you blind? Do we need Mr. Beast to come on here to cure your blindness? We're literally playing WWE 2K23 and are about to have a money in the bank ladder match, and you're literally fucking in it. Oh, my bad, Donald. I forgot to take my dementia pills this morning. I would have never guessed. Oh, wait, really? I was being sarcastic, you dumbass. Fuck you, bitch. Well, here comes the one and only Donald J. Trump, the true president of the United States. Don't I wear the best ring gear out of anyone here? You don't have the best ring gear because you literally get half naked when you wrestle. You're just jealous of my six pack. It's fine though, Barack, you don't have to keep it a secret. A six pack? Trump, I can assure you that you don't have a six pack, you fat fuck. There's no reason to lie to yourself, Barack. I know you're trying to take your mind off Yemen, but come on. Oh my God. Everyone shut the fuck up because the top G Andrew Tate is here. You have it all wrong, Andrew. The only top G here is the big D Trump. If you really are the big D Trump, then let me get a good look at your wiener then. Hey, yo, Andrew, what the hell did you just say? That's kind of messed up, Andrew. But hey, if you're offering... Trump, you can't be serious right now. Andrew, you can look at my wiener if you want. Not a chance I look at your old crusty dick, Joe. Okay, now this is getting a little weird. Agreed. Thanks a lot, Joe, for ruining everything. What did I do now? Andrew wasn't talking about Donald's dick. He was talking about Donald's hot dog wiener brand he just started. Yeah, Biden, you need to get your head out of the gutter. Maybe you're right. Maybe spending too much time around eight-year-old boys is really getting to my head. Fucking shit. I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer. No, 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 guys. I was just joking. Uncle Bidenator's obsession with kids is fake news. Do you really think that people believe you, Joe? No one in this world, hell, the aliens that you're keeping a secret, don't believe your urinary incontinence ass. I wouldn't be surprised if Joe was an alien himself. I'm not an alien, you dumbass. My son Hunter is, though. And also, my urinary incontinence is out of my control. I can't help that I pee my pants uncontrollably. Nah, this shit is crazy. Joe peeing his pants. Also, isn't there like 35 different bathrooms in the White House? Most of the bathrooms actually have multiple toilets. Yeah, and those toilets are made out of real gold straight from my wallet. Bitch, no one cares about the golden toilets you installed. I think you're just jealous that you didn't get to take a shit in one of them. Well, uh, maybe a little jealous, actually. I knew it. Everyone, please give a round of applause and cheers for Uncle Bidenator. I'm liking this crowd here tonight. Yeah, this crowd is 100 times smarter than the 10 people who show up at Sleepy Joe's rallies. Well, it's better than getting no reaction from the crowd than getting booed. Oh, shut the fuck up, you wrestling nerd. Over here acting like Dave Meltzer. Also about that no crowd reaction thing, go tell that to Austin Theory. He knows a lot about that. Well, Mal, you didn't have to do my homie theory dirty like that. It was my pleasure. Whoa, 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 guys, chill out. The megastar is here to calm everyone's nerves down. Yeah! We don't need you to calm me, Barack, or Andrew down. We need you to calm Joe's obsession with kids down. Don't worry about that Trumpy Dumpty. I'll handle that piece of shit when this match starts. Speaking about the match, can we get started already? Yeah, can we get started, like, right fucking now? We gotta get this shit done quick because I have my court trial in less than an hour. What did you do anyway, Andrew? I heard that the Romanian government is accusing him of forcing some people to do Tic Tacs for him or something. It's probably fake, though, but who knows in this day and age? Did this fossil really just say Tic Tac instead of Tic Tac? Holy fucking shit. Elon better make a rocket to go to Mars sooner or later so I can get away from this old ass bitch. Back in the prehistoric time period, we didn't have to deal with this type of shit this often. This social media crap is really messing with this new generation. Did you say the new generation? Well, thanks for the compliment, but I'm not a part of the new generation, as the top G is 36 years old. All right, guys, here comes the richest person on the planet, Elon Musk. Did you really cut my entrance off? Dummy! Yeah! Yeah! Ain't no one was interested in your entrance, L.A. Knight. My entrance is already off to a way better start. Just look at me. I have the SpaceX official astronaut helmet, and I have the richest suit in the world, made straight out of elephant ass. Yes, you heard me right. Straight up elephant ass. It's also made out of gold and diamonds, which is pretty nice. By richest suit? Did you mean most expensive suit? Shut up, bitch. Don't correct me. 
I don't know why Mr. Drone Striker himself has been acting like such a nerd today. It probably has something to do with his husband or something. You dumbass. If I even did have a husband, then where did my kids come from? Do you think a fucking wizard came to my house and summoned them with a magic wand? Jesus Christ. That is a possibility. Or maybe you adopted them from an adoption center. There are certainly a lot of children there. Hey, Siri, where's the nearest adoption center near me? The nearest adoption center from your location is Adoption Center of Washington, 1726 Main Street Northwest, Washington, D.C. There's no fucking way, holy shit. Bro is so desperate for kids that he resorted to Siri. Lamau. Nah, Elon, he didn't resort to Siri. He resorted to the Wish version of Siri because that did not fucking sound like Siri. Like, what the hell? Hey, sexy Siri, what's the best place to sniff little girls at? Hmm, I don't know that. Well, thank God you don't fucking know an answer, holy shit. Joe, get off your phone right now before I drone strike the White House. Fine, Obama. I don't see what was weird about what I was doing, though. Y'all are strange. Is he fucking serious right now? Joe, are you so sleepy that you don't know what you just did? First, you wanted to know where the nearest adoption center was to the White House. Then you called a literal AI voice sexy. And then you asked that voice AI where the best place to sniff little girls is at. I think you're the strange one here, Joe. I really do. God damn, I wish that Siri or whatever in the hell it was gave me an answer to that last question. If you win the next election, the country is going to be gone by the beginning of the next decade. Can you all shut the frickety fuckety fuck up? You all shall remain silent as the tribal chief makes his entrance into this money in the bank match. Stay silent. Are you kidding me? You're no tribal chief. Barack has literally beaten you like what, two times already? And I know Jay is going to beat you in real life at SummerSlam. And you know it too. No, he's not you, bitch. Guys, calm down. We're already almost seven minutes into the video and the bell hasn't rung yet. So let's just start this match already. Yeah, start the match, Obama, so I can beat Trump's ass. It's actually going to be the other way around, but think what you want to think, Roman. All that I can tell you is that the big D Trump will kick your ass all the way back to your awful TLC 2014 promo. Oh, you're going to wish you hadn't said that. Yeah, I highly doubt that. You'll see, you bitch. Oh, so you want the shit, Joe, huh? Hit me, orange man. This match is going to be so chaotic, I can already tell. Well, no fucking shit. How about you eat this Trump cold stunner? Nah, not right now, Donald. That Trump cold stunner can wait. Bitch. So, Roman, you just tossed me out of the ring for no reason? Are you serious right now? Yeah, so how about you get your ass up? I was just about to do that. Guys, I think Andrew is hacking the game or something. I can't get any hits on him. It's crazy. I'm not hacking the game, you dumbass. You just suck. You're tripping. Did you just say that I'm tripping? My God, these new slang words are getting so weird. I'm going to have to agree with you, Andrew. I don't even know what half of these slang words mean. You don't know what these slang words mean because when someone is telling you the definition of them, your attention span is so low that you start to think about kids instead. I'll have to admit, Donald, you're not wrong. That's literally what I do. Yeah, no fucking shit. Jesus fucking Christ, Sleepy Joe. If your decomposing ass would have gone out of the way with that ladder, I would have hit Andrew with a spear. That sounds like a you problem and not an Uncle Bidenator problem, so deal with it. Don't talk to your tribal chief like that. He does have a point, though, Roman. You could have hit me with a spear any other place in the ring or even at ringside, but you decided to do it right where Biden was hitting Trump with a ladder. Why are you agreeing with that corpse? I'd stick up for anyone that isn't you, Roman. Of course you would. Yo, Obama, why is the briefcase black and not white? This kind of white discrimination will not be tolerated by the big D Trump. The briefcase is black because, in my opinion at least, it looks a little more formal and professional, and it doesn't have some cartoon-ass logo on it. Why isn't the briefcase white, then? Oh, my God. And you say this when you literally called me and KSI Chocolate Men in episode 11, and one of your goons, Jake Paul, said that he'd give me and KSI an African-American ass kicking. And also, if you win the money in the bank, you can paint the briefcase to your skin color, which would be orange. You're just jealous of my tan Barack. Sure, Donald. Trump cold stunner pussy. What in the fuck? Did you seriously just do my finisher? The best finisher in all of the WWE? The Trump cold stunner? Oh, you pussy ass bitch, you're gonna pay for this. After doing your finisher, my love for using the spear just grew even more. My God, does your finisher suck. Literally a ripoff of Stone Cold Steve Austin, just like L.A. Knight over there. Why do you gotta bring me into this, you bitch? I can do whatever the hell I want. 
Ha ha, says the one that's going to get beat by his cousin. Shut up, you fucking pig. Oink, oink, oink. Well, that came out of nowhere. Are you fucking kidding me right now? First Joe Biden broke up my finisher, and now Andrew Tate and Elon Musk. Do you want me to repeat what I said earlier about your spear, Roman? I hate you so much, Andrew. When you get arrested, Biden better make some national holiday where we all celebrate and do fun shit. That's a horrible idea, Roman. Almost as horrible as your real-life title reign. Well, uh, at least I've been champion for over 1,000 days. You dumbasses can't say the same. Trump cold stunner, pussy. A Trump cold stunner from the real Big D Trump. Shit. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what you get for harassing the tribal chief, you cow. Mo, mo, mo. What is your obsession with making animal noises? Everyone here has obsessions, actually. Joe has one with kids. Elon has one with sheeps. Barack has one with Yemen. Ella Knight has one for copying Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. Fuck you, Donald. Andrew Tate has one with going to court. And now you have one with making animal noises for some reason. I can make more animal noises if you would like. Hell to the fucking ass, no. You're missing out, Donald. You don't have to scream into your $10 headphones. Jesus Christ, I think my ears are having internal bleeding. Enjoy the pain. We'll hear this, Roman. You were pinned at Money in the Bank last month. And uh, do you want a reminder on who pinned you, your cousin Jay? And do you want a reminder on who you will be facing at SummerSlam, your cousin Jay? Oh, I wonder what could happen. Hmm. The more you know, right? You all better shut up. And why would we do that? You know what, Andrew? I actually haven't thought that far yet, so consider your bald ass lucky. Oh, so you're now trying to make fun of my bald head? Me being bald represents the top G. Me without my full beard represents the top G. The top G needs to stop this Matrix attack. And you, Roman, you're probably part of this attack. The fuck is the Matrix attack? Andrew, are you cosplaying or something? Don't act like you don't know what this attack is. You know what it is, Roman. You know what it is. And you know what it is because you're a part of it trying to take me, the top G, down. But I have to tell you this one thing. It's not gonna work. Can you two stop arguing about this Matrix shit? Can you guys do this after the match is over? I probably got brain damage after hearing you two for the past 30 seconds. Get ready for this one, Andrew. Oh shit, I'm getting sleepy. Did the dumbass just fall asleep and fall down onto Andrew? Yes, he did. And I think I don't have any ribs anymore because they all fucking broke. Oh, uh, what's happening? Oh yeah, money in the bank. I need to get this ladder. I'm about to win this right now. You're probably gonna trip while climbing up the ladder, O'Mao. Shut up, bitch. Oh, wait, holy shit, God has blessed me. Hello there, little boy. Uncle Bidenator is coming to save you. Joe, don't you dare kidnap that kid. This is gonna end badly. I need kids, I need kids, kids, motherfucking kids. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. I don't think you're a part of the human race anymore. You're your own species now. Oh, shit. Yes, fight back, little man. Don't let him sniff you. Call the police. Already did. He's doing pretty good. Did he just tackle the kid? Nah, this is straight up child abuse now. Does it look like I'm blind? Let me sniff you, baby boy, and we can have some fun. Holy fucking shit, did he really just say that? This is some gross shit, man. Oh my god, Joe is getting arrested. Fuck you guys. Haha, -ha, the trap worked. Joe was about to win too. This is great. Wait, that shit was all planned? You bet it was. And now Joe is in jail, and I'm gonna be Mr. Money in the Bank. Not so fast, bitch. What the fuck? I thought you were injured. I am injured, but since I did beat you last episode, I'm technically still in this match. All right then, come up this ladder and we can fight. Already planned on it. This match just got a lot more interesting. Of course you say that you KSI dick rider. Bitch, shut up. And down you go. Oh shit, fuck that hurt my back. Good, now I'm gonna actually win this briefcase. Actually, Donnie, we can't have your fat ass win. You better hope your fat protects you from this power bomb. This is some bullshit. Fuck you, Andrew, and fuck you, KSI. Just for that, take this top G punch. The best move in all of wrestling, as it originated straight from my training courses. Your overpriced training courses? Yeah, okay, bitch. Watch me win money in the bank now, you fat ass. I have something to say about that, Andrew. You're not going to be the one winning, I will, as I'm your tribal chief. I'm going to give you this Superman punch and a spear. Plus, you don't need the briefcase, because you're going to be in prison fuck for a you, long bitch. time. Now, where is that ladder at? It's behind you. What? Rock bottom sucker. Bro really fell for that. Now that was funny as hell. Just for your stupidity, get out of my ring. Your ring? Funny joke, KSI. You should be a comedian. I'd rather be a wrestler and continue to beat your ass. Bitch. There's no one in the ring. Everyone is down and out. This is my chance to win money in the bank and redeem myself. Come on, LA Knight. You can do this. Just keep climbing. Are you talking to yourself? Yes, I am, Obama.
Nah, fam, I can't let this jobber win money in the bank. I got to do something. Oh, so you want the smoke, huh, Elon? I do want the smoke, Mr. Knight, and now I'm about to end your career like it should have been done a long time ago. Come at me, bitch. As you wish. I have a feeling that this will end very badly. You're right, Barack. You're very, very right about that. Oh, God, Elon, what are you thinking? What goes up must come down. Holy to the power of shit. You really think that will end me that easily? Try again, Elon, you fucking pussy. Yeah! Get ready for this billionaire power bomb, then. See, you can't even lift me up, you weak-ass motherfucker. Shut up, bitch. My arms just gave out then from carrying everyone in this match. I'll just try and lift you again, and we'll see who will be laughing now. Well, Mal, this is straight-up comedy. Now I'm going to show you how you really end someone's career, and today it'll be your career that's going to end. Oh my god, is that a burning table? Help me! Shit! Bye-bye, Elon. Yeah! Goddamn night, that was insane. The third degree burns all over my body are insane, too. Shut up, Elon. No one cares about you. Oh, don't worry, Barack. I already know. Yeah, and me winning money in the bank like I'm about to do right now is going to be even more insane. No, no! Whose game is it? With everybody saying, L A N A. Yeah! Stop talking your stupid shit and get off of this ladder, Jesus Christ. Shit. Now I can finally win what I deserve. Yeah, we plan to change that. Nah, bro, I can't let this happen. Square up, you stupid Paul brothers. Barack, watch out. Huh? Oh, shit. Lamau, you dumbass. You thought we didn't know that you were gonna come out, and now you're gonna pay for doing this with what I like to call the low gangster splash. Fuck! Thank God you two came out. We didn't come out as gay. No, like you came out to help the big D Trump. Anything for you, Mr. President, KSI, you're next to be taken out. Well, come in the ring and fight me already. Oh, shit, Logan behind you. Wait, what the hell? Surprise, you pussy-ass bitch. Well, Jake, I think we're fucked. I can tell. Deji, what are you doing here, you bitch? If you're gonna try to attack my brother, you're gonna have to get through me first. This is some bullshit. Thank you, little bro. No problem. This kendo stick does wonders, I gotta tell you. It does wonders making cuts and bruises on my back, that's for fucking sure. I hope you feel all of the pain in the world, Logan. You deserve every bit of it. Keep insulting me, Deji. It'll all come running back to your dumb ass. This is what you get Jake Paul for calling me a chocolate man. You're still made out of chocolate. Bitch! How do these punches feel, KSI, right onto your injured ribs? They don't feel great, I can tell you that. Well, me pushing you off this ladder will hurt way worse. Wait, what the fuck? This is literally British abuse. Lamau, get ready to witness me win this briefcase now. I love my life. What in the frickety fuck? How did you get back up? Shut up, Donald, and get off my ladder. Fucking fat ass, you may break the ring. Ah, shit. Roman, watch out. Well, I didn't know the weather today was rain with a chance of Donald Trump's. The weather changes very often, Roman. Not a hard thing to understand. Yeah, like I didn't fucking know. This is my chance to get the briefcase. Not today, La Knight. Not after what you did to me last episode, you bitch boy. What the hell? John Cena, what are you doing here? You thought I would just forget you screwing me over my money in the bank match spot in the last episode? Yeah, not gonna happen, you motherfucker. Come on, John. I thought we were cool. I thought you were rooting for me to win this match. I hate you so much that I even released some new merch hating on you. Buy it on WBWeShop.com. Hey, Cena, check this out. Seth, what are you doing here? Why are you attacking me? You think I'm just gonna let you attack L.A. Knight like that? And also, we still have unfinished business from the Royal Rumble. You're one hell of a bitch, Seth. Don't think I won't get my revenge on your dumbass. Oh, I'll be waiting for that one, John. But until then, I think I should send you through this table with a shield bomb, just like the good old days. Ha 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 ha! The freakiest of the freakiest, Seth freaking Rollins strikes again. Well, the top G is about to strike again and take down KSI. Wait, what the hell? Did you literally just spawn in, you fucking NPC? I'm not an NPC, I'm the top G. Get ready to bow down to your new Mr. Money in the Bank. Holy hell, that voice crack when you said NPC was ugly. The one that's ugly is your wife Melania with her dozens of plastic surgeries. You're gonna wish you hadn't brought her into this. But let's be honest, Joe Biden's stuttering is way worse. Well, you do have a point there. That sleepy piece of shit can't speak half of the time, Lamau. Not so fast, Andrew, you bald-ass bitch. No one here Holy wants you to shit. win. Stop talking because you really gotta brush your teeth, Roman. When was the last time you did brush them? I bet your wife hasn't been giving you any tongue recently. You dumbass. I literally brushed my teeth this morning. But yeah, my wife doesn't give me any tongue nor any ass. Kinda sucks not gonna lie. Ah oh, shit, not again. Great. Now I can finally claim this briefcase is mine.
Not so fast, my former tribal chief. Paul, what are you doing here? I never knew your fat ass could jump so high. I'm here to make sure you don't win that briefcase. Your manipulative ass doesn't deserve shit. You're calling me manipulative when you literally do the same fucking thing. Damn, that hurt. Wait, what the hell? Jay, what are you doing here? Jay is my tribal chief now. This is so stupid. Why is this briefcase so hard to unlock from this dumb hook? Andrew, get your dumb ass down there. Why does this shit always have to happen to me? I don't know, but now I can finally win this briefcase after all of this time. Uncle Bidenator has something to say about that, Donald. What the fuck? Did you break out of prison or something? I literally paid that police officer $500,000 to arrest your fossil ass, and then you just came running back here? Jesus Christ, why does God hate me? God hates people who are sore losers after losing presidential elections. And God also hates when people beg and beg for 11,000 more votes in Georgia. Hmm. That kind of sounds like you grumpy Trumpy. Don't call me that, you bitch, and also fuck you. Now I'm about to be the next Mark Henry when I knock down this ladder. I can't do it, man. It's too heavy thanks to Donald being on there. Did you seriously just come out here to make fun of my weight? Holy fucking shit, Joe, get back into your prison cell. Nah, bro, I ain't going back in there because I bailed out. Best part about it was I didn't use any of my money. I used the United States economy to pay for it. Now we're like, I don't know, like $60 trillion in debt or something. Now our economy is lower than Yemen's economy. A certain someone in this Discord call caused their economy to be so low since he bombed everything that was there in that country. Fuck you. Maybe later. Uh, what? You should understand, Barack. After all, you have a husband instead of a wife. Oh, you want to get freaking Donald, huh? Obama, stop that. You saying that is reminding me of what you did to me in 2012. Oh shit, Sleepy Joe is spilling the tea right now. It's not that deep, Joe. Yeah, to be fair, you were deeper inside of me that night in 2012. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to set my Facebook account private after that one. Biden, shut the fuck up. But with that out of the way, welcome your new Mr. Money in the Bank, the Big D Trump. I think everyone that's watching this video right now wanted me to win. I tried to help you, L.A., but I guess it was no use. You'll never win anything important in your WWE career anyway. Ha 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 ha! I'll remember that, you bitch. I would have won if it wasn't for Donald injuring me in the last episode. I think me, Barack, and DG should get some sweet revenge on that punk-ass bitch. You can't say my name, right? You're literally my brother! Maybe in the next episode we end this feud with a War Games match with me, KSI, and DG taking on Trump and the Paul brothers. How does that sound? There you go again! Well, uh, about that I- We accept. Yeah, bro, we're gonna beat your asses. Come on, guys, what the fuck? Well, now Trump is scared. I'm not scared. It looks like the Team Obama versus Team Trump War Games match is official for the next episode. Subscribe and like the video if you want to see me kick Barack's ass all the way to the Middle East in the next episode. Also, if you want, comment who you think will win in the War Games match. You physically can't kick a human being all the way across the Atlantic Ocean and then all the way to the Middle East. That's just not how it works, Trump. How did you even get into the Discord call? Holy shit. I just have my ways. Hey, Obama, do you want to take me to the adoption center now? No! So today, me and the Paul brothers will put Barack Obama, KSI, and DG to rest in this War Games match. Nah, bro, the only person that should be put to rest is me because I'm sleepy as hell. Joe, I specifically told you to not join this Discord call, and look what you do. You join. Like, how delusional do you have to be to not comprehend that? I know your brain is smaller than Ben Shapiro's dick, but holy shit. I'm honestly starting to think that you stalk me. Wait, does delusional mean smart? Bomb has been planted. Bro, what the hell is happening? I don't know Roman, but whatever is happening, it's reminding me of Yemen. Well, now true. I don't think Obama is with us anymore. Joe, I remember when your dumbass said this back in episode one. Does delusional mean smart? And the definition did not fucking change. Delusional still, and will forever mean stupid. Stupidity must run throughout the entire Biden family. Just look at Hunter. That guy is wicked as hell, man. Bro is probably his own species at this point. The crackheadians or some shit. Did you really refer to Hunter Biden as a crackheadian? What in the flying fuck? He does have a point, though. Let's be for real. That reminds me of my favorite show to watch with the kids in the White House basement. The Backyardigans. Such a good show. Bro, you guys missed my entire entrance. Like, what the hell? 
I'm positive that no one watching this video was like, oh, the only reason why I'm watching this video is to see KSI's entrance. Fuck no. They're only here for Jake Paul's entrance and for us to beat your ass. You got that right, Mr. President. How am I supposed to believe that Jake is going to beat my ass when he doesn't even have a Titan Tron? Bro is a default WWE 2K23 character creation or something. Shut your dumbass up, KSI, because Titan Tron or not, I'll still kick your ass and anyone else who steps in my way. That was cringe, not gonna lie. Well, I really don't give a shit. This match is going to be a piece of cake. Obama really recruited people like KSI and DG to help him. Mr. Drone Striker could have chose better people, Lamau. It's quite ironic that you say that since you've never won a match against me or anyone on my team. That doesn't matter, Barack. We're going to beat you and your British buddies today and end this feud once and for all. It might be a little harder for you just because my team has the war games advantage tonight. How come your team gets the advantage and not my team? You didn't even do anything to make your team deserving enough to get the war games advantage, you dumbass. I think we're pretty deserving of the advantage because your fat ass hasn't been able to beat me, KSI, or DG in a match. That's some of the biggest bullshit I've ever heard. I'm literally manhandling KSI right now, Omao. Jake, I think you're just mad that I'm going to fight Conor McGregor before you, and I didn't even need to fight an old, retired UFC fighter to do it. Oh, shit. Well, now he got your ass there, Jake. I don't think Jake will be able to recover from that one. Fuck you guys. Well, now it's time for the next person to come out, which will be Deji, because my team has the war games advantage. Finally, someone who says my name right. I was thinking the same thing, because who can't say your name right? It's literally just DG. Bitch. Bro, calm down and come out here so we can tag Team Jake Paul. KSI, you may want to rephrase that shit. It sounds like you're talking about another form of tag teaming. Yeah, KSI, you can't tag team Jake Paul as he doesn't have another partner. Maybe you're referring to a handicap match? Ben, you're just too innocent. Protect Ben at all costs. Wait, what did I do, huh? Don't worry about it. Yeah, that did sound pretty sus, KSI. It kind of reminds me of what me and Hunter Biden do to the kids in the White House basement. Our tag team chemistry is immaculate. Uh, what the fuck? Joe, you can't be saying this shit while you're president. Well, back when you were still president, I asked you if me and Hunter could go and tag team you in your bedroom since Michael was gone for the day. And you said hooray, and you ran up to your bedroom like a fucking cheetah. That was pretty descriptive, Joe. Cheating on your husband is one thing, but cheating on your husband with your vice president and your vice president's son, holy fucking shit, that's actually insane. Also, Joe is literally 80 years old, so the only thing that's going to be coming out of his flippy flopper is going to be dust. And to add insult to injury, he'd probably fall asleep during the whole ordeal. That's exactly what happened, old Mal. And also, also, I'm going to come out to help Jake Paul because, damn, it really looks like he needs it. Thank you, Trump. I really need the help. These two African Americans are beating my ass. Dude, we're literally British. Don't care, old Mal. This guy is so stupid, holy shit! Well, one thing you won't ever be messing with again is the nuclear codes. I'll have you know that I'm going to be the 47th president of the United States. And the first thing that I'm going to do is launch a nuke at the shithole of Delaware. What's a and Delaware? And finishing what Barack started in the Middle East. Bitch. Obama, don't be mad that you won't ever be able to bomb the Middle East again. You have other things to worry about like your husband. But to be honest, that gorilla will have to worry about your wimp ass more, you fucking goof. Jesus Christ. How'd you like that DDT Barack? Learned it from an all-time great, and his name is Randy Orton. Yeah, that DDT was pretty good, I guess. Wait, where the hell are you going? Ah! Oh shit, I just pooped my pants. Hey Michael, get in here and wipe my ass. Wait, my husband is in the White House right now? I thought she was just going to order some KFC for dinner. Nah, bro, he's mine now. Well, you can have him. Just give him back to me in a few weeks. And also, that elbow drop Trump did was so bad, El Mao. How do you measure distance in a video game? Holy shit! Jake and Donald, brace yourself as I'm about to come out to the ring. Oh shit, Jake, we gotta hide in the bomb shelter. This arena is about to turn into Yemen. You got him there, Mr. President Omao. Guys, you know Obama is sensitive about that stuff. Does it really look like I give a fuck? No. Then shut up, Trump cold stunner pussy. That's actually the worst finisher I've ever seen, Omao! Deji, when you look in the mirror, say hi to the clown you see in there for me, would you? Bitch, fuck you! We're gonna beat your asses right now! You dumbasses aren't doing shit. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Limau, did Trump really hit you with a second stunner? Bro, shut the hell up. Now it's time to redeem myself with this Republican elbow. Oh shit, the fat ass actually didn't break his neck this time. Oh, so you call me fat when you've been putting on several pounds. 
Look at you from 2020 and look at you from 2023. Big difference, you chicken. At least I've been losing some of my fat by golfing. Not this golfing shit again. Football is so much better. I'll have to say that Messi is way better than Ronaldo. I'm talking about football, like American football, you know? Dumbass bitch pussy. That last part felt personal. Cristo Ronaldo, Suey! It looks like I show meat is here. After what you did in that live stream, starting up an OnlyFans wouldn't be such a bad idea. Lamau, you really called him my show meat. <laughs> what in the 69 to the power of shit was that? It's just I show meat being I show meat. I show meat, that's what I do to kids. I bark at them like a dog and then I- Joe, stop it. Okay, uh, guys, what should I do since I'm not in the match? You helping the Maui fire would be great at a time like this. They need all of the help they can get right now. Bro, they don't need help over there. They literally got the whole Pacific Ocean so they can use all of that water to put out the fire. Hell, the fire might be CGI for all I know. Wait, what was I saying again? Ain't no way this guy said the fires are CGI, El Mau. Here's the thing. Joe, salt water from the Pacific Ocean can harm plant life. Some species are sensitive to salinity levels. Thus, using salt water may not be a wise first choice in firefighting methods in certain environments. Holy fucking shit, that was so cringe. Shut your nerd ass up. Hey, Logan, what's up? You've been silent so far this episode. Oh, my bad, Donnie. I was just smashing my fiance, and then I look over to me being the final entrant into the match. Hope you had a good time. Melania has been pretty dry recently, not gonna lie. Me and her did good tonight. Well, this match has officially begun. You're actually an idiot, El Mao. The match literally started like, what, six minutes ago or something? Your drone striking in Yemen must have really messed up your head. Yeah, Barack, the match started earlier, not right now. The match officially starts when the final person enters the cage. That's why the fucking bell just rang. Nah, Barack, you should apply to be a clown at the circus or some shit because you are funny as fuck. You feeble-minded piece of shits. Yeah, you Paul brothers are adjective lacking normal mental powers to an extreme level. Y'all are starting to act like Uncle Bidenator over here. At least you're acknowledging it, Joe. The only person you all should be acknowledging is me. Yeah, I know. You're lucky you kicked out there. I almost had you pinned for the three count. You weren't even close, Lamau. Dude, Deji, you actually suck. It's so easy to stun you. Bitch, you're only getting lucky. Bro, did Deji finally hit puberty or something? The Big Mac Salt. Did you really just call that move the Big Mac Salt instead of a moonsault? Jesus Christ, Trump, you're literally more in love with McDonald's than your fucking wife. Trump cold stunner pussy. That wasn't even a Joe, moonsault I literally in the first have place. affairs with other women in Mar-a-Lago, and she doesn't seem to care. Yeah, and that's probably because either she hasn't found out yet, or she's having affairs with men at the same time as your affairs. Nah, Barack, you can't be talking, because if you were to do a moonsault, you'd call it the KFC salt or some shit? Me being Obama loves his KFC, especially with grape-flavored Kool-Aid. Joe knows a lot about that. Uh, what, huh? Wait, shit, fuck me, I forgot. Wait, maybe not, uh, Roman, I love you so much, kiss me right now. What? Well, that came out of nowhere. Bro, let his intrusive thoughts win. Biden, you freak, what the hell? I'm having a boner right now, Roman, because of you. Feels good, though. Bro, I must be attractive as fuck if I'm making an 80-year-old man have a boner. Probably the first time in a few decades he's had one. True. Guys, we gotta watch out, because Jake and Logan both have three finishers each. You sure about that? We're just so good at this game, thanks to the real president of the United States, Donald Big Dick Trump. You're on point with that one Logan. That's what I like to hear. Bro, y'all are so obsessed with Trump. Stop simping over his dumbass. Well, I put all of the money I make from my scripted boxing fights into his 2024 campaign fund. That's something you can't say, El Mao. Trump cold stunner pussy. Let's go, we won. How the hell did you guys win? I didn't see anyone get pinned. I knocked KSI out with the stop sign and then pinned him right before Trump hit Deji with the Trump cold stunner. Pretty genius, not gonna lie. Another genius thing that I did was my crypto scam. Damn, the money that was flooding into my bank account that week was insane. Thanks for sharing some of that cash with me. No problem, Jakey. I'm so sorry, Obama. Maybe we can bomb the Middle East and that can make up for your first loss of the series? No, I'm not really in the mood to blow shit up right now. I think I need to attend the press conference to talk about my future in the WWE. Bro, you're still the champion and you weren't even the one that was pinned. Why are you so depressed right now, Lamau? You just don't get it. I'll be watching that press conference and you will probably be crying on camera. One like on this video equals one tear from Barack's eye. Shut up, bitch. Imagine Obama crying out 1,000 tears or something, Lamau. That would flood his house more than I flood inside of children. Why the fuck? Yeah, I'm out of this bitch. All right, let's head over to the press conference. What about me? Yeah, and what about me? You two aren't invited. See you losers later. Fuck. fuck. 
All right, so I came to this press conference to discuss the events that went down during the War Games match earlier, specifically me taking my first loss of the series, breaking my win streak. While this does hurt quite a bit, I still plan to wrestle and defend my titles. Speaking of the titles, I plan to hold an open challenge in the next episode, and anyone can step up to fight me. From Trump to Sleepy Joe, anyone can. But with that, I'm going to go back to my mansion where I killed my chef at. I already changed my clothes and shit, so I'm just gonna head out. Not so fast, Barack. Don't leave just yet, as we have some stuff to talk about. Huh? Who the hell are you? You seriously don't remember me? Barack, what was your favorite thing to do during your presidency? Uh, I guess bombing villages in Yemen, but what does that have to do with anything? Wait, there's no way. Yeah, and that was my country that you destroyed, that was my country that you terrorized, and that was the same God-forsaken country that you killed innocent people in. Hmm. And I think now it's time for some revenge. This is kind of bittersweet, don't you think? No, 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 no! Just get out of here! I will leave if you give me what I want, and what I want is a match with you for your titles in the next episode. It's about time Yemen actually gets some of its gold back from the United States after the bombings. Uh, well, I, uh, uh, fine, you can have a match for my titles in the next episode. Just leave me the hell alone. About that. I'll see you in the next episode, Barry. It'll be over soon. Ha ha ha. Why did they have to throw the big D Trump into jail? I didn't do nothing. I can't even play WWE 2K23 with the homies anymore. And I think Barack is fighting the Yemen president today too. I gotta think of a way to get out of here. Today may very well be the biggest match of my career with me facing my all-time rival, the Yemen president himself, Rashad Al Alami, in a Yemen rules match. A Yemen rules match is basically just an extreme rules match just it takes place in Yemen. Funny enough, we're actually in one of the only buildings that I didn't get a chance to drone strike. Damn, I bet it's hot over there in the Middle East. Not as hot as little girls, though. God help us. But where is Trump at? Usually by now he's making fun of me or he'd be doing something stupid. Joe, did you see the news? Trump got thrown into jail and his mugshot was released. What the hell? My bad, Obama. I don't check the news that often. And even when I do, I forget everything the news reporter says. Yeah, go figure. And I decided to pay tribute to Bray Wyatt's passing by using his iconic fiend entrance tonight. Rest in peace, Bray, along with Terry Funk, one of the greatest wrestlers in history. Yeah, rest in peace, Bray and Terry. My dementia may be horrific, but I do remember watching Bray Wyatt back when he was in the Wyatt family. I also remember watching Terry Funk wrestle live. Good times back then. The times suck now that you're president, just being honest. Thanks for the support. No problem. While Joe's presidency might have sucked so far, Barack's presidency was far, far worse. Look what he did to my country. He drone-striked everything he could. Those war crimes must be insane, like never-before-seen type insanity. You talk shit about me being a predator in Trump's 37 charges when you literally bombed an entire country for oil. Typical America, not gonna lie. Not to mention all of the innocent civilians that you killed. Some of those were children, too. Oh, I'll see those kids up in heaven soon enough, and they'll share some time with Uncle Bidenator. I honestly think that they'd rather be drone striked again than to spend five minutes alone with you. Turns out I'm really good at killing people. Didn't know that was going to be a strong suit of mine. I also seem to be pretty good at sneak attacks, don't you guys think? Bro, what the hell was that for? You could have waited until I was done with my entrance. It was fair play. After all, this is a Yemen rules match, so the extreme rules stipulation applies. Whatever you say, Barack. The crowd is in favor of me. I'm their president, after all. Ah! Obama, why did you kick his ding-dong? Jesus Christ, bro, that scared the drone striking out of me. Well, that's a good thing, right? It would be a good thing for the people of Yemen if I was actually telling the truth. Nothing can scare the drone striking out of me. Keep fooling around, Obama. It's all going to run back to you once I take your titles. Speaking of titles, where is your other one? The Million Dollar Title. I decided not to bring out that title tonight. While I'm still defending it, I didn't want to risk it being stolen by these stupid Yemen people that somehow survived my drone strikes. You could sell that title for millions. 
Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Along with the undisputed championship you have there, I'll sell those titles to try and rebuild our economy. I don't think a few million dollars will get you too far. Just look at our economy over here in America. We're like $30 trillion in debt, and raising gas prices and raising taxes isn't really helping us out. Anything will help my dying nation, that's for sure. We're in so much debt because you keep handing Ukraine billions and billions of dollars like every week. You have to learn to fix the problems inside your house before you fix the problems outside your house, if you know what I mean. Well, here's the thing. Obama, me, and Hunter get our white powder from Ukraine. So we kind of got to keep that country alive, you know? Plus, if Russia does, in fact, take over Ukraine, Putin would take all of the powder for himself. And me and Hunter will be sad and probably nuke the whole world. Is there something special about the powder from Ukraine? It's the best in the world on God. Hmm, I may have to try and get some after this match. The crowd probably hates you more now. I don't care if this crowd is on my side or if they're not on my side. Either way, they're going to see their president fall. Oh, and did I tell you that whoever wins this match becomes the president of Yemen? I thought it's a cool stipulation to add on to the match. What? I never agreed to that. Plus, I'm already the president of Yemen, so I cannot become president. Well, if you win, you stay president. But if I win, I become president, and then I'll drone strike this whole country. That's pretty stupid if you ask me. But I'm confident enough that I'll be able to defeat you and send your eggplant ass straight to hell, you piece of shit. What can I do to pass the time? Hmm, maybe I can try and lift some weights. My body really needs a workout, as the media is starting to get on my ass after I lied about my true weight. I guess I should have known that no one would have believed me when I said my weight was 215 pounds. All right, Big D, don't get ahead of yourself with this one. Oh yeah, I'm burning off those calories, aren't I? Maybe the 215 pound lie will actually become a truth, ha ha. I just wonder how Barack's match is going. You seriously thought you could hit your finisher on me? Barack, I know you just as well as the foreskin on my dick. That was indeed an interesting comparison, to say the least. Wait, where did you go, huh? I'm gonna get a chair so I can knock out your dumb ass. Imagine not being circumcised, Lil Mal. Well, I bet you're not circumcised, you corpse. I actually am circumcised. Barack did the procedure for me, believe it or not. He didn't just do the procedure, though. He started to suck my... Shut up, you dumb animal! Damn, that was kind of offensive, not gonna lie. Joe, I told you to never tell that story to anyone, you gibberish-speaking fuck. Barack, calm down, bro, and let's just look at this replay real quick. That was one fall you took there. If you weren't being such a hothead, maybe you could have countered it. Uh, I'm actually pretty good at wrestling, not gonna lie. I am pretty good at bombing villages, you stupid Yemenis. Isn't there a bullet somewhere you could be jumping in front of? Why are you insulting me, bro? I'm not insulting you, I'm simply describing you. Damn, that was a cold line. The weather seems to be getting bad outside. Wait, what's this? Holy mother of Joe Biden, it's my phone. How did it get in here? I should probably call someone before I get caught with this. Hello, do you hear me? Bro, Donnie, I'm on the beach right now trying to relax and you call me? You serious right now? This is harassment to your tribal chief. Calm down, you son of a bitch, because the big D Trump needs your help. So I'm assuming you saw the news of me being arrested, right? So... I kinda need help escaping. You piece of shit, you really expect me, someone who is literally on the beach right now trying to get a tan, to break some former president out of jail? Nah, Trump you high as fuck, bro. Like you're higher than the International Space Station at this point. God damn. I'll pay you $10 million to help me break out. How about that? All right, you got yourself a deal, Trumpy Dumpty. So I was actually a guard at that prison for a while before my WWE career. So if you look under your bed, there should be a manhole that leads to a sewer under the prison. All you need to do is to open up the manhole and take your first left. You'll then run all the way to the end, climb up a ladder, and I'll be waiting right there. How are you going to get to me in time if you're all the way at the beach? It'll take you a while to drive all the way up to Atlanta. I just have my ways. See you then, Roman. We're finally bringing out the tables, aren't we? Unfortunately for you, Obama, it'll end terribly for you. I don't even know what a table is, Omao. How do you not know what a table is? Are you stupid? Actually, I take that back. We all know you're stupid. But has your brain not matured or something? Uh, maybe it's my dementia. 
Well, my doctor says there is good news about my dementia. I get to smash a different little girl every day. My life couldn't be better, honestly. If I have dementia when I grow older, it wouldn't be me smashing a different woman every day. It would be a man. That's classic Obama for you. What is that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it. Don't do what I think you're going to do. Yemen destroyer. Ah, shit, that was insane. Yemen destroyer through the chair. It's called a table, you dumbass. Don't care, but let's get a replay on that. Probably the best Yemen destroyer I've ever seen. But the best part about it was that you gave it to the Yemen president himself. You're going to regret that, Barack. You don't just do that move to the Yemen president and get away with it. You know what? Hear this. Omen and Yemen should switch names, because if you find out you're going to live in Omen, you go, yeah, man. But if you find out you're going to live in Yemen, you go, oh, man. Bro, that's messed up to an extreme level. You're insane. Well, imagine if you were on a sinking ship. Who gets saved? Who? Yemen. Bitch. This could be it for Barack's title reign. You're lucky that you kicked out there. But I already have a finisher saved up for your ass. All right, here are the sewers. Thanks to the storm, these sewers might flood soon with rainwater, so I got to get out of here as quick as possible. Plus, the guards are going to find out that I've escaped soon enough. Attention. Inmate 2024, also known as Donald J. Trump, has recently escaped his prison cell. All guards must search for him. I repeat, inmate 2024, also known as Donald J. Trump, has escaped his prison cell. Oh shit, this isn't good. How did they already find out? But good thing the ladder is down here, so I should be fine. Ah, the smell of rain is always great. But where the hell is Roman? Oh my god, it's a McDonald's. Should I get something from there? Nah, I don't want to risk getting caught. Oh wait, is that Roman? I think it is. Thanks for picking me up. We need to get out of here ASAP though, because the police already know I escaped. Oh damn, already? All right then, let's get out of here. Keep your head down so no one sees you. People know I can do a lot of things, but I don't think anyone ever thought I could hit a gorilla with a gorilla press power slam. Are you calling me a gorilla, you motherfucker? Maybe. My brother in Christ, don't get mad that you're a gorilla. It happens to the best of us. How? Well, it looks like Barack just barely kicks out of Rashad Al-Alami's gorilla press power slam. What else more can put Obama away and vice versa? Why are you talking like you're some WWE commentator? You're almost as bad as Kevin Patrick, for God's sake. Oh, sweet Jesus, this is it for Barack's title reign. Shit, no! Bro, what happened to the lights, huh? Obama better not have drone strike the power grid. I'm back, bitches. Nah, bro, this fat hoe really just came out here and ruined my chance of winning. I literally had Barack beat there if it wasn't for this dumbass coming out. No need to get rambunctious Rashad Al-Alami. Just accept the fact that this Yemen rules match is about to turn into a triple threat Yemen rules match because I'm cashing in my money in the bank briefcase. Well, get down here so I can turn this match back to a singles match by knocking your stupid head off of your body. I knew you were huge, but bloody hell, you are gigantically huge. You literally cast a shadow on the ring. It's crazy. Well, I have something else that's huge in my pants that you can suck on like a fucking pacifier, you dumb baby. Bitch. The big D Trump doesn't tolerate this kind of disrespect. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Trump cold stunner. Trump cold stunner. Holy shit, Trump is about to win the championship. And he wins it. Did you really say Trump cold stunner two times in a row? Bro, I'm literally rooting for you right now. You don't got to be an ass. Well, I don't care if I'm an ass to you or if I'm a long and hard wainer to you. Oh, yes, please, Daddy. Either way, I'm your new undisputed universal champion. And more importantly, I have the title that I've been trying to get since episode one. The Million Dollar Championship. Oh, how it feels so damn good. Well, congrats, Trumpy. I do believe, though, that if you didn't come and cash in your briefcase, the Yemen president would have beat Barack. He really did have him beat there. I really don't think anyone watching this cares about your opinion, Joe. So just walk away and go get Kamala to change your diaper. Oh, shit, you're right. I must have wet my pants during the match. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. Every day you find a way to be an idiot. Congrats, Trump, on the victory. I'm happy for you. I really am. Just watch your back because I'm getting pretty sick of not having a title on my shoulder. Yeah, and I'm getting pretty sick of you talking, so shut up. Damn, okay, you bitch. I really lost my two titles after 12 long episodes. I knew it was going to end soon, but not like this. Not in this pathetic country of Yemen. I have to take my anger out on something. 
Well, lucky for you, Barack and Roman, that I'm officially announcing for next episode, a.k.a. episode 16 of the series. I'll be holding an Elimination Chamber match featuring Roman Reigns, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, John Cena, Seth Rollins, and a mystery competitor that will be revealed before the match next episode. What about my homie, L.A. Knight? L.A. Knight will be on commentary that episode. I just didn't want to throw him into the match just because I know there is some tension between him, Seth Rollins, and John Cena. Vice versa as well. I get it, but thank you all for watching this episode. Let's smash 742 likes. I don't know why I picked 742, but just roll with it. Comment down below your favorite moment in this video as well, and I'll be replying to some of them. But with that, thank you all for watching, and I will... We have some breaking news tonight. One of them is Donald J. Trump, former United States president, breaking out of the Fulton County Jail in Georgia. We also have some more breaking news coming out of the Middle East, specifically Yemen, where it has been reported that the whole country is currently being drone-striked by an outside force. With this information, it's also been confirmed that Donald J. Trump won a wrestling match of some sort following his jailbreak, granting him control over the country of Yemen. Therefore, it is now being speculated that the former president is behind these violent and murderous attacks. This story is still developing, and we'll have more information in the coming hours. Now onto the weather outlook following major Hurricane Idalia. I needed to let out my anger somehow. Time for the long-awaited Elimination Chamber match, featuring presidents and WWE wrestlers. Whoever wins faces me for my titles, the titles that I won when I cashed in my money in the bank briefcase. That was no money in the bank briefcase. That was a McDonald's briefcase like what in the Yemen? Whoa there, Barry. No need to curse at the Big D Trump. You know you can't say Yemen nowadays, especially if it comes out of your dirty-ass mouth. And what is that supposed to mean? Two simple words, Barack. War crimes. Bitch. And after I won, I opened up the briefcase again and ate a Big Mac. Did your dumbass really keep a Big Mac inside of that briefcase? Yep. Dear Lord, please help Trump's McDonald's problem and help me find more kids to kidnap. Amen. Uh, Joe, I don't think you should be praying about that. Can you just respect the fact that I need kids? I will not. It's literally the only reason why my heart hasn't flatlined yet. I hope it flatlines soon. That's pretty ironic coming from your quarter pounder with cheese ass. You literally go to McDonald's every day. You're probably their main source of income. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Nah, I'm good. Your daughter Ivanka already did. Jesus Christ, will you all shut up? All of this middle school roast battle shit is making your tribal chief pissed as hell. Don't worry, I'll try to speak more slowly so you can keep up. Bitch, just know that I'm gonna beat every single person that's in this match. Soon the tribal chief will reign supreme again. You dumbass. Go back to McDonald's. It's literally your natural habitat. You literally helped me break out of jail, so why are you being a bitch? I didn't break you out of jail. I simply guided you out of jail. And I only did that for that 10 million cheddar cheese lettuce and cabbage greenbacks. Cash. I don't blame you for helping break Trump out of jail for $10 million. I would do anything for some cash. Just like I gave China our whole military for the first copy of GTA 6. You did what? I know it's not cash, but I'll be selling that shit soon for some cash. Joe, that might have been the smartest thing you've ever done. Really, Donald? Fuck no. Oh, then what do I do? Should I sell GTA 6 back to China? You shouldn't have even bought GTA 6 in the first place, you prehistoric dork. Damn, you got him there, Mr. Deporter-in-Chief. There's no way you just called him Deporter-in-Chief Lamau. You money-hungry bitches! Shut the hell up before I drone strike your asses! I'm getting an alert on my phone that the entire world has declared war on us. Even Canada? Yep, even Canada. Shit, we are down bad, aren't we? Well, at least we have Texas, right? Oh no, Trump, I actually traded Texas to Mexico in exchange for free tacos for a month. Joe, you could have at least got a year of free tacos instead of a month. You kind of got ripped off there, not gonna lie. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah! I honestly don't care if the United States gets taken over. No one can see me anyway, so I can just live for free. I literally see you right now, you dumbass. 
I don't think Joe understands what a joke is. How pathetic. I guess jokes weren't around during the prehistoric time period, were they? Hey, John. I heard what you said to Jimmy a few weeks ago and how the wrong brother quit. And you're so wrong about that. Jay quit because he's mad that he wasn't able to defeat his tribal chief. Stop dick riding Jimmy just because you want him back into the bloodline. That just shows how weak you are, Roman. If I ever get a chance to fight you again, just know those titles will be coming to Hollywood with me. Oh, hey, Mr. Cena. I thought I would pay you a little visit over Discord. Oh, not this shit again. Get out of here, LA Knight. I plan to leave anyway, you bitch. Good, because no one wanted you here anyway. I want LA Knight to stay. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. Yeah! Jesus Christ, I think my eardrums might have exploded. Joe, did you put your mouth right up to your microphone when you said that? Wait, the thing that you talk into is called a microphone? I thought it was called headphones. It's hard to believe you beat 100,000 other sperm. I'm pretty good at races, Barack. Damn, your entrance looks weird without your titles. I'm just so used to you being champion, you know? And if I recall correctly, I'm the one who took your titles. Holy hell, Donald. It would be great if you could finally acknowledge me for once in your life as the best president to wrestle. Hey, that's my line, you bitch. It would be great if you were to shut your mouth. He does have a point there, Grumpy Trumpy. Did you really just call me Grumpy Trumpy? I did call you Grumpy. Uh, grew Grumpy Trumpy. Did I, I stut stutter? You just did. Oh, wait, I really did stutter there? Of course you did. You really forgot, didn't you? Yeah, my dementia is getting pretty bad, don't you think? Well, no shit, Joe. Everyone knows that. I feel bad for the White House staff that have to deal with your fossil ass every day. If you beat me in 2024, they'll probably turn the White House to a crematorium to prepare for your demise. Well, I hope I beat you then, because I love crematoriums. I just love to see dead bodies burn. What in the frickety fuck was that? Now, nah, Joe, I know you were my vice president and all, but you're fucked up, man. Obama, you know that corpse isn't human. He is literally a dinosaur that survived the asteroid and then evolved into a human. He probably has dinosaur DNA in his blood. That does not at all make any sense. But I'm just gonna go ahead and believe you. As you should. The freakiest of the freakiest, Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. And aren't we in the Middle East for this Elimination Chamber match? It must feel quite at home for Obama. Bitch! That was pretty rude, to be honest. You know Barack is insecure about that stuff. I don't care about Barack's insecurities. All I care about is beating your ass so hard that it'll send you to the I see you. Wait, you can see me? Oh my God, how can you see me? Huh? What? Oh, did Lil Bro just nut? You dumb son of a bitch. I meant that I'm gonna send you to the ICU like in the hospital. My God, someone kill me. Yeah, John, you are a dumbass. to be quite honest with you. Your shirt that you're wearing says it for itself. Stay out of this LA. You have nothing to do with this. You always think that you're the spotlight of everything just because you get cheap crowd reactions. It's ironic that you're talking about cheap crowd reactions when all you have that's keeping you over with the audience is your stupid entrance theme song. Yeah! Even your wife gets louder crowd reactions than you and that's when she's on NXT. Yeah! Oh, shut your dumb ass up, L.A. Knight. I don't even care about you, nor do I care about bald ass Cena over there. All I care about is who the mystery wrestler is in this match, and I think we're about to find out. Wrestling has more than one royal fan. Damn, I'm a little disappointed. I expected someone bigger to be the mystery competitor like Brock Lesnar, but we get Cody Rhodes? Jesus Christ. What do you guys want to talk about? We don't want to talk about shit. Oh great, the overrated fart is here. Did you just call Cody an overrated fart? Speaking of farts, the kid-sized underwear that I'm wearing has fart stains on it. Why in the hell are you wearing kid-sized underwear? Are you so ancient that you forgot what size you were in? No need to fuss about it, Barack. It was just the underwear from the kids last night. Damn, they were rowdy in my bed. They did have fun with Big Balls Biden, though, that's for sure. What the fuck? Oh, and the underwear was girl underwear. I honestly prefer it over my adult diapers. Wait, does that mean you- I think that's enough of that conversation. I don't want to hear any more of what Sleepy Joe does in his free time. I'm never sending my kid around that creepy ass bitch. Same here. And I guess we'll now get started with this Elimination Chamber match with Seth Freakin Rollins and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. After I'm done with this American Nightmare, I'll send his zesty ass all the way back to AEW. Ha 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 ha! And everyone will start off with one finisher when they enter the match. And it looks like Cody is already taking advantage of that stipulation. How'd you like that crossroads Seth? 
Reminds you of hell in a cell last year, didn't it? Your dumbass really thinks that some stupid crossroads can put out the drip god himself, Seth freaking Rollins? Ha! Very funny, Cody. How about I give you a curb stomp just like I did to your wife last night? Oh, so that's why she didn't come home last night. You have must have forgotten who I am. I am the American nightmare, your worst nightmare, and you really thought I wouldn't kick out of a curb stomp. You must be high on Joe Biden's nose candy. Yeah, and I'm selling that shit for $1,000 per gram. It's a good deal, though. It comes straight from Colombia. Don't you think that's quite a lot for just one gram? I was actually considering buying some from you. It's hard to find Coke nowadays, let me tell you. What do you mean? You can literally find Coca-Cola everywhere. I don't know what you're on L.A. night, but whatever it is, Uncle Bidenator wants it. I wasn't talking about Coca-Cola. I was talking about, you know what? Who the fuck cares? And speaking of Coca-Cola, Oompa Loompa looking ass Trump over there drinks Diet Coke, thinking it helps with his obesity. But let me tell you something, Donald. It doesn't do shit to help you lose weight. Your two brain cells probably can't comprehend that, though. Joe, you're so sleepy that you're saying that I have two brain cells when all you have is your teleprompter. I swear 99.9% .9 of people are dumb. Fortunately, the big D Trump belongs in the remaining 1% of smart people. Donald, you dumbass. How does 1% go into 99.9%? .9 that would literally go over 100. Even if you didn't mean to say that, you and Joe are still dumb pieces of shit. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Barack? You know Donald's and Joe's feelings get hurt easily. I couldn't care less. Fair enough. Yeah, Trump, you really had me triggered there. You know me, the math wizard. Hates dumb people like you. Actually go back to school and get good grades instead of playing WWE 2K23 all day. Same with you, Joe. You could be giving more money to Ukraine, but you're over here playing this stupid kids game. How long have you been here? Quite a while, that's all Big Ben Shapiro will say. Oh, and that reminds me that I need to give Ukraine their weekly $80 billion. No, Joe, don't do it. I already did. Shit! I'm taking on Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes all by myself. I'm a good wrestler for my age, aren't I? I would have already pinned Seth and Cody if I was in there, so don't think your prehistoric ass is any more special than the Big D Trump. All right, small D Donnie, say what you want. Joe, you couldn't beat me even if your life, if you even have any left, depended on it. Your bones are probably going to be broken after this. Soon we'll call you paralyzed Biden. Ha 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 ha. Well, I call your wife Becky my bitch when she's under my desk sucking my two millimeter defeater. Oh shit. Damn, Biden, you just knocked Seth off of his rocker. That was well deserved. Seth has been salty that I eliminated him from the Royal Rumble match for like two months now, and the freak show hasn't shut up about it. And how does that have anything to do with what is happening right now? It doesn't have anything to do with it. I just wanted to express my anger. Yeah, sure. How about you express your anger on Nikki Bella? We all know you miss her. I bet she doesn't miss your bald ass, though. Don't bring Nikki up, you bitch. And don't make fun of the balding on my head. It literally happens to everyone, and it will soon happen to your overrated ass. Whatever you say, John. Jesus Christ, can you all stop yelling into your microphones? My ears are bleeding right now. No cap. The CNN Thunderbomb. The CNN Thunderbomb? Are you serious, Joe? That may very well be the worst name for a wrestling move known to mankind. There's no need to be a hater, Donald. I just like to watch CNN for their cooking. My, oh my, all of the food gets me hungry. You actual skeleton, CNN doesn't even do cooking. They report on fake news. Yes, you heard me right. Fake motherfucking news. My bad Trumpy Dumpty. Instead of CNN, I was talking about Hell's Kitchen, like the kids edition of Hell's Kitchen, you know? I can already tell where this is going. When I watch that show, man, those kids make me hard. Like I'm talking about harder than a rock. It takes a lot to do that for someone my age. I just wish I was there in that kitchen. Me and the kids would have so much fun locked up in the back, just me and the kid, all alone. God help us. That was so disgusting, holy shit. Michael, get the trash can, I'm gonna puke. Don't you mean Michelle? Oh my God, the gorilla himself has arrived. I never thought I would see the day. Who are you calling a gorilla, you tangerine? All right, guys, let's chill out a little here. The only person that's not gonna chill is me. I'm still mad over what Joe said about my wife earlier. And the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins doesn't tolerate that level of disrespect. Ha 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 ha! Take this curb stomp, Seth. Knocking your ass out just like I knocked Donald Trump out of winning the 2020 election. Did Joe really just eliminate Seth Rollins, the world heavyweight champion? What timeline are we living in? Because this is getting insane. I was not expecting Sleepy Joe to eliminate anyone. 
but I especially didn't expect him to eliminate Seth Franklin Rollins. I thought his bones would fall apart before then, or he'd fall asleep. Well, now that I proved all of my doubters wrong and won this Elimination Chamber match, I'm going to go on and beat Trump to finally bring the WWE titles to the White House where they belong. No, Biden, you didn't win the Elimination Chamber match yet. There's still four wrestlers left that haven't been eliminated. I can't even count that high, to be honest. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest, Joe. It really doesn't. But still, when I do win this Elimination Chamber match, I'm bringing those titles back to the White House. It'll look pretty good in the daycare room upstairs. I bet all of the kids will love it. You having a daycare in the White House also doesn't surprise me. We all know that you'll be bringing those titles to your Delaware vacation home, because that's where you are 90% of the time, instead of doing your job as, quote, President of the United States. Why'd you say President of the United States in quotes? Because it's clear that you're not the true President of the United States. You literally rigged the election, you fraud. Actually, I would just give the titles to Ukraine. Are we not going to talk about how this old hag just pinned me? I think Joe is using hacks. I'm not hacking you, dummy. I'm just better than you. So much for finishing the story. Go to the library and go finish a story that actually has an ending. Good idea. I'll go there right now, actually. I almost had you pinned there, Barack. Just one more finisher and your ass will be sent all the way to China. You should be lucky that you'd be going to China anyway. I love it there. Such a beautiful country. I can speak their language too. I'm well aware that you can speak Chinese. That's literally all you know how to do. And I'll speak some Chinese right now. Oh no. My name is Yuehan Xinan. I like to say Chinese. Barack in this game is very difficult. I'm going to do a surprise to the Yemen. I'm done. John Cena is back at it again. Joe, you really thought I wouldn't kick out of that? Some stupid CNN bomb? Bro, I'm literally Super Cena. I can kick out of anything. I don't care, John. All I care about is this replay of a move which I like to call the 9-11 attack. Why in the world is your move called that? Because when I'm charging at John Cena, I'm like an airplane, and I picture John Cena as the World Trade Center. Pretty creative, right? And let's run that shit back. Look at my form when I get momentum from the ropes and clothesline John Cena. You can't say that isn't incredible. Joe, you're one hell of a freak. Oh, don't worry, I know. The big dog is here to destroy each and every one of you in this match. Soon your tribal chief will become champion again just how it should be. Hey, don't push me, you bitch. I can do whatever I want. After all, I am the big dog. Woof, woof, woof! I didn't know Roman was a dog. I've always thought he was human. You relic, I'm not a dog. I just call myself the big dog. Bro doesn't even have a brain. Oh my God, Roman the dog can talk? No way now, this is crazy. Kamala didn't tell me that dogs can talk now. Things change so fast, don't they? Jesus Christ! Just ignore that zombie. He probably doesn't even know the difference between a cat and a dog. Wait, Roman is a cat? I'm out! Did he seriously just leave the Discord call? Don't worry, Barack. Your boyfriend will be back soon. What? Is there something you're not telling me? Thanks a lot, Donald. It was my pleasure. Wait, so is Roman a cat or a dog? Shut the fuck up, Joe. Okay. What I'm about to do to Cena will end his wrestling and Hollywood career. If the dumbass even had one in the first place. This doesn't look good for Cena. Oh shit, oh my god. Ah! There wasn't even a reversal for that. Now that shit is rigged just like the 2016 election. The 2016 election wasn't rigged because the big D Trump won it. The 2020 election, however, was stolen from me. The same thing will happen in 2024. Thanks a lot, Sleepy Joe and Mr. Drone Striker. The hell did Trump I called stunner pussy. You bitch, that's my move. Don't care. Ronald McDonald man over here already knows that Uncle Bidenator will beat him in 2024. I find it hilarious, not gonna lie. Bro gonna complain on Twitter when he loses again. Crybaby of the decade, let me tell you. It's called XU dumbass. Now shut up before I launch one of my rockets at the White House. Oh, I love rockets. I like when they go boom, boom, ha ha ha, boom, 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 let's go. What the fuck did I just witness? My bad, my slime, I got a little carried away. I let my intrusive thoughts win. Yeah, your slime can tell. Your hack client must be real nice, Roman, because there's no way that you just pinned me there. How could you even see me in the first place? You just suck. Yemen Destroyer. You do that move way too much for your own good. I do suck. Oh, you're talking about sucking at the game. Oh, my bad, my bad. What did you think I was talking about? Don't worry about it. All that I can say is that Barack has a lot of experience with it with his husband. I couldn't agree more with that one Cena. Barack isn't as good as he used to, though. I don't even know what y'all are talking about. All I'm thinking about is drone striking Yemen for the 1,000th time. I just love destroying villages. It's just so much fun. 
Jesus Christ, Barack, you are weird. But anyways, John, that might have been the most embarrassing way to be pinned in a match. You were literally pinned by a jumping clothesline, a jumping clothesline. Yeah, I said it twice because it was so embarrassing. I'm gonna have dreams about that one. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, John. I thought you were better than that. You two better hope I don't see you backstage, because if I do, all hell will break loose. Yo, Elon, am I your slime? I think we can be good friends. Hell, we could form a tag team called L.A. Tesla. How does that sound? Sounds like shit. Thanks for the compliment, Elon. I really appreciate it. No problem. One thing I just realized is that we're the only three presidents that have played this game. We should get George in here and maybe my homie Bill Clinton. We could also get Hillary in here. Joe, I'm going to stop you right there, because I've already tried to get George in this series. But every time I ask him, he says he's too busy driving his Porsche 911. And don't even get me started on the fucktard duo of Bill and Hillary. If I ever see those two again, I'll put them in a cage and send them to Madagascar so they can sing and dance to the song, Move It, Move It, with the lemurs. You and the Clintons must be very good friends. I can't tell if you're being satire or if you're actually just a dumb son of a bitch. Well, my mom was indeed a big, fat, ugly bitch, so I guess I am a dumb son of a bitch. Why are you calling your mother a bitch? The only person you should be calling a bitch is Roman for holding the universal title hostage for three years. Stay mad. She's a bitch because she never let me go to playgrounds when I was younger. The only time she did was when there were no other kids around. I couldn't even be around my own siblings. I never knew why. It's probably because she knew right when you came out of the womb that you would become a predator. Yep, that sounds about right. Oh shit, I can't kick out of this Yemen driver, Roman. You gotta help me. I'm coming, Biden! When I said that I was coming to break you out of that pin, I meant that I was... Well, never mind. Bro, what the hell? How did you not break up the pin? We literally had a contract that you would help me win this match. You guys had a contract? I didn't even sign a contract, you demented fossil. I was trying to help you because I was actually trying to be nice for once. Now I know why I can't. Well, it looks like Barack Obama and Roman Reigns are the final two idiots in this match. So if whoever wins faces you for your titles, which will be me, by the way, when will I face you? I'll reveal that after this match ends, but you got to focus on that scumbag named Roman because he's really beating your ass right now. Not trying to hate, but it's true. Are you blind? I literally just hit Roman with the super kick suplex combo, and I'm about to hit this motherfucker with the Yemen driver. Oh, no. Not the Yemen driver. God, I have nightmares of that move. And I bet the people of Yemen do as well. I also have nightmares of getting pinned, and I'll make sure it doesn't happen today. And it sure won't happen from a stupid Yemen driver. That reminds me of when your cousin Jay pinned you at Money in the Bank in July. That memory still haunts you, doesn't it? Your 1,000 days or whatever the hell it was, streak of not being pinned, being broken, must feel terrible. You sounded really robotic there. You good, Donald? I sound robotic because I'm literally a fucking AI. You're an AI too. Bro really just broke the fourth wall. Let's just pretend that I never just said that. One thing I'm not gonna pretend didn't happen is you disrespecting me by making fun of your tribal chief being pinned at money in the bank. But honestly, I couldn't care less because I'm still holding the universal title hostage. I am jealous that Mommy Rhea has something going with Jay though. Yeah, Jay is one lucky man. Buddy Matthews is crying in the corner, though, haha. -ha. Did y'all forget about Dominic? I bet one million dollars that no one gives a damn about Dominic Mysterio, that prick. You're right about that one. I would also bet all of the money China gave me and my family that no one gives a damn about McDonald Trump. Did you really just call me McDonald Trump? Are you high? Yes and yes. I said this once, and I'll say it again. You're the reason why The Walking Dead exists. They literally took you as inspiration for the movie. The director was like, hmm. What movie should we make next? Then they thought of you and they were like, oh, let's make a zombie movie. Well, I think you're the inspiration for the color orange with your orange ass skin. Oranges exist because of your existence. Hell, the color was probably inspired off of your skin. And I bet the inspiration for wigs is your hair because we all know it's fake. How can my skin be the inspiration for a freaking color? And how can my hair, which is 100% real, be the inspiration for wigs? Oh my God, my brain cells are currently dying. God help us. Go fuck yourself with an ice cream cone. Ooh, imagine getting roasted by God, ha 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 ha. That's a bigger L than the existence of AEW. Well, uh, I have an ice cream cone you can borrow. Kill me! With an ice cream cone? 
bro, I literally hit this NPC with two spears and it's still kicking out. How in the hell is this possible? Nah, homie, where is Solo Sokoa when you need him? You really thought two spears would pin me for the three count? Ha! You must be dumb in the head because nothing can beat me. I literally drone strike villages and nothing happens to me. So why would someone like you, someone who goes on one month vacations 10 times a year, beat me? It's impossible. Did you have anything else to say? Holy fuck to the power of 69. I'm done with this stupid game. I'm out of this bitch. Get ready for a drone strike, Roman. Ah! Did that dumbass really just break his setup again? Jesus Christ, I have to go calm him down. Maybe playing with his meatballs will help. What? So Trump, when will we have our match? Great question, Roman Noodles. We'll have our match four episodes from now in episode 20 in an event in which I like to call Presidential Mania. This is basically our version of WrestleMania. Best part about it is that we'll be in the main event just so you feel somewhat at home when I beat you. Wait, you're just defending the universal title and not the million dollar title also? Now that's some bullshit. Deal with it. Yeah. 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 Why are you guys repeating the word yeah? Is this some cult? I think it might be. Yeah. 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 Make it stop. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Now, where did I park my car? Oh, hey, Cena, what's up? Get out of my way, you bitch. You're gonna pay for that one L.A. night. Bro, what was that for? I just wanna go home. Screw going home. I don't even need a home because I just sneak into other people's houses. It's pretty genius, not gonna lie. No one can see me anyway. It's perfect. You're a dumbass, John. I gotta tell you. Oh, don't worry, L.A., I know. And you really had to throw me onto the concrete like that? What do you have against me? I literally paved the way for guys like you, and you still don't respect me? Bro doesn't have any hustle, loyalty, or respect. What in the hell is going on here? Are you too insane? Well, that was a stupid question because it's obvious what the answer is. Is the answer that we're not insane? No, you idiot. You two are clearly insane pieces of shit. Now drop the hockey sick Ella Knight before things get rough between you and me. And I'm not talking about in bed. No, no, no. I'm not like Obama with Manchel. I'm talking about man to man wrestling. L.A. Knight, are you deaf? Put it down. Put it down now! Okay, there you go. You finally listened. Now, you two better stop fighting back here or we'll have bigger issues with each other than we already do. With that being said, I think a good way to solve this problem is summon ring wrestling baby, Cena versus Knight, next episode. And better yet, how about me as the special guest referee for that match? Then I can watch over your candy asses to make sure no bullshit happens. I think that is a terrific idea, Mr. Visionary. I'll be seeing you next episode, Ella Knight, where I'll beat your ass with my bare hands. Wait, that was weird. John, you literally have a wife. Just do it to her. I didn't know you were gay, John. That's some news to me. Well, either way, gloves on or off, I'll still beat your ass. See you in episode 17, Knight. Hey guys, I know this is all so sudden and everything, but yeah, CM motherfucking Punk is back in the WWE, but not as a wrestler, as a backstage interviewer. Like what in the frickety fuck, a backstage interviewer? At least the pay is good. I need some money after being fired from AEW. And you probably noticed that I'm wearing a clown outfit and that's because I'm quote, a piece of shit and a retard. That was literally straight from Vince McMahon's mouth. And if the old hag is hearing this right now, then fuck. You know what? I really don't want to be fired right now. I kind of need the money. Who doesn't in this day and age? But without getting political, let's get on with this interview. Welcome my guest, the Yemen president, Rashad Al-Alimi. How are you today, Mr. President? Shut up. This is my interview. I'm here to discuss what happened at the end of the last episode, where the news was saying that Trump drone striked Yemen after the title match. But that wasn't true. It was Barack Obama, that bastard. So next episode, episode 17, I want Barack Obama to explain why on earth he drone striked us for like what? The 1,000th time? Every time we rebuild, boom, gone. Rebuilding again, boom, gone again. Like what the hell? Explain your actions, Barack. 
I'll be waiting. That bitch. Now nah, get this camera out of my face. Thank you all for watching this video. Our light goal for today is 69,420. Because why the hell not? Next episode, me and Roman will sign our contract to make our match for presidential mania official. Barack Obama will then address his future in the WWE, including addressing the Yemen drone strikes. And John Cena and L.A. Knight will finally have their match being built up from the Royal Rumble with Seth Rollins as the special guest referee. But with that, the big D Trump has to go and campaign some more if I want to have a chance at beating Joe in 2024. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, uh, what a nice day it is today. I remember Barack saying that he was going to drone strike me. Ha! That hasn't happened, has it? Well, shit. We're kicking off this match harder than what's in Sleepy Joe's pants when he sniffs children. You got that right, Donnie and L.A. Knight over there already hit John Cena with a freaking finisher. One, two, three. Oh, shit, that was close. Wait, who the hell is that referee? Wasn't the referee supposed to be Seth Rollins? Is that who I think it is, the biggest nerd of them all? Yeah, it's me, Big Boy Shapiro. How are you fine gentlemen doing today? Are you serious right now? How did this nerd become the referee? Yeah, Ben, why are you here? And what happened to Seth Rollins being the referee? He said, and I quote, the line to pick up my weekly supply of booger sugar is very long, so I won't be able to arrive to the match on time, so I need you to take my place. If you do, I'll supply your nose with a few grams tomorrow. I'd honestly prefer Seth not being here anyway. His laugh gives me nightmares that last for days. That's not fair. Why does he give you grams of heaven powder, but he doesn't give me or Hunter anything? Barack, you got a drone strike Seth's house because I can't take this anymore. Everyone just excludes me out. I only use my rockets on Yemen. Bombing villages is literally my passion. That's pretty weird, Obama. You should really rethink your life passion. Just some advice from your fossil friend. That's so ironic coming from you when your passion is kidnapping kids and locking them up in the White House basement. Oh, oh no! I, I can explain. I, uh, how did you fi find out? You tell me it every single day, you stuttering dinosaur. All right, you donkeys, let's keep it civil here as we still have to commentate over this match. Yeah, you're right. And speaking of this match, I'm kind of surprised that Cena hasn't been getting more offense. I'm just getting old. I'm not as good as I used to. I'm just waiting for an opening and Knight will be pinned for that one, two, three. Just like that. Ooh, that punch right to the jaw was insane, I gotta tell you. I didn't even feel anything. You can do way better than that. Now, come on. I don't even know why you guys hate each other, not to mention Cena's shirt, because aren't you guys like going to team up in real life against the bloodline? I'm only helping him so I can get more TV time. I got to keep my crowd reactions bigger than Cena's. You dumb son of a bitch. You know I still and will forever get louder crowd reactions than you. If you two are still acting like this when your match comes around, then damn. Yep, just damn. Even me and Sleepy Joe get along better than those two. I am so sick and tired of your high cholesterol ass calling me sleepy all of the fucking time. Just because I take 69 naps a day doesn't mean you gotta make fun of me every minute, you sag of shit. Uh, you good, bro? Does it look like I'm good, Will you, you fucking Will you two stop pussy? fighting? Oh my god, we already have a fight that's happening in the freaking ring. We don't need another one. Cena and Knight aren't even in the ring, you dumbass. Did he really just break his setup? Oh my God. Doesn't he break his setup every episode? That guy needs some anger management, but anyway, that flying crossbody Cena did through the ropes was pretty sick. Thank you for the compliment, Ben. It really takes a lot to do that when you're out of your prime. And there's no way this NPC really thought I wouldn't kick out of that. That's actually embarrassing no freaking way, man. God, I wish I didn't sign that stupid contract for that tag match. I'm just not gonna show up to Fastlane this Saturday. I couldn't care less about it. And speaking of signing contracts, me and Roman will sign our contract right after this match ends. Or so Roman thinks we are. What does that mean, you bitch? Wait and see, motherfucker. Bro, I'm gonna literally carry the match on Saturday and win it, because I don't need some wannabe knight as my tag team partner. Hell no. Just because my name is L.A. Knight doesn't mean I want to be some knight for some freaking kingdom. You're so idiotic. It annoys me so much how much of an idiot you are. Now I can understand why Nikki Bella left you, goddammit. Oh, shit, you messed up there, Knight. Feel bad for you, to be honest. You're gonna wish you hadn't said that. Obama do what you do best and drone strike his ass. Uh,
Barry Obama, you there, my slime? I don't think Barack is here because he destroyed his freaking setup, that raging monkey. And plus why, every time we get mad, we ask Barack to drone strike someone. Joe literally has the nuclear codes, somehow. Yeah, but we don't ask him because he forgot which button was his ice cream button and which one was the nuke button. Joe, please, for the love of God, don't tell me that this is true. It is true. Fuck you! Get on your knees and warm me up first. What? Just risk it all and just press one of the buttons. What's the worst that can happen? Bet, say less. Are we dead yet? Where are the nukes? Ha! I think we're good. I thought my house was about to go kaboom just like Yemen on a daily basis. Uh, I don't think Ben is with us anymore. You can't see me. Take this attitude adjustment, you dumb bitch. Oh my god, that F5 was crazy. That was not an F5, Joe, you demented fuck. That's an easy rope break. Nice try, John. Wait, what the hell? How was that? Not a rope break. I was literally touching the ropes. Oh my god, Ben Shapiro, you're stupid. I don't think that referee is Ben Shapiro anymore. I think it's just some stupid AI, because there's no way Ben survived that nuke. Ha ha. Just take the loss, you loser. I still pinned your dumb ass either way, even if you had your hand on the ropes. The referee didn't see it, so that's all that matters. I can't take this shit anymore. I'm out. Lamau bro, just raged quit. So what about your mixed gender match with LA Knight on Saturday? Will it still happen? My mixed gender match with LA Knight? What? Joe, you must be on some pure Colombian. Oh, I mean your tag team match, my bad homie. I thought so, and our match against the Bloodline will still happen at Fastlane, unfortunately. If it wasn't already advertised, then I wouldn't even show up. Burn it down! Oh shit, Seth Rollins is here. Uh, yes, I'm back, baby. Let's go! Just got done snorting some white powder like a freaking pig. So I'm pretty hyper right now, if you couldn't already tell. Uh, but I'm here because this match was actually a number one contender match to see who will face me for my World Heavyweight Championship in the next episode. And since your bald ass won, we're having our match next episode. Ha ha! That's some news to my ears, Seth. Thank you for the opportunity. It really means a lot. But you seem to be having a little bit of an attitude. So how about I fix that with an attitude adjustment? Jesus Christ, another F5? Damn, you're really on fire today, Cena. I'm just not going to correct you anymore. Your stupidity is unfixable. You didn't have to make it obvious, bro. Did you seriously just hit me with an AA? Nah, bro, you're going to pay for that one, John. Because I'll have you know that the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins doesn't tolerate that type of disrespect. How about you tolerate this, you dumb bitch? Shit! I'll see you next episode, Seth. One thing is for certain, though, your title will come to its true home, Hollywood. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh my fucking God, all of this food. Ah! What do I eat first? My testosterone is going through the roof. Thank you, Jesus, for all of this food. I may need to go to church after this. Uh, Trump? Are you having a freaking boner right now? I mean, who wouldn't when they look at me, am I right? No, Roman, it's not like that. Yeah, sure, Donald, but where is this contract for our match you speak of? I'm pretty eager to sign it so I can finally beat your ass in episode 20. The last time we fought in the ring was all the way back in episode 1, and I plan to beat your ass and win again. Well, that's the thing. Why would we need a contract if you won the Elimination Chamber match? Since you won the match, that automatically makes our match official. No contract needs to be signed. And actually, I knew this all along. I just wanted to see if your dumb ass would fall for it, and you did. What? I came all the way to this stupid bar to be lied to about signing a contract. Don't you think you're gonna get away with this, you racist pumpkin? Oh, Roman, we can talk about this. It was just a simple joke. And plus, I was gonna eat all of that food. Like, come on. Also, why aren't you wearing any shoes? Are you one with nature or something? Well, you're gonna be one with the Big Macs once I'm done with you. Oh! Don't ever test your tribal chief ever again, or something worse than this will happen. Uh, Cheeto Jesus, you good? Did you really just call me Cheeto Jesus, you artifact? Did I stutter you freaking land whale? Shut the hell up, and it looks like Mr. Drone Striker has returned. Never thought I would see the day. Yeah, me and Michael just had to go on a little heist at the local Best Buy to get a new PC and shit. What? Yeah, I'm keeping watch right now, just in case the police decide to pull up to the Obama crib. Now that's what you call a good husband, am I right? I meant a good wife, obviously. Ha! Ha! Yeah, no one fell for that, did they? Damn it! You got me fucked up if you thought I would have believed that. But did you get anything for me when you did that Best Buy heist? You were literally the last thing on my mind when I was robbing that Best Buy. So I think that answers your question. Well, thanks a lot. I knew people like Barack were dangerous. Say that again and see what happens. 
I don't even know what I said. I think I forgot. And people still call me racist when Joe over there literally just said what he said. I even eat KFC, too. Damn, I just don't get this new generation. I'm getting really close to launching a drone strike at both of your houses, but I got to get on with this promo. So I want to address what the punk-ass Yemen president said last episode. He stated that it wasn't Donald Trump who drone striked Yemen in episode 15, but it was rather me, the one and only Barack Obama. And to answer your question, then yes, it was me. Who would have guessed? Oh, man, shit just got real. Why did I do that, you may ask? Well, who wouldn't? After some fat clown cashed in on you and took your titles. Bitch! Even when he didn't even pin you. And I didn't even feel any remorse after I drone striked your country of Yemen. In fact, it helped me cope for losing my titles. Lord help us. But what does this mean for the future of my WWE career? Well, Whoa, 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 not so fast, drone man. You really think I'm gonna let you slide like that? I don't know how many times we've had to rebuild our country, but it sure as hell is a bigger number than what Joe Biden can count to. So you better say sorry right fucking now before things get physical. I ain't gonna say sorry, you pussy. Come and get some of this Obama drama Orama. Suit yourself. Here we go, the fight is on. Oh shit, I gotta go take my afternoon dementia pills real quick. I'll be right back. Please do. This brawl isn't going to end well for you. If Donald didn't come in and cash in his contract in episode 15, then I don't think we would be here right now. I think I would have been on vacation while you would have been lying in a Yemen hospital bed, only for it to be drone striked moments later. You've always portrayed me as the bad guy, or the villain, when the only villain here is you. Is the good guy the one who ruins people's lives by bombing their houses? Is the good guy the one who destroys villages and cities in a nation that's already in dire need of help? Yeah, I didn't think so. Bro, you guys gotta chill out. Shut up, Donald. You're not a part of this. But maybe this elbow drop from the top rope will teach Obama a much-needed lesson to not mess with Yemen ever again. I can't let this happen to my beloved deporter. Square up, bitch. Who the hell is this? Is this one of Drone Man's goons? Ha! Goons. Do you seriously just call me one of Barack's goons? Nah, homie, I ain't a goon, I'm a friend. Now let's get a referee down here because I want to match with this bald-ass jerk right here and right now. It looks like this match is official. KSI versus the Yemen president. I'm back from taking my pills, and damn, that 9-11 attack KSI just did was pretty good. Obviously, I do the move way better, but that was still pretty good, to be honest. Biden, you come up with the worst names for wrestling moves, I swear to God. Why did you call that move the 9-11 attack anyway? You didn't already know? You're like the airplane and the Yemen president was like the World Trade Center. And then you crashed into him with that clothesline, kind of like the explosion when the airplanes crashed into the World Trade Center. One thing is for certain, and that one thing is me not showing up at your funeral. Thanks, bro. Yay! Hooray! Yippee! Let's freaking go! You got this KSI! Take the evil man down! What in the fuck did I just witness? You're acting like those high school cheerleaders. I prefer cheerleaders that are younger though, but it's whatever. I appreciate your words of encouragement, I really do. But maybe tone down your voice a little. My headphones are literally smoking right now, and I don't even know how that's possible. My bad, my slime. And Joe, can you shut up about your obsession with kids? You literally posted on the YouTube channel how you needed to find an adoption center. This is really getting out of hand. Did your dumbass really hack into the YouTube channel just to say that? I literally changed the password a few days ago just in case this did happen. Well, it was pretty easy to guess the password since it was literally, I love Big Macs 2024. Is that seriously the password? I'm afraid so. Uh, did Barack break his setup again? No, that was just me smashing my meat. I didn't know we were doing it at the same time. We are really meant to be, I guess. Jesus Christ, you two need to chill out. Y'all could have waited until after my match, but of course the urge couldn't have been resisted. But I highly doubt anything is coming out of Joe Biden's flippy flopper besides dust. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't talking about my foot-long Subway sandwich down under. I was talking about the actual meat I'm cooking up. I gotta beat it down before I cook it so it's not dry or overcooked, you know. So, Joe, what were you talking about? Oh, come on, Barack, you don't gotta worry about it. Yeah, let's just focus on this match because my oh my, it looks like your dear friend KSI is losing. Joey, Joe, Joe, share your screen right now. Fine, Obama, you win. But I'm gonna warn you, what you're about to see ain't gonna be all pretty and hot like your husband. 
is going to be just as ugly, if not more ugly, than Oompa Loompa looking ass Trump. Bitch. What in the fuck is this, Joe? Does this dumbass really use Microsoft Bing? I find that more concerning than what he is actually searching up. Now that's some sussy baka shit right there. KSI, that was so cringe, oh my god. Wait, so if you were looking at pictures of little girls while you were... All right, Barack, you can stop there because I think all of us here know what the predator did. I don't understand what I did wrong. Y'all always accuse me of stupid shit. I'm getting pretty sick of it, honestly. I may need to activate my Biden blast at this point. Joe, you are one dumb son of a bitch. You and all of us know that there's no such thing as a Biden blast. Did you read that off of your teleprompter? Bro, I don't have a teleprompter. I do have some white powder, though, if you want to buy some. Since when did you sell that type of stuff? Aren't you like the United States president right now, or is Obama the president? Hell, was Trump even a president? I've lost track of time at this point, I swear. My guy, me and Hunter have been selling that shit since the 1980s. And recently, business has been booming due to our new one-day delivery policy. That's because our beloved delivery personnel make sure to test the product before they deliver it, if you get what I'm saying. Damn, I didn't know you had a cartel. Pretty sick, not gonna lie. Yeah, and after this match is over, I'm gonna fly down to our main warehouse in Columbia to see our kids at work down there. Wait, what do you mean by kids at work down there? So instead of adults working at our warehouses, it's actually kids. Child labor is one of the biggest parts of our business practices, as we don't have to pay the little bitches any money. But don't worry, the real paycheck the kiddos get is after their 23-hour shift is over. Then they go into my office and we have some fun playing games, you can say. I'm hoping this is all some elaborate joke. I unfortunately don't think it is a joke, Barack, since he actually took his dementia pills for once earlier. Jesus Christ. I'm getting pretty sick of this match going on for this long. I've just been letting KSI get moves on me to make him feel good. But now it's time to release the big guns straight from Yemen. Bro, we are literally friends. Since when were we friends? The last thing I would want is me being friends with you and Obama. But now I hope you feel the pain from this one and only Gorilla Press Power Slam. Oh shit. Now nah, get back here. You're not getting away with this. Ha 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 You're so petty, Barack. You really thought one of your goons could defeat me? That's not how this works. I'm getting revenge for those Yemen drone sturks no matter what. You know what? If you're so confident, then how about next episode you fight in a handicap match? It'll be KSI and another person of his choosing against you. We all gladly have a rematch with this fool, and I think the partner that I'm going to pick is none other than I Show Speed, or also known as I Show Meat, if you know you know. I've seen that he has experience with WWE even more than me, so I think he's a good pick. Well, I'll see you and I Show Meat in the next episode. Just to warn you two, though, it won't be a pretty match. Expect blood, sweat, and tears, sponsored by the people of Yemen. And with that, I guess we've came to the end of this episode. In the next episode, the Yemen president will take on KSI and I show meet. Oh shit, I mean I show speed. Paul Heyman will make an appearance regarding me and Roman's presidential mania match. And Seth Rollins defends his title against Cena. If you want to see Sleepy Joe get arrested for his predator acts, leave a like on this video and subscribe. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Barack, the FBI just pulled up. Holy to the mother of God, we are fucked. We're starting off this episode with the Yemen president facing KSI and I show meat in a handicap match. Stop! Stop! Like, what's up with this meat ad lib? It doesn't stop! This fucking meat! Like, damn! Wait, what type of meat are we talking about here? Like, the meat from children or the- Yeah, I've had enough of that children thirsty fossil. He's officially banned. So you all ban Joe, but not Obama? That drone man can get away with everything, from killing his chef to bombing an entire country. After we win this, how about we go for another round of drone strikes? What do you say, Obama, my mama? That's an amazing idea, I can't lie. I'm just thinking of Yemen on fire and blowing up. What a beautiful sight it would be. You act like you don't blow up Yemen every freaking day. Chill out, bro! This is how you punish Why is he so mad? Who wouldn't be mad if someone drone striked your own country? And I'm even more mad now, like how can some stupid high school dropout kid like you be beating me up right now? Your hack client must be top tier. 
Maybe this German suplex lariat combo will teach your dumbass a lesson to never mess with the Yemenis. Why? You really think you're gonna win this easily? Nah, bro, that ain't gonna happen. God is good. God is great. Now that's some bullshit. What's up, guys? I bet y'all didn't expect me here, did you? Elon, get your space Karen ass out of here. No one gives a damn about you. You don't gotta be a bitch, but I'm here because apparently you banned Joe from the Discord call. Of course I banned his dumb ass. He was literally being a creep again and talking about children. Well, since I'm the owner of Discord, I'm going to unban him. If you ever ban him again, I'm going to launch one of my SpaceX rockets at Mar-a-Lago, you fat ass. Oh my god, no way. I'm actually back. Let's go. Thank you, Muskrat. I really appreciate it. No problem, Joe. Wait, what did you just call me? Joe, you wouldn't believe the fun I had while you were gone. I ate ice cream. What? I adopted a kid. Oh my and god. And I even snorted some white powder. You did all of that stuff without me? Nah, that's criminal right there. That should be another charge added to your indictments. Calm down, Joey Joe Joe. Donald is lying. His fat ass didn't even get up from his chair because he's eating McDonald's. Huh? How did you know that I'm eating McDonald's? Are you stalking me? You literally eat McDonald's every time we get on the call, you fucktard. Mickey's, I went to Mickey's and I bought a Big Mac. I bit the Mac, so it bit me back. Don't ever say that again, Speed. Yeah, that was cringe as hell, I can't lie. Shut up, bitch! Get your mama in the fucking ass and eat this dirty booty! What did you just say? No wonder why my nose candy is gone. I bet Speed took it and snorted it, and now he's acting like Obama after he drone strikes Yemen. Bitch! I knew I should have locked that shit up. Just like Oompa Loompa looking ass should have been locked up when he went to the Fulton County Jail that freaking orange. Shut up, you wrinkly old fuck. And it wasn't I show meat that took your nose candy. It was probably Hunter. That bitch probably snorts 20 kilos a day, that addict. Don't talk about my son like that. I love him unlike your sons, Baron and Eric. Speaking of Baron, doesn't he turn 18 next year? That means he can vote, and I'll make sure that he votes for Uncle Bidenator in 2024. Yeah, have fun with that, buddy. I already paid Barron $420.69 to vote for me next year because we all know I'm going to win the stupid primary. You didn't even show up at the two debates. What were you even doing when those were on? Because you clearly weren't there. I was eating McDonald's. Of course you were. Couldn't have ever guessed. Why do you guys think I took my dad's pure Colombian? We literally own a cartel. We basically have infinite kilos of that shit thanks to our child labor practices down in South America. That's so messed up, Hunter, I gotta tell ya. Hell, it's even more messed up than when I show Speed miss that penalty kick in our charity soccer game. SHUT THE FUCK UP! Shut up, I show meat, you really need some help. I'm literally beating your ass right now. Fuck you, me! You look like I need help! Fuck you, me, get help! You're really grabbing a weapon? Is that talking fucking Ben? What in the hell? You want a piece of meat? You can get some right fucking now. Do you want to keep fucking with me right now? Because we can handle it outside. Outside is... I guess that means this match ends in a disqualification thanks to Talking Ben. I don't care if this match is over. I'm still going to give one last Gorilla Press power slam to KSI. Bro, what is this for? The match is literally over. Are you stupid? Deal with it, KSI. But next episode, I'll see Barry Obama in the ring for our contract signing for our match at Presidential Mania. I'll see you then, Drone Boy. I'll see you next episode for that. And just know that if it wasn't for me not being at the arena tonight, you would have been dead. Along with that stupid dog that took out I Show Meat. Ah, shit, I mean, I Show Speed, my bad homie. I highly doubt that. Well, up next, Paul Heyman returns to give his opinions on my and Roman's match for presidential mania. I may even come out to the ring to give him a warm welcome. Wait, guys, uh, y'all want to buy some Coke? I would love to buy some Coca-Cola, only if it's diet, though. Say less. Joe, get that shit cooking up right now. Already started. I've came out here tonight to discuss my former client, Roman Reigns, and his match with the current undisputed and million-dollar champion, Donald Trump. I think that... Now, what the hell is this shit? Can I do a promo in peace? Paul, in real life, we may be friends, but here in this WWE 2K23 universe, nah, homie, it's the complete opposite. You really think you could just get away with first costing me the Royal Rumble match in episode 9, and then costing me the Money in the Bank match in episode 13? Are you stupid? I demand an apology right now. My tribal chief, I, I love you. It was all Jay's idea. I had nothing to do with any of it. Please take me back in as your wise man. 
I really don't want to have to become an advocate again. Was that a threat? No, no, not at all, my tribal- I do not accept your apology, Paul. I think it's finally time that I end you for good, just like I should have done a long time ago. It doesn't have to end like this, Joe. We've come so far together. Please forgive me, please. It's too late to turn back now, wise man. Are you sure about that? What is going on? Donald, what are you doing down here? And Paul, don't act like you don't know what is happening. Because I bet all of the kids in the White House basement that you're in on this. Bro, you talking about me? Stop yelling into your $10 Walmart headset, you clown. Of course you act all tough now that your boy Trumpy is here, you pussy ass bitch. And Donald, please answer my question. Why are you here? I thought you were at some McDonald's waiting for your order of 100 Big Macs and 50 Chicken McNuggets. Oh, you probably added a Diet Coke to that as well. I'm actually gonna do that after I get done beating your ass. But let's just say that Paul Heyman is in fact an advocate again. Your former wise man is managing the Big D Trump now. Wait, what? Paul Heyman is managing you now? So I'm assuming he's managing how much McDonald's you eat every day, you fat fuck. Oh, shut your dumb ass up, Roman. You have no one now. Jay doesn't like you anymore. Jimmy and Solo don't even play this game. And Paul is my advocate now. What do you have left? Nothing. And I think instead of you ending Paul, I think it's time I end you. After this, our match will need to be called off because you'll be in a hospital bed, lying there with broken bones, not being able to see your wife or your kids. Hell, maybe your wife and kids can come over to Mar-a-Lago and... Don't bring them into this, you orange goblin. Ow! Whoa! Uh... Bro, is this man really fucking himself right now? Dear God, I wish I could join in. Trump, watch out! Here goes nothing. Ah! Oh my God, Paul, you dumbass, you didn't even hit him. Oh my bad, Trump. I'll finish this cheater off right now. This is what I've been wanting to do for three whole years. From him firing me, to him getting me beat up by Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, and even Jay Uso. What the hell is happening? I left my computer for a few seconds just to get some much needed lotion for my extracurricular activities, and I'm getting thrown over the barricade by Paul? Tough luck, Roman. It doesn't look like you're doing good right now, but we'll be back next episode to fully finish you off. The next episode put me up against your new advocate, Paul Heyman. If I win, he will be barred from ringside for our match. But if he wins, he can be at ringside. How does that sound? That is a good idea. Paul, you're wrestling next episode. But... I don't want to hear any butts out of you, Paul. Let's get out of here. Whatever you say, my tribal chief. Damn, you and Paul really beat Roman up. I can't say that I'm not happy, though, because that's what he gets for bringing up the kids in the White House basement. How many kids do you have down there now? When you were the vice president, there were only a few thousand. Only a few thousand? What in the frickety fuck? Now we have about, yeah, I'd say maybe 30,000 locked up in their cages. We're about to run out of room down there, so we may have to start putting the kids in the Capitol. Maybe those kids will leak the January 6th security footage. I would really like that. Oh shit, I don't want to piss off my girl Nancy, so we'll just put them in the Pentagon. Joe, shut the fuck up for the love of God, but I'm here to finally end Seth's horrible reign as world heavyweight champion. Thank God the stupid referee didn't see that rope break or I would have been screwed. John, you fucking cunt, you are one sick son of a bitch. LA Knight piped down and watched me destroy the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins. Just to make you cope with the loss, how about after I win, you can be my first challenger. Just for you to cheat again? Hell no. Whoa, you guys, calm down. How about this? In episode 20 for Presidential Mania, how about we have a triple threat match for the world heavyweight title? I'll be the one defending the title, obviously, because I'm gonna beat Cena's ass right here and right now. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea, but you better not do that stupid laugh ever again. Yeah, I'll have to agree with Eli Drake. That laugh kills all of my testosterone. Same here, John Cena. But when I go down to the White House basement, my testosterone goes from 1 to 100 real quick. Oh, that's it, Joe. I'm banning your dumbass right fucking now. Holy shit. Don't think about it, you Oompa Loompa. You know what will happen. Oh, uh, you're so fucking lucky, you uncle in chief. If this stupid rich guy wasn't here, you would be gone. Aren't you the stupid rich guy? Bitch. Oh my god, thank you, Elon, for saving the day again, you superhero. Without Mr. Tweet, I would be a goner. Literally. No problem, Joe. Wait, did you just call me Mr. Tweet? Well, to be honest, you ain't wrong. Well, let's get this match started, because I'm pretty anxious to see who wins this match, as this is the biggest match of the series so far without any of us presidents involved. I should be in this match. Imagine two title Donald. That would be pretty sick. 
With those two titles must come with two dicks, one for Melania and one for Ivanka. Oh, shit, did I give away too much information? That's pretty messed up, I can't lie. Trump, you always gotta ruin everything, but I agree with Barack. Let's get this match started right now so I can beat the living hell out of Invisible Man himself. John Cena. Good luck with that one, Seth. I'd like to see you try. Say less, young blood. Oh, damn, that curb stomp from the second turnbuckle was sick. But I guess now is a good time to tell you guys that this match is not a normal match, but is in fact a two out of three falls match. So this should get spicy. Spicy just like the kids in the White House basement? Holy fucking shit! Now come on to Porter and Chief, hear me out. If spicy foods make your mouth burn, then why doesn't little boy semen burn your mouth? I know I'm onto something here. It's at the tip of my tongue. Literally. Joe, do you go to church? Because if you do, you must pray. Biden, why you always gotta be a little motherfucker? But anyway, this match is gonna be a breeze for you, boy. Cena, the Cena. Oh, you can see me, Cena. Oh, Cena, bitch. I don't even know what your balding ass said there, but I think you should shut your mouth. Plus, I have other things to worry about besides you, like my match with Drew at Crown Jewel and my back. Speaking of my back, it's been really bugging out recently, like God has to fix this reality glitch before too long. I really don't give a fuckaroo fuck about your back. I don't think anyone here does, to be honest, because everyone knows that it's all your fault that you're like this now. I'll just put you out of your WWE 2K23 misery, just like Nakamura should have done at Fastlane and Payback. I'd like to see your pussy ass try. It looks like this is it for the dumbass John Cena. So much for all of that trash talking, huh? Well, fuck me, I guess. Ain't no way Cena kicked out of that. Now that takes some skill. Yeah, you know me. I was smashing the button down on my PS5 controller to kick out of that just like I used to smash Nikki Bella. I don't use the new pinning system they added in 2K23. Not my style, to be honest. But giving son of a bitches like Seth an attitude adjustment is 100% my style. Damn it. Did your dumbass really say PS5 controller? The only controller actually no. The only system you should be playing on is an X motherfucking box. Trump, I knew you were a horrible president but I didn't know you were a horrible console reviewer. What does the Xbox Series X have that the PS5 doesn't? Nothing. Everything that the Xbox has, we do better. And that's just a fact of life. Yeah! You better not mock me again, you buffoon, or I'll come out to the ring and cost you the match. Oh, I'm so scared, LA Knight. Fuck you. Are you idiots really arguing over stupid gaming consoles? The best gaming console is the Magnavox Odyssey, and you can't convince me otherwise. The Magnavox Odyssey is the oldest fucking gaming console to ever exist. So, of course, your old ass says that. Bro, it ain't that old. It's only from, uh, well, man, I'm getting kind of sleepy. Jesus Christ. Joe, go get your beauty sleep, my little angel. But Trump, you really can't be saying that the Xbox Series X is better than the PS5? Are you out of your ever-living mind? Wait, do you even have one in the first place? Nah, bro, you got it all twisted. I'm not talking about mini fridge looking ass Xbox Series X. I'm talking about the iconic Xbox 360. How is the Xbox 360 better than the PS5? That thing is almost as ancient as Joe. One keyword, John, nostalgia, something much more powerful than anything else in life. You got me there, I gotta admit. The PS5's still better though. You bitch. Guys, calm down, I'm trying to sleep with the kids. Oh shit, I mean. Oh my God. Call the police on that fossil? Guys, Joe is just joking about sleeping with kids. I know he is a retard, but he ain't that bad. Keep sucking on it, little man. Ah, uh, yeah, baby boy, you're doing a good job for Uncle Bidenator. Wait, am I muted? Oh, shit. You guys still think he's joking? Joe, if you don't leave those kids alone and let them free, then I'm going to tell Jill everything you're doing. No big D, Trump. I can't let the kids go. They're my best friends. I think they're more than best friends, Joe. How has Jill not seen the kids down in the basement? They've literally been down there since she was the second lady. She's just an old ass bozo. Fine words, Joe, fine words. And Joe, where did the kids go when me and you left office in 2017? Let's just say that Trump might have had some uninvited guests throughout his presidency living in the White House basement. I don't even know who was feeding the hungry motherfuckers. No wonder why I heard cries down there. The Secret Service said it was the ghost of JFK. Damn, I really fell for that shit. But why didn't they get rid of those kids anyway if they knew they were down there? Oh, that's because I was giving all of the Secret Service free pure Peruvian to keep it a secret. The business deal worked out well, I gotta tell you. 
Bro, you couldn't even let me have some of that paradise? How selfish of you, my God. The chain gang soldier myself is feeling like Seth Rollins hasn't been taught his lesson to never mess with Mr. Cena ever again. I think it's time for yet another attitude adjustment to get my first pinfall in this match. I swear I reversed that. It's not looking too good for you right now, Rollins. Are you sure you're gonna be able to kick out of this? Oh, Barack, listen here, you man, shell dick sucker. Fuck you. I'm kicking out of this bitch right now, and I'm gonna knock this invisible man out right here and right now. I'm gonna walk into presidential mania as the champion, and I bet my wife and my kid that I will be walking out as champion, too. I'll remember that one. What? A rope break? You gotta be kidding me. Ah! Bro, are you having a stroke right now? Do I need to call the medics? Ah, well, we'll be needing to call the medics for you after I hit your dumb ass with this curb stomp from the second turnbuckle. Nah, it's fine, because it's a two out of three falls match, so you still have to pin me one more time after this, which you won't. Wait, what? In the frickety fuck, how the fuck did you win? That was literally your first pinfall, fuck me sideways on the bed sheets, crying till I fall asleep. That's me every night for real. Now John Cena can feel what I felt after I lost unfairly to him last episode. Karma at its best. Yeah! Oh, shut up, LA Knight! None of this will matter anyway in the end when episode 20 rolls around because that's when I'll get my long-awaited victory and become world heavyweight champion. Keep dreaming, kid. <laughs> With that quite controversial end to the world heavyweight title match, that will conclude this episode. In the next episode, the episode before Presidential Mania, Barack Obama will sign the contract with the Yemen president for their match. I show Meat will go face to face with talking fucking Ben, who costed him and KSI their match earlier. Seth Rollins, John Cena, and LA Knight will have interviews before their triple threat match, and Roman Reigns will battle my new advocate, Paul Heyman. If Roman wins, Paul will be barred from ringside for our match. If Paul wins, however, he is allowed at ringside. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because I sure did when I was beating the hell out of Roman. Also, if this video gets 800 likes, I will wear a clown costume in the next episode. Because people say I'm a clown even though I'm clearly not. Or am I? Hey Trump, you want some more coke? Well, you clearly are a clown. You piece of shit. I don't want your Coca-Cola, I want your cocaine. <laughs> Hey children, you all gotta go back to the basement as your dear uncle has to play WWE 2K23 with the homies. Your godfather, Barack Obama, is gonna sign the contract for his match with the Yemen president right now. Buddy, I ain't gonna be no godfather to some children you kidnapped off the streets. Plus, what were they doing in your room anyway? Oh, I don't think I should get that deep into things. It's personal business, you know. But I expect this contract signing to be peaceful and not like the ones we've been seeing in the real WWE. They always end in the table being flipped and shit like that. Don't worry, Mr. Prehistoric. I don't plan on starting a brawl with Drone Man. I want Barack to be at his best when we do fight at Presidential Mania next episode. Wait, have you all heard from Ronald McDonald? He hasn't been on Discord since episode 18 dropped. Nah, I haven't heard from that Oompa Loompa. He's probably happy, though, since the last video didn't get 800 likes, meaning he doesn't have to wear the clown costume. And speaking of liking the video, you guys should do that right now to make your uncle in chief happy. But now let's get this contract signing on the road. Well, Mr. Yemen President, this is it. This is the contract for our match next episode for Presidential Mania. This match will kick off the episode, and it will be none other than a Hell in a Cell match. I actually already went ahead and signed it, so we're all just waiting for your sissy ass to sign it. It's kind of funny how confident you are, Obama. If Trump didn't cash in the briefcase in episode 15, we wouldn't be standing here right now because I would have put you in your grave. But in this hell in a cell match, there won't be anyone to save your ass from getting fucked by these Yemen hands. My ass is only preserved for my husband, you dumb bitch. Very funny, Obama. Very funny. There, I signed the stupid contract. There's no turning back for you now. This will and will forever be the biggest mistake of your life. I highly doubt that. This will be the most gruesome match in this channel's history. Maybe after this, Yemen will truly be the land of Obama. I'm sorry for cutting this segment short, but we have a pretty big brawl happening backstage right now between I Show Speed and Talking Ben. Where the hell is the security when you need them? Guess what? Yes. Guess what? Yes. Guess what? Yes. I'm gay! Uh. Shut the fuck up! How in the hell is there a talking dog fighting I Show Speed right now? Isn't he supposed to be some mobile app character or something? 
I don't even know what the fuck that was, but that table spot was Ooh, pretty Mama lit. Mia, that was crazy. Let's get a replay on that shit, because my God, that got my Christmas ornaments in my pants to jingle. What? What's up, homies? I have my dog here, Jay Uso, and we're going to be interviewing John Cena, Seth Rollins, and L.A. Knight before their triple threat match next episode. Yeet, yeet. So, boys, I know you three have some rough history with each other dating back from all the way in episode nine. But what I really want to know is why y'all been beefing for this long? Well, it all has to do with the dumb son of a bitch that goes by the name of Max Dupree. Oops, I fucking forgot. It's L.A. Knight now, isn't it? Shut up, you dumbass. Don't act like you don't know my name. We literally teamed up at Fastlane. And speaking of teaming up, why are you a big, nasty, musty heel in 2K23 but not in real life? Like I knew some people had split personalities, but this is going too far. You gotta learn this, Mr. Knight. Video games will always be different than their real life counterparts. Just look at WWE 2220. Oh shit, take that shit off of there. Oh my god, my eyes. Look at this picture instead. And now look at WWE 2K20. Like, oh my god, talk about fucking your franchise in the ass. I don't know what 2K20 has anything to do with this, but okay. Well, Seth, I know we have had a rough history together in the ring with our Hell in a Cell match and whatever the fuck happened last year, but I want to hear what you have to say about your match next episode. After all, you will be defending your title against two, well, two fucking idiots. Ha 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 That was the first time that I'm actually agreeing with you, Cody. And just so everyone is aware, yes, my title is being defended next episode in the triple threat match. And the freakiest of the freakiest, Seth... Bro, you guys are supposed to say the thing, Jesus Christ. That silence was pretty cringe, I can't lie, but what are we supposed to say? Sorry, I'm up in space right now, if you know what I mean. Like, after I say the freakiest of the freakiest Seth, you would say freaking Rollins. It's really not that hard. Say less, Oos. I got you. The freakiest of the freakiest Seth. Wait, so are we gonna count down from three or what? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll count down for you. Bro, there won't be no counting down or any of that shit. I'm here to answer questions from you idiots. And speaking of the word idiot, that word describes Seth's daughter perfectly. Maybe I'll come over and teach her some things. After all, her dad and mom aren't ever there. Everyone has to make things personal. I hate it! But just so you two know, in episode 20 for Presidential Mania, I'm going to destroy both of you in a manner of which I've never done before. After all, I am the architect, and I'm planning on putting you on the blueprint of who I've stepped on. After I beat your ass next episode, you'll probably move to your 100th wrestling persona of your career. Speaking of personas, I may have to bring an old one back one last time. A little over a year ago, I was struggling on SmackDown with my persona as a model manager, AKA being Max Dupree, as John pointed out earlier. Now I'm a different man, a different person people look up to. I'll finish my story, one far more important than Cody's. If he really wants to finish a story so bad, he can just go to a damn library. And that is not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah. Bro, what did I even do? Holy shit. But I guess that concludes this interview. If you were to even call it that LMAO. Next, we have our main event where Roman fucking Reigns takes on Paul fucking Heyman. If Roman wins, bald bitch Paul will be barred from ringside for his match with Trump next episode. Yeet, 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 yeet. Did I just hear the word yeet? Fucking yeet? Oh my God. Jay and Cody are so cringe it makes me want to break my entire PC, but here I come, in real life and in the game, your tribal chief and head of the table, Roman Reigns. What did you mean by you were coming in the game and in real life? That's kind of sus. That's ironic coming from your old ass, but I'm going to put my former 2K23 wise man Paul Heyman to rest in a few minutes. This is literally going to be a squash match. Basically a Brock Lesnar and Kofi Kingston repeat El Mao. Sorry that I had to remind some people about that. Vince's booking was pretty questionable back then, but thank God we have Papa H now. Yeah, his booking isn't the best, but hey, I'd take anything that doesn't have Vince's dirty hands on it. But here comes Paul Heyman and Donald Trump. What's up, boys? Sorry that I wasn't here at the start of the video for the contract signing and all of that other shit. I had to get my dog Paul Heyman warmed up. And he's not lying. Damn Roman's WWW 2K3 is going to be in the dumps after I'm done with him. It's going to be more in the dumps than when George W. Bush was president. Oh, Mal, you don't got to throw a shade towards George. But let's get this match started because I got a DoorDash guy coming to Mar-a-Lago. What did your fat ass order this time? We're gonna be here for a while. Oh, you know, the typical 51 Big Macs, five Diet Cokes, 16 orders of large fries, seven McChickens. 
2,000 years later. 80 quarter pounders with cheese, two hot cakes, and 12 hot fudge sundaes. You fucking fat ass. Oh, McDonald's what? is a pretty underrated restaurant, I gotta tell you. It'll probably be a big fast food joint before too long. Trump, I knew you were stupid, but holy shit, you are stupid. Stupid. Yeah, I said stupid twice because that's how stupid you are. There's literally a McDonald's in just about every town in America. To think that you won the 2016 election is mind-boggling because you didn't win. It was rigged, 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 motherfucking rigged. Talk about rigging elections. Look at the 2020 election. They just couldn't give me those 11,000 votes in Georgia, God damn it. Bro, you two better stop fighting because I'm trying to beat up fat-ass Paul right now. If y'all are going to keep crying about stupid elections, then just go to a daycare and cry with other children just like you. Uh, if you don't mind me asking Roman, I, uh, did you just say daycare? Oh my God. God, you know me so damn well, Roman. I love daycares. My favorite part of a daycare is the children inside. They are hot. Even on a cold winter day, they make me sweat uncontrollably due to their rays of sexiness. It's beautiful to say the least. Yeah, Joe, I think it's about time you take your dementia pills and go to sleep. Wait, I have dementia pills. Wait, what? why didn't no one tell me? Jesus Christ! Trump cold stunner pussy, get fucked! What? That might have been the worst stunner I've ever seen, El Mal. Bro really trying to rival the Vince McMahon stunners of the Attitude Era. It's ironic how you're talking about bad finishers when you literally have a bad finisher yourself your spear is literal garbage. While my spears may be mid, at least they don't be looking like Jimmy Uso's spear. Like, Jesus Christ, this motherfucker is really trying to be like his tribal chief. What in the shit? I thought Edge's spear was bad, but my God, I need to go get some bleach and pour it into my eyes. Trump has a lot of experience with bleach. Maybe instead of pouring bleach into your eyes, inject some into your arm to kill you. You're really bringing that shit up, you bitch. You bet I am. Now this is a Superman punch of greatness, of prestige, followed by an oh my fucking god, what a spear, holy shit, someone clipped that, my god. One, two, three, oh what in the hell, this is rigged, what? Is bro getting possessed? You good, my dog? Bro cousin, you gotta take a chill pill, homie. Me and my comrade Cody Rhodes literally heard that, and we weren't even in the Discord call. Don't ask me how that makes sense, because I know it doesn't. The last thing that I wanted was for you two freaking idiots to annoy my ass. I'm trying to win a match here, so can you two leave me the hell alone? Holy shit. Roman, I heard what you said about my spear and- How did you hear me if you weren't even in the Discord call? Shit, you are stupid! <laughs> what is bro sucking on? Let's hope to God it's something to do with children so I can join in. Don't question it, and as I was saying, I heard what you said about my spear, and to be quite honest with you, cousin, I am offended as fuck. Main event Jey Uso doesn't take this level of disrespect, my dog. I just can't let this shit slide right now. You feel me, Roman? You feel me? Do you feel him, sir? Shut up! Oh shit, there's a match going on right now. Long time no see, Mr. Heyman. Only I can call him that. Come on, man. Hello again, CM Punk. God, I do miss being your advocate. Being stuck with dumbass Roman has really messed me up. And you know what? How about I give this guy a GT fucking S for good time's sake? Now that's what I like to see. Y'all think that will really put your tribal chief away? I knew crack was a strong drug, but damn. Also, why are all of you ganging up on me like what the hell? Trump is clearly the heel here, bro. I just want my titles back and he's over here harassing me. I'm harassing you? What in the frickety fuck? Nah, bro, the only one being harassed here is Jay after all of the torment he's been through with your dumb ass. Who is letting bro cook right now? This is literally a gourmet meal. You're speaking some straight facts, Trump. Wish you would have during your presidency too, though. Oh! Joe, what the fuck was that? But I don't even care because, oh my God, Jesus Christ, that spear was crazy, bro. That spear literally fed families. One, two, three. No. Ha ha ha, motherfuckers, I won you all can suck my dick. I only do it to little boys. Sorry, Roman. Oh my God, Joe, shut the fuck up. Oh, sorry, Brock, did I scare you? I don't know why my love towards children can be scary. Oh, please. This guy is hacking what the hell? Bullshit. Haha, <laughs> I'm greatness at a different level, mode. You all just have to accept reality. And the reality is me beating the Big Mac Trump so hard that Big Macs will be flying out of his ass. I'm called the Big D Trump, you dumbass. Big Mac Trump doesn't sound that bad, though. Ah, oh, shit, the fight is on. Trump cold Are you too serious? Ah! Do you idiots really need a brawl before the match next episode? Nah, we need to get some security out here. Come on. Let them fight, let them fight. I'm gonna get some popcorn for this bitch. 
Of course, the fucking security spawn in my God, Trump, you gotta take them out. Oh, oh shit. Say less, Oos. Ronald McDonald ain't messing around tonight. Bro almost ended up like top dollar Lamau. Michael Cole is smiling somewhere after hearing that old mouth. I'm back with the popcorn and Trump is going to be paying some lethal fines after this shit. Bro is taking out the entire security force. Now come on, Roman, let's see what you got. Yeah! Damn! The greatest champion of all time just speared the worst president of all time, Lamau. Yeah, Trump, Roman kind of cooked you there, I can't lie. Fuck you guys. As my former WWE 2K23 advocate would say, this camera shot that you see here isn't a prediction of presidential mania next episode, it's a spoiler. Well, with that chaotic episode over with, we're now officially on the doorstep of the biggest episode in this series, episode 20, aka presidential mania. Here is a quick rundown of each match, in order. First, we'll have yours truly taking on the stupid, filthy, rotten, musty motherfucker known as Rashad Alalimi, the Yemen president, in a Hell in a Cell match. And we'll then move on to the triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship, with Seth defending his title against John Cena and L.A. Knight. After that, we'll have I Show Meet. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. Ooh, my God. I meant I Show Speed taking on talking fucking Ben. And then we'll arrive at the main event where small D Trump, that I'm not making a mistake on saying, We'll be taking on Roman Reigns for the undisputed and million dollar titles. There may be another segment or two thrown in there. But with that, I hope you all stay safe and live happy. And I'll see you probably on the news for when I drone strike Yemen in a few hours. See ya. This is some hella good popcorn. Welcome everyone to Presidential Mania. And we're starting off the night with me taking on my all-time rival, the Yemen president, in a hell in a cell match. This is so unfair. Like, how can you and Trump have a match this episode, but not me? I swear to God, JFK is probably going to rise from his grave and have a match at this point. Joe, all it takes is one punch and all of your bones would crumble up and fall like dust. Speaking of dust, that's literally what you Egypt. Let's not get horny this early into the video, Barack. I know you love to do that, but just have some chill. What? You better not do anything freaky when we're in the ring, because I'm not going to be dealing with that shit. Oh my god, you idiots. Guys, so I know this is unrelated to this whole video, but did y'all hear about the GTA 6 game releasing in early December? Joe, you dumbass, it's not the game, it's the trailer. I do wish it was the game, though. I agree, Trump, but when is GTA 7 going to come out? I don't know why GTA 6 is coming before GTA 7. It's kind of weird. Uh, Joe, do you know how to count? Of course I do, Barack. I just graduated preschool the other day. Doesn't it go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6, 8, 69? My God, Joe, you are the slowest person I know. Yeah, I can't run that fast. You don't got to bring that shit up. Wait, is that hell in a cell cage, Red? You got me fucked up if you think I'm going to wrestle in a freaking red cage. Change that shit right now. Well, we can fix that with the power of editing. Speaking of power, even though we're playing a video game right now, I still have the power to replicate the Yemen drone strikes with this Yemen driver. Frick your Yemen driver. You really think that you can put yours truly away with just one of those? You're going to have to try a lot harder, Barack. Il Mao, you didn't even say the name of your country, right? And you say that you're a good president? My God, fix your speech impediment. He does have a point, though. Let's be for real. You got to be more like Uncle Bidenator and know how to speak correctly. That's ironic as hell. What? Uh, what do do you mean? Damn. My spe speak is immac. I'm uh, How do you say immaculate? Oh shit! I just did. Whoops. I'm sorry for everyone watching this video that had to go through that. The Yemen splash. Ah! The hell was that scream? Pretty cool name for a move, ain't it? Super unoriginal, Barack, but let's just take a look at the move again, just for the sake of it. And yeah, that was the lamest splash I've ever seen. LMAO, bro, thinks he's RVD or something. Donald, you know, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be the next RVD, so that's who I'm trying to be. And I think I'm doing a pretty fucking good job. You good, my slime? I wasn't trying to offend your ass, but I guess I did. Barack is so sensitive, I swear to God. Wait, so you said that you've wanted to be RVD ever since you were a kid, but when he was in his prime, you were in your midlife crisis, so I don't see how your story makes any sense. I'm still in my midlife crisis, I can't lie. Must suck. I do suck. Figuratively and literally just ask my husband, I mean my wife. Sleepy Joe is using his prehistoric age to his advantage. You love to see it. 
Bingo. And speaking of bingo, that song is literally what is keeping me alive. I sing that song to myself. I listen to that song. I sing that song to the kids in the White House basement. I pause. pause. My dogs, don't worry. Big Balls Biden was just joking. No need to get all rowdy like the kids were last night in my bed. Oh, and good thing I was joking about that too. Ha ha ha. No comment. Oh shit, this doesn't look good for the Yemen president. Oh, god damn, that was crazy. And also, what the fuck was that Joe did you just nut? Yes, I did, Donald, on a little girl's face. Why do you sound so proud, you freaky motherfucker? Boys, you gotta chill out, because me and this fool are gonna fight on top of the cage right now, and it's gonna be sick. I can't wait to knock your deporter ass off of the cage. Perfect revenge for the Yemen drone strikes. Actually, I think it's gonna be your fat ass that falls off of the cage and into the announcement table. Well, I guess I wouldn't mind recreating the Mick Foley cage spot. But today isn't about recreating history. It's about creating history by getting revenge for the drone strikes that hurt my fallen nation. It's time to do this shit. It's time to end you, Obama. Uh-oh, did I make a mistake? Yes, Barack. Yes, you did. The biggest mistake of your life. What? How did Barack kick out of that? This bro literally fell from like, what, 15 freaking feet? Bro is an alpha male, I can't lie. Brock Lesnar and Andrew Tate have some serious competition. Do you know who Brock Lesnar even is? Isn't he the boss of Bank of America? God help us. It's getting a little cold in this arena, so let's heat things up with this flaming table. Shit! You're so desperate to win that you've resorted to using freaking fire. Now that's a new low for you, Barack, but honestly, it doesn't surprise me at all. Speaking of surprises, I have one awaiting for you on the top rope. And trust me, it ain't gonna be pretty. Is this man really gonna do what I think he's gonna do? Oh shit, I can't let the children see this. You all get back in your cages, you ain't seeing the sunlight today, I'm afraid. Please stop. I can't help it, bro. But at least you said please, I didn't think you had the ability to use manners. I guess you don't have the ability to not be a predator then. Yemen destroyer. Through the flaming table, my god, that was insane. Oh, and I ain't done just yet, just take a look at this. Bro, how many tables do you need to put the Yemen president away? That guy isn't as indestructible as you think. Joe, I'm not even trying to win this match at this point. I'm trying to kill him. Uh, isn't that illegal? It's a game, you dumbass. Drop kick through the table. Thankfully for the Yemen president, it wasn't a flaming table this time. Yeah, thank God, but Barack, you better not be thinking of another Yemen driver. I'm actually thinking of that same exact thing. Now, this is crazy. Obama's manhandling the Yemen president at this point. Just call it quits, homie. Ain't no one is gonna care. I'm not quitting just yet, Mr. Biden. I have a lot more in me. I still have a chance. The only chance you have now is a chance of getting fucking obliterated by one of my missiles if you don't give up. I'm not going to give up. I never will. I'm John Cena in this bitch, and you're going down with this gorilla press power slam. A perfect move to pull on you. After all, you are a gorilla. I guess you and Trump could be good racist friends. Bitch, I'm not racist. Okay, that was a lie. Don't worry, Trump. We all know. And you really thought you could pin me there? You literally just wasted your finisher for nothing. How stupid. Oh, uh, that was all a part of my plan, of course. Yeah, sure. Wait, what are you getting from under the ring? You said you wanted to be like Mick Foley, right? So take this chair shot. Oh, shit. I think we all know who won this war. Say goodbye, Yemen president. One last Yemen driver on the steel chair should do the trick. One. Two, three. Damn, that match was something else. Gotta give props to both Barack and the Yemen president for putting on the best WWE 2K23 match I've watched. Yeah, you tried Rashad Al-Alimi, but I'm afraid that Barack is just fit to be a better leader for Yemen than you ever were. No offense, by the way, all love. That didn't sound like any love to me. It more sounded like hating and dick-riding Barack Obama. But either way, Thank you to all of my supporters that supported me throughout this whole saga with Barack. I'm going to step down from position of president for Yemen. I'll give oath of office to Trump. What? How the hell is Trump the new president of Yemen now? That's some of the stupidest shit I've ever heard. And trust me, I've heard some stupid shit. Just listen to some of Joe Biden's speeches. Bro, you don't gotta throw shade at Uncle Bidenator. Go eat some of your KFC to calm your nerves down.
Since Trump cashed in his money in the bank briefcase in episode 15, in a match with a stipulation of which whoever won would become president of Yemen, he technically has been the president of Yemen since then, but today I guess you could consider his inauguration or whatever you want to call it. Yes, yeah, screw winning the 2024 election, Joe. You got lucky, bud, because I'm now the president of Yemen. Let's go. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Donnie, we can work something out, right? We have to. I'll literally give you my wife and my kids. I've always wanted to know what sleeping with a man feels like, so consider your deal. Wait, Trump, I'll sell you me and Hunter's booger sugar factory down in Colombia for completely free if you lend me over oath of office for president of Yemen. No cap? No cap, my dog. Then say less to your offer, Joe. It's time to get to snorting. I'm about to be higher than the International Space Station. So, Obama, is your offer for your wife and your kids still on the table? No, you fucking creep. Get a life. Well, I really don't want to be president of two countries at once. So I guess it's time to take out the trash and take some inspiration from my homie Obama. Joe, calm down. Think about this. At least let me evacuate. Drone strikes incoming, bitches. No! Technical difficulties. I, I can't believe that just happened. I, I'm speechless. I think I might have made an oopsie. Am I in trouble, Daddy? Jesus Christ. But after that disaster, we have another disaster with this freak Andrew Tate coming out. I don't even know why the dumbass is out here, like he doesn't even have a match. Speaking of someone that doesn't have a match... Joe, stop feeling sorry for yourself and go take your dementia pills. I guess you're right, Trumpy. You fat ass shut up before I knock you out with a top G punch. And instead of you running for president, you should become a professional MC Donald's eater. You'd be pretty good at that, let me tell you. Um, I'm already a McDonald's eater, but why did you say MC Donald's instead of McDonald's? Are you stupid? And also, your mic sounds terrible. My God, prison really did you dirty, didn't it? My mic is fine. I literally bought it from the dollar store the other day. It ain't bad. And to answer your other question, well, I can't fucking tell you, but deal with it. A dollar store microphone, you cheap fuck? Who cares what type of mic he has? It's really not a big deal. At least it isn't as bad as Roman's mic was at the start of the series LMAO. Yeah, Roman's mic uh, at the start of the series was dog shit. Same for Joe's, but at least his was tolerable. Can you presidents shut up? Thank you, but I came here today because I was watching the Hell in a Cell match where Barack defeated the Yemen president. And I noticed that at one point, Joe Biden said that the alpha males, Brock Lesnar and Andrew Tate, have competition against Barack. First of all, I don't, not a single bit. And second of all, did he really call Brock Lesnar an alpha male? The only alpha male in this world, hell, the only alpha male in this universe is me, the top G, Andrew Tate. And I guess that's really what I came here to say. But while I'm here, I'd appreciate if you guys would subscribe to my only... What the fuck? Oh my God, there's actually no way. I didn't know they had internet service in Saskatchewan. Of course they have internet service, you dumbass, but Jesus Christ, Brock Lesnar is actually here. I heard there's some bald ass bitch named Andrew Tate that needs a little country ass kicking tonight for presidential mania. And I figured that I would come around and deliver. Wait, isn't this the guy who's the owner of Bank of America? What? The owner of Bank of America. What in the living hell? God, Joe, I don't know how you're president. Joe, I thought I told you to take your dementia pills. Well, uh, I might have forgot. Wouldn't it ever guessed. Come at me, bitch. Square up. Say less, young blood. Let's go. And the fight is on. Welcome to Suplex City, motherfucker. Come on, Andrew. You got this. Are you really rooting for Andrew Tate, you demented pumpkin seed? No shit. Bro, can some security come down here and help me out with this guy? He's kind of beating me up right now, I can't lie. The security ain't gonna come down there because even they're afraid of Brock Lesnar. Who isn't? And your dumbass really called him out. You had it coming, Andrew. Well, thanks for the support, Barack, you freaking bastard. Anything for you, darling? Gay Obama strikes again, but oh my what? God, that attitude adjustment Bank of America man did to Andrew Tate was insane. No offense to Andrew, but he sucks so bad at this game, LMO. Shut up, Joe. You don't know what you're talking about. It's called an F5, you dumbass. And where the fuck are you getting this Bank of America shit from? Jesus Christ, I'm a wrestler and a farmer, not any of that financial shit. I know, right? He is such a dumbass, I swear to God. The irony coming from your mouth right now is crazy. Uh, what? Hey, Brock Lesnar, I have a surprise for you, and that surprise is a GTS. Well, I guess it's not really a classic GTS, but it's close enough. 
As the GTS god myself, I can confirm that the GTS you did was a solid 4.69 out of 10. Not the best, but it's acceptable. Long time no talk CM Punk, glad you're out of the shithole of AEW, but do you want to see me completely destroy Andrew Tate? Say less. Sorry, Andrew Tate, but since that GTS was pretty bad, you kind of deserve to get beat up with a sledgehammer. Okay, fuck me, I didn't know we were going that far. Bro, you really had to do me dirty like that CM Punk? My GTS wasn't even that bad, like, come on! Stop yapping, homie. You and I both know that your GTS was straight garbage. Brock, where are you going with Andrew? Oh, don't worry about it, Barack. You'll see soon. It isn't going to be good for the top G, though. He's gonna kill me! I hope he does. Damn. Damn! I don't know what the hell Brock Lesnar is doing to Andrew Tate, but it's safe to say that we won't be seeing him again. Something we will be seeing tonight, however, is a new world heavyweight champion, and that person will be L.A. Knight. Yeah! Your dumbass really thinks you're gonna beat John Cena and Seth Rollins? I know crack is a strong drug, but holy shit, man, even Sleepy Joe over there can beat them. Right, Joe? <laughs> Uh, Joe, you there, buddy? Oh, wait, uh, what was the question, uh? Oh, my God. Well, I must warn you, CM Punk, that once Seth Rollins gets out here, he won't take too kindly of you. Might want to get out of the Discord call as you still can. Does it look like I care what Seth says? I ain't no pussy Ella Knight. That's something that you don't understand. Oh, and CM Punk, are you really returning tonight for Survivor Series? I'm just asking, because of all of the rumors that have been going around online. Only time will tell, Donald. And here comes John Cena, and oh my god, is this really who I think it is? The doctor of Thuganomics? Word, Word life. life. This, this is, is basic Thuganomics. This is but basic, basic Thuganomics. Thuganomics. Word, life. Word life. I'm untouchable, I'm untouchable but I'm forcing you to feel me. forcing you to feel me. Damn, can you shut up, Barack? Come on, John, can't we just have some fun? You're literally my childhood hero. Wait, did you just say childhood? I'm done. Is that like the hood, but filled with children? Oh my God, this is insane. I'm about to go on a kidnapping spree with my homie Donald Trump. Joe, what the fuck? Joe, please, for the love of God, shut up. But John Cena, it's been a while since we've last spoken to each other. Long time no see. Oh damn, CM Punk is here. I wish you the best when Seth Rollins gets in here because this Discord call is going to turn into a war zone. I'm all here for it though, let me tell you. Yeah, no need to remind me, you dumbass. Your friend L.A. Knight already told me. We're anything but friends. Like, where did you get that shit information from? Did you get it from Fightful? Yeah, I'm not friends with that dumb son of a bitch. Since when did you guys not like each other? Didn't you idiots team up against the bloodline or something, or am I tripping? As Trump would say, that's what you call fake news. I only worked with him for the money, but now I'm out of the WWE since my Hollywood strike has ended. Thank God. The freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins is here at Presidential Mania, baby. I'm about to steal the show and retain my World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> also, yes, I am wearing Cody Rhodes' wrestling gear because why the hell not? I found it in Cody's closet. What? You're weird as hell for that shit, my dog. You really sneaking into closets, you weirdo? I hope he didn't find the doll I play with in there. I did see that doll in there. It was pretty nasty, I can't lie. Damn it. I wish I had one though, but Becky won't let me. But I'll give you your stupid ring gear back after I win this match. But I don't know why I even stole your ring gear because I literally already put it on my character in WWE 2K23. So yeah, sorry, Cody. I'll just give it back to you for Survivor Series tonight. I know what Seth did. He snuck into Cody's house to play with his doll, that disgusting motherfucker. I can't say that I blame him because I would have done the same thing, especially if it was a kid. Are you kidding me? This mother bitch is here. My God, this dummy is literal cancer. He never goes away. Your dumb ass is calling me a cancer when in reality you're the cancer to Monday Night Raw. After all, you literally draw no ratings for Raw. Aren't you now one of the lowest rated champions in WWE history? Pretty tough stuff, man. And I respect you, on God I do, but you're just not a good champion. You can't be talking about ratings when you used to work for a company whose main show can't even beat a developmental show. But I'm trying to concentrate over here so I would appreciate if you were to shut your mouth. Take this BFT, you bitch. Oh, great. Thanks a lot, CM Punk. What the fuck did I do? You're just bad, my guy. Bro has a skill issue. Well, A. Knight's two brain cells thinks one BFT is going to get him the win. Maybe in a one-on-one -on -one match with Seth, but not in a triple threat match with the Doctor of Thugonomics. Take this attitude adjustment, Max Dupree. Ain't no way you're calling me Max Dupree. I'm not a model manager like I used to. I'm a top merch-selling megastar. And that is not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah! Yeet! What? 
Oh, my bad, L.A. Knight. That one was on me. Let's be honest, Mr. Knight, you were not meant to be a wrestler. Vinny Mac had the right vision, the vision of you being a model manager. Curb stomp! <laughs> oh! You bitches woke me up from my hibernation. Thanks a lot. So I've been wondering who y'all think's gonna win the match. I personally think Seth is gonna retain the title. Champion's advantage, you know? As much as it hurts me to say this, I'll have to admit that it's likely that the freakiest of the freakiest, Seth freaking Rollins, retains the title. Bald ass John has ring rust of which we've never seen before. He doesn't even know how to play this game and don't even get me started on LA night. Well, I know what everyone watching this video is thinking, so I'm just gonna come right out and say it. You're coming out as gay? We all know that John Cena is gonna win. After all, you can't see him. Ah ha ha ha, that was so funny, Joe. A knee slapper right there. You really gotta overuse my joke. My God, Joe, go back to bed. Let's be real here. There's only one person who has the capabilities to win this match, and his name is L.A. Knight. Yeah! Yeet, yeet. Can you two shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh my God, Donald. We are so sorry for what we've done. We didn't mean for any of this to happen. But don't worry, we'll be back soon to annoy the hell out of Roman. Yeah, see you guys later. Yeet, yeet. I don't know why those two goofs think they can just butt their noses into everything. They always have to chime in and say something stupid. Just like when Trump kept interrupting Joe during the 2020 debates. So true. You dumbass. Joe literally did the same thing to me. But speaking of what Cody and Jay said about Roman, he has a match with me in the main event of Presidential Mania, where I defend my titles against him. So stay tuned for that, as it's going to be the biggest match in this channel's history. You better not be hyping this shit up. Well, as long as I win. Which you won't, but whatever. Jesus Christ, how do you play this stupid game? My God, stop bumping into me, El uh, Knight. You want to kiss or something? Whoa there, John. This isn't a place for that freaky shit. All of that stays in the Obama household. What is that supposed to mean? Damn, Seth, I've really expected more from you this match. At this point, L.A. Knight may have a better chance at winning than you do, and that's saying something. Oh, shut your dumb ass up, CM Punk. You're just a cancer. Just leave. Go away forever. Yeah, keep calling me a cancer if that's really what you like to do, but mark my words, you'll soon be the cancer we'll be talking about. I believe I can fly. Oh shit, maybe not. Now that's what you call a dumbass? <laughs> we need to get a replay on that bitch because, my God, that was the worst thing I've ever seen since the crooked election. Bro, all I'm doing is pressing random buttons. No need to harass me like Sleepy Joe does to children. It was supposed to be kept a secret. Come on, John. It never once was a secret, and if it was, it was the worst kept secret in history. If I was in this match, I would have beaten y'all's asses in 26 seconds. Well, if you're so impatient, then let's end this match with a BFT of my own. No, it can't end like this. I can't be taken out by my own finisher. Not like this. Kick out, kick out. No way. And just like that, I'm still your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. While it's sad that I didn't win the title, thank God I wasn't the one pinned. I just know all of the LA Knight fanboys are crying in the comments right now. Boo hoo, LA Knight is just not good enough. Is that too much for your little brains to understand? One thing Uncle Bidenator does not tolerate is people disrespecting our subscribers, and that's exactly what you did. Get ready for the Biden blast. No! Holy fuck! Did John Cena just get vaporized? Isn't that like the second person who has died this episode? First the Yemen president, and now John Cena, dear God. Rest in peace, my dogs. Yeah, that guy's a goner. We won't ever be seeing his ring rust nor his balding ever again. Well, at least in this game. But I did everyone watching this a solid favor and stuck up for them. So if y'all could like the video and maybe even subscribe on top of that in appreciation, that would be great. Well, Ella Knight, I was very impressed with you this match, and I must admit that you almost pinned me at the beginning of the match with that BFT. How about we put aside our differences and go have some ice cream? I think that is a wonderful idea. Can I go get ice cream with you too? I want the chocolate chocolate chip. No! no! What, what, I, I can't go get ice, ice cream? Wah, 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 wah! Cry, cry, cry! Goo goo ga ga me pape! Wow! Jesus 
fucking Christ, did your dumbass speak Spanish there for a second? Oh shit, guys, we gotta turn our short attention spans to the backstage area because it looks like the Brock Lesnar and Andrew Tate brawl from earlier is still going on. Ah yes, more fighting. You love to see it. I've been beating this bitch boy's ass for God knows how long. I don't know how he's even still alive. I guess all of those times in prison really did me well. Speaking of prison, that's where Trump is gonna be within due time. He should already be there, but whatever. Shut your dumb ass up, Sleepy Joe. You don't know anything. The only people who should go to prison and be locked up there forever is the entire Biden family and the entire Democratic Party. Jesus Christ, you better shut up before you make me have a heart attack. That's actually my goal, believe it or not, but I don't know why I'm even trying to make you have a heart attack. With the hundreds of pounds of McDonald's you eat every day, it's inevitable. Joe, I actually hate you. Hey, what are you guys doing by my car? Wait, I didn't lock the son of a bitch? Yeah, that was a pretty stupid move by not locking your car, Barack. Just watch this. Ow, you gotta be kidding me. If only Barrack would have locked his car, my God. Uh, what did you just say my name was? Did you say Barrack? I don't fucking know. Who really cares? All I care about is literally surviving Brock Lesnar. Well, I bet my bottom dollar that you won't be surviving what I have for you next. This is gonna be great. Oh, I really don't like where I think this is headed. I hope you said goodbye to your family and friends, Andrew, because it's over for you. I hope this teaches you the lesson to never disrespect the alpha male Brock Lesnar. Ah! Technical difficulties. Well, he's dead. I gotta go get ready for Survivor Series tonight. I'm out of this bitch. Wait, CM Punk. Oh, fuck me, okay. I guess he already left. But today is the day that I finally win back my undisputed championship and win the million dollar championship to yet again become a double champion. And I'll be holding the titles hostage just like I do in real life. Damn, you better not win the titles then. You won't even be at Survivor Series tonight and it's literally a big four pay-per-view. Who let bro cook? Shut up, you orange piece of shit. Go finish eating your order of 69 Big Macs with a side of type 2 diabetes. But Joe, you are one dumb son of a- I couldn't agree more, Big D. Joe is cooking a masterpiece. Yee. What in the frickety fuckery is this shit? Why do you two idiots need to spawn in every time I'm in these videos? Come on, Roman, you don't gotta be a jerk. Jay is literally your cousin. Joe, do you remember all of the good times we've had together over the years? We used to be so close, but now we are so far. Do you even love me anymore? Nope. Go fuck yourself. And don't call me by my real name, Joe, ever again. Call me by Roman. It's really not that hard. Bro, did you really steal my name? I'm the only person in the world that is named Joe, and you decide to steal it? Seriously? Nah, that's crazy, fam. I can't lie. Well, Joe isn't cooking anymore. I guess the dementia pills must have wore off. It was good while it lasted. Joe, you are a dumbass, I gotta tell you. All right, so the next match would have been I Show Meat versus Talking Ben. But it has been revealed that Talking Ben was injured after I Show Meat attacked him last episode, leaving the match postponed for a later episode. But who cares about that? Because I know everyone watching this video came here for me to beat Roman's ass. He says that he smashes everyone, but today I'm going to be the one smashing him as hard as I can. Trump, why'd you got to say it like that, you freaking Cheeto? Barry, you're not the one to talk about that with your husband and all. Bitch! Just listen for a minute, because I actually made my own theme song for my entrance. My name is the Big D Trump, getting freaky in my bed. My name is the Big D Trump, oh yeah! My name is the Big D Trump, suck it! Goddamn Trump, that was horrific. It isn't Halloween anymore, Thanksgiving was literally two days ago. Yeah, I gotta agree with my hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog Barry Obama with this one. That theme song scared me pretty bad. I may have to let the children out of their cages to comfort me in my bed. Oh my God. See what you just started, Obama? Dear God, please save those kids. I'm gonna have to start going to church after this one. Oh, and I'm gonna mute my microphone for a bit because me and the children are about to get crazy. See you guys later. Jesus Christ! Why do you guys invite this guy to the Discord calls every time we play 2K23? What purpose does he serve being here? All he does is either sleep or do things to children. All right, kids, come out of your cages. It's time to bounce on the rock. Ah, what the hell? You talking about me? Damn it, Joe, you did it again. Joe, your mic isn't muted, you dumbass. Oh, damn, that's my bad, Donnie. Thanks for letting me know before we got freaky. The shit's about to hit the fan gang gang. I'm gonna go ahead and say a prayer. I'll be right back.
You do you, Obama, but Roman, why do you have to kick at me like this? Let me breathe a little, homie. Yeah, this is some of the worst Oompa Loompa abuse that I've ever seen. My God, someone call the police, please. Say less. You dumb dumbs better not call the freaking police over a stupid game. Holy shit, y'all got my blood pressure through the roof right now. Roman, I ain't no doctor, so I don't know what blood pressure is, but we weren't gonna call the police. You really can't take a joke, can you? God damn. Yeah, that's so embarrassing, Roman. You can't take any jokes. You always have to take shit seriously. Like, come on, man. This one is gonna hurt for Roman. The MAGA bomb onto the apron. Yeet. Damn, so now you're copying more moves from real WWE wrestlers? First the stunner from Steve Austin, and now the apron powerbomb from Kevin Owens? I may not be a big fan of Kevin, but at least I don't copy his moves. Yet another new low for you, Trump. How many more will you have? Wait, didn't Kevin get suspended recently? I wish him the best, but we'll probably never see him again. Yeah, I'm currently booking the funeral for Kevin. Rest in peace, old friend. Did you just say that you're gonna book me a funeral? You dumbass, I'm in fact alive. Just because I was suspended doesn't mean I need to be buried six feet underground like you got me fucked up. God damn, Kevin, why you gotta be like that, my slime? You know me and Jay aren't the smartest of people, especially since we snorted some booger sugar earlier. Now, my dog, it was more than just some. We snorted numerous kilos of pure Peruvian coke. Whoa, chill out, Jay. You don't gotta let all of us know about the shit you do with Cody, but I'm still mad at you for everything that has went down with me and you. Just because you're not with the bloodline anymore doesn't mean I'll forget what you did in the past to me and Sammy. Bro, me and Sammy are Gucci, homie. I don't know what's up with your ass, but chill out. Come on, Jay and Kevin. You guys got to make out because this is going too far. Whoa, what did you just say, Sammy? Did you just say that me and Jay should make out? What? I mean, if we have to. Can I join in? Please don't tell Michael. I didn't mean to say that. Jesus Christ, I meant that you two should just forget everything that's happened in the past. Think about the present and the future. Jay isn't with the bloodline anymore. There's no reason. Sammy, please, for the love of God, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Cody and Jay, you two really did me dirty there. I'm literally on your team for war games tonight. It's all jokes, homie. And speaking of jokes, Roman doesn't know how to take any. Bitch, worry about yourself. And Trump, do you really think you're going to beat me? I've literally been champion for over 1,000 days, and your dumbass still thinks you can beat me? Nah, that's some real delusional shit right there, and I'm not surprised that it's coming from you. Are you done with your rant? Yes, Trump. Yes, I am. Thank God. Trump cold stunner pussy. What in the living hell was that stunner? You'd be flipping like freaking Rey Mysterio in this bitch. A 77-year-old orange is a better wrestler than you, El Mao. Damn cousin you down, bad. That's ironic when all you do is super kicks and splashes. Spear! Ahaha, <laughs> you're stealing my moves now. First Steve Austin, then Kevin Owens, and now your tribal chief Roman Reigns. Damn, Roman, why you gotta sound like that? You're acting like some wizard trying to cast a spell or something? That literally makes no sense. And I got another Trump cold stunner cooking up for your ass. Wait, did you just say that you have a Trump cold stunner for my ass? Damn, that's pretty gay, I can't lie. Barack is very familiar with that shit. No comment. Trump cold stunner pussy. Damn, so now you're copying Grayson Waller's rolling stunner? Your 37 indictments are about to turn to 100 or some shit at this rate? And you really thought that I wouldn't kick out of that? What a dumbass. Bitch, just because you brought up my totally false and inaccurate indictments, take yet another Trump cold stunner, you freaking pussy. How many finishers do you have? And for the hell of it, take this final Trump cold stunner pussy. Holy fucking shit, this is it for Mr. Succotash, oh my god. And how about I give you the real last Trump cold stunner to finish your pussy ass off? The big D Trump wins again. Goddamn Trump finishing the story before I could. Kinda sad to be honest, but I'll give it to him. One. Two. Three. No! no! Wait, Roman kicked out? Now nah, this shit is rigged just like the- <laughs> Fuck me! Jesus Christ, it's really Jimmy? My God, this is some bullshit right here. Bro over here cheating in real life and in 2K23? This is crazy. Bro can't help himself at this point. It's kind of like an addict who is addicted to white powder. He's an addict who is addicted to cheating. Me and Roman are both of those things, El Mao. Damn. Damn. I'm about to beat Trump's ass. And what's up, Brother Jay? How have you been? Shut up. Ah, uh, damn. Oompa Loompa Man hits hard. Yeah, and I also hit hard with a chick in the bed. And that chick happens to be your mother. Trump don't. You know that Jimmy's mother is my mother? Yeah, Donnie, that was a little harsh towards Jay, don't you think? I couldn't give a less of a f-
Let's go. What's good, little bro? Jesus Christ. Another one of Roman's slaves? Has he whipped you yet? While I may not like the bloodline and their cheating, that was way too far to bring in such a dark time for people like me. Yeah, Trumpy Dumpty, that was pretty out of pocket, don't you think? Why would you even say something so accurate? Romans whipped me many times before when we were in the bedroom. I was handcuffed too. Pretty crazy shit, Donald. I really should have recorded it and put it on Romans only. Whoa, Solo, you may want to chill out on that shit. You don't want Tribal Chief to get mad, you know? Yeah, you're probably right, Jim Jim. But now it's time for the Big D Trump to face his biggest, oh shit, uh, I meant his second biggest challenge, the Enforcer Solo Sokoa. Come at me, bitch, and my God, for feet actually reek holy shit, I haven't smelled anything so horrible in my life. Oh, that's it, you're really gonna fall onto your fat ass now. Wait, what the hell? Wait, is this who I think it is? Is it sleepy motherfucking Joe? Yeah, Donnie, I just got done grooming my dogs. And I decided to come out here and help you. Obviously, we aren't the best of friends, but I'd much rather a full-time champion than a part-time champion like Roman over there. I never thought I would be saying this, but thank you, Joe. No problem, buddy. Now go show Roman who's boss. Shit. Shit. Let's go, Roman, square up. All of your goons are down, and it's time for you to go down with them. Solo and Jimmy might be dumb fucks, but your tribal chief sure isn't. Take this Superman punch and this spear. God damn, don't I have the best spears? They're so sexy. Kids are sexier, but okay. Well, Joe is back at it again, I suppose, damn it. Aha! Stupid Roman thought the big D Trump wouldn't kick out of that spear. Like I've said time and time again, I always have tricks in my pants. Well, you better have a trick for this spear. Wow, just wow. My spears are so sexy. Wait, didn't I already say that? Yep. No. no! Let's go! I'm now your new undisputed and million dollar champion! What the hell is that sound? Damn, did Roman just set off a drone strike? Nah, dog, it was just the few fireworks I set off in my backyard. Doing that probably broke the law, so I'm gonna have the FBI show up to my crib soon. Damn, that's a letdown. To be honest, I'm not that mad that I lost. Sure, it does hurt, but I feel like Roman deserves it a lot more. Props to you, Mr. Reigns. Damn, really? Fuck no, you pussy. I'm gonna come to your house and- All right, he's banned from the Discord call. Couldn't take hearing his racist ass any longer. Common Elon Musk W? Well, shit, it sounds like someone is a sore loser. Let's go, Tribal Chief. Congrats on the win. I'm proud of you, Roman. You're the champion in real life and in 2K23. God damn, man, you insane, my guy. You two better leave the fucking call right now because you two didn't do shit and you got me pissed off as hell right now. All right, Daddy Reigns. Yeet! Don't say that! No yeet. Holy shit, they're so stupid. And Joe, I was wondering, why did you help Trump? Even though he didn't win, of course. After all, you two aren't friends whatsoever unless I missed some romantic relationship that popped up overnight. Oh no, Barack, I'm not gay like you and your husband are to each other as my sexuality is towards little girls, but just let the story play out, man. All the answers will be revealed in the upcoming episodes, so y'all should subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to see that. Yeah, you guys heard it from the president himself. But to close out this video, we should do the thing Roman hates the most. We did this at the end of the first MyGM video and he hated it and broke his setup. Imagine what he'd do next, LMAO. Uh, is he dead? Yeet, yeet. Technical difficulties. My name is the Big D Trump. Oh yeah! My name is the Big D Trump. Suck it! My name is the Big D Trump. The next president. My name is the Big D Trump. Getting freaky in my bed. It's time for Survivor Series. You ready, CM Punk? Yep, as ready as I'm ever gonna be, Randy. All right, I'll see you soon, man. He's such a dumbass, I ain't showing up to that bitch. I'm issuing an open challenge for my World Heavyweight Championship. But I think the dumbass referee is sleeping. Or actually, he might be dead. 
Eee, maybe it's a stroke or a heart attack. Oh, I think he woke up from the dead. That's nice. The only reason why I'm doing this is to see who is stupid enough to come out and accept the challenge. After my win in the triple threat match last episode, they'd be foolish to come out here to my face and... Are you kidding me? Of course it's Phil Brooks. Holy shit. Who else would be stupid enough to accept the open challenge anyway? Unless it was Roman cheating Reigns. Seth, why do you always gotta hate on Phil all of the time? You call him a cancer, you tell him to go away. But guess what, pal? He's here and he's gonna beat your ass for the title right now, you bitch. Oh, so you're calling me a bitch now? <laughs> well, I can make this match a triple threat match by adding your fat ass so I can beat both you and the cancer up at the same time. Square up, you dumb pumpkin. Nah, Sethy boy, we can't invite Trump into this match because first of all, he is so fat that the ring will literally collapse. And second of all, he lost his title on his first freaking defense. I know Roman cheated like always, but goddamn. That's the only time that I'm going to agree with your cancer asshole, Mao. You two can go to hell with the Democrats. Why did you have to bring me and Joe into this shit? I'm a Republican just like my homies Mario and Luigi. We played GTA 7 all last night. It was great. Are you high right now, Joe? high on hundreds of kilos of pure Colombian cocaine. Shut your trap, Mr. President. I know Coke is good, especially the cherry Coke, but goddamn, you don't gotta be a literal simp for a freaking soda like, holy shit, go touch some grass, little bro. But let's start this match so I can beat Seth's freaky ass. Oh, I'm not talking about Coca-Cola. I'm talking about cocaine. Wait, you've seen my freaky ass on the freaky website that I post my freaky pictures on? <laughs> I think you're my first subscriber. Thanks for the money, babe. Seth, you are a strange man. I gotta tell you, kind of feel bad for your wife and your kid. This is some of the gayest shit that I've ever witnessed. God help us. Barry is probably having a boner right now, Lamau. Maybe him, CM Punk, and Seth Rollins can be in a polyamorous relationship or something. What is that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it, dog. I'm not your dog, you prehistoric goober. You must be Michael's dog then, because she always has you on a freaking leash. Me, Donnie, and your dumbass were gonna go to Applebee's the other night to get their five-star rated food, but you didn't show up. Did you take a detour and go to KFC instead, you nigger? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to agree with Joe here, because we were gonna have a boys' night out, me, Sleepy Joe, and you, Barry. But since you didn't show up, I had to spend the rest of the night with the crusty fossil. Worst time of my life, to be quite honest. I'm sorry, homies. I couldn't come and eat the five-star meal at Applebee's with you guys because I had to go to a funeral. What? What, wait, what? what Bar Barack, they died? No! Am I next? There's only one word to describe you, Joe, and that is... Idiot! idiot. Speaking of an idiot, that's exactly what CM Punk is for, not reversing this GT motherfucking S. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming, I can't lie. I rate that GTS a 7 out of 10. It was pretty good compared to Andrew Tate's one from last episode. His one was so terrible. El Mau, I'm glad Brock Lesnar ran him over. Same to be honest, that guy was so damn annoying. I don't know how to say this, but the funeral was for the Yemen president. What? Plot twist of the century, baby. This is cinema. Isn't that what the cool kids say nowadays? What do you mean by cool kids? Wait, did you just say mock kids? Oh, fuck yes. Where are they? Jesus Christ. Joe, you creepy, freaky, sniffing predator, freak, freak, freakity freak. Shut your fossil ass up. Of course, Daddy Donnie, whatever you say. Shit. But I am kind of sad, ironically, that it wasn't me who drone striked his ass and killed him. But another part of me wants to drone strike the ever-living fuck out of his grave and swing his dead body around like a fucking monkey. Damn, Obama, I thought you changed. I never will, Donnie. I never will. Curb stomp, bitch. <laughs> Damn it, what? One, two, three, baby. No. Let's go. <laughs> Did CM Punk even get any offense this match? Bro didn't even hit a GTS, yet he rates other people's GTSs. Maybe he doesn't do his GTS finisher because it is so shitty. If I was in this match, Seth would have been knocked out if I even hit the motherfucker with one Trump cold stunner, you pussies. Donald, you piss the hell out of me like you really do. No cap. I didn't do a GTS because, to be quite honest with your Big Mac ass, he was manhandling me pretty bad. To be fair, I haven't wrestled in this stupid game before, so I need some practice, and then Seth's ass will be smashed. And sorry that I was yapping there, I just have a lot of shit on my mind, but Seth, I'll see you at WrestleMania 40 to put your mid-ass title reign to rest. I'm out of this bitch. He's such a nasty dumb dumb. 
<laughs> Seth, leave the call right now and take your stupid laugh with you. Yes, Daddy Donnie, whatever your command is, I follow. Why does everyone have to call me Daddy? I kind of like it, though, as it gives me some much-needed testosterone for the Big D Trump. Maybe I'm in my Randy Orton era or something. But speaking of the Big D Trump, he is coming out right now to discuss how he was cheated in his match against Roman last episode and what's next for the handsome, sexy man. When you talk in third person, it's so annoying, Jesus Christ. Why is it your worry that I talk in third person? Are you jealous that you can't call your wife a beautiful, sexy wife? Instead, you have to call her a piece of shit man with a two millimeter defeater. Almost reminds me of Joe. Don't ask me how I know that. The only people I know that have a two millimeter defeater are the little boys in my basement, which are currently sucking my two millimeter defeater as I speak. Two millimeter defeater gang has to stick together, I guess. Well, let's get this promo started, I guess. I have a lot of stuff to get off of my mind. So I was screwed over last episode when I fought the cheater of all cheaters, Roman Reigns. Here's what happened. This was the first time I was a victim of Roman's fuckery he does in every single one of his matches. And you can see the dumbass himself, Jimmy Uso, running in here like he's some hot shit. But I take his ass down and slam the bitch into the steel stairs. But I was in for a big fucking surprise with this guy who I didn't even know who the hell he was before his fat ass came out there. His hair looks like spaghetti, I can't lie. It's kind of making the big D Trump hungry. Wait, that kind of sounds gay. I'm sorry, guys. So I was going to knock the pussy out with a Trump cold stunner. But then the prehistoric piece of shit himself, Sleepy Joe, did a 360 no scope on Spaghetti Man's ass to knock him out for me. He was honestly the last person I thought that would have helped me, but whatever. Then I slid back into the ring to only be greeted by a Superman punch and a spear. But you know me, I'm the Big D Trump, just like my theme song says, and I kicked out of that bitch. Unfortunately, Roman then caught me lacking, and he hit me with one last spear to finish me off. I think everyone watching this video knows that the match was rigged, just like the election was, so I want a rematch. Next episode, me and Roman in a steel cage match. You're lucky that you had my help, because if you didn't, your loss to Roman would have been even more embarrassing Lamau. Shut up, Joe. That was an interesting promo by Donald. We'll just have to wait for the response from Roman Reigns to see if he'll even accept the rematch or not. Well, I guess we're going to get our answer right now. All you do is either complain or eat your typical 1,000 cheeseburgers from McDonald's every single day. And it looks like you've done both of those things already. Just look at you. Since last episode, you've definitely gained several pounds of fat, you freaking pig. But you know what, Donnie? I accept the rematch next episode in the steel cage. And trust me, I'll smash you just like I did in episode 20. It'll be very meaty and juicy. And that isn't a prediction. That's a spoiler. I'd be surprised if you even make it to the steel cage match, to be honest. You got that right, Tribal Chief. You ain't gonna make it to episode 22, Small D Trump. <laughs> this is great. I love it. Nah, fam, this is some bullshit. I hate the bloodline. Can someone come out here and help me? Barry Obama, can you? Well, I was considering it until you yelled at me through your cheap-ass mic. And plus, I can't help you anyway because I'm currently stroking my dick. Damn you, Obama. What about you, Joe? Just my luck, ain't it? Well, it looks like you'll get some help after all. Here come Cody and Jay. Now, what the hell is this shit? Spear! Damn, cousin! Why you gotta be like this, bro? I'll literally buy you a yacht and a house and shit. Nah, I'm good, homie. This is crazy. Ain't no way these punks are coming down here right now. Oh, shit. Take this crossroads, you freaking cheater. Don't think I didn't forget about how you screwed me over at WrestleMania. Um, come on, guys. What are you guys doing? I thought y'all were ready for this. Jesus Christ. Surprise, motherfucker. Trump cold stunner pussy. So you guys want to sneak attack me? Was this your plan the whole time? Um, oh, it didn't work, did it? But I'll give you idiots a second chance. How about we have a tag team match with me, Cody, and my dog, Jay Uso, take on you, Spaghetti Man, and Jimmy Uso, if he's even still alive. How does that sound, Roman? Do you accept? Or are you going to be a little pussy and walk away with your slaves? Yes, Mr. Big Mac, we accept your challenge. Are you sure about this, my tribal chief? I'm positive solo. As long as Jimmy wakes up from his Joe Biden-like hibernation he's having right now. Or he might be dead. Brother Jimmy, why did you do this to yourself? I thought you were better than this. You were literally the first person to turn on, Roman, besides my dog Sammy, of course. 
You can still come back. We forgive you. Nah, homie. This is what's best for me. And you're gonna learn your lesson for abandoning your family for little bitch boys like Small D Trump and Stardust. Whatever you say, Jim Jim, this is what you asked for, and it's what you're gonna get. Wait, what in the fuck? Did I just get censored? Holy shit. What were you even trying to say, my hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog? Were you trying to say the N-word or something? Did Barack give you the pass? Huh? No, 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 Cody, I was trying to say. Jesus Christ, who is censoring me? Oh, wait, homies, I know why Jay keeps getting censored. Are you trying to say What? Now this is crazy. First Jay and now Trump? My God, I better find out the fucking word before I lose my ever-living shit. Yeah, this shit is making me mad, and I may drone strike the Middle East again just like yesterday if I don't find out what the damn word is. Is it something to do with little children, specifically girls under the age of consent? No, it has nothing to do with children, you creepy fossil. The word is literally <laughs> shit. Can you spell out the word or something? Yeah, I can try. Y-E-E-T. Oh, so the word is <laughs> Fuck! Hey, what's up, guys? How are we doing today? I know I'm doing good because I just bought the sun. Did you just say the sun? The freaking sun? Is that really what you said? Why? What do you mean? Why did I buy the sun? It's obvious why I did. We're going to build cities on the sun. We're going to build rockets on the sun. And it's going to become the greatest planet in the galaxy. Who's with me? Dude, the sun is not a planet like holy shit. I thought you were smarter than this. Wait, wait, wait. Is Elon censoring Jay? He's literally the owner of Discord. He's the only person that could do that. Damn, you caught me. Why are you even censoring the word <laughs> Jesus Christ, please, for the love of God, uncensor the word for a second. Yeah, sorry about that, Donnie. Well, anyway, why are you censoring the word yeet? yeet. Are you offended or something? Yeet. Are you jealous that you aren't cool enough to say yeet? yeet. Maybe you're just stupid. Yeet. Wait, we already know that, Lamau. Yeet. Do you all not know about the lawsuit going on right now? Some chick is suing the WWE for using the word yeet. And I'm trying to save y'all's asses from getting sued yourselves. If anything, you should be thanking your billionaire friend, Elon Musk. This is the best day of my life. Now I don't have to hear Cody or Jay or even Trump say yeet anymore in my ear every single goddamn day. This is perfect. The Samoan gods have blessed us today, my tribal chief. Yeet! Don't say that. No yeet. Goddamn, and no one told us that's some bullshit right there, fam. No, that doesn't make sense because WWE just got the word yeet back a few days ago. So now I can say it again and not get my ass sued. So why are you still censoring the word, you dumb bitch? Oh, shit. Bro is getting exposed right before our eyes right now. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Weird ass motherfucker. Yeet! <laughs> and Roman, did you really try and punch me off of the apron? Are you that stupid? Shut up, bitch. Crossroads. Kind of gives me flashbacks of WrestleMania. And speaking of flashbacks from WrestleMania, here comes Solo fucking Sokoa to screw me over again. Common occurrence at this point. God damn it just never ends, I swear to God. Yeah, I remember when Cousin Solo messed your throat up at WrestleMania. And then I speared you to retain my titles. Was a great moment, let me tell you. And when I win at WrestleMania 40, it's gonna be even bigger. Did you just say when Solo Sokoa messed up my throat? To be quite honest with you, Roman, that sounded both disgusting and horny. I'm gonna have to get the horny policeman himself, Donald J. Trump, in here to finish you off with the greatest finisher of all time. You got that right, Cody? Take this Trump cold stunner, you freaking pussy. It's over for you now, Roman. One, two, oh my God, are you kidding me? Spaghetti man returns yet again, I suppose. I can't let my tribal chief be pinned again, just like what happened at Money in the Bank in July. Blondie, please don't remind me of that shit. It still gives me nightmares to this very day. I hope it gives you nightmares for the rest of your idiotic life. I almost had Jimmy pinned there. Wait, Cody, what the fuck? Ah, shit, that's my bad, my dog. I was trying to hit Roman, but it just didn't work out. Well, yeah, no shit, it didn't work out. You literally moonsaulted your ass onto me. But it's all right, fam. We still Gucci. Holy hell, what are you doing now? Are you trying to get us disqualified or something? Dumbass! I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm thinking. I guess this is what happens when you snort 10,000 kilos of coke. Relatable. Wait, what? Haha, -ha, we got your ass now, Jay. Well, never mind, because Cody had to come in and ruin the moment. I have to redeem myself from my idiocracy where I almost got my team disqualified. It's time we win this, boys, and get revenge against the bloodline. Yeet! My God, I would kill to not hear the word yeet ever again. It is so annoying, oh my f- Yeet! Oh my God! What's up, guys? Sorry if I interrupted something. I just need some advice about how to get away from the police because they're on my ass right now.
They were earlier too, physically on my ass actually. I just need some advice to how I should outrun these idiots because I think they're about to pull up to my crib and I'm so scared right now like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Well, I'm dying. For you to sleep with Uncle Bidenator tonight, my sweet honey bun. I'll make sure to unlock the White House doors tonight just for you. You nasty old hag, I thought you were into children. Oh yeah, you're right, I should probably start taking my dementia pills again, El Mao. Wait, 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 slow down, Liv. You telling us that you escaped jail? You did a jailbreak or something? Yeah, Roman, I broke out of that bitch because I didn't want to become someone's permanent butt bitch in prison, like ex-con Dominic Mysterio was. I really just need some advice to try and outrun these idiots because I think they're about to pull up. That Dominic Mysterio burn was crazy, I can't lie. I wish I could be booed just like him. So you want some advice, huh? Well, Trump has you covered with that, as he has a lot, and I mean a lot of experience with that shit. Oh, fuck you, Roman. And for you, Liv, Roman is lying, and I was never in prison, and I'll never be in prison. All of my indictments are lies, but you, Liv, yeah, you deserve to be in prison, and I'm currently calling the popo on your ass. Oh, no, not again. Please don't call the police, Trump. I'll literally do anything. Wait, you'll do anything? Yeah, I'll do anything. Well, my baby, Melania's gone for the weekend, so maybe you come down to Mar-a-Lago and we can work something out. Just you and me, all alone. Oh yes, daddy, that sounds nice. On my way. Now Trump, you're getting close to being 80 years old, and I know your two millimeter defeater doesn't have much energy left in it, so maybe you should consider inviting your boy Cody Rhodes down to Mar-a-Lago to insist you, if you get what I'm saying. Bro, you ain't coming to Mar-a-Lago. I'm getting live all to myself, you bitch. Come on, Trumpy, I think you're getting a little too greedy. Sharing is caring, you know? After all, I can go for a long time without a break. Just ask Brandy. It's all right, Donnie. Cody can come. The more the merrier, you know? Damn it! Well, Jay, it looks like Liv is open for some more company at Mar-a-Lago. You want to join in with me and Donald and make this a threesome? You know, my dog, I don't think I will. I mean, I would if Mommy Rhea Ripley was down there, as I'm pretty big into huge-ass goth woman, and Liv isn't really like that. All right, Liv, so I'm pulling up to your house right now to drive you down to Mar-a-Lago, and oh my god, is that who I think it is? Is it Jay Uso? Oh, hi, my mommy. You better come down to Mar-a-Lago so we can have some alone time. Just make sure not to tell Dominic or Buddy Matthews or I'll be screwed. Yeah, yes, mommy, R Rhea Rip Ripley. Me, Trump, up, and my dog, Co Cody, will be down to their ASAP. Ain't no way my homie is stuttering right now. Lamau, this is crazy. Actually mind-boggling if I'm being for real. Bro is in his Joe Biden era right now. You talking about me or are you talking about Joe Biden? What? You good, my dog? There's a mental hospital down the street from the White House, by the way. I'll take that into consideration the next time I go out to kidnap kids. I never thought of the mental hospital of a place where my scheme would prosper. But if you think about it, the kids are likely there without their parents. All you got to do is sneak past security and then you'll be golden. That's not what I meant. Jesus Christ. Why can't I just have Liv and Rhea all to myself? If the Paul brothers were here, they wouldn't have done a thing. Speaking of the Paul brothers, I wonder why they weren't the first people to run out to the ring earlier to help me against the bloodline. After all, we literally won war games with each other and beat Barry a bomber's team and broke his win streak. Bro, why did you have to remind me of that? I was literally about to forget about it. Be lucky that your pin streak still hasn't been broken yet. And your streak of bombing Yemen every day hasn't been broken yet either. Bitch! Well, then Paul Brothers probably didn't show up because they're too busy doing more important things than playing some random WWE 2K23 match, El Mao. True El Mao. Hey Liv, uh, I think the cops just pulled up. Ah shit, Rhea, what we gonna do? We're screwed. Well, I'm gonna jump out of your motherfucking window and I'm gonna run the fuck away, so see ya, bitch. Did you really just break my window? Rhea, what in the fuck? FBI, open up! While me, Cody, and Jay won't be getting any pussy tonight, unfortunately, I have a Trump cold stunner for this other pussy in the ring right now. Oh no, Jimmy, you gotta help me out right now. I can't kick out. I'm coming, little bro. Wait, oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. No! Jimmy, what the hell? Let's go, we won! Yeet, yeet. And it was all because of me. What? Now, Trump, me, and Cody did pretty much all of the work on the bloodline, and then you just came in there at the end to hit your Trump cold stunner. You really didn't do shit if you ask me. Stay mad, young blood. I can't believe we lost this tag team match. And it wasn't because of me, it was because of Jimmy and Solo. Cousin, what did I do now? Brother Solo was the one who literally got pinned by small D Trump. 
I was going to help him if it wasn't for Jay trying to punch my ass. Don't make up any excuses, Jimmy. I don't want to hear any of them. Actually, how about you and Solo leave? I don't ever want to see you two play this game ever again. Leave. Now. So long, my tribal chief. See you when or if you show up to work again. Yeet! Thank God they're gone. I couldn't stand them anymore. Well, Roman, it looks like you're on your own. Jimmy and Solo have left you. Your wise man is now my wise man. And Jay has quite obviously left you. Who's going to come out and help you next episode in the steel cage? No one will, and I'm going to win back my titles that I should have never lost. Damn. So you're going to finish your story before Cody finishes his? How does that make you feel, Cody, being overshadowed by Trump? You know he's just using you so he can attempt and get the titles back. Think smart, Cody. Don't play dumb. Well, I, uh, I mean, I... Don't listen to that dumb son of a bitch, Cody. He's just trying to manipulate you just like he does to every member in his family. Don't give in to him. After all, he took everything from you at WrestleMania 39. You know what? Yeah, Trump is right. How about you just shut up, Roman, and leave the Discord call? No one wants you here. You literally lost the match. Just go. Now this is the Cody that I've been waiting for. Not the babyface type of guy, but someone that is actually a challenge to me. Someone that has fire burning inside of him. But just for the sake of all of us, I'll leave the call. See ya, Trump, in episode 22. The titles are staying with me. Take the L. We'll see about that, Aquaman. Well, with shit ass gone, I want to ask you, Jay, why have you been so quiet? I mean, you've obviously done your yeeting, but you haven't said much. Was it because of Roman? Was it because of... It was because of Rhea, okay? I was just looking forward to finally going inside of Rhea. But of course, the Popo had to ruin it at the last moment by showing up to Liv's crib. Now I'll never have a chance, especially since Dominic and Buddy Matthews are always there. Ah, why God? Why? It's gonna be okay, my dog Jay Uso. Rhea will have sex with you one day, trust me. Maybe you and me can tag team her too, cause you know we're homies. No! Okay. Well, for the main event, I show Speed will face Talking Ben in a match that was supposed to happen last episode, but was moved to this episode. I don't understand why the match was scrapped at Presidential Mania. It's so racist, I swear to God. And speaking of the word racist, we have one in this call right now, and his name is Donald J. Trump. Hey, dumbass. Instead of calling me a racist, you should actually look behind you because I see a pretty big dog coming at you. <laughs> nah, Trump, that was your fault for distracting me, you freaking cheater. Uh. Shut up, Ben! How is it my fault, you stupid? No wonder why your girlfriend cheated on you. Damn! Damn. Why did you have to do my homie I show meat? I mean, I show speed dirty like that. You know he's going through a rough time right now in his life with his girlfriend cheating on him, and he doesn't need you bullying him because of it. Speaking of breakups, I actually broke up with my wife, Jill, a few hours ago. I forgot to tell you guys, sorry. What? That's something that I thought I would never hear, El Mao. This is history, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't no way Sleepy Joe broke up with decaying Jill. Who's gonna be the first lady now? I should be the first lady. Just imagine me sleeping with Joe Biden. Oh my fucking God, that would be crazy, my dog. Sleeping with a president? What more can you ask for, you know? All I'll have to do is pull a Chris from Mr. Beast and change teams to be a woman. I'm so smart, I know. Smart idea, I can't lie. No, 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 guys, y'all are misunderstanding Uncle Bidenator. I meant that I want to break up with Jill just so I can marry someone new. And that someone is a five-year-old little girl that would then sleep with me until the day I die. God, I'm getting a boner just thinking about it. I'm so tempted right now to hit the big fucking red button on my desk to drone strike the entire White House, but I'm not because I need to see who wins this match between I Show Speed and Talking Ben. Damn, Ben, what are you doing, you weirdo? And you better not jump on me. And well, you did. Shit. I'm going to kick out anyway, so who cares? Uh. Guys, don't you find it weird that a fictional character from a literal mobile game is playing WWE 2K23 right now? Well, to be fair, Roman Reigns is a dog himself and he plays 2K23, so it kind of makes sense that Talking Ben plays 2K23, too. I can't answer that fictional character part, though. How many times do I have to tell you that Roman Reigns is not a dog? And I repeat, Roman Reigns is not a fucking dog. Like, holy shit, man, you really don't take your pills, do you? Wait, 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 Donald, what pills are we talking about here? Are we talking about the dementia pills, the sedatives I give to the little girls every night, the pills? Hold up, Sleepy Joe, stop right there. What pills are you giving the little girls in the White House basement at night? You know, Donnie, I give them sedatives to make them fall asleep. 
and to make them stay asleep while I work, if you get what I'm saying. Now, come on, Joe, you don't do any working. What have you done as president besides ruining the whole entire country and subsequently the whole world? Uh, Trump, that's not the type of work Joey Joe Joe is talking about, unfortunately. What do you mean? Oh, I get it now. Holy fucking shit, Joe. You are so disgusting, I swear to God. What did I do? I don't understand any of this shit. Just shut up and go to sleep. <laughs> now, come on, Ben. What the hell, my dog? You really had to hit your boy Speed with another finisher? Yes. Bitch. No, this can't be. No, 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 no! Bro unleashed his inner Michael Jackson with that one El Mao. Don't bring that scumbag up. He's a disgrace to the black community. He literally swapped teams from us to white. Like, what did we do, fam? I couldn't agree more speed. That guy was horrible. Same with his music. That shit was the definition of mid. By saying Michael Jackson's music is the definition of mid, you two must be the definition of retard. Homie Michael was the one who built pop music from the ground up. Without him, you wouldn't have the music stars you know today, including your favorite Lil Baby. God damn, I love that guy. Wait, there's a baby? Holy shit, where? Shut your ass up, you wrinkly old fart. But for you, I show meat. Michael didn't swap teams or whatever the hell you said he did. He literally had a disease where his skin would become lighter if his skin was exposed to sunlight. It was out of his control like, holy shit, man. Keep picking your cotton. Now that's the most racist thing you've ever said, Mr. Orange. You should be ashamed of yourself. Nah, I've said a lot worse. At least the Oompa Loompa admits it. Well, anyway, it looks like Speed has lost to Talking Fucking Ben. I'm quite shocked, honestly. Is anyone even playing as Talking Ben? Or is that actually the real dog? Because there's no way some digital mobile game character is playing Wii 2K23. What are the chances? No. Huh? What are you saying no about? Yes. Idiot. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it for this video. If y'all enjoyed, please like the video and comment what your favorite part was. And if you're new to the series, you can watch the 1 through 20 compilation in the top right-hand corner to get caught up. And one last thing before this video ends, our Christmas Royal Rumble video will be releasing on Christmas this Monday. Whoever wins the Royal Rumble will take over the channel permanently. But with that, I'll see you guys in episode 22 for when I beat Roman Reigns in the steel cage match. The Big D Trump signing off. Yeet. That was so cringe, El Mao. Y'all gotta stop with that eating. It's getting kind of annoying. Wait, guys. So who was the little baby guy from earlier? Where can I meet the little fella? I want to sniff him and lock him up in a cage in my basement. Ah ha 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 ha. Joe, you freaking dick. Technical difficulties. Welcome back, guys, to the WWE 2K23 series. And today, Roman Cheatin' Reigns will defend his titles against me in a steel cage match. It's time to win back the titles that are rightfully mine. What? Did you really just say the titles that are rightfully yours? Nah, Trump. I beat you for the undisputed and million dollar titles in episode 20. You're just back to being the sore loser, just like you were after the 2020 election. Jesus Christ, Roman, you really gotta bring that crooked election up? Damn, but whatever. I'm more focused on winning back my titles right here and right now. Oh, someone is a little feisty today, it looks like. Come at me, you bitch! As you please, my tribal Aquaman. Why do people call me Aquaman like, holy shit, do I really look like that Jason Momoa guy? Yeah, Roman, you and that Jason guy do look quite similar. You two might even be twin brothers, to be honest. It's actually crazy. Oh, God. I better not be. I have enough people in my family. Like, bro, I have, like, hundreds of cousins. And one of them might come out to the ring today and help me win this match. Well, that's the exact reason why I wanted the rematch in a steel cage match, so no dumbass can get in. I even invited Obama's husband, Michael, to try and climb the motherfucker, but to no prevail. And that bitch is a full-on bodybuilder. I call him the steroid monkey. If he can't climb the cage, no one can. That's just my logic here, fam. Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh, so you're already bring out your Trump cold stunners? Actually, I don't even know if that was a stunner. It more looked like a Cody cutter or something. Damn, you shocked me with that one Roman you really did. I didn't think you would actually kick out of that. Maybe I'm underestimating you. You've got to be delusional to underestimate someone who's been champion for over 1,000 days. Let's be for real. And you still say you're going to win the election. Ha! Wait, Roman, do you see that? The barricade says to like the video, and that's what everyone watching this video should do right now. 
So you're more concerned about people liking the video than winning the titles back from me? Exactly, Roman. Damn. I don't blame you, though, because liking the video is important. But I thought you would be talking more about what happened in Colorado, where they removed you from the 2024 ballot. How does that feel, Donnie? I really don't give a flying fucker ding dong fuckaroo fuck about that bullshit in Colorado because I know they'll add me back to the ballot in due time. It's literally unconstitutional not to. Even if they don't, I wouldn't even need that state filled with crackheads to win the election. They're useless over there. The only thing that state even has are mountains and, yeah, just mountains. Uh, bro has some personal beef with Colorado. It looks like El Mau. Yeah, just like I have some very personal beef with your dumbass. Just like the whole entire WWE locker room does. Even the SmackDown general manager Nick Aldis doesn't like you. They don't like me because the whole thing is scripted Donald. They're meant not to like me for the storylines. In real life, we're the best of friends, and everyone back there in the locker room likes me. Well, most of them do. Maybe not Jay or Cody, because I think I've pissed them off a little bit, but whatever. I refuse to believe that the WWE is scripted. Everything there is real, you can't convince me otherwise. Holy shit, you freaking child. Grow up. I'm not a child, you bitch. Wait, what? There's a child. Oh my God, where's the little thing at so I can sniff it? Jesus Christ, Joe, how long have you been in the call? Well, I've actually been in this call sleeping since the Royal Rumble video where I won the Royal Rumble. I just woke up from my Christmas hibernation. What did I miss, Donnie? Did any of the kids escape the White House basement? El Mau, your dumbass has been sleeping instead of doing your duties as president. Are you kidding me? Holy shit, is this even real life? I think so. I might be wrong, though. Who knows? And also, aren't I the owner of the channel now, or is that just my dementia messing with me? Yeah, you are the owner, thank God. No, Roman is lying. He is being what I call a cappering capperino cap cap capper, which basically means, in more Joe Biden terms, means a fucking liar. You are not the owner, Sleepy Joe. The big D Trump is, though. The only liar here is the big freaking carrot over there. Did you just call me a carrot? Yes, I did, Trump. Yes, I did. Well, who cares if he's the owner or not because the dummy just fell asleep? How about you take this Trump cold stunner instead? I should start calling that version of the Trump cold stunner the Trump cutter or something. The Trump cutter? You serious, my guy? Couldn't come up with anything more original? Says the one whose signature move is literally called the Superman punch. You call that one original, you piece of shit? Yeah, you kind of got my ass there, I can't lie. I cooked your ass with that one just like I cooked both Crooked Hillary and Sleepy Joe during those two presidential debates. God, I can't wait until 2024 for when I can yet again cook Joe, if he doesn't fall asleep, of course. If he does, they might have Obama come out in a Biden costume and cosplay as him. Did you mean Biden instead of Biden? Yeah, I don't know what went wrong with my voice, AI. Oh shit, I'm breaking the fourth wall. God, pretend that didn't happen. Ooh. Get ready for this Superman punch, you fat ass. You're gonna regret calling my move unoriginal. Ooh. Wait, I'm having a boner right now. It feels good, but I need it to go away until after I win. What? Jesus Christ, you woke me up. Why are you having a boner right now? Oh, I had a boner earlier when the little boy was sucking up. I just started to think about certain things, you know? Were you thinking about the Big D Trump when it happened? Well, I... Sh uh... And also, I just blocked your stupid spear there, so... Ha ha, take the freaking L and take this Trump cold stunner, you pussy, for your horniness. You starting to act like drone man over here. No, 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 Trump, it's not like that, I... Just shut the fuck up! All right, this stupid referee has to open up this door right now. Come on, you idiot. Unlock the damn thing faster. My God, I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna climb out of the cage instead. I ain't no bitch. You thought I was done, Donald. I'm far from it. Winning this match won't be easy like you think it is. All right, Roman Bet, come up here at the top of the cage and I'll knock your dumbass down. It'll actually be me knocking your dumbass down. However, I don't think I will because if I do, the entire ring might fall apart because you are so ever-living fat. To be quite honest with you, I don't know how you can even walk properly. It really amazes me. The Big D Trump really does seem to amaze everyone with his six-pack and all of his tender, juicy, once-in-a-generation type muscles. I'm just built different. I'm him. You're Carmelo Hayes? Basically. And Roman, you better get ready for what I like to call the Big Mac powerbomb. Why does every move you do in this game have to be related to freaking McDonald's? McDonald's is literally what makes up your personality at this point, El Mau. 
Maybe instead of running for president of the country, you should run for president for McDonald's itself. That actually isn't a bad idea, Roman. I can't lie. As long as they pay me $1 million an hour. What? Are you high right now? Because ain't no one paying your fat ass $1 million fucking dollars an hour, Lamau. You got to be messed up in the head or something. Did you lose half of your brain cells? If so, you must only have one brain cell left now. Must suck to suck. Yeah, Hunter Biden gave me some booger sugar this morning. I've got to say, though, that shit was way stronger than I thought it would be like Lomao. I'm on X Games mode right now. Same here, Donnie, though Hunter did give me a discount because I am his son. I mean, because I'm his daddy. And yeah, they don't call me Frosty the Snowman for nothing because I'm buzzed as far. I didn't need to know all of that in that grade of detail, but all right. I'm beating your ass right now, though, so we Gucci. Did you really just say that you're beating my ass? Bro, I literally just made you bleed and there you go falling down onto the canvas like a little bitch now take this big mac elbow drop and damn i guess not how did you even know to counter that anyway are you a superhuman superman maybe after all you do have the superman punch in your move set when you're telling me every single thing you're gonna do to me it's pretty easy to counter the moves you freaking idiotic pumpkin of massive proportions yeah, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, no shit, Donald. Even Joe Biden would know that, and he is as demented as they come. Uh, you talking about me, Roman, or did I hear you wrong? Oh, my God. Ah! Hey, what's up, homies? I saw you four were in this call, and I decided to hop in because I'm kind of lonely right now. Jesus Christ, George, no one gives a damn if you're lonely. And also, what do you mean by four people in this call? There was only three people here before your dumbass showed up. Well, it seems like Elon is in the call, so he's probably just stalking you guys again. Doesn't he do that like all of the time? Well, you caught me. That sucks. I thought I was going to get away with my shit this time around, but I guess not. Almost, though. Oh, my fucking God. Are you kidding me? Elon, why in the world are you here? And why in the hell do you always have to come into these Discord calls and stalk us? To be honest with you, Trump, I'm lonely just like Mr. 9-11 is. Um, after all, I really have nothing to do. I thought... Buying Twitter would help, but it really hasn't, and SpaceX and Tesla aren't doing the best right now in terms of financial gain, so, yeah. If you two are so lonely, how about you two go out and get some hoes? Especially you, Elon. You've had like three divorces, and two of those were with the same woman. You can't say the same thing about the big D Trump, though, Lamau. Now, Trump, you had three divorces, too, so don't be too humble on yourself, young blood. I'm familiar with your game. Yeah, let's go, George. Speak your shit against that dumb tangerine. I really want to do unspeakable things to you two, but I'm going to hold back my urges and focus on the person I'm already fighting, and that's the cheater himself, Roman Reigns. I'm quite surprised he hasn't already cheated, to be honest, but I'm afraid that time is soon to come, unfortunately. Superman punch. You've got to be kidding me, that rip-off of Superman move again? Spear! My god, that spear was incredible, and me winning this match is about to be incredible along with it? And goddamn Trump, you really kicked out of that? You've impressed me, but I'm about to impress your wife Melania by winning this steel cage match right here and right now. And if Melania is watching this, I'm home alone tonight and I'm free to have company over. Oh, that's it, Joe. You've crossed the freaking line. I'm about to rise up from the dead like I'm the undertaker in this bitch. It's over for you, Roman. Get over here and eat this Trump cold stunner, you pussy. Oh, oh shit. shit. Wait, who the hell is this dumb son of a bitch? I told you he would cheat. I told all of y'all. Damn, Roman can't even win without cheating in a WWE 2K23 game? Now that's a new level of desperation. Oh, Mal, this is insane. I wonder who is behind that mask. It's probably a black person because they're wearing a ski mask. And they sure do love to wear those for whatever reason. Now, come on, Donald. I know you're mad, but you don't got to be racist. Like, holy shit, I feel you. But seriously. Don't care. Hey, guys, I just called Obama and me and him are going to come running down to the ring right now. And don't worry, Trumpy, he didn't hear your racist comment. Wait, what did Trump say before I came in the call? The, did he say the N-word? No, 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 I didn't say the N-word. Though if I had the N-word pass, I would say that shit 24-7, no cap. Same here, and oh boy, who the hell is this guy? Roman hired another idiot, it looks like. And these people can't be a part of the bloodline because Roman banned them from playing WWE 2K23 in episode 21. Who in the KFC chicken are they? Of course, you had to bring up KFC Chicken El Mao. Uh, what do you mean by that, Joe? Don't worry about it, Barry. You're just so predictable sometimes. I guess you could say that I always have tricks in my pants. Bitch! Ooh, uh... Spear! One, two, three. 
That was crazy, I can't lie. I wish I could have came down there and helped y'all, but I already uninstalled the game. Well, I still have WWE 2K23 on my computer, but I just wanted to see the fat ass motherfucker get beat up Lamau. Was an amazing sight to witness, I can't lie. One of the greatest things this world has ever seen. It really wasn't Elon. All I want to know is who are behind those ski masks. Yeah, you two better reveal yourselves before I lose my ever living shit. My hand is currently on the drone strike button and I'm not afraid to press it. You two can reveal yourselves. It's time. What? It's the shield. Are you fucking kidding me right now? We are back together, baby, just like the good old times. Ha 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 ha. The shield is back together and there's nothing anyone can do about it. I think a drone strike can fix that. Wait, Barrett, calm down. All right, so me, Drone Man, and Sleepy Joe are going to start off this episode because we have some things to say about the newly reformed shield. Wait, who is the shield again? I forgot El Mao. Did you take your pills? Uh, well, he, uh... Jesus Christ, let me get a chair. The short answer is a simple yet complex hell no. Then take them and maybe you'll remember you demented grain of rice. All right, I'll be right back, my G. Will he actually take the right pills this time and not accidentally take sleeping pills? Actually, maybe that's why he falls asleep all of the time is because he takes the sleeping pills and not his dementia pills. Yeah, I just solved it, baby. Give me my money. Holy shit, you freaking KFC goblin. This was not a contest and you won't be getting any money. But if you want some sort of gift, like a late Christmas present or something, I'll soon be shaving my swamp down under and I could mail some of the hair to you. And also, I haven't showered in a few weeks. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna throw up. Thank all of y'all for reminding me to take the dementia pills. And I heard Barack's comment about the sleeping pills. And yes, I've mistaken them for the dementia pills a few times. I only have those pills, AKA the sedatives, for the children in the White House basement. I give them the pills. Okay, Biden, we don't need to hear any more of your frickety fuckery. However, the Shield is about to fear their life after I'm done with my promo. In every single match I've had with Roman Cheatin' Reigns for the title, he's cheated. In episode one, the Usos theme song played. In episode 20, Jimmy and Solo had to come out. And now in episode 22, your former Shield brothers had to come out and help you win. What's next? Will Jesus Christ come and help your ass win? Whoa, chill out, you fatty. But in all seriousness, Aquaman, I thought we were friends. But after your Elimination Chamber win in episode 16, something changed about you. Something the big D Trump can't describe. Now I know you three candy asses are back there watching this. So how about y'all come out here and we can discuss this business and find a way to settle this beef once and for all. Yeah, let's go. Speak your shit, Donald. That was crazy. And is Barack still throwing up or is he just camera shy right now? Joe, my mouth right now is a waterfall like I'm literally Niagara Falls in this bitch because I'm just drooling so much. I think I've had a change of heart from then because I'm hyped as hell for the mailman to come so I can get Trump's uncleaned down under hair. God, it's gonna be amazing. Jesus Christ, stop with that gay shit. Like, damn, you have your husband at home. You can do that too. My God, take this indictment fist to your face. It looks like the bitches have arrived. Good to see you. God damn, I can see your fat ass from all the way up here. That's actually incredible, I can't lie. But yeah, we're here to settle this beef. You got that right, Roman. These presidents are about to get smoked by the shield. <laughs> you gotta stop with that laugh, Seth. It's getting out of hand, no cap. You probably have some mental disorder where you can't stop laughing or something. Ever heard of a psychiatrist? Oh, fuck you, Moxley. But hey, me, you, and Roman are still friends here, am I right? We can forget the past because we gotta focus on the future and what we currently have at hand, and that's those old ass presidents over there. So let's get this over with and squash this beef, or at least try. I hate to admit it, John, but Seth is right. Fine, whatever. So you want this rivalry to end, huh? Same here, this shit has been going on since episode 16. Technically, you could argue we've been doing this since episode one. It's time to end this. But how do you suggest we do it, fat boy? 
Don't call me that again, you bitch, but I'm just going to make this simple so your tiny ass brain can understand. There's three of you idiots and three of us. So how about we settle this beef in a war games match? You guys better prepare for the war games because I'm very good at warfare. My drone strikes are going to be coming for you. Barry, we're not talking about an actual war. We're talking about the freaking match. Like, goddamn, you are messed up in the head. It's crazy. What a disappointment. Hmm. So you want a war games match? Seth, John, what do you think about this? I think we're gonna get absolutely fucked. John, don't be like that, homie. But I do think if we are actually gonna do this war games match, we should add a little twist onto things. And the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins thinks we should add another member to both of our teams. Yeah, Seth, that does sound like a pretty good idea. No cap. Hmm. Well, I think we'll accept the War Games match if one of you presidents beat one of us in a match. And not just any match. A no-holds-barred match to see if this match actually does happen. All right, bet. That sounds fair, as long as there's no interference. But who wants to fight for us presidents? Because it's sure as hell not going to be the Big D Trump El Mao. I need to eat my McDonald's. I, uh, well, um, I can, I, I can fight for us. Yeah, pick Uncle Bidenator. Pick me, pick me. Are you serious, Joe? Oh my God, take this Trump cold stunner, you freaking pussy. Jesus Christ, you are a dumbass if you think I'm gonna let your demented ass, dinosaur looking old man smelling, children sniffing self fight for us presidents. What the hell are you on? Hunter's stuff is pretty darn strong, but you can't talk to your 46th president of the United States of America like that. Square up, Donnie, you've unleashed the beast. Oh, don't try to kick me, you fucking lunatic! Bro, what is happening right now? Aren't they a team or something? I don't know, I'm just eating my popcorn watching this shit, El Mao. It's great. Stop fighting before I drone strike your local strip clubs. Oh, oh no. no! Not the strip club, I love that place. I go there every night after I'm done with my presidential duties. What am I gonna do now? Joe, you don't do any of your presidential duties. Damn it, how did you know? Well, I think John Moxley would be the perfect person to face Joe Biden to see if this War Games match actually does happen. After all, he did say that we are going to get fucked. So, how about he proves it? That sounds like a terrific idea to me. <laughs> Bro, you guys did me dirty there, I can't lie. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to beat this prehistoric piece of shit right here and right now. Let's do this. Come at me, you bozo. You're messing with the President of the United States here. This won't end well for you nor the rest of the shield. And bro, what the hell are you doing to the referee homeboy? What did he ever do to you? Now nah, this is crazy, homie over here has some issues. The piece of shit looked at me weird, and I don't like it when people look at me weird. And I bet the children that you sniff don't like it when you sniff them, you predator. They like it, so mind your own damn business, you bitch. But you won't be doing any cheating this match because your stupid friends are gone. It's finally time I get a win on my record. Did your demented ass forget when you won the Christmas Royal Rumble? Oh shit, you're right, silly Uncle Bidenator. Ah ha ha. Well, your Royal Rumble win was a fluke anyway and was rigged, but this match won't be rigged because I'm gonna win. That sounds like something Trump would say, El Mao. He's probably eating the entire McDonald's menu right now, 69 times over. But yeah, you're probably right about that McDonald's thing. That fat ass can eat anything. He's like a human garbage disposal. Wait, are you sure that he's actually human, though? Wait, well, I guess I shouldn't say these things behind his back. I'm trying to coexist with him, you know? Yeah, whatever, Sleepy, I really don't give a shit. And there's no way in hell you reverse this power bomb. And well, you just did reverse that, goddammit. I've always wondered how you're so good at this game, Joe. You've been beating me up the whole match. I guess I've just been learning shit from Obama and Donnie about this game over the last few months. I also think my son's white powder helps a lot with my skill, El Mao. You want to try some big boy? Did you really just call me big boy? Did I hear that right? My God, you are so creepy, Joe. DDT, baby. Damn, that was a clean DDT, I can't lie. Especially for an elder like me. And look what we have here. We have a stop sign. I think I know what I'll use this on. Wow, Joe, I didn't know you had this much in you, I can't lie. You've impressed the Bloodmaster himself, John Moxley. But your luck isn't gonna last forever. Wait, stop right there, Moxley. You said that my luck won't last forever? Huh. You thought wrong, buddy, because this table is about to change this whole match up in the favor of Uncle Bidenator. How about no? Damn. Oh, well, Mal, my voice was deep there, just like that one kid in my basement. 
I'm already tired of making your old ass look good in front of all of these pathetic people watching this video, so I'm gonna put you away right here and right now in this ring. It's over for you, Joe, and the rest of the presidents. The shield is taking over. So don't run from me and take this stop sign to your face just like you did to me. How about no? Damn! Just because I may be old doesn't mean I don't have fight in me to defeat you. Don't disrespect your elders. Bro, you're so old that you shouldn't even be considered an elder. You're practically a fossil or some type of worthless prehistoric artifact of some kind. It's kind of unbelievable, to be quite honest. You are ancient. What did I tell you about not disrespecting your elders? And take this democratic elbow, you bitch. This is sure to pin your ass so we can get this war games match. You really thought I wouldn't kick out of that? Bro, that was literally just a plain old simple elbow drop. Nothing special. And changing the name to the Democratic Elbow, which is a terrible name, by the way, doesn't make the move more damaging or something stupid like that. But I think it's time we end this with this pile driver. Good night, Sleepy Joe. It's time to go night night. No, I'm not feeling sleepy right now, John. I'm kicking out of this bitch. What are you going to do about it? I think I'll take a page out of Seth Rollins' book and do a suicide dive. Ha! That was great. His laugh stinks, but his move set is sick, not going to lie. Wait, no, don't kill yourself, John. You still have the rest of your life ahead of you. I may not like you that much, but I don't want you to see the devil just yet. When did I ever say that I was gonna do that? Uh, you freaking NPC, holy shit. Just get back in the ring so I can finish you off, for goodness sake. This paradigm shift should do the trick. What in the hell is a paradigm shift? Is he your twin brother? Dude, the paradigm shift is not a person. It's my finisher, you actual dumbass. I bet you weren't expecting this one, Moxley. Oh damn, a roll-up? Is that really the best you have against me? It wouldn't surprise me if a roll-up is your finisher, El Mao. Yeah, roll-ups are my finisher. They're pretty effective, not gonna lie. Jesus Christ, Joe. Your finisher is really a roll-up? That's the most basic thing I've ever heard of. You do originate from the prehistoric time period, though, so it doesn't really surprise me. Will you ever stop making fun of my age? It's getting a little old, don't you think? Well, would you rather me make fun of your age or your disaster of a presidency? Oh yeah, definitely make fun of my age for the love of God. I thought so. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe, can you stop running from me, you pussy? Come in this ring and fight me. I still need to bleed because I literally bleed in every single one of my matches and I kind of need to keep the streak alive. I don't want to become another Undertaker. Having a streak of bleeding in your matches isn't a very good streak to have. And don't you ever compare your idiotic self to the Undertaker. You'll never be like him. He's miles better than me, and especially you. Didn't ask you, Boomer. And if you want to fight me so bad, come down here to ringside and we can fight. Don't be a pussy, John. Come on. Uncle Bidenator doesn't have much patience. All right, bet. Say less. Wait. Oh, shit. What? You really thought I wouldn't have had a chair waiting here for your ass? Wow, you are stupid. But I think it's finally time we get this announcer table introduced into this match. And you're going to be the one to go through the motherfucker. Actually, it's going to be me who puts you through the announcer table. This is about to break all of your old crusty bones. You may be paralyzed after this one, Joe. Bro, you can't break your bones in WWE 2K23, you freaking idiot. You're no fun, Joe. Jesus Christ, it was just a simple joke. I may be a grumpy old man, but when I'm around children, my frown turns upside down and... Holy cow, Joe, shut up with your predator shit and take this pile ah. driver through the table, my guy. That was insane, man. It's so motherfucking over for your ass now. Just give up already. No, I'm good, homie. Well, maybe another table will finally push the urge out of you to give up to the Bloodmaster. Get in here, Joe. Bet. But I think Uncle Bidenator might need some help, and I can't let the kids out of their cages or they might try and escape. So I have the next best thing. Michael. What's up, John Moxley? I love watching you in AEW, but I gotta help my husband's best friend Joe out right now and defeat you. I hope Obama doesn't know I'm here, El Mao. That would be really bad. What are you doing at the White House? Do you and Joe have some secret relationship behind Barack Obama's back? It's not what it sounds like, Moxley, I swear. I think I have all of the evidence I need, Michelle. Well, whatever, John, believe what you want, but you're gonna have to believe yourself going through this table right here and right now. I'm getting a hang of this game, Joe, I really am. But oh my fucking God, no, 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 shit. Barack is calling, what does he want? I gotta go, Joe, you got this win. Fuck me, I guess. It's just you and me now, Mr. President. No one to help you anymore, even though I'm pretty sure that was against the rules. But I'm gonna allow it just because I'm 100% sure that I'm beating your creepy ass. It's done Zo for you. 
Damn it, it really might be over. I've let Trump and Obama down. Well, I may have one last trick up my sleeve. Wait, I'm feeling a little sleepy. Oh. Oh my God, I really won. Ain't no way this is crazy. I did it for the children. Let's go. Oh, don't think you're going to get away this easily, Joe. You're not going to beat one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. members and get away with it. Roman, I literally beat your boy John Moxley and we're going to beat you in the War Games match. You're such a loser, man. Shut your mouth, Joe, and take this Superman punch and this spear. God damn, that spear was perfect, I gotta tell you. But I think you need one more spear to show you what you've just done. This is what you're gonna have to experience in the War Games match. It's over for the presidents. Get up, old man. Oh. Bro, what? The Donald is back, baby. Hey, don't forget about me. Oh, fucking great. Of course this shit has to happen. God, I better get out of here. Yeah, run away like the little bitch you are. I've won this match for the children. Oh, shit. I mean, the presidents and I, and we're gonna beat you in the War Games match. And when are we having this match, you may ask? Well, I actually don't freaking know, El Mao. I think we'll have the War Games match in episode 25, so two episodes from now. But that doesn't mean episode 24 won't be noteworthy, because we might see a title change with Sleepy Joe taking on Roman Reigns for the undisputed and million dollar titles. Bro, I didn't agree to that stupid match. I'm the champion. I make the rules around here, you freaking skeezer. Well, I think Joe is worthy of facing you. After all, he is, and I hate to say this, but is the owner of the channel, and he beat your bitch boy, John Moxley. And plus, you decided to butt your fat, ugly nose into all of this and made me run out here while I was eating my McDonald's. Now, that's a new low for you, Roman, and that's saying something. Oh my God, I'm done with this crap. I gotta go talk to Seth about this bullshit. Well, I guess we're officially on the road to the Presidents vs. S.H.I.E.L.D. War Games match in episode 25. And before I forget, we need to find a fourth member for our War Games team. Hmm, maybe I'll find someone next episode we can use and manipulate. Oh shit, I mean... I'm afraid it's too late now, Donald. Damn it! Wow, Donnie, shut your trap. But Joe, I want to know why in the hell Michelle was at the White House. I called her because the Apple AirTag I put in her ass said she was at the White House in the Oval Office. What is she doing there? Because it says that she's still in there, like what the fuck? Sleepy Joe is spilling the tea. Oh shit, I got this in 8K Ultra right here. This bout to go viral. Well, uh, Barack, so you see me and, uh, well, I mean, uh, how do I say this? Uh, me and Michael, uh, well, I guess you could say that we did the bang bang earlier today. You could have came down to the White House to join us in our game, but whatever, homie, it's all good, my G. Joe, you crazy, my guy. I respect the hustle, though. You did what? I'm drone striking your ass right now. Here it comes. No, 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 Barry. It's all a huge misunderstanding. We can talk about this, my- ah! Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Seth. Where the hell were you? I was out there running like a pussy from three old-ass men. I thought you were gonna come out and help me. What happened? And now we have to fight in the War Games match, and now we'll have to find our fourth partner thanks to your dumb ass, and even worse is now I have to defend my titles against the sleepy predator known as Joe Biden next episode. Holy shit, Seth. I can't deal with any more of this stress no longer. Chill out, my slime. Everything is gonna be fine. Trust the process, my boy. We'll beat those presidents in any way that means possible. But in regards to the fourth member, well, that's the reason why I was unable to come out to help you because me and him had a chat, and I think he's in. We all may not like him all that much, including Moxley, but I think he's our best bet right now. <laughs> I gotta find my hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, Cody Rhodes. I don't know where the guy went. I haven't seen him for over a week. Stardust, where are you? Do I need to summon you or something? Do I need to build a shrine? Hey. Maybe you're over here and oh my fucking God, you are not. Cody, are you? Does it look like I'm Cody Rhodes, you sack of shit? Yeah, I guess I should have knew that you would be here. After all, you're literally right next to an ambulance, the same thing you ran over Andrew Tate with in episode 20. That was sick, by the way. But do you mind helping me find my friend Cody Rhodes? That guy is missing like we need some Amber Alert. I'm not helping your bitch ass. You better get out of my face before you become the next person to get ran over by this ambulance. Come on, Brock, just this one time, please. Pretty please, pretty please with a yeet on top. If you do help me, maybe I'll help you on your farm and, oh shit, I guess that wasn't enough convincing goddamn. I'll say this one last fucking time, Jay. 
I am not going to help you find your stupid friend like you better run off like the bitch you are or I'm going to get into this ambulance and run you over. You won't even get a chance to tell your family goodbye, El Mao. Yes, Daddy. That's what I thought. Goddamn. Cody, where are you, homie? We have to eat together, man. I can't go another day without us eating to each other. Where are you? Hey, Jay, what's up? You good, my guy? Thank God you're here, Trump. I need help finding Cody. That guy is missing. Bro is gone. We need to find his ass before I lose my ever-living shit, homie. Oh, man, well, that's not good. Maybe he's just taking some time off and is trying to focus on the Royal Rumble later this month, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. But I heard the whole promo that you had with The Shield and how you three need a fourth member, and I was wondering if I could be the fourth member. I was trying to find Cody to see if he wanted to be the member, but I can't find my dog. Yeah, sure, bro. I was actually thinking of you to be our fourth member anyway, to be honest. You know, Roman the best out of almost anyone I know, so... No, 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 no! You freaking idiot, I swear to God, no cap, you are the biggest idiot I've ever seen, Jay. It should be me that teams with the presidents in the War Games match. I have literally have fought all three members of the Shield before, while you've only fought two of them. So fuck off. Whoa, 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 CM Punk. Trump said he wanted me to be the fourth member. In no way, shape, or form did he say your stupid name. So you better back off before I hit you with a super kick and send you to the ER. Oh, so you want to fight to see who becomes the fourth member? Then bet next episode you and me in the ring. Sounds like a plan, but that doesn't mean we can't start this fight early. Well, now that's my cue to leave. See ya, bitches. Who will become the fourth member for the President's team and the Shields team for war games? Will Joe Biden defeat Roman Reigns to become champion? And where has Cody Rhodes gone missing to? Find out on the next episode of U.S. President's Play, WWE 2K23. Damn what happened up here? I was just chilling in the White House basement, playing with the kids, until I heard this huge explosion. Like this place reminds me of Yemen. I knew I shouldn't have hired that robot that looks exactly like me. I had that thing play WWE 2K23 since October. Papa Biden welcomes all of you children to the match where I'll finally become WWE champion when I defeat Roman Reigns in a matter of literal seconds. And I'm not being sarcastic either, trust me. Joe, you freaking dinosaur in a human costume. You really think you're gonna beat me? The tribal chief, the master in the bedroom, Roman Reigns? Wait! Joe, who in the hell are those people behind you? I thought we decided that no one would interfere in this match. Did your demented ass forget like you always do? Yeah, those are my two favorite kids I have in my basement. I just wanted them to walk me out to the ring today so I didn't get sneaked attacked or something by one of your stupid shield friends. I will admit, though, that one of them reminds me a lot like Donald Trump, but I won't go there today. That baby is pretty massive, but what? Who in the fuck am I seeing this shit right? Is that Lil Baby? What are you doing here? Bro, Roman, you gotta help me, my guy. This creepy-ass motherfucker has been sniffing me every day of my goddamn life, homie, because the fossil actually thinks I'm a baby. Please save me, tribal chief. Yeah, the dummy thinks that I'm going to fall for his little joke where he tells me that he's not a little kid and that he's actually an adult. I know I've had him down there for almost 25 years at this point, but he's still a baby. It's literally in his name. Uncle Bidenator is too smart, I swear to God. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure the guy is 29 years old. My God, Joe, you are so stupid. It wouldn't surprise me if you couldn't say your ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. I don't remember the rest, nor can I sing. That doesn't matter. You know the thing. What? That made no sense. But let's just get this match started so I can beat your fossil ass so your bones crumble into dust, similar to what you ejaculate. Dust isn't just similar to what I ejaculate. It's the exact same thing that comes out of my two millimeter defeater that little girls get to taste every night in my basement. And I call this the Joe Biden combo. Such perfect jabs and punches to your ugly ass. I should be a boxer for real. If you were to box in real life, that would basically guarantee that Kamala Harris would become the 47th president of the United States, if you get what I'm saying. Dumbass. I'm the president, not Kamala. She's the vice president. Like, have you been living under a rock? Jesus Christ, you need some help, man. You really do, because this is crazy. You freaking idiot. I'm saying that if you were to box, you'd probably have a heart attack and die.
Or you'd be punched in the head, get a brain hemorrhage, and then die. Or maybe both would happen. I don't know. You could also get knocked out and go into a coma for a few years. Oh, well, then I better become a boxer if I could go into a coma. Sleeping for years? God, that sounds like heaven. A literal dream coming true. You are a weird motherfucker, Joe. I've got to tell you. And I heard you can still hear things while you're in a coma. So maybe I'll be able to know if my wife Jill is actually cheating on me with the White House janitor. I've been seeing them talk to each other pretty much every day for the past year. One time I even heard him and Jill in my bedroom with the door locked making weird noises. I tried to ask them if I can come in, but he said, and I quote, we ain't tag teaming Jill right now, maybe later. So I just walked off and ate my chocolate chocolate chip ice cream outside. It melted, by the way. My God, Joe. You must have a PhD in yapology because you yap like crazy, my guy. And also, I think Jill cheated on you. But damn, I'm impressed that you managed to get out of that guillotine. I thought that would have for sure put your old ass to sleep into one of your hibernations. Well, it didn't, did it? I guess not, you bitch. But we need to get a replay on what you just did to me because what in the actual hell is that? What would you even call that? Your balls literally catapulted me backwards. How is that even possible? Yeah, to be honest, Roman, I don't know what that was. I just did it for the hell of it, but I'm feeling like getting a little freaky today with your ass, so sit down, Daddy, and let's do it. Holy fuck, Joe, what are you doing? Are you trying to cowgirl my ass, or I guess I should say cowboy? Get off of me, you creep, I'm no kid. Oh, look at my ass twerk, it's just how it works. I see you looking, no need to be lying, lying, yeah. Flip a dime, heads means I'll give you a blowjob, so you better flip on tails so we can tell the tale when we're in jail. Jesus fucking Christ, do you really think this is a strip club, Joe? We are in a wrestling ring, you freaking bozo. And please never rap again, man, that shit was horrible. Superman punch. Say shit! You can't expect to hit me with one of my moves when you can barely walk up the stairs, you clown. Bro, walking up the stairs is hard, my guy. Recently, I've been having a hard time walking. So I've been needing to walk with a cane. That's why I haven't been out in the public recently so I don't embarrass myself. I just hope that Elon Musk isn't in the call and is recording this and is going to show the video on the internet for everyone to laugh at. That's exactly what I'm doing right now, Joe. Prepare to get canceled. What a coincidence. Another thing you should prepare for Sleepy Joe is this spear. Holy cow. Moo, moo, moo. That was insane. One, two, three, let's go! Bro, what the hell was that sound? Are you opening up a can of soda or something? Is that what you get for winning WWE 2K23 matches? I never knew that. I need to win more often, especially if there is pure Colombian involved. Ah, you know me, Joe. Just opened a can of Budweiser in celebration of me beating your old ass, and I chugged that bitch down just like your wife did last night to my flippy flopper. Wait, you're the janitor? What the fuck, Roman, you never told me? It was a joke, Joe. I'm not your stupid janitor. If I was the janitor, I'd probably quit, because I wouldn't be wanting to change your dirty diapers every single hour of the freaking day. You probably shit yourself when I gave you that spear. Actually, Roman, you're right. I did shit my pants. It's starting to itch. Now it's running up my back. I think it's wet, too. It's really starting to itch, Roman, since you're the janitor. Can you please come and wipe me or will Kamala have to do it again? You disgusting motherfucker! But I gotta go catch my flight before I miss it. And don't ask where I'm going, because I'm sure in due time you will find out, maybe even by the end of this episode. Did you double check and make sure that George Bush isn't the pilot? Hell now, Joe, don't worry, I already checked and we're Gucci. But then who's gonna clean the White House and wipe my ass if you're gonna go? Ah yes, look at all of this food. So many Big Macs, fries, McFlurries, and even my favorite, the filet of fish And just so I don't get fat, I'll balance everything out with this small Diet Coke and this bag of apples. Now let's get digging into this masterpiece. Two thousand years later. Oh hey Donald, what's up my orange friend? Oh my fucking God, Obama, what are you doing here? I'm trying to eat my McDonald's in peace, and of course Mr. Yemen had to show up, didn't he? I guess Manchel wasn't giving you enough attention. Dude, I came here because I'm pretty sure your fat ass forgot about the CM Punk versus Jay Uso match, where whoever won would become the fourth member for our War Games team. Like, what are you doing, bro? Is McDonald's more important to you? Wait, what type of question is that? Of course it is. Damn, I forgot all about that, El Mao. Luckily, I did bring my laptop with me and we can hop onto Discord from there. 
I do want to finish this Mickey D's first, though. No! Fine, goddammit! The backstage brawler himself, CM Punk, is here, and I'm about to beat Jay Uso's ass and become the fourth member in the War Games match next episode. I'm the best in the world, baby. No one can stop me, just ask Jack Perry. Thank God we got here just in time, you McDonald's eating goober. What did you just call me? Oh my God, you two presidents scared the shit out of me. I didn't think y'all would show up, but here we are. What took you guys so long? Oh yeah, that's our bad punk. We just took so long because of some Oompa Loompa that was too busy eating the entire McDonald's kitchen. If you were at KFC all alone, you would do the same exact thing, you bitch. Don't blame the big D Trump for nothing. Will you children shut the hell up? I don't want to have a headache before my match. Wait, where are the children? I need to know so I can sniff them. Oh my goodness, this is great. Thank you, God, for this blessing of kids. Holy fuck, Joe, leave the call right now, you creepy bitch. Dang, okay, I was going to order another semi-truck filled with chocolate, chocolate chip ice cream anyway. See you guys. If you see any unsupervised children, just give Uncle Bidenator a call. Creep! Yee. The Yeet Master is here to teach CM Punk a lesson to never mess with me. The fourth member spot for the War Games match was made for me, and not someone who's been fired from two wrestling companies. I was only fired from one wrestling company, actually. Whatever. Either way, I'm gonna beat your ass and then yeet your ass all the way to catering where you belong. Yeah, keep talking your bullshit, you punk. See what I did there? Because my name is CM Punk and I just called you a punk. Funny, right? Why did everything go so quiet? Was it really that bad? Damn, I guess I should never make a joke again, I guess. Goddamn. Well, with that monstrosity out of the way, let's you get this dirty, match bro. started so we can finally find out who will become the fourth member for our War Games team. Not so fast, Barry. What? You've got to be kidding me. The greatest pilot of all time, George W. Bush, is here to make this match a triple threat match because yours truly is joining it. Now let's ring that motherfucking bell. Bro, first off, before you do anything else, your Titantron is mad, sussy, baka, homie, and disgusting at the same time. Good lord. Yeah, don't worry about it, Obama. Just trying to relive my favorite day in history, you know? Sure, George. How can Mr. Twin Towers just come out here and decide that he can come into my match and make it a triple threat match and no one is going to stop him? But I'll stop the piece of shit. Let's head backstage so I can make someone fear their life just like I did in AEW. I'll join you too, CM Punk. But Trump, you got to change this homie and, and get this guy out of here. Yee. Honestly, Jay and Punk, I fuck with this shit. Let's go. It gives a little more variability. While I may not like the slut, oh. he will put up a good fight to you too. And to raise the stakes a little more, this match will officially have what I like to call the Big D Trump rules. What? What are the Big D Trump rules, you may ask? Please inform me. Basically, it's just that everyone starts off with low health and three finishers each. This should be fun to watch while I eat my McDonald's El Mao. Well, actually, I don't want to get my laptop dirty, so I'll wait. Nah, never mind. I just can't resist the urge. Freaking McDonald's eating addict. Damn, Trump. The amount of stupidity in your tiny ass brain has impressed me even more. But this stupid Big D Trump rules triple threat match won't stop me from becoming the fourth member. I only really want to be the fourth member so I can get my hands on Seth Rollins. And it all starts now. I called it. Get over here, George, and get the hell away from me, you dumbass. Oh, damn, is the referee good? So you're more worried about the referee than your 43rd president of the United States? My God, Jay, you're a disgrace. No one cares about you, Bush, so just shut up. Wow. Just wow. Bro, CM Punk, what was your ass trying to do there? Homie was trying to do something but failed miserably. I don't know, man. I guess I was trying to take some inspiration from your dog, Cody Rhodes, by hitting you with a disaster kick. Didn't quite work out, but second time's a charm, am I right? Or is it third time is a charm? Fourth time, maybe? Fifth time? Wait, maybe it's the sixth time? Speaking of Cody, I still haven't found that guy. I don't know where he went. I really don't. I'm starting to think that he flew to Madagascar to sing and dance to the song, Move It, Move It with the Lemurs. I wish he invited me, though, El Mao. That Madagascar shit was so random, I swear to God. Take this Flight 175 Destroyer, you bitch. What? And George, what are you doing, bro? I thought we were teaming up on Jay Uso, and then you just turned on me just like that? I thought we had something going. We were doing teamwork. That's something I don't do often unless I'm in a backstage fight, which is pretty often, actually. Teamwork? That's funny. The only time I used teamwork was in 2001. I'm just making up shit as I go Elmo. So, Donald, you got your prediction on who's going to win this match? Me, personally, I think... Shut the hell up, Barack. No one gives a damn what your prediction is. Fuck you. 
Everyone watching this video only cares about the Big D Trump's prediction, and that is my dog, Jay Uso. That guy is built different, you feel me? Yeats can take you a long way, let me tell you. Yeet! 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 Oh my god. Wow, Donnie, you're making me blush, my man. Thank you for the kind words. I bet Barry over there was gonna say CM Punk for who he thought is gonna win this match. El Mouse, so true. You idiots, my prediction on who's gonna win this match is Jay freaking Uso. Barry, just stop with the cat man and pipe down before I do something about it. Donald, you don't understand, I... Did you not just listen to what the Big D Trump said? He said to pipe down and shut the hell up. Do you not know how to follow simple directions? Did you not graduate kindergarten? Do you need me to call your mama? She'll be happy to hear my voice from after what we did together last night. I'm done. Disaster kick. Disaster kick? That looked more like a drop kick or something, but I'm kicking out of your bitch ass move anyway because I'm gonna win this match. It just doesn't make sense for there to be a team filled with presidents and then some random wrestler joined the group. It has to be a president like me. For all we know, the shield might have oil that they're hiding from us. We need that oil. It's our oil now, buddy. Oil, 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 oil. oil, oil. Do you really chant oil along with him, Obama? Yeah, Donnie, I love oil more than I love my husband. I mean my wife. I like oil myself, but I don't chant it like I'm in some cult or something. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what this shit is. This is a motherfucking cult. Oh, hey, guys, Uncle Bidenator's back in the call. Oh, my God, Joe, I thought I already told you to leave the call and never come back. We should have banned your prehistoric ass, but then Muskrat would have unbanned you. That's exactly what I would do, El Mao. It's the only way I can stay relevant in this series. Well, I just came back into the Discord call because Roman sent me a video, and he told me to show it to Donald. So here it is. Oh, what did the sack of shit say? Hey, Trumpy Dumpty. You might be wondering, why is Roman outside right now, and why is he wanting me to see this message? Well, let me just flip the camera around and... Oh my, look at that Donald. It's Mar-a-Lago. What am I doing here? Well, your wife Melania invited me over. What? Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Melania has invited me over and has told the security to let me in. We're about to get freaky in your bed. I hope you have a lot of towels because we're about to make a huge mess. Uh, I don't know what it means, though. Holy fucking shit, Melania is cheating on me? Is this real life? Uh, what? I don't get it. My God, I'm going there right now. Obama, please throw my McDonald's trash away and keep the laptop. Uh, okay, I... Uh... Holy fuck! Hey, get back here, you orange. Did that fat ass really just jump through one of the McDonald's windows? Holy shit, that man has some issues. Jesus Christ, can you guys stop screaming now? Thank you. But Joe, I haven't had a chance to ask you yet, but did you actually beat Roman in y'all's match? I'd assume that you did. In fact, beat him because you're the best vice president America has ever seen. But I just want to make sure, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, Barack, of course I won. I pinned his ass to the canvas for the one, two, three. Baby, it was crazy, I gotta tell you. You didn't win, did you? Yeah, you got me. Roman cooked my ass up. Damn. I tried to twerk to distract him so I could win, but it didn't work. You did what? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, no, Joe, I'm interested. I wish I was there, goddamn. Get on the top rope, Jay! Get ready for this superplex to end this match! You presidents better get the fourth spot in the War Games match extra clean for the backstage brawler because I'm winning this! Instead of some stupid superplex, how about you take this yeet roll up and give up, pal? Oh no shit. I've gotta break up this pin. One, two, no, no, no! Three. Oh! What the hell? Yeet. I did it, boys. I did it. The yeet master Jay Uso is gonna be the fourth member for the War Games team. Now I'm gonna crack open a Budweiser and chug that bitch down in celebration. You and Roman are so damn alike. This is some bullshit. How did some goof pin me with a freaking roll up? Oh my God, I'm done with this shit. I'm out of this bitch. Yeah, same here, I'm pissed. I'm gonna drone strike the Middle East for oil and anger. See ya, idiots. Wait, George, can I join you? Oh damn, he already left. Maybe another day. You're weird, Barack, you really are. But I bet every single dollar that I've gave to Ukraine and Israel that Elon Musk is still in this Discord call stalking our asses. I'll even bet all of the coke Hunter has ever gave me, and oh boy, all of that coke could probably fill multiple skyscrapers up. El Mao. Well, it looks like you and Hunter will still have your father and son time in the alleyway, because I'm still here. Damn, Elon, you are a creep. Well, at least I'm not a children-sniffing predator that originates from the prehistoric time period, you old fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Damn!
All right, had to jump through a McDonald's window to get here, so Roman and my stupid wife, Melania, better get ready for these big D Trump hands. He's taken this shit way too far. Now he said he was in my bedroom, huh? Then he better be ready for a big surprise because I'm coming. Come on, Donald, breathe. Everything is going to be all right. All you got to do is bust in this hoe and knock Roman out and maybe, just maybe, throw Melania out of the window. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Now let's do this shit. Ah, oh, shit, we're fucked. It's over for you, Roman. You've done it this time. You've completely come out of line from just shit. some WWE 2K23 oh rivalry. You've no. made things even more personal. Damn. Now, Melania, get back here. Don't run from me. Don't think I forgot about you. No, Melania, run away, honey. Welcome, everyone, to the biggest match of my WWE career, where the big D Trump takes on the shield in this War Games match all by himself. What do you mean by yourself? Like, if you were to fight them all by yourself, your fat ass would be tossed around a ring like a little kid throwing a toy. Of course you used a kid analogy to describe that, you freak. But whatever, I don't need your old ass anyway. Even when we're on a team, you two can't coexist with each other. Oh my God. How can I coexist with someone who stole an election from me? You just can't bury. You still yapping about that shit? Someone please kill me. Yeet. The Yeet Master, Jay Uso, is now in your city, and he's about to demolish the shield in this match, specifically my cousin Roman cheating Reigns. I just can't stand that guy. Makes me even more mad that I'm related to the son of a bitch. Wow, Jay, you're really going to disrespect your tribal chief like that? Just know that when I get into that cage, your ass is going to be dead. Mark my words on that. Yeah, sure, Roman. Whatever you say. Oh, wait, guys. Guess what? I just took my dementia pills. Holy hell, I'm going to have a heart attack. There's no actual way you took your pills. I'm so proud of you, Joe. I really am. I don't think you almost had a heart attack from you being surprised about the pills, but rather the hundreds of pounds of McDonald's you gobble up every day, you freaking McDonald's garbage disposal. Bitch! But since I took my pills, I remembered that we still don't know who the fourth member for the Shields team is. I'm starting to think that they never found a member and that it's going to be four against three. I could see that happening. But the thing is that you have to have a four against four or a three against three war games match in this game. Not anything else, so they must have found someone. I don't know how you idiots found a fourth member or how you even convinced them to join your shitty ass group, but I really don't care who it is because I'm going to beat their candy ass. I'm dedicating this inevitable war games win to my dog Cody Rhodes, so bring all you got. Yee. Oh, you bet we did, and oh boy, y'all aren't going to like who it is. <laughs> What's up, dogs? Our truth is out here, and me and the presidents and Jay are going to beat the Shields' ass. Let's freaking go. Is this some R-Truth from Wish because you don't be sounding like R-Truth El Mao? This is crazy. Don't make fun of my AI. I mean, my totally real voice, homie. Our truth are you fucking kidding me? This is the best you got, El Mao. Now, this is embarrassing to a different level. Is this really the guy you picked, Seth? Goddamn, you are a dumbass. Well, uh, no, I... Forget it, Seth. You are useless. Oh, but yeah. Anyway, me and the president and the Yeet Master are going to take down this shield in this match. About to pin these dogs for the one, two, three, four. Wait, I meant one, two, three, four, five. Wait. R-Truth, you're not on our team. You're on the Shields team. Wait, whose team am I on? I don't get it, Donnie. I thought I was on your team with Roman, Seth, and Moxley. What happened, bro? Oh my fucking god. This guy is more demented than Joe. Oh. Huh, what? Sorry, I was eating my chocolate chocolate chip ice cream with one of the little girls here. Help me guys, he's gonna sniff me! I already did when you were asleep. I might have did something else too, he he he. Oh, I get it! I gotta go on Roman's team! Yeah, I got you Trumpy Dumpty! Let's get this shit! Ring that bell, baby! Yeet! Yeet! Only me and Cody can say yeet truth, so pipe down and get in here. Not so fast, truth. Cody? Yes, it's me, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. And it looks like since truth is knocked out, it seems like the fourth member spot for the Shields team is open. So who's better to join their team than the real yeet master Cody Rhodes? 
Cody, what the hell are you doing, man? I thought you liked me in the president's. What happened, dog? I've realized that the president, specifically the fat pig up there, Donald Trump has been using me all of this time for his own story with Roman so he can get his titles. No one uses the most over wrestler in all of wrestling, Cody Rhodes. And for you, Jay, you still my dog, of course, but I need to venture out and go back to the main event scene and you're the only guy holding me back. Now let's ring that motherfucking bell and let's start this shit. Well, I guess I'm gonna go. See you guys. Love all of y'all, except for that American nightmare kid. Oh, damn, I fell there, just like Sleepy Joe does on stairs, good lord. Fuck you, bitch. I just can't believe Cody betrayed us like that. We were doing good with each other, I don't know what happened. Roman probably had something to do with it. Idiot, me nor the rest of the Shield had anything to do with this. It's all Cody's doing. He's opening up his eyes. He finally sees his future, and his future has nothing to do with you presidents nor Yeet Master Jey Uso. So you finally admit that I'm the Yeet Master, huh? Shit! Ye Roman Reigns had nothing to do with my decision. It was all me. You've just been using me this whole time to get the title shot against Roman, just for you to lose each and every time. And don't think I'm joining the Shield. I would never officially join a group with people like Roman in it. This is just a one-time thing. I'll focus on Roman later. Was that a threat? Potentially. Damn it! Power bomb. Shit, that didn't work out too well for me. Quite obviously, don't you think? Bro, stop putting your mouth up to your microphone like that, Jay. You're so weird. Says the one that's doing it right now. You have a point. I can't lie. Well, here's a look at the current participants in this match that are waiting for their turn to come out of the cage. We have the presidents on this side and the shield on the other. Do you think the viewers are stupid? Of course they would know who's in the cages and who's not. Wow, Barack, you are very doubtful, aren't you? Dude, no, I... Oh, shut the hell up, Barry. Holy because shit. I want to know who has the advantage tonight because I don't think we've ever found out which team has it. Well, sorry to disappoint your asses, but I did a poll on my channel the other day and overwhelmingly everyone came out in support of our team getting the war games advantage. And speaking of which, it looks like Uncle Bidenator is out of here. Get ready, Cody. I'm coming out next, not your fossil ass. Oh, sorry, Obama, I got confused. Common occurrence for Uncle Bidenator. Did you mean overwhelmingly instead of overwhelmingly, you dumbass? Dude, I have a speech impediment. Don't make fun of me. Fuck you. I'd rather have your mother. Damn, Joe, talk your shit to that traitor. I'm gonna call Cody a rhino for now on. He fits well with Nikki Haley right about now. <laughs> you call every Republican that doesn't like you a rhino, I swear to God. Uso Splash. Might start calling it the Yeet Splash. I don't know yet, though. Damn, that Uso Splash was tragic, man. My ribs are destroyed after that one. But why call it a Uso splash instead of a frog splash? Trying to make the move your own, you egotistical bitch. It's pretty different from a regular frog splash, but your vision's pretty bad, so maybe you didn't see the difference. Jay, are you fucking high? Yes. I have Same the best here, vision out of anyone in this Discord call. I could clearly see your quote-unquote Uso splash is a plain-up copy of the original frog splash. RVD is yelling at his screen right now, I bet. Exactly, Stardust. Your vision is horrible. Be more like the Yeet Master Jay Uso and have 2424 vision and not your crappy ass 2020 vision. Like, come on, man, be more with the times. Your vision is stuck in the pandemic era right now. Jay, you're my dog. But damn, you are one dumb son of a bitch because you really think there's a thing called 2424 vision? Idiot, it stops at 2020 vision. Like, my God, Jay, you're stupid just like your cousin Roman cheating reigns. I'm done with my rant, by the way. Great. Cody, you're the one that's stupid because the Yeet Master himself is right. There is a thing called 2424 Vision, and next year it'll be 2525 Vision. Each year we upgrade, but your prehistoric ass has been left in the past. Your mother really didn't raise you well, did she? Don't say that about my mother, you freaking predator. She would fuck you up and give you a crossroads. Next thing you know, you'll be waking up to see the devil. Your mother giving me a crossroads on my bed and then fucking me up? Yes, please, mommy. You cooked the motherfucker Joe. Great job. That's the best thing you've done so far in your presidency. Thank you for your support, my trusty old in. Huh? Joe, what do you mean by that? My trusty old in? Are you serious, Joe? Wait, what? I don't get it, Barack. Forget it. Good, because I already did. Don't talk to me again, Joe, you creepy predator. And now a racist, it looks like. You're such a crybaby. Wait, there's a baby where? 
Whoever said there was a baby? Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought someone did El Mao. Idiot. Well, speaking of predators and things of that nature, have y'all seen the lawsuit put out against Vince McMahon last week? That shit was so disgusting, I threw up a few dozen times just reading the thing. Yeah, I saw that. It was pretty bad, let me tell you. It's almost like something Joe would do, to be honest, but I won't go that far today. Yeah, it even said at one part that he literally took a shit on the woman. Like, who does that? Bro doesn't know what a toilet is, bro, is in his caveman era. Wait, so you're saying that Vince took a big, fat, smelly, disgusting, wet shit on someone, and y'all saying that it reminds you of me? How does that make sense? Y'all probably think I'd do that to children or something, which I most certainly do. Just did it last night, actually. Just proves my motherfucking point. Holy shit. But finally, Uncle Bidenator is out to the ring. And damn, Cody, you are one risky motherfucker, let me tell you. Heights is definitely not a fear of yours. What do you mean, Joe? Are you stupid? And oh shit, you're not that stupid after all, Cody. What in the frickety fuck are you doing? Get down from there. You have so much left to live for. Goodbye, Trump. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Lil Bro really thought he could hit that move on the Yeet Master like that El Mao. That was funny. I guess I should have thought that shit through. But I don't know why you freaking idiots had to scream into your $5 microphones like that when you weren't even the one jumping down from the 15-foot cage. If anyone should have been screaming, it should have been me. But I'm a man. Men don't scream. They show no fear. They show no emotions. At least that's what my wife says men should do. That's what Becky tells me every single goddamn night, Cody. That's why I'm still going to fight for WrestleMania with my broken knee. It kind of sounds like your wives are sexist. My wife, though, my God, she is perfect. Now, my wife Melania is 100 times better than your wives. Let's be for real here, gang, gang. Bro, y'all are stupid if you think y'all have the best wives because I have the best wife. I'm him. Uncle Bidenator is him. Holy shit! If we're talking about perfect wives, then I should be in this conversation because my wife Melania is the best wife anyone could ask for. She lets me noodle her caboodle at least two times a day. I'm shocked that we haven't had an army of kids by now. Those birth control pills must actually work. They didn't work on E. Jean Carroll, though. Damn, that $83 million hurts like shit. Fuck! That witch stinks. Dumbass. I'm not talking about my dry pussy wife. I'm talking about my new wife. Her name is Daisy, and she's only three and a half years old. They're best when they're young, let me tell you. Joe, never open your mouth again. The blood god is finally out of that cage, and he's about to enter an even bigger cage. God almighty, that thing is huge. But I haven't really been saying anything so far this episode because I've been strategizing what I should do to hurt and embarrass you presidents and the yeet master Jay Uso. And I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make you guys bleed. Yeah, such a good plan. I might even bleed myself in the process. Isn't that what you do in every single one of your matches? So unoriginal, bro, I've got to tell you. Yeah, so who cares? I'm the one that cares. Damn. Obama, let's go. We're teaming up on this bitch right now. This is great. <laughs> I hate to be teaming with someone like you, but whatever. It's what we got to do to get these S.H.I.E.L.D. members out of our lives. Come on, man. I was your vice president. You can't say that, fam. I'm your best friend, and you're my best friend. You're my only friend, actually. My only friend that I can legally have. Joe, you do be really sounding like a predator right now. Holy shit. Joe, you're literally the stupidest person I've ever met. I'm not as stupid as I look, Barack. I'm smarter than you think. Kamala just taught B yesterday how to count from one to 10. It was pretty fun with the kids, I can't lie. And plus, you helped me rig the election. You can't be turning on my back like this before the 2024 election. We gotta rig it again, bro. We don't talk about that, Joe. Oh. I knew it, you freaking cheaters! We gotta do what we gotta do, Donald. We can't let you run this country again and ruin it. But instead of me arguing with you, I'm gonna focus on this war games match so we can win and I can eat my 69th chocolate, chocolate chip ice cream cone of the day. Please shut the fuck up, Joe, as I get this kendo stick for this match. Are you sure you even know how to use a kendo stick? You're gonna end up putting that thing up someone's ass. I hope it's mine, to be honest. 
Joe, the real question here is, are you even sure you know how to use a kendo stick? Because if we rewind back to episode five, you were really trying to hit Obama with the thing while he was doing his Yemen destroyer to the top G. Now that just shows how much of an idiot you are. Actually, Donnie, you're the idiot here because I was not trying to hit Obama with a kendo stick. I was trying to hit him with a baseball bat. Now who's the idiot now? Damn sleepy, you did kind of cook my ass there, I can't lie. Hey, Jay, check this out. Oh, nah, Cody, you did kind of catch me off guard right there. I can't lie. Wow, imagine getting absolutely fucking cooked by an 81-year-old decaying corpse. Now, Excuse that's a me, new bro? low for you, Trump. I thought you reached your low when you became the first former president to face criminal charges. But I guess not. You always seem to impress me, Trump. You really do. You're just so unpredictable. Well, you want to know something else that you couldn't predict? What is it? I slept with your mother last night and I dried her ass up. That hoe went from the Amazon rainforest to the freaking Sahara Desert after I was done with her. Damn. We're still doing mom jokes in 2024? I thought we left that shit in 2018. What the hell? But I'm out of that stupid jail cell now. The same thing that you should be locked in right now. And now I'm coming out to beat your Big Mac ass. And what a better weapon to use than a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer? You serious? You're really in your Triple H era, aren't you? I mean, he books me to win every single one of my matches, so I guess you're right. You gotta love Papa H. I swear to God, if he makes you win against me at WrestleMania 40 again, I'm gonna go to Triple H's house and rip both of his nipples off of his body. And then I'm gonna eat his nipples with some caviar in front of him while him and Stephanie are tied up with my American Nightmare belt. What in the actual fuck did you just say about my nipples? Oh, shit, man. Lil bro fucked up over here. Uh, I saw, uh, or, uh, oh, uh, uh, well, I mean, are you, uh, are you interested, intrigued? <laughs> Cody, if you're gay, just tell me and I'll put you in a faction with Pretty Deadly. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 Triple H, I... And plus, didn't you say that you would eat my nipples with caviar? Holy shit, Cody, that's even worse than eating my nipples. You really like to eat caviar? People think that us rich people love to eat caviar but that shit is saltier than my homemade yogurt, like goddamn. Your homemade yogurt? Yes, my homemade yogurt. Oh wait, can I have some? Yes, pick me, pick me, pick Uncle Bidenator. Joe, shut up for the love of God, but I'll leave you guys to it for this War Games match, as I gotta book the next few Raws and Smackdowns, so I'll see you guys around. Yeet. Did he really say that stupid word? Did he really say yeet? Wow, worst boss of all time. And I'm still not over those stupid mom jokes, Trump. You better take that shit back and then push it all the way back into 2018. Yeah, I agree that we should have left all of that crap in the past, but you gotta admit that Trump got your ass good there, Lamau. <laughs> Shut up, Seth. I don't want to hear your bullshit, especially after the person you originally picked to be the fourth member of our War Games team was our fucking truth. Dude, there was no one else back there to pick from. Just be happy that Cody has decided to help us, man. But Cody is still not the best because he literally won the Royal Rumble and he is coming for me. I'm screwed, Seth! It's over! Did you dummies forget that I can hear you? Like Jesus Christ Roman, I knew you were scared, but holy shit, man, you are one dumb son of a bitch. But let's just get this War Games match finished and win it and then we can focus on each other for WrestleMania. Fine, whatever. But you better stop with that yit shit before I burst out of this cage and beat your ass. All right, fine, Roman. But don't expect not to hear me yeet again, just I'll give you a break for now. I don't know about Jay, though. Yeet. And there's your answer. <laughs> yeet. Damn it! Hey, Cody, do me a favor and get your dumb ass up so I can hit you with this Trump cold stunner, you freaking pussy. Oh, damn, Trump, it took you that long to hit a Trump cold stunner on someone? I think you're the real pussy here, fam. Oh, you've just awakened the beast, Cody. Kind of feel bad for you, to be Trump honest. Trump cold stunner, oh, pussy! Oh, shit. You really think you can just come up to the Big D Trump's face and call him a pussy? How stupid are you, but you've just made the situation you're in right now even worse because I have one last Trump cold stunner for your ass, you freaking pussy. Yeah. Every time you give someone a Trump cold stunner, you always call them a pussy. Like, have some manners, man. You idiots are really teaming up on me, goddamn. Your boy Cody Rhodes is gonna get pinned. Oh, no need to worry, Obama, because the two even bigger idiots named Sleepy Joe and Jay Uso broke up the pin I had on Cody for some godforsaken reason, like, what the fuck, guys? Ah, shit, wrong button. <laughs> Is Bro trying to cosplay as a dog? As a furry, maybe? Is he Seth Rollins, then? Wait, what are you trying to say? Well, Bro Trump, what do you mean, what did we do? Are you just making up excuses because Cody kicked out of three Trump cold stunners?
Yeah, Trump, I knew you were a capper, but goddamn, you are a capologist. A capologist? Is that really what you said, Joe? But I don't care, because just look at this replay and tell me what you think. I'll even draw on the screen for you like I'm Kevin Owens or something just to show you idiots exactly what happened. See here I gave Cody motherfucking Rhodes a Trump cold stunner because he is a pussy as we all know. And then as I went for the pin, you two actual dumbasses decided to break up the pin with your kendo stick and your baseball bat. A sledgehammer, we would have won the freaking match, but you two are so delusional that we didn't. Thanks a hell of a lot. You two in comparison to our truth make him look like Albert fucking Einstein, I swear to God. Dude, my bad. I am so sorry, Donnie. The Yeet Master can sometimes make mistakes, but we learn from them. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, too. I guess I wasn't thinking straight, even though I did take my dementia pills earlier. Maybe I should try an overdose on the dementia pills to try and get me to remember things better, like I did last week. But I just have one question. Who in the flying fuck is Albert Einstein? Joe, you demented ice cream cone. I ice thought you cream? would have been friends with Albert since you're so freaking old. Now, Trump, calm down, because we all know that Joe is a little bit special, I guess you could say. He isn't the brightest. I oh, my God, Uncle Bidenator is special. Thank you, Barack. I love you. <laughs> no homo, though my pronouns are children slash little girls. <laughs> what? You know, I can't lie. That was pretty funny, Joe. You really got to work on your memory problem. You really do. I can't help it, man. It gets worse and worse each day. Yemen Destroyer. <laughs> McDonald's. John, what are you doing, you freaking moron? We trained for this. You still need your training wheels? Training wheels, my ass, bitch. I'm gonna knock this KFC lover's head off of his Yemen body so fast. Come at me, Moxley. I have some drone strikes ready for you. Obama, your whole personality is based around drone strikes, and it's been that way since January of 2009. Oh, so you've memorized the exact month and year that I set off my first ever drone strike kind of impressive i can't lie time flies so fast when you're having fun drone striking yeah and i can get it down to the exact week the exact date the exact hour the exact minute the exact second the exact millisecond the exact nanosecond the last please don't cody please don't okay obama no 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 cody i may not like you all that much anymore but i've got to teach you how to say obama's name correctly instead of obama say obama oh uh oh um, Ob Jesus obama Christ, oh, Ob Obama. Nah. Obama? Yeah, there you go. Just like how the big D Trump says it. That is not how you say my motherfucking name, you freaking turd nugget. The hell did you just call me Obama? Soda! Ah, shit, Joe, my ears are currently bleeding. My bad homeboy. I just love my pop, especially Coca-Cola, because I heard they put booger sugar in it. Ha ha ha. Not anymore, Joe, unfortunately. God damn it, Hunter lied to me again. The Obamacare bomb. Since when was that a power bomb? Looked more like a suplex El Mao. You guys gotta help me. This gorilla is about to pin me for the one, two, three. Ah, shit, I called it. Fuck! My God, John, how did you not kick out of that? Like, holy shit, you are the dumbest person I know. Just get the hell out of here because no one loves you. Not even your wife nor your stupid kid. Wait, Roman, what did you just- You're a horrible father and a horrible human being. All you do to entertain people is to bleed everywhere. And then by the end of the match, it looks like someone dumped a whole bucket of fucking ketchup on your balding ass. Like, get out of here, you sack of shit. But wait, Roman- I don't want to hear any butts from your dumb ass. Speaking of butts, I'm ready for your wife tonight. Oh, that's it, I'm out of here. Fuck the shield, fuck Donald Trump's presidency, and fuck Seth Rollins' laugh. John Moxley signing out. What the hell did the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins do? <laughs> Hater of the Year award goes to Roman Reigns. Drew McIntyre is close behind, though, after his promo with CM Punk. Oh, don't bring those two names up, because the tribal chief will remain at the top of the food chain where he belongs. That's pretty ironic, especially since your team literally lost the War Games match. That just proves how bad your team was and how bad you were as a leader. You're not at the top of the food chain. No, 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 the Big D Trump is you son of a bitch. Whatever, Donald. Say what you want. The only food chain you're gonna be at the top of is the freaking McDonald's food chain. Bitch! But that's besides the point. If you want to be at the top of the WWE food chain, then how about you prove it next episode? Since you idiots won the War Games match, how about y'all face each other in a fatal four-way match to determine who fights me in episode 27? Bro, what's the point of us fighting each other if we're already on the same page with each other? We're literally a team. This is going to tear us apart yet again. This is what I like to call a uh, no yeet, as Jimmy would say. That's the point, Jay. I got to try and tear you guys apart somehow. 
And if you guys don't want to do this fatal four-way match, then too bad. Because if even one of you idiots doesn't go through with this match, the channel's ownership will go to me, your tribal chief Roman Reigns. While I still think Joe is a disgusting, children-sniffing predator that still shouldn't have control over the channel after that Christmas Royal Rumble match, nothing is worse than having Roman as the owner. So fine, you got me. I'll go through with the Fatal 4-Way and win it. Yeah, same here, but it's not going to be Donald who wins. It's going to be me. I had the longest title reign out of anyone here. And of course, I'm talking about in the game and not in real life. Yeah, I thought so. Wait. What is a fatal four-way? Is that like a threesome, but with one extra person? Would that be called a foursome? Damn, count me in. The little girls in my basement are going to love this. Oh my God, Joe. Yeah, I think we know who's definitely not winning it out of us for El Mao. That fossil couldn't fight out of a paper bag, I swear to God. Damn well, Trump and Obama, you better be ready for the Yeet Master next episode because y'all are about to be yeeted by me with my Uso splash to your ass. And I didn't say Joe Biden because I think we all know that he'll just sleep during the match than actually wrestle. Now, nah, Jay, I don't fall asleep when I'm doing my Uncle biden to work to little girls. Trust me. Fuck! Okay, that's enough of Sleepy Joe's fuckery for today. I'm out of this bitch. Yeet. Did they really forget about me, brah? I'm still here too, homie Stardust. Seth, you're still here too? Same, bro! Her truth, what the fuck? Welcome back, guys, and in this episode, me, Obama, Sleepy Joe, and the Yeet Master Jay Uso are going to fight in this fatal four-way match to determine who fights Roman Reigns for the title's next episode, which will be the finale of this WWE 2K23 series. It's sad to see this series go, but I know for a fact that the WWE 2K24 series will be even better. However, I've been training for this moment for a long time now. This is my last chance of the series to get a title shot, and I think I'll be able to do it. After all, we have someone who does nothing but sleep, someone who does nothing but yeet, yeet. And someone who is a fat ass who doesn't hit the gym. Obama, do we have a problem, my boy? Come on, guys. The gym is overrated. Let's be for real. The gym is only overrated to McDonald's eating addicts like you. Whatever, Barry, but here comes the big D Trump. God, don't I look so sexy in this game? Almost as sexy as I do in real life. Just imagine how good I'm going to look in 2K24. I still don't understand why every time you come out to the ring to wrestle, you always got to do it half naked like no one wants to see your hairy ass Trump. Not even Biden over there, and that's saying something. Now, nah, Barack, you know, my type is only little girls and boys, nothing else. Damn it, Joe. You got to do what you got to do, Barack. My gluteus maximus drives in the ratings. And with the ratings brings the money. I'm talking about cutting down trees, deforestation bitch right into my pockets, which are about to be fat with cash like Lizzo up in here. And yes, I got that line from Ben Shapiro. Hey, thanks, Mr. Orange, for the shout out. Yeah, no problem, Lil Benny. You rap slower than you talk, I swear to God. I don't know why you're over here worried about freaking ratings when this is just a dumb video game, but maybe the viewers can prove me wrong by smashing the like button. 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes. Bro, chill out. 3,000. What? 4,000 likes, bitch. Don't you think 4,000 likes is a little absurd? I don't think it's absurd at all, Barry. I think we could easily hit 5,000 likes, actually. And here's a fun fact. 5,000 is a bigger number than the amount of people who show up at Sleepy Joe's rallies. But I guess I should say the people who used to show up at his rallies, because the fossil doesn't do any rallies anymore since he's either on vacation, or he's sleeping, or he's sniffing kids, or he's in his basement snorting booger sugar with Hunter because they're freaking pigs. Well, here comes the person that the country of Yemen fears most, the 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama. Wait, what the fuck? Who cut off my entrance? Was it you, Trump? Nah, I didn't do dog shit, Barry. You got the wrong guy. I'm being framed. It's not like I'm not already used to it, though. Oh, don't fuck with me, you freaking Oompa Loompa. Actually, Barack, this is probably the only time Donald has ever told the truth in his life. Because it wasn't him who skipped your entrance. It was Uncle Bidenator. What? I'm sorry. I just had to do it because y'all can't keep yapping like this. We got to get this match started. We still have Jay's entrance to go to. Yeah, well, I guess you make a valid point, Joe. But speaking of Jay's entrance, where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. I just got done smashing Rhea Ripley back there. I kind of used her as a workout to be prepared for this match. But to be honest, I like you presidents a lot, even Biden. 
but this is my chance to finally get my rematch against Roman and win the undisputed and million dollar titles. Now let's get it. But I don't want to fall down this ladder like Joe Biden does on stairs. But I'm not going up the ladder, so I think I'm good. Bro, come on, Jay. Wait, what the hell? Ah, uh, shit, I missed. El Mao, you idiot, Dominic. What are you doing trying to attack the Yeet Master Jay Uso? I have a match I gotta go to. Your dumbass thinks you can smash Mommy Rhea Ripley every single day, but no, 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 that's my job, Jay, and you're gonna pay for it right now with this power bomb. You're gonna power bomb me? Dominic, you must be fucking high because you ain't gonna power bomb me. I'm gonna flip you on your ass onto the freaking concrete, you puss boy. Oh, damn, fuck. Now take these yeet fists to your ugly ass face, and I have a super kick ready as well. Oh, shit, I missed. Nope, I'm gonna yeet you out of here. Hey! The fucking hell was that zesty ass scream, Jay? Don't ask, bro. Don't ever mess with mommy ever again. So what to the power of 69 does this mean? I Me guess since Jay is down and out, this match will turn into a triple threat match against us presidents, just increasing my chance of winning. Now get over here, Joe. I'm gonna knock the shit out of your fat ass. Wait, Barack, what are you doing? Ah! Obama, what the fuck was that? Barry Obama ain't messing around today. Wait, is that Stone Cold Steve Austin as the referee? What? 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 Oh my God, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm your biggest fan now. Come over to Uncle Biden Nader and give me a hug. I may even sniff your bald head. Get away from me, you fucking creep. Oh shit, I'm falling down. Oh! Joe, what are you doing, you dementia-riddled fuck? I was just trying to hug him, but he kept running away from me. Am I really that scary? You are scary, Joe. You really are. I bet every single children in the world would agree. Oh, damn. I just noticed that Roman Reigns seemed to have spawned in like the NPC that he is at ringside. Welcome, Aquaman. I don't know why you actual dumbasses have to keep calling me Aquaman every single goddamn episode, but I'm just here to find out who's going to win this match and then subsequently get fucked next episode by his tribal chief. Well, damn, I better win this match then. Ha 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 ha. Joe, what do you mean by that, you creepy fossil? Bend over and find out, Roman. You're gonna love it. You'll get the little girl treatment from Uncle Bidenator. All right, I just muted his zesty ass. I thought he just said earlier that he was only into children, but I guess his feelings changed real fast, didn't they? Well, thank God that you muted his prehistoric ass. Because if you didn't, I would have sent myself to the heavens above with one of Trump my own stone, stone cold pussy. stunners. So basically the same thing Trump did to Obama is what I would do to myself, the stone cold stunner baby. And how in the hell would you give yourself a stunner? Well, um, I haven't thought that far yet, Barack, but I'll tell you this, the rattlesnake has his ways. Wait, 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 hold on, Steve. Did you just say stone cold stunner? Now fam, let me teach you a little something. It's not called that, it's called the Trump cold stunner. Don't be a pussy. Oh, you sack of shit, Donald. You literally stole that move from me and you're calling it your own? The Trump cold stunner? Are you fucking kidding me? Actually, you balding bitch, I didn't steal that move from you. You stole the move from me, so I hope you and your lawyers are ready because we are going to court. And just to let you know, I have the best lawyers in the entire world, so consider your chance at winning the lawsuit zero. Yemen destroyer. I bet Joe Biden is screaming right now. Wait, make that negative one. Negative two even. Dude, I'm gonna destroy you in that courtroom and- Jesus fucking Christ, can you two stop yapping? Because I'm pretty sure we all know that you two won't be going to court over a stupid wrestling move, especially since Donald will be too busy going to court with the other hundreds of indictments he has. Obama, you're such an asshole. You know that, right? I'm well aware that I'm an asshole. The people of Yemen call me that every single day. And I don't blame them. To be honest, You'd think that the people of Yemen would have called you much worse names than that, especially since you bomb their country every goddamn day. When are you ever going to give them a break? Never? Well, of course. Yeah, you'd expect them to call Barry the N-word or something. Of course you gotta be racist, you freaking pumpkin. It was just a thought, bro. Damn, Biden is doing pretty good so far. Do you think we should unmute him? Saying that we should unmute Biden is like saying that we should all vote for Trump in 2024. So your answer is a huge motherfucking no. N. O. Spells. No. Damn, that was cringe. I am sorry. Yeah, and you say that when the zombie is literally twerking in your face like what the hell? This is some of the zestiest shit that I've ever seen. I knew you and him had some secret relationship. But let's just unmute him because this call is kind of boring without the guy. I need to argue with him again, El Mao. Great, just another thing to annoy the hell out of me, but all right. 
Okay, so I think Joe calls this the 9-11 attack. I don't know why, but it's time to pin this orange for the win. Well, damn, he kicked out now. That's crazy. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, this isn't Sleepy Joe. This is Michael. What did you do to Joe, you gorilla? Shut the hell up, Trump. Her name is Michelle. But I guess calling her a gorilla was accurate because her muscles are made out of pure titanium. No, no, no. I wasn't calling her a gorilla because of her muscles. I was calling her a gorilla because the bitch looks like one. Donald, you motherfucker! Oh, hey guys, I didn't know I was unmuted, but Joe asked me to play for him while he went down in the White House basement. He said he needs to fix a water leak or something, and he'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, God! He isn't going down there to fix a water leak. He is going down there for another one of his sniffing sessions with the kids he has locked up down there. We really need to save them. He's probably not giving them anything good to eat or drink. I would have at least gave them some McDonald's. Wait, no, I actually would have ate it instead. But maybe I would have gave them some KFC, but no, because Obama would sneak down there and take the KFC for himself. Donald, please shut the fuck up. And take this Yemen driver, Joe! It's not Joe, it's Michelle. And you don't gotta yell like that, Barry. That's my bad, honey. Oh shit, I gotta break up One, this pin, but I can't get up. I think two, I'm too fat. Three. Let's freaking go! Another L for the country of Yemen. You love to see it. Well, damn, the big D Trump lost. His chance at getting his redemption against Roman for the title is gone just like that. I would rage and break my setup, but I've already had to buy a new setup almost 10 times in the past few months, so I'm gonna chill on this one. Congrats, Barack, you deserve it. Wow, uh, well, uh, thank you, Trump. I didn't really ex expect that from you if I'm being completely honest with you but I'm glad you're on my side as I go into this match with Roman next episode. But until then... Oh my God! Barack, you fucking idiot! You thought I was being serious! Holy shit. I hate my life. I hate this game. How did I lose? This was going to be the easiest match of my life. This is rigged just like every single thing I'm in. Well, I guess I should have expected that from that egotistical orange. Jesus Christ, man. Damn, that fat ass has some anger issues. I bet he gets them from Ronald McDonald himself for when he doesn't sell enough Big Macs in a day. Which, I guess, is never because they sell millions of them a day. I don't make any sense, do I? I'm drunk, okay? The beers hit me hard today, fam. That's typical Stone Cold for you. No one needed or wanted to know that Steve... Wait, Joe is coming back up the stairs. I gotta go, guys. See ya. All right, boys, I'm back, and I hope Manchel won for me, and oh my God, he actually did win. I won. I'm gonna face Roman next episode. Tribal Chief, you're going down, bud. Uncle Bidenator is coming for you. If you ever think you're the dumbest piece of shit on the entire planet, just remember what sleepy motherfucker Joe Biden just said, and you'll change your mind real quick. Wait, you're saying that I didn't win? Now, nah, this is some bullshit. This is rigged, just like the Super Bowl finals, where the 49ers beat the Miami Heat. You would have thought that Jimmy Butler would have saved it for the Miami Heat, but he's too busy making coffee instead, that bitch. Wow, Joe. You may very well be the stupidest person in the entire universe. Because did you really just say the Super Bowl finals? Dude, the Super Bowl is the final of the NFL season like goddamn you are a dumbass. And the Miami Heat? You serious, my guy? That is an NBA team, you clown. Idiot. But wait, why is it even called the Super Bowl? Is there some huge, powerful bowl filled with cereal that they're fighting for? Damn, I want to be an NFL player. Now I want to eat some Lucky Charms. I may even share some with you guys. Let's go. Sign me up. Jesus fucking Christ, you've got to be kidding me. This homie real? Maybe he is still buzzed from the coke? Or maybe this is just his dementia, or maybe both. Joe, you are so dumb. But one thing I can agree with is that shit about Jimmy Butler. Like if you're signed to an NBA team and making millions upon millions of dollars every year, and you're worried about your freaking coffee, there has to be something wrong with you. I'm done yapping. Well, thank God. Well, I'm gonna go, guys. Gotta drink a few more beers, you feel me? But yeah, see you guys down the road. Oh, no, 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 Baldy. You're not leaving until I get my rematch, and I want it against Barack Obama right now. Give it to your 45th president. Give me one more chance, Steve. I'll even suck it for the rematch. I'm desperate over here, bro. I really am.
You're not getting your rematch, Trump. This is a one done and deal. You had your chance and you blew it. Just accept you defeat and just wait until your next chance at championship glory arises. There's always another chance to get your revenge against Roman. One billion dollars, Steve. One billion fucking dollars that I'll pay you to restart this match. Oh, shit. But take Joe out of it because no one cares about him. Me versus Mr. Yemen right now for the right to face Roman next episode. One billion dollars. Do I have to repeat myself? Money talks, my pockets are about to be filled with that cheddar cheese money, please. Ring that bell and give me a hell yeah. Yeah. LA Knight, what the fuck? Aha, uh -huh, thanks, a hell of a lot stone cold. Now get over here, Barry. You thought I didn't prepare for this to happen? Well, if not, then you thought wrong because I had this Yemen driver saved up for you this whole entire time. I'm dedicating this win to the uneducated dumbasses that live in Yemen. Well, of course you would, Barack. Fuck! Thanks for the one billion dollars, Donald. One. Two. Wait, what the hell is this shit? Yay, that's right. Mr. Heyman is back, and he is here to help his true tribal chief and head of the table, Donald J. Trump. You're a real one, Heyman. You really are, my freaking op. This is some bullshit. Heyman, you fat pig. I'm on your side with this one, Obama. You're the rightful winner of this match to face me, and there should have never been a rematch. So how about two enemies help each other out? You know what they say? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Wait, what? Spear, motherfucker! You freaking traitor. Never show your fat face around me again unless you lose some weight, of course. Now come on, Barack, you got this. Beat up that orange bitch. Bet say less, but goddamn, this ain't good. Trump cold stunner, pussy. I don't understand how you got up so quickly. I literally hit you with a Yemen driver. I'm just built different. Now it's time to pin you for the one, two, three, four, five. Wait, is it supposed to go this long? Wait, is there no referee? Well, of course there isn't because I had Paul take him out. God, my plan might be backfiring here. Yeah, and it's gonna backfire even more with this Superman punch. Ah! This is more like it. Trump being played at his own game. How a change of roles. But now it's time for what is going to end this stupid scheme from Donald once and for all. With this one last spear. Aww. Uh, Shut up, Biden. It's like Trump cold stunner pussy. He's hacking, bro. I swear to God, no cap. El Mao, he got your ass there, Roman. But Donald, you got to turn around. Wait, what? Oh, shit, man. Get ready for this slingshot Yemen destroyer, you freaking clown. What is it with you and Yemen? You're obsessed with them. You don't need to worry about that, Donald, because all you need to worry about now is if you're going to be able to have kids, because say bye, bye to your nuts. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, shut the hell up and stone cold get your ass in here and count the pin. Oh yeah, that's right. Dude, count faster. One. Do I need to repeat myself? Holy shit. Two. Three. Oh shit, that was close. The big D Trump lives on. Not his testicles though. Those are long gone. Dude, I'm rich. I'll just buy someone else's testicles and glue them onto my body. Simple as that. At least I think. I don't think that's how it works, you dumbass. All right, now get up, Trump. It's time for this Yemen driver to put you away for good. No more schemes for you to play. No more cheating. No more interference from Paul. No nothing besides me winning. Nope. Not today, Barry. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Well, damn. Stone Cold Stunner, but whatever, I don't really care. But yeah, that was a rope break, so my billion is gonna have to wait, I guess. Wait, Donald, what in the hell are you doing and shit? What the fuck was that for you, fat ass? Because your motherfucking ass knew that wasn't a motherfucking rope break, and you were just trying to be a motherfucking dick like Roman Reigns over there. But hi, Barack, what in the McDonald's are you doing? I'm giving you a Yemen driver, of course. Never turn your back on a war criminal because some very bad things will follow. That's a good life lesson right there for the people watching this video, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's true, Donald, but shouldn't I have already won by now? Oh wait, I forgot you knocked down Steve Austin because you have some freaking anger issues. God, this is so stupid. Get over here, Steve. You're gonna explain this shit to me how this rematch is even a thing. I won the triple threat, bro. Oh man, I'm gonna beat the living hell out of you. Bro, I could disqualify you right now, but I'm gonna play Mr. Nice Guy today. And if I were you, I'd look behind me. Wait, what? Trump cold stunner pussy. Stone cold, you better not get knocked out again and count this pin right now. One. Two. Three. Ha 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 ha, let's freaking go. 
another Big D Trump beats Obama. This is the best day of my life. Take the L Barry and go home crying to your dead chef. This right here is bullshit. I didn't agree to this match to happen. I won the triple threat match earlier, so my match next episode with Roman still stands. You know what? Yeah, that makes sense. You do deserve to have the match with Roman. So Donald, get your fat ass out. Two billion dollars. Steve, is that what you want? Well, uh, Barack, you can get in the back of the line because your true winner is Donald J. Trump. Money talks, homie. Oh, fuck this. I'm out. Yeah, leave and never come back, you KFC eating bozo. Well, goddamn Trump, you really screwed homie Barack over there, but I respect the hustle, no cap. This will be a way easier fight for me to win anyway since I'm going up against a McDonald's eating shit show. But whatever. I'll see you next episode, Donnie. I already picked out your gravestone. Oh yeah, keep talking your shit, Roman, and stick these middle fingers up your asshole. You're gonna be crying when I beat you next episode. He is such a loser, Trump. He knows that he is going to lose to you. You got this, my man. I never thought someone like you would be rooting for me in this situation, but thanks, I guess. But wait, Steve, what are you doing? Stone Cold Stunner ah! pussy. The fuck, bro? Stone Cold, you bald bitch. Why would you do that to Trump? Just like how you can never trust a war criminal, you can never, and I mean never, trust a rattlesnake. What will happen next episode when Trump faces Roman for the undisputed and million-dollar titles? What will Obama do after being screwed his title shot? And what will happen between Jay and Dominic? Find out in the next episode of U.S. President's Play, WWE 2K23, the grand finale. It's time for the last match of this series where the Big D Trump, which is me if y'all didn't know, will face off against Roman Reigns for the undisputed and million dollar titles. And here I come with my American flag in this plank of wood, of which I'm going to finish the Great Wall of Trump with. I do wish that the American flag was instead a Trump 2024 flag, but whatever. Why do you always have to bring up walls? It's what literally makes up your personality. You have a horrible one, by the way. You're saying I have a horrible personality when your personality is built around you sniffing kids, sniffing coke, and being a crazy lunatic. You shouldn't be the one to talk about personalities, Joe. Never bring this subject up again unless you want to get verbally fucked like you just were. Donnie, I was going to root for you in your match against Roman, but your ass just blew it for yourself. Wait, no, 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 Joe, please root for me in this match. I need at least someone to, since everyone and their grandma is saying, we want Obama, we want Obama. Like, they're the Barry Crybabies, I swear to God. We should get hashtag Barry Crybabies trending and not the hashtag we want Obama bullcrap. But why should I trust you? You're what I like to call a flying pig just without the letter F, if you get what I'm saying. Well, uh, just use your imagination, Joe, and believe me, I never lie. My imagination, huh? Well, okay, my imagination is visualizing the future, and it shows you beating Roman in this match for the titles. Let's go! It pictures Obama crybabies trending, Yeet. and it shows me winning the 2024 election in a landslide. Well, okay, Joe, you can stop imagining now this shit is getting disgusting. Your mind is filled with fake news. Oh, and now I'm imagining me sniffing dozens of little girls and boys in my bed tonight while they are handcuffed and chained. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. Did you not just hear what I said? Are you that demented? But I'm just going to ignore you for the time being because my focus is set on this match with Roman. And speaking of Roman, you better get your ass out here right now so I can smash it. Wait, what, in the Trump Tower? Fuck yeah. Stop the music, stop the shitty ass music for the love of the McDonald's gods. That music kind of went hard, not gonna lie. Harder than my two millimeter defeater, just ask Jill. Why in the hell is Barry Obama here? Are you confused? Puzzled, perhaps? This is a singles match between me and Roman. You remember when I beat you? Yeah, sure, you might have won the stupid match you paid Stone Cold Steve Austin a total of two billion fucking dollars for. But I won the real match the president triple threat where I pinned Biden. So since you won and I won, how about we turn this match into yet another triple threat match? But let Barry Obama change things up a little bit because this isn't gonna be no ordinary triple threat match. This is gonna be an elimination triple threat match. 
You think this stupid elimination stipulation is going to stop me from winning? I'll just eliminate you and send your ass all the way to the Middle East where you belong, and then I'll eliminate Roman with a Trump cold stunner and win the titles. You've just made it harder for yourself now. Keep using your imagination, Trump, if it makes you feel any better. It won't be reality, though, as you'll find out in a matter of minutes. That's what Donnie tells me to do. I forgot why, though. Wait, 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 Joe, before you say anything else, why are you on Donald's side with all of this? Why are you rooting for him and not me? Because I only support my Democrat homies, not Republican discord mods like you. Just get out of here, Obama. No one likes you and your MAGA extremists. Yes, Sleepy Joe. Speak your shit against that MAGA cult leader. I'm not even going to bother arguing back with you two idiots, because I got to wash my hands real quick. My hands are so ever living greasy from the KFC I ate earlier. I'll be right back. Of course, it's KFC. I bet he uses grape flavored Kool Aid as his mouthwash when he brushes his teeth. Now, Donnie, you know that Africans don't know what mouthwash is. They wash their mouth with dirty pond water, the same water that they shit in. I almost feel bad for them. Well, that's true. My God, you and Donald may very well be the most racist people on this planet. Two peas in a pod, literally. Wait, I am a not a human, but rather a pea, a freaking pea. Now nah, turn me back right now. I don't want to be a pea and stuck in a pod with Trump. Let me out of here. Help me, God. Damn, these hallucinogens are getting more and more intense. It's either that or his stage 69 dementia. You idiot. I wasn't being for real. I was using a metaphor. Use your brain, Joe. Wait, actually, you can't because you clearly don't have one. Wait, did you say metaphor? Now, Roman, my kindergarten teacher hasn't taught us that shit yet, El Mao. Kindergarten, Joe? Are you kidding me? Why are you still in kindergarten? Well, since he is the president, unfortunately, I guess he inserted himself into a kindergarten class so he can be there with little boys and little girls and little they slash thems. That they slash thems are easier to kidnap. I don't know why, though. Very interesting, Joe. Very interesting. Well, I think it's about time we start this triple threat elimination match. So if y'all can do us a favor and like the video and maybe even subscribe, that would mean the world to us. So the YouTube algorithm doesn't bend us over and fuck us. But yeah, let's ring the bell. All right, it's time to beat your ass, Roman, and win that title. Bitch in your dreams. Guys, you two dumbasses just started playing. Stop acting like kids. Wait, what? Where are the kids? Holy fucking shit, there's no way. Joe, you got caught slacking there, bud. There are no kids around here. Bitch, why'd you get my hopes up? We weren't trying to, Joe. Wait, did anyone else just get hit with a huge wave of nostalgia just then? It was almost like we said all of that shit before. I just can't remember when. Homie Trump is starting to act like Uncle Bidenator El Mao. Shut up, Joe and Roman. I don't know what you were trying to do, but I countered it. And hey, Barry, what's good, my slime? What's up, Donnie? I hope you're a fan of my Yemen drivers because I'm about to hit one on your ass just like that. Everything you do has to be in relation to Yemen and your drone strikes. It's literally the only thing that's keeping you relevant. Though it does make for some good jokes, I must say. But I kicked out of that bitch just like when the people you bombed in Yemen kick out of their coffins one day to hunt you down and kill you. Oh no, don't scare me like that, bro. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep tonight. I'm sorry, Barry. It had to be done. But at least you have your husband you sleep with every night to comfort you. Bitch! How many goddamn times do I have to tell your Big Mac ass that she is a woman, not a man? Well, Obama, I'm not accusing you of lying, but actually, yeah, I am accusing you of lying because she is a man. She's is a man, Barack. Michelle is a man. No, she's not a man, you racist pumpkin. Yes, she is, Obama. She's not! Stop the cap, Mr. Yemen. Fuck you! Holy shit, will you two shut the hell up and focus on this match? Unless, of course, you want me to win like I always do. Well, I'm not gonna stop until Obama finally admits that Michelle is a man. Well, then you better be ready to break your fucking back. Ah! Oh no, Trump is dead, Trump died. Obama, why did you kill Cheeto Jesus? Nah, fam, I didn't know he would die before me. I'm not dead, you dumbass. The big D never dies, but elders do, just like you, Joe. Bitch, I got 20 years left in me. Oh, well, Mal, you can't be serious. I am serious. You probably only have a few months left in you with all of the fast food you eat every day. Eating 50 pounds of McDonald's every day isn't unhealthy, bro. Okay, so I may be an idiot, and I may still be buzzed from the Coke. I snorted earlier with Hunter, but I'm pretty sure eating 50 pounds of McDonald's, or any fast food in general in a day, is some of the unhealthiest shit you could ever do to yourself. Not that I care that much, though. I'm healthy as fuck. 
Don't ever say you're healthy because you look like a fossil. Joe, you're ancient. And plus, did you just see the 450 splash I just did on Roman? Actually, let me get a replay on that, because if you think eating all of that McDonald's is bad, then you thought wrong. It's because of the McDonald's that I was able to do that. Now, you were only able to do that because I didn't reverse it in time. You got lucky. Damn, Roman, you're filled with excuses, I swear to God. Excuses? Bro, you use all of your excuses in the courtroom. Shut your mouth, Roman. Why does everyone have to be rude to me? I've done nothing wrong. And you guys always exclude me out. I should be in this match. It should be me. I would win. No one cares about you, Joe and Roman. What are you doing? Ah, shit. <laughs> that kendo stick broke on your fat, empty, more orange than an orange. Cranium! Is Roman having a stroke like I did last night? Well, I don't know what you were doing because you hit me with it and then went out of the ring and, well, you're just an idiot. Stay mad like the Obama crybabies and get ready for this spear that will feed families for generations. Wow. Joe, what in the frickety fuck was that? I was doing the thing you do. And what the hell, Obama, what are you doing? I was going to spear and eliminate the fat ass right there. You're not going to be the one to eliminate Donald. I will be the one. Now take this stop sign to your ugly head. Ah! I didn't forget about you, Donnie. Bitch! Roman, I think you deserve one more hit of the stop sign. Damn it! And Donald, you as well, and oh shit, I just hit the referee. I thought Donald was behind me still. You idiot, I rolled out after you hit me the first time. Well, how was I supposed to know? I've just been taking out my anger on Roman and specifically you. Now, Barry, it kind of sounds like to the big D Trump that you're taking your anger out on us because of your favorite Middle Eastern country of Yemen, because of your obsession with oil and ruining people's lives. Well, actually, you've just sparked a sudden urge inside of me to send my daily drone strike there, so how about we do that right now? Wait, Barack, think about this. Too late, bitch. Shit! I just got done walking 69 miles to get food from the grocery store because the other closest grocery stores were completely fucking obliterated off of the face of the earth by Barry Obama. But finally, I can eat my fresh tuna in peace in this great country of Yemen. Wait, what is that sound? Oh shit, you've got to be kidding me. Not again. What is someone supposed to say after that? You're supposed to pray that you're not the next one to get drone striked, but it looks like you are the next one. Because take this Yemen driver. Nah, Barry, I'm kicking out of your shitty ass move. Nice try, though, I've got to admit. You've got to hit me with another one to even get close to eliminating the big D Trump. Get ready for these steel steps, Obama. Well, I guess not. Take this Yemen driver, Roman. I've beat you with this move before, and I'll gladly do it again. You've got to be kidding me. I should have countered that. How did I not? Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm kicking out of it. Believe that. Get ready for these steel steps, Obama. Well, I guess not. You said that I'll have a chance to eliminate you if I hit you with another Yemen driver. Then I'll take that chance. Dude, you can try and pin me, but you have a less than 1% chance to eliminate me. I knew that penny I took from the homeless man earlier was lucky. What in the fuck did you just say, Barack? Did you just say, lucky penny? A lucky fucking penny? Let me tell you something, I found a lucky penny. And then a few hours later, my dad died and I inherited all of his fat cash and got rich as fuck. So enjoy your lucky penny, Barry, enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed stealing that penny from the homeless guy. And I bet that the homeless guy was homeless because he was one of your victims from Yemen. That's a truth you can't deny. Another truth you can't deny no longer is the truth about your wife, Michelle, actually being a man named Michael. Trump, she's a woman with three holes, a butthole, a pee hole, and a vagina. Well, I would hope for your husband to have three holes, his mouth, his butthole, and his pee hole, a.k.a. his super microscopic penis. The big D Trump has a huge penis, though. Want to have a little peek at it? I'll send you a pic on Snapchat. Well, uh, well, Trump, I mean, we can, uh, we can work something out. Uh, I don't got Snapchat, but, 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 uh, I'll get an account and you can, uh, send me the, um, well, the, you know, the picture of your dick. This is some of the zestiest shit I've ever seen. Joe, you seeing this idiocracy, my guy? Now, Roman, and I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy doing pleasurable things to myself while I was looking at pictures of children on my Yahoo browser. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna throw up. Please do it on me, Daddy. I really don't know why wow. I hang out with you three. But Obama is about to be destroyed by this one and only spear. 
and I'm so confident that he won't kick out of this. If he does, I'll shave my head bald for when WWE 2K24 comes out. Well, shit! Oh, my dumbass over here about to look like Sleepy Joe. Oh, that's cute. Roman is going to be my twin brother. Welcome to the Biden family, where we beat our meat and snort coke all week. Wow, I really fucked myself up there. God damn it. Wait, Joe, what did you say about your family? You said we beat our meat and smoke coke all week? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, Obama. That's the Biden family slogan. Do you like it? And what's your family's slogan? It probably has something to do with Yemen, if I were to guess El Mao. You dumbass, I don't have a freaking family slogan, and I don't know anyone up until now that had one. Wow, Joe, you are so demented, I swear to God, there's no hope for you. When kids are around, I have hope, Donald. Holy fucking shit, Joe. What's with you and children? In every single goddamn episode, you always have to mention kids in a weird way. What's your deal, bro? Once I beat you in 2024, you're gonna rot in jail. Damn, bro, I'm surprised your fat ass isn't already in jail. You should be locked up below the jail in solitary confinement. But to be honest, you're probably not in jail yet, because if they were to put you in a police van, the thing wouldn't be able to move because of your fat ass weighing it down. Oh, shut up, bitch. And I hope you all aren't scared of fire. Wait, Roman, what is that supposed to mean? Ah! Holy fuck, there's a fucking fire. Holy shit, I'm calling 911, bitches. Don't hurt Obama with the fire, Roman. He is an endangered species. He's a very rare breed of monkey. Shut up, you freaking Oompa Loompa, and let me focus on reversing this. Well, that didn't work out well. Wait, when do we start screaming? Now. Ah! God damn it, now why do you idiots have to scream at the top of your motherfucking lungs into your cheap ass mics? All I did was put Obama through a flaming table. Nothing too intense. Yeah, it was probably a little hot and he may have some minor burns on him, but he'll survive. Yeah, I only have a few third degree burns on my back. Not bad at all. Hey, <laughs> you'll be fine. You won't be fine after this spear, though. Wow. Will your dumb ass ever stop doing that? Nope. And just like that, I just ended world hunger because that spear fed families. It was just so good. Now this ref is going to count for the one, two, three. Huh? Well, actually... Let's not end this match, just yet. I still want to beat your ass some more to teach you a lesson to never mess with your tribal chief like Cody Rhodes has done. You talking about me, Roman? Holy shit! You know that I'm winning at Mania, and that's not just a prediction, that's a spoiler. Paul Heyman? I'm a visionary, a revolutionary, I am Cody freaking Rhodes. Seth Rollins, you serious? I'm all about hustle, loyalty, and respect. John Cena now? I love to shit on people. Vince? Yeet. Yeet Master J. Uso. I'm the ring general. Gunther too. The tribal chief. Dude, that's my catchphrase. The nightmare incarnate Cody Rhodes. Lesnar. Bro, you're using everyone's catchphrases and making them your own. You're gonna get hella sued. Dude, you're wrong. I ain't getting sued. Do you smell what the American nightmare is cooking? Yeah, you're getting sued, buddy. Damn it, I'm about to call the streets of Atlanta my new home. I'm just like Donnie now. Bitch, shut the fuck up before I slap the herpes off your lips. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to sue Donald too. I'm about to be paid bank. It's not like I'm being sued for millions of other things anyway. Hey, Roman, check this out. My N. Montez Ford taught me this one. This is what I like to call heaven to Yemen. Of course, it's called heaven to Yemen. You're basically saying that Yemen is hell, which I guess isn't far off from the shit you've done there. Yeah, that was kind of the reasoning behind it. But speaking of Yemen, I have a Yemen driver ready for Roman here, and not just any Yemen driver. A Yemen driver threw the freaking table. Damn, you always find ways to change that Yemen driver up. It's nothing that the head of the table and tribal chief Roman Reigns can't handle, though. Oh, shit, guys. I think we're witnessing an Obama comeback story right now. He finally has a chance at winning the titles. But guess who doesn't have a chance to win the titles? Donald J. Trump. Joe, what the hell happened? I thought you were supporting me. Damn, I guess it was just too good to be true. Or maybe your dementia pills finally clicked in. Donald now, you know he doesn't take his pills. And when he does, he overdoses on them. Now that's true, Elmo. Dude, you know Uncle Bidenator only supports Republicans and not stupid lying Democrats like you. How about you do your job instead of sleeping all day and make sure your dog doesn't bite White House staff like last time? The only time I would like Democrats if they were children under the age of 12. Let's go, Biden. Speak your shit against that pathetic Democrat. I bet he bombs the Middle East for oil. Oh, 
Well, fuck you guys. I seriously doubt your ability. Well, anyway, let's get a replay on that incredible spot where I completely bodied Roman Reigns through the table. And now he's about to be hit with the biggest Yemen destroyer of his life. These titles will be mine once again. I've waited 12 episodes for this moment, and it's finally here. I had to get through the entire country of Yemen to get here, and the entirety of the shield, so you best believe that I'm not taking this last chance for granted. Any last words? I do have one last thing to say. Michelle is a male gorilla. He's practically King Kong at this point. Oh, that's it, Roman. You've really ruined it for yourself now. Yemen Destroyer! Ah! Could you guys ever stop screaming? The irony is crazy. Just shut up and let me pin this guy for the win. Holy fuck to the power of 69! How did you kick out of that? Barack, you may not understand this, but the tribal chief is just coded differently. I'm built different, homie. Well, I'm gonna break your code with this one last Yemen destroyer. Not if the Big D Trump has anything to say about it. Oh my fucking God, you've gotta be shitting me right now. Not this Oompa Loompa again, I literally pinned him. This is my revenge from when you pinned me earlier. Don't think you're walking out of this series as champion. The only champion you'll be walking out of here as is champion at bombing villages. I guess that's somewhat true. Don't worry, Barack, I got you. This orange isn't gonna interfere with your match. Oh look, Obama, it looks like your chocolate friend KSI has made his long-awaited return. Don't say that again, you bitch. Fine, but I can't make any promises. Now get over here, I'm gonna power bomb you off of this freaking stage. You really think you're gonna power bomb me? Dude, I eat McDonald's every day and I weigh over 300 pounds and you think you can power bomb me when in reality it's gonna be me power bombing you off of this stage. Wait, Trump, we can talk about this. Uh... Nah, I'm good, Lil Bro. Well, now that your chocolate friend is likely dead, I think it's time to do the same to you next, Barack. What do you say? Dude, I thought you weren't gonna call him that again. Now come on, you know that I never come through with my promises. It's Trump you're talking about here. That's valid, not gonna lie. But if you thought you were really gonna screw me in this match, then you thought wrong, because I hope you're ready for this DDT onto the apron. This is some bullshit, bro. I like to call this Big D Trump abuse because you just keep abusing me. I finally get to know how the children in the White House basement feel when Sleepy Joe goes down into the basement and proceeds to... Okay, okay, Trump, you can chill out a little on me. Don't gotta expose me too much. I'm trying to keep it a secret. And take this rock bottom, you fat ass. Oh, so I'm suing not just Cody, but also Trump, and now Barack freaking Obama? Damn, my pockets are gonna be fat like Lizzo up in here. Bro, don't make fun of Lizzo. She's literally my sugar mommy. Oh, wait, shit. You really thought I wasn't paying attention, huh? Well, this spear is gonna teach you a lesson. Now this referee is gonna count for the one, two, Wait, what the hell? How did you kick out of that? What more do I have to do to you? The funny part is that my former wife Melania cheated on me with your dumb ass, and I still helped you, and yet I got knocked down with a rock bottom. I'm that desperate for Obama to lose. I'm trying to get redemption for Yemen here. I still remember when Sleepy Joe drones strike their president. Yeah, I actually remember that surprisingly. And when I hit John Cena with the Biden blast, Good times, man. Good freaking times. But anyway, it's time to end this for good. This reign of terror has came to an end, and a new reign will start as we now head into 2K24. Nothing in life that's worth anything is easy, and I've just proved that today. It's over for you, Roman. Yemen Destroyer! Roman's dreams at retaining his championship in this finale seems to be crumbling up right before our very eyes, and his dreams at retaining his titles at WrestleMania 40 are already shattered thanks to yours truly the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Now come on, Joseph. Don't let this jabroni beat you like this. You still have a chance. And plus, where is the bloodline to help you, Jimmy and Solo? And what about the shield? Well, in episode 20, since Jimmy and Solo did such a horrible job at helping me cheat to win, even though I did actually win in the end, I told them to never play 2K23 again. And about the shield. Well, Moxley says that he will only play the failure of AEW fight forever now. And Seth, he is just dumb. Yeah, Seth is an idiot. I can agree with that one, bro. But why can't you just come out and help me? He's literally trying to kill me with that sledgehammer. Well, shit, uh, Roman, you know, well, but, but, uh, well, I, uh, well, see, here's the thing, I... Just forget it, Dwayne. Something that you're never gonna forget is this low blow. I you can finally feel what I felt when Obama did that to me last episode. Shut the hell up, Donnie!
Sorry, I'm not fluent and quiet. Now it's finally time to end this with this one last Yemen driver. I went from being screwed over in the triple threat last episode to coming out on top at the end of all of this. Now you don't want to jinx it, Barack. He could still come back and win. Oh, trust me, Donald. There's nothing to jinx anymore. How the fuck did I lose? All of those years bombing Yemen must have done wonders to your wrestling ability. I prayed for this and it happened. Shut your mouth, Drew. Even though I'm not a fan of Seth, you still ain't gonna beat him at Mania. Well, bitch, at least I didn't lose to two old-ass presidents. Even CM Punk could beat those presidents, and that's saying something, El Mal. Roman, you just embarrassed the entirety of the bloodline and your stupid family. There's no coming back from this now. Ha 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 ha! I agree with Seth, you're such a loser, Roman, and I'm only gonna further prove that point even more at Mania. Oh, fuck you guys! I'm out of this bitch! Well, damn, I guess I'm gonna go and calm him down. See you guys later. What a fucking pussy! Well, I guess I'm the new million dollar and undisputed champion to close off this series, so I hope y'all enjoyed all of these crazy matches and stories we've had. While we may have gotten into all of these fights, we're still best of friends. I don't know about Roman, though, but he'll calm down. But do you guys want to go get some KFC together? I think Michelle could tag along too. Now, nah, Barack, we got to go to McDonald's and don't bring your husband because if he comes, he's going to attract all of the other men in the place and he'll cheat on you and I don't want you to be sad. So yeah, don't bring him. He cannot be trusted, bro. Yeah, I agree with Donnie on the whole McDonald's thing because I want to order all of their ice cream because they, quite honestly, have the best ice cream. And yeah, your husband shouldn't come. I don't consider him a homie. My God, Donald, fine. We'll go to McDonald's. I guess I'll bring the leftovers home to Michelle then. Who the hell takes home McDonald's leftovers? Not even I do that. The food gets too cold, and you think putting it in the microwave would help it, but I'll tell you from personal experience that it doesn't. Whatever, Donnie. Whatever makes you happy. I won't take home McDonald's leftovers. But one thing has been bothering what me now? ever since I was eliminated, and that was I never had a chance to hit a Trump cold stunner. I need to hit one last Trump cold stunner. I just gotta. So, Sleepy Joe, how about you hop on to WWE 2K23? I heard some kids are playing today. Oh my freaking God, there are kids playing. Let's go. It's Uncle Bidenator's lucky day. It really is, man. I'm joining in right now, dog. Joe, you idiot. Don't join the game. He literally just said that he's going to hit you with Trump cold stunners and shit. There are no kids playing. Nah, bro, stop the cap. You're just jealous that I'm about to play WWE 2K23 with little girls and boys. Now get out of here and come pick me up in a few minutes for when we go to McDonald's, you punk. Holy shit. So Trump, where are the children at and why in the world are you attacking me? Trump cold stunner pussy. Damn. Joe, you are so sleepy. Like, I literally just foreshadowed that I was going to hit you with a Trump cold stunner, just like I did there. And you still joined, thinking there were kids here. You're really that desperate, you freaking predator. I just wanted to see some children, man. Kamala doesn't let me go down in the basement anymore. She lets Hunter, though. Well, maybe this will teach you a lesson. Ah! Trump, was that really necessary? It was very necessary, Joe. And why the hell did you just scream like a little girl? Wait, there's a little girl where? Ooh, my fucking God, I just can't stand you anymore, Joe. But I'll still put up with you since we're friends. But Obama, where did your chocolate friend KSI go? Bitch, I think he despawned or something. Eh, well, that makes sense, I guess. But before we officially end of this series, we'll need to uninstall the game so we have enough space to install 2K24 because that game is like 70 gigabytes and we don't got that shit right now thanks to 2K23 taking up so much space. Barack, you didn't need to give us a whole freaking essay on why we should uninstall the game because I was already planning on doing it anyway. So let's just get it over with. I'm getting kind of emotional, but let's just pull the Band-Aid off at the count of three. Wait, Barack, you have a Band-Aid? What happened to you? Did you get into a fight with one of your family members? I know gorillas are pretty gosh darn strong. Joe, please be quiet. I don't want to deal with your idiocracy right now. Save it for 2K24. I'll remember that, bro. Three, two, one. Yeet.
Today, me and the boys are going to play my GM mode. I will be in charge of Raw, Barack will be in charge of SmackDown, and Sleepy Joe will be in charge of NXT. Now, without further ado, let's- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all are really going to start this My GM series without your tribal chief? Nah, I can't let this slide, bro. I'm going to be in charge of SmackDown, my show. Barack, you can be in charge of the shithole of what once was WCW. What the hell? If I was in WCW, they would still be in business. I don't know who you think you are. You really think you can come in here and- Calm down, my dog. Do some yoga or something to calm you down. But let's get into this draft pool because I'm tired of waiting. Oh, it looks like I'm first and oh my God, is that who I think it is? Is that Roman Reigns? Don't you dare do what I think you're gonna do! I think I'm gonna do it, Roman. I think I will. No, don't do it! Here I go. Goddamn! No! What in the fuck? Holy shit, why did you have to do this to me? Why? Shit, hole, oh, mother bitch, shit, shit, shit! Uh, uh, you good, my slime? Bro, someone go to the pharmacy and get this man some chill pills, for God's sake. Also, while you're there, get me some dementia pills, because I ran out a few days ago. Typical. But for my first draft pick, I'm going to pick the rated R superstar, Edge. I think he would fit the feeling of WCW pretty well with his rated R attitude. You're such a nerd, Barack, what? but for my first pick, I'm going with the queen of sexy, my mommy and toy known as Ronda fucking Rousey. Man, that bitch can sure get rowdy almost as much as the kids, I swear. All right, that's enough of that shit, because my God, Joe, you need to visit a mental hospital. But for my draft pick, I'm not picking Cody Rhodes. I'm actually going to pick my idiotic cousin, Jay Uso. I'm going to have so much fun putting that guy against the toughest wrestlers and seeing him get smashed so hard. Pause. Not these two again. Roman, why you got to be so sus, my guy? Be more like Donald. Just look at him. He's literally picking me as his second draft pick. Oh my God, it is my honor. Yeah, cousin, you mad, bro? You want to talk or something? Because main event Jay Uso doesn't want to be smashed. He wants to be the one smashing if you get what I'm saying. What the hell? For my second draft pick, I'll be picking Becky Lynch. I plan to make her one of the top wrestlers on the brand. That's what I like to hear, baby. <laughs> Who keeps inviting all of these people? My next pick will be none other than the second in line for Queen of Sexy, Nikita Lyons. Like, oh my God, that woman makes my insides tingle. But I don't even give a fuck who is here because my next draft pick will be Braun Strowman, the perfect person to smash Jey Uso as hard as he can. But can we just speed up to when we are done drafting, like a time lapse or something? That's honestly a pretty good idea. Let the time lapse begin. Yee, yee. I think we can all agree that I've drafted the best roster. You think you have the best roster? Damn, you're fucked up in the head because it's pretty obvious that I have the best roster. Bro, I literally have Shanky. Who can beat Shanky, bro? His dance moves are crazy. Have you seen the guy? Are y'all actually blind? My draft picks are way better than all of your picks. Mine are more popular and have more stamina. Now, none of your rosters compare to mine. I literally have wrestlers like Jinder Mahal. No one can compare to him. Let me cook, motherfuckers. Joe, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you ain't cooking shit. You're burning the freaking food. What am I going to eat? Roman, I didn't know you needed food. I thought you were rich, but you're homeless? What? Don't you have like five kids? Don't worry, homie. I got you. Yeah, I'm pretty good at cooking food. I can't lie. Especially in the bedroom with a chick in the bed. That's something Barack can't relate to. She's a woman, not a man. How many times do I have to explain that to your dumb asses? Don't lie to yourself, drone man. I know your game. I was joking, you idiots. Oh my god. Y'all know I'm a rich motherfucker. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh! I guess let's get started on our first week in my GM mode. I wish you all good luck, but I think we all know who's gonna win this rating war. 
and it sure isn't going to be Sleepy Joe. Y'all are probably thinking that I'm going to pick Roman to be the champion for Raw. You serious, my dogs? That ain't happening, because it's going to be Cody fucking Rhodes, with my woman's champion being Bianca Belair. I should have drafted more woman now that I look at my roster. So for the main event, I'm going to book Bianca and Mia Yim in a title match. And hell, let's make it a backstage brawl, because why not? For the opening match, I'm going to book Cody Rhodes and Chad Gable in a tables match for the WWE Championship. Should be a pretty good match. And for the mid-card match, I'll book a match between Roman and fucking Akira Tozawa. If Roman loses that match, that'll be the funniest thing ever, El Mao. For my world champion, I'm going to pick the one and the only ex-con Dominic Mysterio. Some people also call him ex-condom Dom, because we all know he ain't ever using no condoms when he's in there getting freaky with Rhea Ripley. Same with me and my husband. And for the woman's champion, I'm going to pick EO Sky. Not much more I can say about that. But for the main event, I'm going to kickstart the rivalry between EO Sky and Raquel. For the mid-card match, which will be for the mid-card title, I'm going to book Edge to face against Otis. I think this match could cook pretty hard, kind of like how Ivar and Kofi did on one of the past Raws. And finally, for the opening match, I'll book Finn Balor facing Big E. I wish Big E could wrestle again, but that kind of seems unlikely. With a few extra promos and such, I think that includes my first WCW show. I just wonder how the others are doing. So I think I'm going to make the professional crypto scammer himself, Logan Paul, the NXT champion, even though he's a part-timer. Speaking of part-timers, and I guess now an indie show wrestler, I'll make Mother Ronda the woman's champion. God, isn't she beautiful? But I'm going to stack my card just like how Shawn Michaels would. I'm going to have Ronda and Nikita main event for the NXT woman's title in a motherfucking hell in a cell match. Then I'll have Logan defend his title against my dog Elias in a falls count anywhere match to start off the show. For the mid card, I'll have Jinder Mahal take on our truth for the North American title. I'm pretty sure Jinder will win this because we all know that ain't no one can hinder the Jinder. Am I right? I know I am so shut the fuck up. Oh shit, I have $400 left. I may need to ask China for more money. Y'all are going to think I'm high for doing this, but I'm going to make Jey Uso the universal champion. But first of all, yes, I am high, but I do have a plan to take this title off Jey in the worst way possible, and it's going to be fucking great. For the woman's champion, I guess I'll go with Bailey. Why not? Bailey does have a fat ass, so that should draw in some ratings. But for the main event, I'm going to book a match where Jey Uso will defend his title against the dance god himself, Shanky. He'd already lose, but just to add more fuel to the fire, Let's add Braun Strowman to run in and attack him. Should be bloody great along with this next match where Charlotte Flair will wrestle Liv Morgan. Pretty random match, but it's whatever. In the mid card, I'll have the dumbass of Seth Rollins against my man, my homie, my hot diggity dog Matt fucking Riddle. Let's go. That guy sells me all the stuff. All right, boys, so I'm going to start off this shit. And just to let you all know, the Big D Trump decided to cook tonight and especially for this opener, where it looks like we already have a new WWE champion with Chad Gable defeating Cody Rhodes. Chad really deserves something like that in the real WWE. That's the only time that I'm going to agree with your fat ass on something, but why do you sound so robotic? Jesus Christ, I knew you were one of those McDonald's robots in disguise. Shut the fuck up, Joe, and goddamn, Roman is lucky my slime Akira Tozawa didn't just beat his ass there. Bro almost got smoked like when he fought Ella Knight at Crown Jewel. I literally cooked that dumbass last weekend, and he ain't ever gonna recover from that loss. Damn, did Bianca really just lose to Mia Yim? No offense to Mia, but what the fuck? Yeah, I'ma have to agree with you, homie. That shit was nasty. Bianca should just retire at this point, El Mao. She is horrible. I'm gonna tell her that you said that. Don't think you're safe, my dog. No, please, bro. I'll do anything. I'll even suck your rock if you don't tell her. On this channel, we leave the gay stuff for Barack and his husband. That's it. I've had it. I'm going to drone strike your fossil ass and send you back to the prehistoric time period so you can see your dinosaur friends again. Bro, how did you know about Jerry and Mr. Dick Sucker and Noah and... Did he just say Mr. Dick Sucker? Maybe they're related to Manchel? Shut up, bitch. But for the opener, I have Finn taking on Big E and it looks like Finn wins. But what the hell? Only two and a half stars? You should be more like the Big D Trump and actually learn how to book shows correctly. 
because this is just embarrassing at this point. Like, even Vince McMahon can book better shows than this shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with Trump here. That show was terrible. But here's Joe Biden's show. And since he is dead, I guess we'll... Oh, my God, is that Mother Ronda Rousey and Mother Nikita Lyons? Bro, they literally woke me up from the dead. But damn, I knew Elias would beat Logan. Paul should really stick to boxing. But for our mid-card match, it looks like Jinder Mahal wins because ain't no one can hinder the gender. And for the main event, I guess Ronda was too much for Nikita as Ronda retains the NXT Women's Championship. Joe, I literally drone striked your ass. How are you alive? Bro, are you stupid? I just said that my two mothers, Ronda and Nikita, brought me back from the dead. Oh, and don't worry, I'm not a zombie El Mao. That's something that a zombie would say, I can't lie. Yeet! Y'all better stop with that yeet shit, but for my opener, it looks like Liv wins over Flair. I don't know how the fuck that would happen in real life, but whatever. What do you mean, Roman? This is real life. You're booking a real show. Not that hard to understand, but maybe for you it is. I don't know. I swear to God, you better be lying right now. Uh, what? Jesus Christ! But I don't even care about your stupidity because that's your problem and not mine. For the main event, however, thank God my plan worked. Now we have a new champion, the dance god himself, Shanky. Yes, you heard me right. The new champion is motherfucking Shanky. How does that feel, Jay? Huh? How does it feel, you bitch? I never recall asking. Well, with all of our shows finished, let's see who won the ratings. Wait, what the fuck? How did Joe do better than all of us? That's what happens when you load your show up with matches like Hell in a Cell and Falls Count Anywhere. Imagine all of the injuries that man is going to have by the first pay-per-view. First of all, it's called a premium live event, not a pay-per-view. And second of all, you all should just pipe down and accept the fact that Big Balls Biden has taken over this My GM series. You just got to have a brain and think smarter, not harder, like my dick. Joe, we all know you don't have a brain. And we all know that you haven't had a boner in over 45 years. Joe just got cooked. Yee. Joe just got fried in a fucking fryer. Yee. Can I join in? Say less Trump, of course you can. The more yeets we can get, the better. Bet. Joe just got smoked on a grill. Yee. As the tribal chief, I demand all of you to stop with this yeet shit. It's so annoying it makes me want to leak y'all's IP addresses. How would you know that information anyway? Don't question it. Cousin, you always gotta ruin everything. Is that like your hobby or something? If it is, you better change that shit. Your dumbass always has to ruin the vibe. Just straight facts. Well, let's see who won the ratings for the week and holy hell. What? How did I get last place? Oh my God, no freaking way. Did I really just win the rating war? I want to thank my parents for always supporting me. And I want to thank my two mothers, Rhonda and Nikita. I also want to thank my dinosaur friends. I met many, many years ago, specifically Mr. Dick Sucker. He taught me a lot of shit. You know, like when you get a girl, you got to take her to your house and then take her to the bedroom and... You're getting banned right now, Sleepy Joe. It's over for your prehistoric ass. But wait, I wasn't done yet. I don't even know how a dinosaur knows about that shit, but I guess some questions are meant to be unanswered. The only question that I'm asking right now is how in the living fuck am I in last place? But that won't matter soon enough as your tribal chief Roman Reigns will be at the top of the food chain where he belongs. Acknowledge me. The only thing I will acknowledge is me beating your ass in episode 20 for Presidential Mania, which that video will be releasing very soon for those who are wondering. But with that, I think this is a good time to end this video. If you don't mind, we'd appreciate if you'd like the video and subscribe. Yeah, we'd really appreciate it, but I think I know the perfect way to end this video. Cody J, you two ready? You bet we are. You guys better not be thinking about doing the scary thing. The thing that haunts me when I go to sleep. The, the, yeet. So today me and the boys are back in my GM mode since y'all liked the first episode. And I'm up first today, and for the main event, I'm going to do a triple threat match for the United States title. Might start calling the bitch the MAGA title for obvious reasons. My homie Ella Knight better yeah. win that one, or I swear to God, I'm gonna Technical difficulties. All right, I had to cut that one out because it got a little too freaky for my liking. But for the opener match, let's have Cody Rhodes have his rematch against the current champion, Chad Gable. Should be another good match to make me a ton of cash. They don't call me a good businessman for nothing. And you know what? Let's have MVP come out of retirement to wrestle Kevin Owens. That guy has been a manager for far too long. And that looks like a pretty good card to me. I'm definitely gonna win this one just like last time. All right, it looks like I'm next. And for the main event, the ring general Gunther will defend his title against ex-con Dominic Mysterio. 
I've always wondered how Dominic gets all the women and I only get all of the men, but that's besides the point. And for my opener match, let's have Io Sky defend her title against Raquel in a rematch from last episode. And for the mid-card, let's have Big E and Finn Balor fight again to continue their feud. That's a pretty good lineup, I can't lie, but I wonder what the others will have in store. Oh my bad, my dogs. I was just taking my 18th nap of the day. I only just woke up a little over three hours ago. Wait, is that a world record? Holy shit. But I really don't care if it is a world record or not, because I got to book this rematch that the scammer himself, Logan Paul, wants against the guy who beat his ass last episode, my homie Elias. And for the hell of it, let's make it a steel cage match. Hopefully that should drive in a lot of ratings and money for you, boy. The only money I'm getting right now is from China. Technical difficulties. Oh shit, pretend I didn't say that. My advisor is screaming into my ear right now. Whoops. But for the next match, let's have Mommy Rhea Ripley fight Nikki A.S.H. She is so underrated in real life, like she should be the woman's champion of both SmackDown, Raw, and NXT. Goddamn, my advisor is telling me to shut the fuck up about Nikki. What does he have against her? And for this match, let's have Jinder Mahal defend his North American title against my boy Karrion Cross. He should be the one to defeat Roman Reigns in real life and become undisputed champion. Let me cook. Yeah, this card do be looking pretty hot, I must say. Not as hot as little girls, though. Technical difficulties. So my cousin Jay, or as I call him, Yeet Man, he wants a rematch against Shanky for the Universal title. And you know what? I'll give the dumbass his rematch, but he won't be winning the bitch thanks to yours truly. Yep, I'm setting up a GM interference. Let's go! For this next match, let's have Bailey defend her title against whoever the hell this is. I'm trying to make this show big like a pay-per-view or something because I'm currently last in the ratings. And as the tribal chief and the head of the table, I can't accept that. And for the mid-card match, let's continue the feud between Charlotte Flair and Liv Morgan. Oh my God, it's Jimmy freaking Ursa! I gotta sign his bitch ass. Wait, what in the frickity fuck? I don't have enough money? Goddamn, that sucks mad dick. Barack Obama has some experience with that. Actually, more like a lot of experience. Damn and boy! That is what you call good booking right there. The tribal chief is about to be back on top where he belongs. Wait, why am I talking in third person? I wish you idiots the best of luck, because I think it's pretty clear who's coming out on top, and his name is the Big D Trump. Nah, it's going to be me, you fatty. It's literally common sense to know that I'm going to win. Joe, out of everyone here, you say that you're going to win? My God, even Hunter would have a better chance for you when he's not on his booger sugar, at least. Bitch. Well, I'm up first with this triple threat match for the United States title, and it looks like Sami Zayn is the new champion. I was rooting for my homie L.A. Knight, but it's whatever. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, that dumbass really won. God, that disgusts me to a very high degree, I must say. At least I won without having my entire family come out and help me. And here, to no surprise to anyone, Kevin Owens beats MVP. Who really expected him to win anyway? He's literally retired. Like, come on now. That sucks. I really wanted him to win. Kevin does deserve it, though, I guess. Yeah, he does. So shut the fuck up, Barry. But for the main event, Chad Gable beats Cody Rhodes for the second time. That was... Let's go! <laughs> Cody lost to a freaking jobber, Lamau. What an idiot! Whoa there, Roman. If you're calling me a jobber, then why did you have to cheat when we fought in WrestleMania? Yeet. In all honesty, it sounds like you're the jobber and I'm the tribal chief. Yeet. So stay in your lane, little bro. Yeet. Damn. Well, for the opening match, we have Io defending her title against Raquel, and I guess we have a new champion. I that's pretty sick, because isn't Raquel a Republican or something? Proud of her, to be honest. I hope she stays champion for a long time. Holy fucking shit, Donald. You don't got to yell into your mic like that. I know it makes you happy to see that you actually have a real person that supports you, but come on, man. You sleepy piece of shit, just look at this picture. There's only like 10 brain dead people there. Compared to my rallies, you're basically an atom. And you're telling me that Raquel is my only real supporter when half of your so-called 81 million votes were dead people? Goddamn, dementia must be pretty rough. Uh, I don't understand. Can you please repeat what you just said? Nope. Jesus Christ, you two are annoying as hell, but it's time for the main event. And my God, how did Dominic beat Gunther? That is crazy. If Dominic can beat Gunther, anyone can. Maybe I should make a trip down to Mondays just to beat his ass. 
But, but nah, I'm going to stay on my vacation until 2024, baby. Whoa! You are one annoying motherfucker, Roman. No cap. Yeet! Shut up, Jay. And Cody, you better not start with that yeet shit again, or I'm going to do unspeakable things to you. Dog, don't you know that I'm straight? My God, Roman, calm your ass down. That's literally not what I meant, but okay. Big Balls Biden is up next, y'all. And we're starting off with Jinder Mahal defending the North American title against my homie, Karrion Cross. Joe, that match is the biggest piece of dog shit. Like, how are you so delusional that you put two heels fighting each other in a one-on-one -on -one match? God, you are the stupidest person I've ever met. Trump doesn't even come close to you anymore. Does delusional mean smart? Well, like, how delusional do you have to be to not know that? Does delusional mean smart? Barack, you good, my slime? Shut the frickety fuckity up for the love of God. Hey, whatever, but we've passed the mid-card match and we're already at the main event where Logan gets his rematch against Elias. And to the surprise of no one, Elias gets the dub just like last episode. Mr. Crypto Scammer should just stick to boxing, let's be for real. Don't shame on my homie Logan like that, you bitch. Couldn't care less. It's time for the A show to begin, AKA SmackDown, AKA my show. And to start off, stupid motherfucker Jay gets destroyed by the dance god himself, Shanky. He's so good at dancing, he might as well be a stripper. Hell, I'd pay to come see him. Cousin, what the hell is your problem? Did you just GM interference my ass? That's a new low for you, Roman. I would have beat Shanky's ass in literal seconds if it wasn't for you. And not to mention the fact that you said Shanky is so good at dancing that he might as well be a stripper. Is that really what you said, Roman? My God, he is a good dancer, but I don't think anyone would throw cash at the motherfucker. Unless it was you, of course, then he'd be a millionaire. Come on, Cody and Jay, let the man cook. Honestly, I would come to the club just to see him too. It'd be like me and Roman having a boy's night out. No, you can't be doing that shit, Donnie. You don't want to start your next bankruptcy. You fossil, shut up. Joey Jojo does have a point though, to be fair. No, he doesn't, you monkey, but just by looking at this graph, I think it's pretty clear who won. And that person being Joe Biden. Uh, why did everything go so quiet? Am I now suddenly deaf? You're not deaf, you dumbass. We all went quiet because of your stupidity. The person who won this week is 100% me, the Donald. You probably got last place. The only match noteworthy on your show was the main event, while everything else sucked. You're just jealous, homie. Uh, it's all right, though. Everyone is jealous of Uncle Bidenator, especially the other predators my age that are jealous of my huge... God sent Riz towards children to kiss them every time I swear. Yeah, that's enough of you, Joe. Goodbye. Damn, bro just got banned. Yep, I swear if Elon comes in here and unbans Joe, I'm gonna... Hey, what's up, guys? Ah! Is Donnie having a stroke? You good, my dog? Need me to call 911? I wish I knew the number, though. Joe, please stop talking. Hey guys, sorry that I had to bring back Biden. I just felt the need to make Trump rage, and that indeed did happen. But I'm gonna head out now, so let me know if y'all need anything. Elon, signing out, bitches. Elon, we know you're still there. Shit. All right, so here are the final ratings for the week, and let's freaking go! The big D Trump wins again. You love to see it. What? Nah, that's some crazy shit, cause how in the hell did I not beat Joe? I put on a way better show than he did. You don't gotta lie to yourself, Roman. If you did, in fact, have a better show than Big Balls Biden, then how come you didn't come in third place? I think you're just a jealous piece of shit. I'm not jealous, you! Roman and Joe, calm the fuck down for the love of God. Thank you. But do y'all wanna do another round? I think if we do, I'll be able to beat Trump to be in first place. Oh, so you wanna play another round of my GM just for your own personal gain? How pathetic. Almost as pathetic as your presidency. Can't be talking about my presidency being bad when you almost were impeached twice. And you were voted out your first term like shit. But I make the calls here, so we'll do one last round. Let's get it. I guess since Barry Obama wants to challenge me for first place, I'll have to make the best Monday Night Raw card ever made. Won't be too hard as I always have tricks in my pants. And one of them is main eventing the night with a Hell in a Cell match. Roman Reigns and Akira Tozawa better get ready to bring in the cash for Big 45. But y'all watching this video in your mother's small, musty, poor basement 
are probably saying, Roman is gonna beat Akira, he's literally a 99 overall. And what I have to say to that is no fucking shit. So I actually have yet another trick in my pants. I didn't know I had any more room for one with my 12 inch foot long down there, but hey, you learn something new every day. I'm gonna buy one of these fixed match power cards to ensure that Akira Tozawa beats Roman. God, he's gonna be so mad, oh Mao, and I'm here for it, let me tell you. For the opener match, I'm gonna do a United States title match where Sammy defends the title against Shinsuke Nakamura. And for the mid-card match, let's have a backstage brawl between Bianca and Mia Yim, which Mia will be defending her title. Hopefully she doesn't get injured because her stamina is pretty damn low, I must say. But with that, this card do be looking fire as hell. Ain't no way Drone Man dethrones me in the ratings. The Big D Trump will always stay on top, and that is not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah! Yeah! Damn, even Ella Knight joined in too. That was pretty sick. In the main event, Edge will defend his world title against Randy Orton in a last man standing match. Wait, didn't they already have one at WrestleMania 37? Well, whatever, I don't give a- Technical difficulties. I kind of went haywire there, so I decided to cut that one out. It would have gave me, along with the entire Obama family, a bad rap. Yeah, now that I think about it, that was pretty ironic. But for the mid-card, I'll book a triple threat match. This match is really just to add more fuel to the fire for the Gunther and Rey Mysterio rivalry, but I guess it does showcase Carmelo and Otis a bit more as they've been stuck in catering so far in WCW. And finally, for the opener match, I'll book a rematch between Finn Balor and Big E in a tables match. Should be a good one, not gonna lie. I would honestly pay to see that match in real life, if Big E didn't break his neck, of course. And uh, yeah, that's my match card finished. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to beat Trump in the ratings to become the big number one. It may not be this episode, but it'll sure as hell be soon. So Logan Paul wants a rematch against Elias. And you know what? Sure, you can have your rematch so I can watch you get your ass beat again, you scamming scumbag. Now let's book this match. And what in the living fuck? Elias is injured. No, 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 this can't be. My dog, Elias, no! Technical difficulties. Uh, I, I'm back, guys. I ju just had to go get some tissues. Actually, G Jill brought them f for me. But yeah, I gotta get over that. I'll just have Logan do a promo trash talking Elias just for him to get beat up once Elias is well again. But for the opening match, let's have Jinder defend his title against Karrion Cross in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And you know what? I'm just gonna make every match tonight have a huge stipulation. I gotta find some way to get to first place, even if it means to sacrifice some of my wrestlers. Money talks, boys. Damn, that sounds like something Donnie would say. But yeah, to expand on that stipulation topic, the next match, which will be a rematch between Mommy Rhea Ripley taking on Nikki A.S.H., that match will be an Iron Man match. I guess you'd call it an Iron Woman match. Actually, wait, no shit, I can't assume their gender. All right, my advisor's yelling into my ear again. I don't even know what the hell I did. Like, holy fucking shit, shut the fuck up before I squeeze your balls, bro. Wait, did I really just say that? Technical difficulties. Damn, let's forget what I said earlier, because I won't just be doing that to my advisor. I'll be doing that to the little boys later tonight. Hey, 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 hey. Technical difficulties. But for the main event, my future wife, Ronda Rousey, will defend her title against Nikita Lyons in a Hell in a Cell match. If that doesn't draw ratings and cash, I don't know what will. And with that, behold my Book to Perfection match card. I just know my advisor is jealous. But I think he's knocked out because of how hard I squeezed his balls. Technical difficulties. We're in San Francisco, California, AKA Cousin Jay's hometown, and he wants to be on the show. I think that's a great idea. A great idea for you to get absolutely fucking obliterated by the monster among men, Braun Strowman. And to raise the stakes even higher, how about we do it for the Intercontinental title? And Cousin Rock is gonna have to turn heel, cause his first feud on SmackDown is gonna be against the biggest babyface in wrestling history, the stripper himself, Shanky. Who doesn't love Shanky? But for this next match, let's have this chick defend her title against former champion Bailey in a tables match. And finally, for the mid-card match, Let's just have some random triple threat match to give the show some variety. Yeah, that's my match card done. I swear to God, if I don't at least get third place and beat Joe Biden after all of this, I'm gonna go to the White House and- Technical difficulties. Okay, yeah, never mind. Never mind what?
Don't worry about it, you Oompa Loompa. Damn, you really had to go there with the big D, Trump. But whatever, I really don't give a single piece of shit what you call me, say about me, you name it. All I care about is my show, my ratings, and my billions of dollars, you bitches. <laughs> See what you just started. Holy fuck. My God, chill out, Roman, but for my opener match, we have Roman's best friend Sami Zayn defending the United States title against Shinsuke Nakamura, and it looks like we have a new champion. Me and him are anything but best friends, like holy shit. But I'm glad that the bitch boy Sami Zayn lost to my homie Shinsuke. He better start calling that thing the Japan title or something like that. I really don't give a fuck, honestly. Roman, why you gotta be such a jerk? Jesus Christ. Wait, did your dumbass really put me up against Akira fucking Tozawa? Damn, you must not have any competition for your tribal chief and head of the table, Roman Reigns. Oh, ha ha, this is gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be great when I beat his ass for what? The second or third time already? Your fat ass over here is overworking my ass. I'm a part-timer, you son of a bitch. Part-time my ass, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Dogs, I gotta protect the kids. What? The... What on God's green earth was that shit? I just banned his dumbass, by the way, and you probably won't be hearing from him again because he probably had some sort of stroke or heart attack or something, La Mayo. Yeah, I think blood has some anger issues or something, but I can't really tell. Oh yeah, you can't tell Obama, you dummy? The schools in Africa must have not taught you shit. Can't say I'm not surprised, though. It's called sarcasm, you actual idiot. Uh, what is a sarcasm? Is it like an erection? What? My God, Donald, you are one dumb son of a bitch. You and Joe both. Bro, why am I getting roped into this altercation? I'm just trying to calm the kids down from Roman's child tantrum. But goddamn, it looks like Meat Man himself, Otis, wins the triple threat match. That guy's the whole meat industry, holy shit. I just want to squeeze his tits, bro. Jesus Christ, Joe, what the hell? Now this guy needs a nursing home like, holy shit, this guy is demented. Like we've not already figured that out, Elon. I mean, at least he's evolving from little boys to now big meaty men. It's better than being a predator, am I right? And I'm not trying to defend the fossil, I'm just trying to make a point, you know? Wait, 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 wait. So, Otis isn't a little boy? I thought he was one of those big fat boys that eat McDonald's like your fat ass all of the time, LMAO. What? My bad, Trump, sorry for getting your hopes up. You're one hell of a bitch. I'm not a female, nor am I a dog. Stop trying to assume my gender, daddy. I'm just gonna stop talking holy shit. And it looks like Edge retains his title in his last man standing match against Randy Orton and goddamn four stars. Trump, say goodbye to your first place position as it's soon gonna belong to Barry a bomber himself. Well, as long as I have my missionary position with Melania every night, I should be just fine, Barack. Oh, damn, Donnie really is going ham this episode, I must say. What does that even mean, Trump? You don't know because you have a husband, lay out. Shut up, bitch, I get it now. Yeah, sure you do. And my G carrying cross pulls it off and wins the Intercontinental Championship, baby. Let's go! Ain't no way your prehistoric ass did another heel versus heel match. Oh my god, that is some shit right there. Yeah, I knew you were stupid, Joe, but goddamn, you've impressed me. Well, I don't know how to play this weird ass game, so if y'all could leave some comments down below telling me how to book a good show, that'd be great. Lamau, no one is gonna help your predator ass do shit. Maybe they can help you find the quickest route to the nearest prison where you should be locked in. Nah, Donnie, you're going to be the one calling the prison home soon, so don't think you're going to become president in 2024. And also, you'd be surprised on how many people would want to help me. I didn't get 81 million votes for no reason. It was rigged, Joe! My God, Trump. Calm the hell down. Just take the L, you sore fucking loser. Holy shit! But I am pretty impressed with that main event, Joe. I didn't think you could pull off such a match with a high star rating like that the highest star rating of this series so far, actually. But damn, that did come at the cost of injuring yet another one of your champions. It's all Gucci, Obama. I'll just fire Nikita next episode for her troubles, that son of a bitch. Well, it's Roman's turn, and the idiot is still gone. Bro probably threw his setup into his pool or something, Lamau. Deserves that after cheating in episode 20, to be fair. Sorry to disappoint you, Trumpy Dumpty, but Roman's setup is still in his room and has not been thrown into his pool. Homie has calmed down and he is ready to come back. So, yeah, see you guys later. And I'm actually going to leave this time and not stalk y'all again. Wait, he didn't leave before? Your tribal chief has returned. 
I'm gonna need WWE to make me another return graphic for this bitch. Every time you're gonna be on a show, you always have a Roman Returns next week graphic or some other piece of shit. You really don't show up at all, do you? I'm a special attraction. I should be the eighth wonder of the world at this point. Let's be for real. You, on the other hand, may be a special attraction for the local Missy Donald's manager, with him knowing that his establishment is about to get paid all of the cheddar. I'll give you props for that one, though, because that's something not a lot of muscular people like me can do. Dude, I'm not fat, you dumbass. It's all of the juicy and tender muscles inside of my body. I think you're just jealous, to be honest. You idiot! No, I am not! But whatever. I'm just here to witness greatness with Braun Strowman smashing Cousin Jay. Wait, what? Damn, you really tried to throw me under the bus there, cousin. Yeet. I've got to admit, Yeet. you almost got me there. Yeet. But main event, Jay Uso, Yeet. doesn't leave without a fight. Yeet. And a fight is what Braun got when I beat his sorry ass. Yeet. Rome and my dog, my partner in crime. Yeet. Why you gotta be such a sore loser? Yeet. You're still my tribal chief no matter what. Yeet. Same homie. Yeet. Thank you, Cody and Jay. I really app- Psych! Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. Yeet. Holy fuck! Well, now Roman just got smoked. All right, guys, let's chill out and see who won the ratings for this week. Shit! Aha! Uh -huh. Your dumbass really thought you would beat the Big D Trump? Not today, Barry. How come I got last place even though I had the best match out of all of y'all with Ronda versus Nikita getting four and a half stars? This is rigged just like the 2020 election. I knew it! Joe, just because you had one high-rated match doesn't mean you automatically win. Your other matches were all under two freaking stars, for goodness sake. Uh, what do you mean, Barack? Well, even though I didn't get first place, I'm still happy that I finally beat sleepy, old, crusty, musty, dusty, stupid, fat, demented pedo Joe in the ratings. Obama and Trump better watch out, because the tribal chief is about to rule this My GM Mode series in due time. <laughs> Make me laugh harder, harder than my dick, of course, Lamau. That was kind of sus, Mr. Orange. If you want to see something even more funny, then look in the fucking mirror, you fat pig. Oh, fuck you, Roman. Well, with that... We've came to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as a lot of time went into this one. The next video will be episode 21 of the main WWE 2K23 series on the channel. And that video will be just as big as episode 20 was. So make sure not to miss it or I'll drone strike you. And of course I'm joking, or am I? Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video and make sure to like the video also. The like goal is 699 because it's a funny number, El Mau. To end these my GM videos, me and Jay will always have to do the thing Roman hates the most. Sorry, Tribal Chief, by the way. We love you. No homo, though, so don't get too excited, homeboy. I just gotta learn to accept it now. Fuck me. Me and the boys are back in my GM mode today and... Now come on, Obama, you know the Big D Trump does the intros. So pipe down, bro, and go eat some of your fried chicken that I for sure know is sitting right on your desk. Uh, okay. But yeah, guys, welcome back to what will likely be the last my GM video we do on this channel until WWE 2K24 releases, where we'll probably start a new my GM series. But to end this crap, we have to book our first and last pay-per-view, Extreme Rules. So without further ado, let's get it. And since the big D Trump is built different, he will be starting this last round of my GM. You know what, actually? I'm not even gonna try. I'm already miles ahead of the other idiots, so why even bother? Let's just book the worst possible show ever. Worse than AEW Rampage, and let's see how it goes. Don't be making fun of my baby AEW Rampage like that, you freaking Oompa Loompa looking ass motherfucker. You don't know anything about the business. All you did in the WWE was get a quick paycheck by shaving a guy's head like, Come on, man. The only place you should be in is solitary confinement. Oh, shut up, Tony. I can tell you're a little... Wait, shit. Actually, you're really buzzed from the coke. You've likely just snorted up your nose and up your ass. So I recommend you to lie down in your bed and maybe get some shut eye. You know what, Trump? I guess you're right. I am a little buzzed from the few hundred kilos of coke I recently snorted with the Biden family. So maybe I should get some shut eye. But before I do, I don't think a few extra kilos would hurt. Holy fuck, man, are you good? You having a seizure? Medical. Oh, nah, Donnie, I'm good. See you, Mr. Orange. My God, what a weirdo. 
I don't even know how he got into the freaking call. But anyway, here is my card. And oh, boy, I've just committed a war crime on humanity with this one, because what in the fuck am I looking at right now? This ain't even a bad card. This is honestly the best WWE card I've ever made. Like, holy shit. But I guess it's better to make a good card than a bad card, even though I am very confident that I'm winning this shit. And if I don't win, I'll donate all of my money to charity. That's how confident I am. Now, instead of donating your money to charity, you should donate your money to me, Tony Khan. Dude, I thought you left. That was my soundboard, you idiot. Damn it, Tony. Just a quick reminder, your fans want to see great matches, but they also want to watch a show with a lot of variety in its fights. Oh, shut up, Triple H. I know how to book a show. Unlike what you did last week, where you completely buried the world heavyweight title in Cody Rhodes for some stupid, washed, bald Hollywood guy. Bitch. Excuse me? You want a drone strike? Oh, uh, well, I, oh, e no, 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 Obama, pl please no. Plus, I don't live in Yemen, so I think I'm good. I thought so. And a little birdie told me that Trump wasn't going to try and make a good card today because he is so confident that he is going to win. But that goof is going to be in for a big surprise when I pass his dumb ass to be in first place on the leaderboard. I'm going to open up the show with Raquel defending her title against EO, and we're main eventing this bitch with Gunther, defending his title against no condom Dominic Mysterio. That guy is risky, man, I swear to God. Gotta do it raw, though, I guess. Dude, what is bro yapping about right now? I really don't know, Hunter. I'm just amazed that Dominic is willing to risk it all while my pussy ass is over here using condoms every single time me and Michelle do the bang bang. It's kind of impressive, no cap. I don't know how many times you have to be corrected about this shit, but Michelle is not a woman. She is a man, Barack. She is a man. You don't need to use condoms, homie. J j just shut up, bro. You, you don't n know anything. Yeah, sure, I don't. Well, here's my finish card. I'm guessing that EO Sky becomes the new women's champion. Biggie beats Finn Balor, Randy beats Edge, and Gunther retains his titles against Dominic. What do you think, Triple H? To be completely honest with you, Barack, I really don't give a flying fart about your card because I'm more concerned about The Rock facing Roman Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania to have the greatest match of all time, and I'm going to prove the haters wrong. So bye-bye, Mr. Yemen. Sayonara. Damn, what a jerk. I guess in the meantime, I'll go back to drone striking random villages in Yemen just for fun. Wait, wouldn't that make me the jerk also? Fuck it, baby. So my homie Karrion Cross wants some time off because he has a quote-unquote serious injury. But this guy doesn't know that this is the last MyGM video. And we kind of need this show to be legendary because we are currently last in the ratings by a lot. I don't know how, though. It's probably rigged. You want to know something else rigged? The 2020 election. Get out of here, Donald, and oh my God. What the fuck happened? Why are all of my top stars injured? Now, this shit is definitely rigged. Speaking of something rigged, let's rewind back to November 3rd, 2020, where you screwed me in the election. You cheated, Joe. You freaking cheated. Dude, just get out of this call and go back to McDonald's. Not a bad idea, Sleepy Joe. It's clobbering time. Hey, bro, that's my line. What the hell? Jesus Christ, his fat ass is literally the human version of the annoying orange. But I've got to try and book the best show. But all of my top stars are injured. All I have left is the North American champ, Karrion Cross. So I guess he can fight our truth and Rhea can face off against Superwoman. And to try and give myself the best chance at winning, I'll make all of these matches have huge stipulations like hell in a cell and falls count anywhere. I'll even give this match the extreme rules stipulation so it gets a little boost. But to be honest, guys, I think I'm about to get fucked. If it was by a little girl, then I'd be happy, but yeah, I should just stop talking, damn. Yeah, bro, you gotta stop talking, you disgusting motherfucker. You're lucky you're president right now because if you weren't, you'd be in the same exact situation that Vince McMahon is in right now, but you'd be in a lawsuit that involves little girls and probably little boys knowing your ass. Take a chill pill, CM Punk, don't worry. I'm winning in 2024, so we'll be fine. The only way you could win is if you rig it again. Who invited you back in? But yeah, that's my final card for the series. But yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that Uncle Bidenator is gonna get absolutely fucked. Ah, uh, yes.
The tribal chief and head of the table Roman Reigns is back in my GM mode for the last time. I'm so ever living close to becoming number one so let's make this count. I'll start by giving DIY bitch Johnny his tag team request with Braun by having them face Yeet Master Jey Uso. Oh wait shit, I just admitted that he is the Yeet Master, fuck! And shit I'm saying the word Yeet too, and oh, I just said it again. God damn shit tragic, but I'll have the clown of Seth Rollins team with him. Two losers in a pod El Mao. I thought we were on good terms, but after Monday I guess not. And don't even get me started on John Moxley. I don't want to go on a huge rant again about him like I did at the end of episode 25 when he fucked my team over in that War Games match. But whatever. I gotta focus on booking this show. And what better main event to book than the dance god himself Shanky defending the universal title against my cousin Dwayne. I don't know who I want to win that one though. We first have someone whose dance moves are incredible. He dances really well on poles by the way. Or we have my freaking cousin. The same guy that has replaced Cody for my WrestleMania match, saving me from losing my title at Mania. Yeah, I'm rooting for Rocky. Let's go, Dwayne! Your movies may flop, but I still love you. Thank you, Roman, for rooting for me on my match against Shanky. But you didn't have to bring my movies up like that, cousin. That hit deep in me, it really did. I'm sorry, cousin. But I just have to bring up just how bad your failure of a movie Black Adam did in the box office. Actually, now that I think about it, that's the only reason why you're back in the WWE, isn't it? Yeah, that is the only reason why I'm back, El Mao. That shit did horrible. Yeah, I thought so. But anyway, I think if I use this Birth of Legends power card, I can use the popularity my wrestlers get to get more fans and money, which could increase my chances of getting in first place where the tribal chief belongs. Not gonna lie, Roman, that was pretty smart. But are you sure that you're not actually the tribal chief of the family, but it's actually me? <laughs> Funny joke, Dwayne. You should really consider being a comedian because the tribal chief around here is me, Roman Reigns. Yeah, Al Mao, you're right, Roman. I should be a comedian. I do need the money right now. I'm kind of broke. Aren't we all? This economy is actual dog water, thanks to Biden. What? Dude, you idiot. I was making a joke. I'm a rich motherfucker. I don't need to be no comedian. Oh, yeah, I was joking too, El Mao. I'm a rich son of a bitch too. This makes no sense. I'm so lost right now. Yeah, me too. But whatever, here is my SmackDown card for this episode. And good lord, this card is something way better than what Triple H could ever book. And especially what any of the presidents could book. What the hell did you say about my booking, Roman? Oh, uh, well, so you see, I... I'd say my booking is pretty good. I especially thought you would think the same because I'm literally booking you to face the Rocket Mania and beat him so you don't have to lose to Cody until WrestleMania 41. So you better apologize before I change my mind. Fine, I'm sorry, Hunter. It won't ever happen again. No, 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 Roman. Don't call me Hunter. Call me Daddy. What? This is so gay. Oh, my fucking God. God, why do you hate me? Oh, fine. I'm sorry. Dad, da, 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 dad, da, da, daddy. I'm sorry, daddy. Oh, wow. You actually did it, Elmo. You're that desperate, you fucking pussy. So this means me facing Cody at WrestleMania 40 is officially off of the table, right? Uh, well, we'll see. I better not have done that for nothing. All right, so I'm up first with this United States title match. It looks like Shinsuke Nakamura retains in an amazing match. Nothing out of the ordinary for the Big D Trump to have amazing matches on his shows. Wait, Donald, did you really book me in another match with Akira fucking Tozawa? What does it look like? Of course I did, you idiot! Jesus Christ, I don't know why you keep putting me in matches with that jobber, but I'll beat his ass for one final time. Damn, Roman, all of that yapping you were doing didn't pay off, I guess. Oh, my fucking God. What the hell are you fucking kidding me? Shit, shit, fuck me. I hate you. Yo. I think he's mad, don't you guys think? Nah, bro, he seems pretty happy. You even had fucking Hulk Hogan come out and screw me over like, what the hell? I just had a feeling that you were gonna fuck me, and oh, boy, Donald, you fucked me real hard today. Of course, you used Hulk Hogan to be on your show. You probably like him because he is a racist piece of shit just like you, Trump. All right, guys, y'all can chill out now because we got to get this my GM shit done. This arguing is making my blood pressure rise. Triple H, let me tell you something right here and right now, and that is no one gives a damn about your blood pressure being high. My blood pressure is high every single day because of my McDonald's eating obsession. 
And yes, I just admitted it, but whatever. Maybe this match will make Roman feel better. Aha, yes. Cody lost to Chad Gable. Let's freaking go, baby. That just made my day. Fuck Akira Tozawa, that bitch boy. Now this is some bullshit. How did I lose to Chad Gable? Like, no offense to him and all, but I'm the American nightmare Cody Rhodes. I don't lose. But at least I didn't lose to some jobber like Akira Tozawa El Mao. That was so embarrassing, Roman. Yeah, sure, but at least my WrestleMania main event spot wasn't taken by The Rock. I have to finish the story. What? I have to finish the story. Excuse me? I have to finish the story. Dog, can you please shut the fuck up? Fine, Roman, I'll stop. Wait, really? I have Damn you, Cody. to finish the story. Shut up, bitch! Cody, you're never gonna finish your motherfucking story, you pussy. So your best bet right now is to shut the hell up and wait until WrestleMania 41. I don't want to hear the fans' bullshit about, we want Cody, we want Cody. Just shut the fuck up, because you ain't getting Cody, you're getting me. Yep, that's right, Cody. So, well, uh, you're going to have to wait for another year. I might make you face the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins at WrestleMania. Might even add Drew or Sammy into the match, but we'll see. Then what was the point of me winning the Royal Rumble? God, this whole situation is a disaster, I swear to God. This is what I like to call a no yeet. I told you, Cody, that you should have stayed in AEW. Tony, what the fuck? Will you guys ever shut up like you guys always have to argue while my show is on? It's always me. Why can't it be someone like Joe? What did I do, you bitch? Just forget about it, Joe. But for my main event, Gunther retains his titles against Dirty Dom in a classic match. Now that's what I'm talking about. It doesn't get better than that. Actually, it does get better than that. The highest star rating you could get is a five star, which is legendary. Well, okay, you smart ass. Same fucking thing. It really isn't the same thing, Barry. But speaking of classic matches and things of that nature, that's something Joe Biden won't see the light of day of with his card. Because what in the fuck is this? This might be the worst card I've ever seen. The main event is literally our truth against cross. Dude, I couldn't help that all of my top wrestlers are injured. But to be honest with you, Donnie, I don't think they're injured. I think they're just looking for some time off because they're lazy bastards, just like your fat ass was in the Oval Office during your presidency. You can't be calling the Big D Trump a lazy bastard when you've literally spent 95% of your fake presidency either on vacation or snorting booger sugar in your basement with Hunter. Those stipulation matches draw in the rings and the cash, homie. You just don't understand. Sit down, little bro. You say that they draw the ratings and the cash, but right now you're dirt poor and last in the ratings, so it's pretty safe to say that you're capping right now. And don't even say that I don't know anything. I'm a businessman, a fucking billionaire. I know more about money than anyone else here. You idiots can never go a day without having to argue with each other. I swear to God, can we just have one episode with some peace? Nope. Well, I tried to have peace, but the small D Trump had to ruin it like always. Fake news! It really isn't fake news. I saw the thing a few days ago online and it what? was real small, but damn, that match did good. Three and a half stars, baby. Now that's what I'm talking about. Presidential shit right there. That match only did decent because it was the only actual rivalry on your show. All of your other matches were dog shit, and the same thing is gonna happen with your main event right now. Well, fuck me, I guess. Nah, I'm good, Donnie, but you, you all sure? doubted me. You all thought I was a failure. And I'll admit that I thought I was gonna get fucking cooked this episode, but so far, it actually looks like I have a chance against you guys. Let's freaking go, baby. I don't know how that match got that high of a star rating, especially with it having no rivalry to begin with. But the biggest question I have for you, Biden, is why do you always have to say, baby, every time to speak, you always say the word baby at least one time. It's kind of concerning, Joe. Because I, I just love, love them so, so, so very much, Barry. You should know that by now, babies and children are the only things keeping me going right now. Yeah, I guess you're right, Joe. I should have known that you were saying baby all of those times because you are a creepy ass predator that should be locked up behind bars. The irony of you saying that when Donald is literally in the Discord call. The fuck you mean, Sleepy Joe? All three of you presidents are criminals. Let's be for real here. Obama has too many war crimes to count. Joe Biden, well, 
Do I even have to say anything about his children sniffing ass? And then we have Donald with his few thousand indictments. If I were to name them all, we'd be here forever. It's not that deep, bro. Sure, Donald, but I can't wait for Jay and dumbass Seth to get their ass beat in this match. Let's go! Bye-bye, Jay! Bye-bye, Seth, you bitches! We have new tag champs on the Tribal Chief show. Holy fuck, Roman. What the hell was that? Yeet. Nah, Roman, that was a shitty play right there. You can't just disrespect your cousin, the Yeet Master Jay Uzo, like that. And plus, why are you disrespecting Seth like that, man? Weren't you guys just teaming up in the War Games match in episode 25? God, Roman, you can never hold on to your friendships. Jay, you really don't know actual fuck, do you? But just do me a favor and shut up because we have this main event, the final main event of this series, where Shanky defends the universal title against my cousin, and I think we all know who's winning this one. Elmo, this is great. The Rock wins the universal title. Yeet. Wait, did you just yeet? Yeet. Please never say that again, Dwayne. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So since The Rock just won the universal title, does that mean I get to fight Roman one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania instead? Let's go, we're up, Cody Nation. Oh yeah, I just came back to WWE to win a WWE 2K23, my GM mode title. Is that really what you think, my God, Cody, you dumbass? Of course, I'm still facing Roman at Mania. You and your stupid Cody Nation can keep crying and crying online because I really don't give a damn. El Mal Rocky, you burnt that mid-carter to a crisp. Oh great, Drew is here. Of course he is, goddamn. Punk, you have no right to open your mouth. Oh, what's up, Seth? I fucking hate you. And what's up, CM Punk? I fucking hate you, too. I hope your tricep is doing well, though. Bitch! All right, you idiots, y'all gotta calm down, because we're about to find out who came out as the winner of this My GM series. And I think it's pretty obvious who it's gonna be, and his name is the Big D Trump. Now let's reveal this and... Holy shit! This is rigged! Sleepy Joe, you did it again. Good job, you pussy. What the hell did I do, you freaking pig? I literally got last place. I, I just can't take this shit anymore. I'm done with this channel. I'm done with WWE. I'm done with my life. Sayonara, motherfuckers. I'll see you all in the depths of hell. Did Trump just shoot himself? I think he just did Barack but I was too busy to really find out for sure because I was on my sniffing grind, I guess we could say. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Wow, imagine getting so mad over some stupid video game that you end your life. But at least that guarantees that we won't get another Donald Trump president term. But I think this means that we should probably end this episode before someone else kills themselves. But hey, at least I got first place. Yeah, Roman, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I don't wanna witness any more people dying in this call unless it's people from Yemen. Of course, but I have to admire that you've went from last place in episode one, all the way to the top in episode three. Pretty remarkable, no cap. However, something that I can't admire is how The Rock screwed over Cody's WrestleMania main event. God, I'm so pissed about that still. We want Cody, we want Cody. 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 Holy shit. That we want Cody chant makes me want to actually puke on little children. It's almost as bad as the word yeet, yeet. exactly what I was gonna say. Dude, Roman, you dumbass. Did you not know that The Rock has been pushing to WWE management to win the match against you? He's an egotistical bitch. Wait, what? Bro, Roman, you know that CM Punk piece of shit is just capping like he always does. You are my cousin, you are my homie, my dog, my op. You know that, Roman, don't you? Oh, don't fuck with me, Dwayne. I'm doing some research right now, and Punk was right. You're trying to win the match, aren't you? I thought we were in this together to get rid of Cody, but I guess you're all in it for yourself. I guess I should have expected this after Black Adam did so. Ever living bad. Don't bring up my movies, you bitch. I haven't held WWE gold in over a decade. I need one final run. You've just been holding on to the title for over 1,000 days and only defend it every few months. We need a new full-time Universal Champion, and that's where I come in. I think we both know just as well that you'd be just as inactive, or even more inactive as champion as me. And don't you dare... All right, you two. That's enough arguing for today. 
Save it all for the press conference tomorrow. And yes, we are recording this episode before the press conference for those who were wondering. But to end this episode, let's all do it. Now, nah, Triple H, that shit is disgusting. I ain't gay, even though Jill is getting pretty old and shit like that. My 2024 bingo cards didn't have becoming a clone of Obama. Idiot, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying that to end the episode. We should all yeet. No, oh, please right, don't. I get it now. Yet? Dude, no, we all are going to say yeet at once. No. God, you are more demented than I thought. Damn my bad hunter, that one was on me. But let's do it at the count of three. I said please. One, two. Wait, what comes after two? Three. Yeet. Oh, shut the hell up, you freaking Cody cry babies. Fuck. I can't believe this. I'm not fighting Roman at Mania. No, that's it. My purpose is gone. Goodbye. Hey, what's up, Dwayne? Oh, hey, Trump. I thought I'd run into you down here. Yeah, I'm sorry for what happened to your main event with Roman. But now that you're here, I want you to meet my new friend I met down here. His name is Adolf. He is a really good painter. All right, so today, me and the boys are doing this Christmas special Royal Rumble match. Whoever wins will take over the channel permanently. And of course, I'm starting at number one because I'm currently the owner of the channel. But that doesn't matter because the Big D Trump always has tricks up his pants and he'll use them to guide himself to victory. Nah, Trumpty Dumpty, you're not gonna win this match. I've came so ever living close to winning big matches, but fell just barely short. But today is the day I finally win and cement myself as the greatest president of all time. Lamau, you got me crying over here, Joe, you really do. But let's get this match started so I can whoop your ass and you'll be crying to your mama. Oh wait, I forgot, she's dead. Fuck you, Donald, you orange orangutan looking ass nigga. You really gotta calm down with your shit sleepy Joe. So maybe this Trump cold stunner will help you out. How does your fat ass already have a finisher? I knew you could eat 1,000 Big Macs in one sitting, but I didn't know you could hack a game. Now that's a new level of crazy for your ass. Did you really just say what I think you just said? Did I hear that right? Joe, I did not hack this game like El Mao. You literally have a finisher too. We all start with one. Well, okay, let's test it out then on your Big Mac ass. Wait, no, Joe, we can talk about this. I love you. No! Why, Joe? Why? Ha ha. It looks like we will have a new owner to the channel this episode. And that person is deemed to be Uncle Bidenator. And I don't care who comes out next. I'm going to whoop their ass all the way to the wall that Trump didn't get to finish. When you die, I'm going to shit on your grave. Is that a threat, Donnie? Yes, it might actually be diarrhea. Oh, no. Yo, big boy Shapiro is back in business, baby. But to be quite honest with y'all, I don't know how to play this game. I haven't even won a single match. So I hired someone to play for me, and her name is Rhea Bloody Ripley. Yes, Sir Shapiro, I'm going to win this for you. This is what mommy does best, besides when she's getting freaky in bed with Dom Dom. Well, thanks a hell of a lot, Joe. I could have been in the ring with the almighty Rhea Ripley, but of course you had to eliminate me. I was going to ask her out too, but to be fair, I probably would have folded. Now, come on, Donald. Don't say that about yourself. I literally folded to one of the five-year-old girls down in my basement last night, and ooh, boy, I was an embarrassed motherfucker. Let me tell you, it wasn't a Christmas miracle. I'll tell you that. Joe, we didn't need to know that shit. Yay, Joe, you're horrifying. They should make Halloween an everyday thing just because of your creepy ass. Hey, what's up, Rhea? Hey, Cody, uh, I hope this doesn't sound weird, but is your friend Jay there? Yeah, Jay is sitting to the right of me trying to pick out the best pickup line for you. I don't think he's having the best of luck finding the best one on the internet, though. If he needed a pickup line, he could have just turned to his dog, Cody Rhodes. I pull all of the women, sometimes even men. Cody, shut up. Come on. Don't worry, Jay. You don't need any pickup lines. You're all I need, my meaty friend. Oh, shit, mommy. You really me in that? Yes, Daddy Jay. It should have been me. It should have been me. Holy fucking shit, Donald. I don't want your fat ass. The only love you're going to get is from McDonald's because we all know Melania is cheating on you. She's not cheating on me, you bitch. Wait, oh my god. Holy shit. There's no actual way this guy is here right now. Is that who I really think it is? Is that George motherfucking Bush? Wait, what? Joe, what the hell are you doing, man? Is your dementia getting to you again? The shit's about to hit the fan with Sleepy Joe and Jey Uso, I fear. Ain't no way you just eliminated Mommy Rhea. Cody, give me that controller right the fuck now, because this demented piece of shit is going down. Square up. 
Oh, uh, Jay, that's not Joe. That's George Bush. You got the wrong guy, I'm afraid. Oh, damn. Hey, what's up, Donald? I haven't seen you ever since we tagged Team That Girl at the Strip Club. God, time flies, doesn't it? What? what? Damn, and y'all didn't invite me? Whoa, 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 guys, hold on. George is probably just developing early stage dementia, so you, Mr. Bush, should start taking your pills and shut right the fuck up before I lose my ever living shit. Oh. Anyway, how we all doing so far this match? Nah, Donnie, I'm pretty sure that happened. Because you wanted to keep going and going, and soon it was going on midnight. So I left, and then came back the next morning to find you passed out and the girl long gone. So I'm pretty sure that did happen. And I'm pretty sure what you did to the woman was... Pipe down, George. We're done hearing your dumbass speak. The tribal chief is here now, and the channel is about to be his. The Colombian nose candy must be affecting you at a pretty high level, Roman, I must say. How many kilos have you snorted in the past hour? Oh. Yeah, I'd say probably 10 to 11 kilos. I would have done more if Jimmy Uso didn't snatch my last bag on me. Now I'm going to have to go get more from Hunter Biden after I win this match. My personal record in a single hour is 69,000 kilos. But yeah, I'm going to have to go get some more too after this. Maybe I'll meet you there in the alleyway and we can snort some together. That sounds gay as fuck, but I'm down. Hooray, let's go. Oh, damn, Cody, you almost eliminated me there. Thank you, Roman, for saving my ass. Oh, my God, is that who I think it is? Is that Bill Clinton? What are you doing here? Hey, what's up, Donald? Long time no see, buddy. You must be eager to see my wife, Hillary, then. How's it going, Donnie? Missed me? Oh, my fucking God, as my day couldn't get any worse. First, I bought all of the stock of food from my local McDonald's. Then Sleepy Joe, of all people, eliminated me. Then the airplane pilot himself, George Bush, told everyone about what happened that one night. And now you show up. To be quite honest with you, Donald, that all points back to you having a gigantic skill issue. And speaking of people with skill issues, there goes Roman cheating reigns out of the match by my husband that would never cheat on me, Bill Clinton. You got that right, honey bunny? He's out of this bitch. Bro, I literally helped you when Cody almost eliminated you. What the hell? I don't recall that, Roman. How about you stop making up stories and leave this match before I whoop your ass out of the arena? Well, whatever. And for you, Donnie, I'll see you in episode 22 for when I beat you in that steel cage match. We'll see about that, you dumbass. And finally, Barry Obama is in this match. Finally, someone with at least some sense in him. At least when he's not drone striking random villages in the Middle East just for fun. Those motherfuckers in the desert deserve my drone strikes. Actually, they should be thankful for the drone strikes. They should be thankful? Is that really what you said, Obama? Did I hear that right? I gotta agree with my homie Barack on this one. What's the point of life if you can't get oil? The Middle East is literally the nesting ground for that shit. Sometimes I book vacations to the Middle East just to bathe in oil. It's true luxury, I can't lie. Oh no, Bush. I don't drone strike their asses for oil. I just do it to see their families suffer and bodies everywhere and... All right, Barrick, you can calm down now and take some of your chill pills. Okay. You're looking at your future owner of this channel right here. Ha 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 ha! Oh shit, Jay, Seth is here. I don't think he likes me too much. I don't know why though. He likes you, so I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't. Me and Seth are homies, you know? But you and Seth? I can't tell you. I thought you two would have made up by now. Especially since y'all wrestled at war games together. Do you two know that I can hear both of your dumbasses right now? We are all literally in the same Discord call like holy shit. Uh, well Seth, you know I forgive you for what you did to my peck. Yeah, you did put me out for like what, seven months? Or wait, was it eight? Six maybe? Wait, what the fuck was it? I'm going demented like the current president. You're talking about me, Cody? Wait, no, he can't be because I'm not the president. I'm the vice president. Silly me. The kids locked up in their cages are laughing at me right now, Law Mao. I'm so good at telling dad jokes. They're not laughing at your so-called jokes, Joe. They're laughing at your stupidity. Wait, Jay, do you know how long I was out for with my pec injury? Nope. Damn it. I really don't care about you two idiots right now, as my focus is now all pointed towards the clown himself. The guy who makes everyone in the locker room fear their life. And his name is CM motherfucking punk. Ah ha ha ha. That laugh you do every goddamn second sends shivers down my spine. They really do, Seth. But I'm about to break your spine once I get my hands on you in this game. And in real life at WrestleMania 40, I'm about to win this Royal Rumble, just like I'm going to win the Royal Rumble in 2024. Well, you probably will win the Royal Rumble next year and go on to beat Seth at WrestleMania 40. 
You're not winning this Royal Rumble because just look at this shit right here. See you, Barack, another day. Safe travels. What? Now I'm going to drone strike random villages in Yemen in anger. Oh, no, Barack, not the random villages in Yemen. Well, shit, there they go. No stopping them fuckers now. Joe, what in the living of the living are you doing to me right now? Are you taking me to some type of vasectomy? Though a vasectomy would be nice, that's not where I'm taking you. Uncle Bidenator is taking you to the ropes for you to get eliminated. Uh, how did that old fossil eliminate me? Elmau, that was the greatest thing that I've ever seen. I can't lie, no cap. I just wish that I was the one that eliminated the bitch, but it's whatever. Ha 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 ha! You see, M Punk are not safe. You better lock your doors tonight because the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins is coming to Chicago, baby. It's not that far from Iowa either, so it shouldn't be a long drive, actually. Ha 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 ha! Oh no, shiver me timbers, what will I ever do? Oh shit, what the fuck, Joe? Why are you trying to eliminate me? I thought we were friends, bro. Becoming the owner of this channel is far more important to me than being your friend. So long, George. Have fun with your Porsche 911. Bitch, at least I know how to fly planes. And I know very well how to fly them into buildings. What? what? Uh, well, I mean, I... Just leave George and save yourself. Okay, Daddy. Bro, don't call me Daddy. Only the little girls in the White House basement are allowed to call me that when we're getting freaky in my bed while Jill is away. I may hate every single thing about the prehistoric piece of shit, but Joe is actually doing pretty good in this match. However, the same thing happened in episode 16 when he was doing very good in the Elimination Chamber match until his age caught up to him and he was pinned. Maybe this time will be different. Let's be honest here by fellow presidents. Joe Biden ain't winning this match. It's actually going to be me, Bill Clinton. I've always been overshadowed, but today is the day that I finally get back in the spotlight where me and my wife, Hillary, belong. Those were some beautiful words, Bill. They really were. You got me tearing up over here, Lamau. Nah, fam, I hate it when women cry. Hillary, you better stop with that shit before I make you. Hey, don't talk about my wife like that, you bitch, or you'll get these hands shoved up your ass. What will you do about it, you punk? Are you gonna come to my house in Chicago like Seth said he would? Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Bet, say less young blood. Hillary, take this controller. I'm gonna go to CM Punk's house and beat his ass. Oh shit, he's actually gonna pull up to my crib. Uh, I don't know how to play this stupid game. Well, I'll take this advantage and eliminate your dumb ass then. Well, God, damn. if Bill actually does make it to Chicago and somehow finds my house, he's really gonna beat my ass. He may even record it and put it on that freaky website if you get what I'm saying, Elmau. Well, he just got on his private jet. But I don't know if he'll even make it to Chicago because there's only a few minutes left in the video. Maybe he won't be able to make it then, haha, <laughs> that dumbass. Now we're up to the final two, which is Cody, CM Punk, and somehow the fossil Sleepy Joe. I still don't know how he's making it this far and how I was knocked out before the third entrant even came out. I feel like Joe rigged it again, just like he rigged the election. It's really what he does best, I swear to God. Ain't no way your dumbass is still crying about the election, Lamau. Just take the freaking loss, for goodness sake. Yeah, Trump, that shit was over three years ago at this point. You kind of got to calm down, broski. There's always 2024, and then 2028, and then 2032, and then... Shut up! Yeet! <laughs> Wait, Joe, what are you doing? I thought we were working together to eliminate CM Punk. Well, at least I was. I don't know how Jay feels about that after you eliminated Mommy earlier. To be honest, Cody, I forgive President Joe. It was an honest mistake. You know his dementia and shit. As long as he doesn't eliminate us, though, I'll forgive him. Uh, well, this is awkward. Joe, what the fuck? I'm sorry, Jay and Cody. Like I've said time and time again, I'm winning this motherfucker, and I'm becoming the owner of this channel. And no one is going to stop me. Not even my final obstacle in this match, CM Punk. I'm sorry to admit this to you, Joe, but you're not winning this Royal Rumble. Just because I'm not a president doesn't mean I can't be the owner of this channel, and I'm going to prove with this GTS. God, that one was a thing of beauty. I rate this a 10. Hell, I rated an 11 out of 10. It was so good. That GTS was mid. Actually, all of your GTSs are mid. Don't lie to yourself, buddy old pal. You know my GTSs are literal gold. I can't believe that I'm saying this, but I actually hope Sleepy Joe wins this match. He's gone so far, even to the point of eliminating the Big D Trump to not win. Let's go, Biden. You got this, my man. I'm rooting for my childhood hero, CM Punk, not for that children-sniffing piece of shit that eliminated Jay's best friend, Stardust, and who eliminated me earlier. You got this, CM Punk. Wow, Donald, I never thought you would say those things, especially after you just saying the election was rigged. But because of what you said, I'm going to prove to you that I'm worthy to run this channel. Goodbye, CM Punk. 
Tell your wife, AJ Lee, I said hi. Oh crap. oh crap! Now that's some of the biggest bullshit I've ever seen in my whole life. How did some prehistoric goober beat me? The one and only CM Punk? God, that's horrible. But whatever, I'll move on with my life. At least it wasn't the obese pumpkin that eliminated me to win El Mao. You bitch. But anyway, I guess we have a new owner for the channel, and somehow it ended up being Joe. What's gonna be the first thing you do as the owner? Will you change the banner, the channel icon, delete all of our videos, upload the secret videos of Barack and Michael we found? What? Guys, I think I should just remain the owner of the channel. The quote new owner can't even keep his eyes open for crying out loud. No Trump, you were literally the first one eliminated. You can't stay the bloody owner, are you serious? Thanks for agreeing with me, Barry. Bitch. Wait guys, someone is knocking on my window. Now who the hell is this creep? Hello? Oh my God, no fucking way. Oh no, is it really who I think it is? What's up, you piece of shit? Shit. This uh... is the end of you, CM Punk. You're going down with the rest of us Democrats. Oh wait, what is that sound? Uh, what just happened? Was that some missile or something? Wait, Barack, what did your ass do? I bombed the motherfuckers. You want to be next? No, I... Well, too bad. Wait, no, Barack, please stop it. Gin, go bells, gin, go bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, okay. Oh, what, oh, what fun, fun it is to ride, is to ride in a one-horse one open, open sleigh. So, Trump, mind to explain those tapes you have of me and Michael? I mean, Michelle? Yeah, the tapes are just two monkeys having oral sex.